today we play through the full game of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon for the Nintendo 3DS. Can Luigi survive the multiple haunted mansions with his ghost hunting Poltergust 5000? Let's find out together. Oh, ah, bats. Oh, there's the Dark Moon, what do you know, okay. So what's going on with this one? Oh, there's like multiple mansions. Oh, that's cool. I've never ever played this game. Oh, and there's Egad. He's working on something. Oh no, a ghost! He looks rather evil. Oh, oh no, the friends! Oh, that's good. Oh wow, he has lots of them. They're all like his little lab assistants. Oh, oh no, watch it, be careful. <laughs> Some of them are cleaning up. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh no, but the dark moon. And whoa, it's King Boo from the last game. What is he doing? Oh gosh. He exploded the moon. Oh, and all the moon pieces are going to the different mansions. Okay, there's like three or four of them. Oh, that's crazy. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh oh, they're evil now, they're tearing up the books. Okay, settle down, settle down. Oh no. They were so friendly before too. Oh, you better get out of there. Don't want him getting hurt. Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon. This is very dark. Oh, is this Luigi's house? I didn't know he had his own house, that's so cool. <laughs> I really hope it is, oh there, there he is, he's snoozing. He's watching TV, you really should lay in a bed, it's better for your back. Oh, uh oh. He's getting some interference. Uh oh. Don't do it, don't touch that dial. Luigi, ah! Run, oh, yikes. I need your help, Sonny, it's an emergency. The ghosts have gone hostile. Ah, what are you doing on the floor? <laughs> well, you scared him, he fell over. Never mind that, I'm preparing the pixelator. Okay. No, 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 don't do it. Hold still, young fella. Oh, is he bringing him here just through the TV? Oh, uh, no. Here we go! Run, Luigi! Ah, no! Into the TV he goes. Poor Luigi gets dragged into these situations. Oh, and here we are. <laughs> he seems to be having a good time. Nice to see you again, old buddy. Greetings, Luigi. I knew our paths would cross again. You seem a bit tense, son. Relax, we are perfectly safe here in the impenetrable bunker. Anywho, it's been too long, my boy. What have you been up to? I imagine you've been off adventuring with that daredevil brother of yours. Me, oh, I've just been continuing my research on paranormal happenings and whatnot. In fact, after our last adventure, I became somewhat of an authority in the field. But enough about that, let me fill you in on our ghostly predicament. See that on the screen? That there is the dark moon. It's a mysterious celestial body that has a pacifying effect on all the ghosts in Evershade Valley. When I heard about it, I jumped at the rare chance to study ghosts in a peaceful environment. It was incredible, my boy. I was doing some of the best research of my long and storied career. That is, until something snapped inside the ghosts and they suddenly got all hostile. It got so bad, I had to escape from the gloomy manor and hide here, where the ghosts can't find me. Of course, I'm not one to sit around and twiddle my thumbs. I wanted to know why the ghosts freaked out. So I settled in and did some research to figure out what happened. That's when I discovered something truly astonishing. The dark moon has vanished from the sky, and we know that it was actually King Boo back to his old shenanigans. And on top of that, the whole Evershade Valley had become enveloped in an eerie fog. Now I can't be sure, but I think the disappearance of the dark moon is what caused all this mess. 
And what a mess it is. If we don't do something about it, the ghosts might leave this valley and terrorize the world forever. Or world beyond. I don't know, wherever, forever. Anyways, we do sort of just listening. He seems a little bored. Worse still, my research will go to waste. We can't let that happen, my boy. Now, I've got good news and I've got bad news. Wait here. He really is a chatterbox. He just keeps talking to talking. Whoa. The good news is that I found a fragment of the dark moon nearby. But the bad news is that I found a fragment of the dark moon nearby, meaning the th thing's broken. And this dark moon piece seems to be corrupted by some sort of energy. I reckon it's a disruptive energy that suppresses the dark moon's ability to pacify ghosts. But lucky for us, I've got inventions for all kinds of situations. Stand back, Sonny. All right, let's see what he does. Oh my. Is he cleaning it up? <laughs> There's a bunch of bubbles popping out. It was just a little dirty, got all scuffed up. Oh, that actually worked. Well, what do you know? Okay. <laughs> I've done it, Luigi. It seems to have regained its original power. And did you hear that whooshing noise outside, youngster? Let me check my instruments. Criminy! All the fog around this bunker is gone. Quick, let's take a look at, at a map of Evershade Valley. Oh, okay. Here's a little map. And there's the bunker. We can maybe zoom in or something? No? Okay. Luigi, do you know what this means? He does not, he's shaking his head now. Uh, we should be able to reach the gloomy matter now. But more importantly, it means that restoring the dark moon will solve all of our problems. If we find all the dark moon pieces, the fog in the valley will fin vanish uh, and the ghosts will return to normal. But until then, all those ghosts will need to be contained. That's where you come in, Luigi. Why, you're the best ghost wrangler I know, son. And probably the only. Coincidentally, you're also the only go yep, ghost wrangler I know. So what do you say, young feller? Will you help me capture the ghosts and restore the dark moon? <laughs> of course you will, it'll just be like old times. Oh, oh, we're going in? I don't even know what's happening. Okay, so Gloomy Manor, A1. Poltergeist 5000, so I think, yeah, things are different in this game. It's not like adventuring the entire mansion. You actually have little levels you go through. So the bottom screen says, if we're to restore the dark moon, we'll need to get you properly equipped. I've got just a device for the job, but I left it in the Gloomy Manor. Mind fetching it for me, Sonny? Yeah, sure. So it looks like we're aiming for 2,000 coins. I might not be the, the best at the game, because uh, I've never played it. Uh, what are you scared of, Sonny? It's just a few harmless ghosts. Well, a few hundred ghosts, and they're not exactly harmless. But looky here, with my brains and your, uh, your, hmm. We're in a bit of a pickle here, aren't we? <laughs> oh, no. Well, the only way out of this mess is to restore the dark moon, which means you're going to need some ghost hunting gear, son. But wouldn't you know it, I left my new Poltergeist 5000 somewhere inside the gloomy manor. So, now that I've cleared that blasted fog from around the place, I'm sending you in after it. Okay. Uh, so I guess we're going whether we like it or not. Oh, it's a DS. Look familiar? This customized DS has an interactive map of the gloomy manor on it. It'll also allow me to communicate with you while you're exploring. That's cool, that's like a classic DS too. The old model. And we get a flashlight. And it's mighty dark in there, so you'll want this flashlight. Okay, youngster, let's test the DS. Oh, there it goes. Wait, the DS doesn't normally vibrate. It must be modified. Incoming call from Professor Egad. Touch the screen to answer. Okay. There we go. Cool. All righty, now check your map. I'm marking an important location there. Ooh, okay, look at this. Very fancy. So we're going to the garage. That's the garage. I think that's where I left the Poltergeist 5000. Okie doke. You ready, son? I'll zap you to the gloomy matter with my new and largely untested pixelator. Let's hope all of the pixels make it this time. <laughs> oh no, he might be coming out missing his mustache. Hold on to your mustache. I just said that. He's reading my mind. Off we go. Oh man, this is crazy so far. Egad talks so much. 
I feel like there was more dialogue than in any Mario or Luigi game ever. <laughs> that was just crazy. Just kept going and going. And here we are. So just, I guess, wherever there's these security cameras, we can just sort of pop out. Very interesting. Uh, oh boy, what are we gonna do? I'm scared. So our first mansion. Oh boy. So the front yard, search the ground. What if I try to just go back? Oh, it won't let me. Okay, well, we'll just poke around. Oh, this is so pretty. For a 3DS game, this game looks really amazing. I like it. So what does that button do? I guess I can hold the flashlight with like two hands instead of one. Interesting. And what? Oh no. Looks like we're not going back that way. And we're already getting a call. Huh? What's up? Yellow. <laughs> Yellow? Hmm. Luigi, come in Luigi, you there, young feller? Mm -hmm. Ah, there you are. I was worried that the battery died in the DS. Mm. It'd be a really quick battery death. We have been gone for like two minutes but I turned the screen brightness down, so it should be good for a while. You look a little nervous, son. Try to loosen up a bit. Besides, tiptoeing about won't get us anywhere. You can run by holding B while walking. Now, get a move on. Okay, that's what I was looking for before, so I guess, yeah, we can run like this. Whoa, look at this! I don't think you can do this in the original. What is with this creepy statue? I don't know. Oh, look at this! I can move the, okay, I didn't realize that's what I was trying to say. I can actually move my 2DS around and look around. That's cool. So let's run over this way. Ah, a giant pile. Looks like a pile of cheese or something. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Uh, but we're just gonna go up here for now. Yeah, I don't know what else to do. Can we go anywhere on this like little porch? Whoa, oh, here we go. Oh no. Whoa, I can look inside. Oh, this is a garage. <laughs> There's a little ghost honk at the horn. They're all making big messes. This guy hopped in the trunk. There's some money up there. What are these guys doing? They're gone, they left. But there is a door inside. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Nothing I can do with this big pile, but there is something behind it. So I'm guessing at some point, maybe we'll get the poltergust back because that's what we had in Luigi's Mansion 1. That would be interesting. Okay, can I go inside? Oh, it's locked. What is to the right? Oh, there's a little mouse. Hello. And he has the key. Go get him. Ah! Come on. Oh, he's scared of the mouse. Come on, Luigi. Go catch up. Uh, There he is. Come on. Chase after him. We got this. Throw the flashlight at the key. Maybe it'll knock it out of his tail. That might not be the best idea. Come on. We can catch up to him. We can do it. Oh, look at this. Oh, we almost got it. There it is. Nice, okay, so we got the key for the door. Ah, I thought he was gonna try to take it back. So I think that's good. It's cool that you can zoom in and out on the map. So let's head into here with our key now. Oh, very scary. Huh? Open sesame. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Ah, why does that happen every time? There's a door that always just has to slam shut. So it looks like I'm supposed to be going to the garage. But what if I try to go this way? Will this also be locked? Looks like it. And this door has appeared to be melted. Or is it even really a door? It looks like it's just like a curtain. All right, well, I guess we're going this way then. With just a flashlight, we can't do much. Can I open up this toolbox? I can. What's inside? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And there's a bunch of coins like on the rafters up there. Oh, oh, hey! Look at this! I was just talking about this thing. This looks like the poltergeist. Nice! Okay. Let's try this out. Fits like a glove. Uh oh, oh, be careful! Looks like his happy dance was just cut short. Search the garage. Got it. We got a little bit of a call going on from Egad. Oh. Yellow. Ah, you found it. Good work, Luigi. Mm -hmm. That there is the new and improved Poltergust 5000. Wasn't it the 3000 before or something like that? Very cool. It's simple to use. Press R to vacuum. 
before you go hunting ghosts, why don't you test it out on some of the junk in that room? Mm -hmm. Go on, give her a whirl. So you can see little piles of junk now. We can use the vacuum and suck it up and inside is a coin. Okay, very nice. And once again, we can move the actual console around and get stuff done that way. So I can open this up. I don't know, yeah, I guess there's not really anything in there. Uh, let me try opening this again. Is there anything new in there? Not looking like it. Anything on this side? Not really, but what I can do is walk up to those coins and grab them like that. What about inside of here? Oh, a couple more coins, nice. So it's good to open things. Let's grab these coins before I forget because apparently our goal is to get like 2,000 of them. That's gonna be a lot. What is this? Uh, oh, I gotta pull backwards. Yeah, look at that. Okay, what's inside of here? Whoa, another key, awesome. I will happily grab that. I sort of missed a little sound effect that would happen when you pick something up in the original. Like, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. anyways. How are you liking the Poltergeist 5000 so far, Luigi? Not too shabby, eh? Just wait until you catch some ghosts with the thing. There should be a few nearby. Okay, well, we'll try to keep an eye out for that. Capture any nearby ghosts. So far, there aren't much, but I'm just trying to take a good look around and make sure that this room is completed. I guess there's like no way to really know. Well, actually, he hummed for a second, he was humming. A lot of you let me know in the last, you know, Luigi's Mansion 1, that apparently if he's humming, that might mean that the room is clear. So that's good to know. But I should still mess with everything I possibly can. Uh, just to see. Oh, there are some coins up on top of this door frame and on the chandelier as well. And my coins are, whoa, whoa, money, money, money. Okay, actual dollar bills. It's so interesting seeing those in this game because you don't see those in actual Mario games at all. I'm not the best with the gyro control so far, Still working on that. But good to know that if I keep, oh this, yeah, this portrait has like a picture of coins on it. That doesn't do anything? I guess not. Yeah, it's hard to tell if it's finished or not. But I have $116 now. <laughs> I can just make everything shake and rattle. Anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and take this door curtain. And behind it is a real door. Very interesting. The mud room. Well, I saw a ghost behind the door. Okay. It was all white. <laughs> He's jumping around. I see him back there. What is what is this about? Uh, it's like a little tile. Whoa. Oh, hey, look at this. Bunches of money. They hid money everywhere. Can we open this up? Yes, we can. Oh, that has a little. Is that a dog ghost back there? Oh, he's so cute. And we get a golden bone. Apparently, one of maybe a certain amount. I'm getting another call. Yellow. Hmm, you seem to have found something very special there, Luigi. I've heard that, that your chances of finding one of those is better if you have a lot of treasure. I get the feeling that bone will come in handy when you need it most. But that's a wild guess. Yep, pure speculation. So I'll have a higher chance of finding golden bone if we have a lot of treasure. So if we didn't have any treasure and we went and pressed this button, we wouldn't have gotten the golden bone? Weird. Oh, here we go, here we go. Let's. <laughs> take these jackets, I guess I had some money in the pockets. Oh, I do see some extra money. Definitely worth checking the ceilings. I'll be doing more of that in a moment. Hold on, uh, grabbing that too. I guess I'm just gonna take all of these jackets, get whatever money I can, because that's a big goal in these games, is to get as much money as you possibly can. So we really wanna meticulously go through everything. Grab what we can. Have I opened up this one? I have not. Nothing inside, but there could have been. There could have been. So yeah, let's work on this fan where it's going around and around and around. And we get another key. So that's our second key, right? I think we have, yeah, we have two keys now. Ah, spiders, I don't like them. Why spiders? All of a sudden, oh, they're gone. What was that about? It scared me. Uh, Grab some extra coins. And what is this? This little technological marvel we got going on. Looks like this door's locked, but through like an actual locking device. It's not letting me do anything. Weird. That might be all I can do around here, unless I can open up this window and get to this guy. Hey, buddy. Oh, I can. What's going on out here? Mudge and exterior. Oh, look at him, he's so cute. Hey there, buddy. Where are you going? Oh, whoa. 
He's got some money, some like gems. Oh, that's a piece of the moon, isn't it? Oh, I need that, don't, don't, don't scuff it up. Oh, it's in the tree. Okay, well now we know. Hmm. So we can walk up the windows sometimes and check out what's going on outside of them, just like we could with the uh, other window on the porch. Wait, whoa, whoa, hold on. Can I open this? I can. Oh, there's a fire. There's a fire. Uh, can I take out the fire? I can. Oh, that's good. Um, let's go this way, because it would stink to burn down the mansion as soon as we, we enter it. That'd be a very Luigi thing to do, though. Anyways, with our new key, we should be able to open up this door. I hope I'm doing a good job finding everything. I'm trying really hard to make sure that we get everything done. Oh, you know what? I probably should go back outside, though. Oh, no. Hmm. <gasps> Hello? Oh, gosh. What are these guys doing? They have something. Ow. Ah. <laughs> Hot potato. So they have something. I don't know what that was. It's okay, Luigi. We've done this all before. Ah! I don't know, okay, you know what, let's leave. <laughs> I wanna go back to the uh, front door anyways because I wanted to see if we couldn't suck up those piles now. So if I go back this way and I do a little bit of that, what's over here? Well, first off, we can just shake it. Whoa, major money. I'm gonna have to grab all these. There we go, very nice. That gave us 53 more dollars. That's exactly what I was hoping for. So let's take a good look around this front porch now that we can. Okay, well that didn't do much, but maybe shaking it like that, no? Okay, not too much going on this way. Let's go down here where I know there's at least one more big pile. Right here. It's actually sort of two in one. And there's a couple of coins waiting for me because of that. That's awesome, that was exactly what I was hoping for, stuff like that. Uh, what about this? Whoa! Okay, we got some uh, gold bars over this way. Nice. And can maybe I make these flowers bloom a little? Not really, they're holding on tight. Oh, it's like a little wind chime. <laughs> We're creating plenty of wind. What is that up there? Oh, it's, it's a stack of money. Oh my gosh, who uses a stack of money up in a tree? I mean, I know it's paper. Paper's made from trees, but I mean, that doesn't make it a money tree. Okay, what about this one little lantern? Can I do anything with that? Not really. But we are making some major money. We're at almost $400. I mean, a couple hundred extra bucks out of this, too. I wonder if I can get water out of the, the fountain. I feel like that's something you can do in Luigi's Mansion 1 at some point. I think so. But anyways, it looks like it's really important to look up. Speaking of which, I think they're in the rafters of the actual porch. There might have been a coin or two we missed. So I don't know if it's gonna be like this for every level where we're going through every single tiny piece of it and just basically trying to suck up all the money. But it might be, and that's fine. I mean, I don't know if I'm exactly gonna be completing this game 100%, but I'm gonna be trying my best. So it'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. It seems like it's gonna be a really cool game. So let's run back through this main hall for now, because I think I've gotten this all cleared out as much as I possibly can. So now we gotta worry about all this. Can I get this? You bet I can, and there's definitely some money on the other side of it. Wow, I got showered in cash for that one. So we're already up to over $400. Can I mess with these things? I mean, I can, but, ah, whoa, ow! Yikes, dude, that was rude. Okay, so avoid these guys at all costs then. That's not good. I don't see anything to, ah, run quick! <laughs> to, to get money from. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. I mean, maybe I'll bother them a little bit, but that's it. We're leaving. We got another key now. Open up. Whoa. So what's going on in here? Oh boy, we're in the foyer. Oh, here they are. Oh, they put it up there. We can get it, maybe. <laughs> I think it's real funny. Huh? Ah. Oh, you know, you notice us. They're running away. It's another one of those locked doors with the little computer lock. I don't know what's going on with that. Whoa, this room is very golden. Well, hopefully that means there's a lot of money in store for us. Let's open this up, if I can. Not much inside. What is going on? Oh, there's like a picture of money, but it's not giving me any money. Isn't that weird? Okay. Well, let's go from place to place and just keep messing with stuff. Can I go through this door? 
Nope, that's locked. So I'll need another lock door or lock key. You know what I mean. Can't do much with any of this. There's like this weird system of gears over this way. Hmm. So there's not much I can interact with over this way. Uh, another little chest. Or actually, can I? Yeah, I can kick these. I should probably do that. Run back over. Well, hey, gave me a heart, which is good because I got sliced by that one statue. They're back to full health now. So I gotta make sure I do that too. Just interact with everything in every way that I can. Nothing in there. Oh well. So I still can't do anything with this, it seems. Whoa, what was that? I don't know. That got weird. Oh, it's it's like the wall behind us, okay. Oh, oh we're getting a call. What's up, buddy? Hello. Luigi, do you see that green circular panel on the wall? It, it unlocks the door. All you gotta do is flash it with the crimp mini. The Poltergeist 5000 is missing a strobe bulb. Oh, maybe that's what the ghosts had. You won't be able to open that door without it. Those pesky ghosts must have hit it somewhere. It looks like a green little light bulb. Find it, post haste. So yeah, that is exactly what they had. So we know exactly what to do with that. Oh, can I take off the rug of this? No, I can't, that'd be crazy if I could. And then there's a safe over this way. Can I maybe jump to get up there? Huh, weird. Whoa, look at this aquarium. We can look inside and everything. So it looks like there might be another way to get in. That's a scary looking fish. It is like 85% mouth. It didn't even have any eyes. Whoa, there's a star. Is like that another piece of the dark star? It might be. But it's just on the wall like the starfish is. Hopefully we can get that at some point then. What about this present? Uh, not looking like it's much. And I don't think I can go into this door. This is also locked. That's fine. Okay, so let's see if we can't just suck that up real quick. Come on. I might have to pull backwards. Or maybe, yeah, use the fan up here and push it downwards. For whatever reason, that might be a good idea. So do I have to like run quick down that way? I don't know how that'll make it work any better, but maybe it will. Maybe I can just run up and grab it now. Yeah, okay. There we go. You got it, Luigi. Just do a little yeah. jump. Oh. So this is our little light bulb for the oh. poltergeist. <laughs> and that goes on the back. Oh. Seems to fit pretty well. Oh, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Whoa. Ah, he's blind. No, he's fine, he's fine. <laughs> That's good. So let's answer our call from EGAD. Whoa there, feller, don't go flashing yourself like with that. The strobe bulb isn't a toy, it's a powerful tool. For one thing, it can activate any of my inventions that feature green circular panels. And it's mighty easy to use. Just aim and press A to flash. Try it on the nearby door. So we could try it on the nearby door, but I also wanna try it in a couple of other places, like the other door in the other room. And on top of that, I want to try it here. But I still can't reach this. Well, actually, no. Am I doing it wrong? Oh, here we go, major money. Awesome, so let's, whoa. <laughs> let's grab all that. Awesome. And then, before, like I said, before we go into there, I wanna go into the other room with the other door. Cause I don't know if these are levels instead of it being like, I don't know if I'm gonna be exploring the whole, ah, mansion in today's episode, or if maybe I'm only exploring a portion of the mansion, I'll come back later. I just wanna make sure that we get to everything. Cause if I miss out on something, I might have to replay the whole level. That wouldn't be fun. So yeah, let's try this again. And that worked. So let's see what's inside of this one first. I'm sort of uh, doing things at my own pace. Oh, 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 what's going on? Hello. That's the ticket, Sonny, but there's more. The strobe bulb allows you to stun ghosts by flashing them. Only then can they be captured. Got that? Mm -hmm. Now go give those paranormal dust bunnies what for. So yeah, if I take a look at the map, this is a dead end room just like the other one is, so hopefully we can just figure things out one step at a time. Oh, this is actually, oh yeah, this is outside with the dog. So maybe this is actually the end of the level. Are there some mice? 
Uh, I don't know if I should go to the other door then. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other door first. I just don't wanna do anything in the wrong order and then end up missing out on something. Okay, so inside of this one, give it a little flash. That'll open the door and we can go through. This is a tiny little room. It's a, it's a bathroom, it's a coach room. What's going on with this? Not much. I do hear the hum of what could be a ghost. Well, but be careful. Right now, let's flush the toilet. Maybe there's a ghost in there. Open it up. Hello? Ow. It's a very tall toilet. Whoa, 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 gosh. Uh, oh. Looks like Luigi's taking a shower too. Uh. Oh, oh, here we go. Let me get all the money first before I deal with this lady or guy. I don't know who's in there. It's very rude of me just to storm in on the bathroom like this. But where's like the proper entrance to this place? It's just a secret bathroom. Whoa, speaking of secrets, plenty more money. Plenty more. Okay, so I guess I'm good to do this. Hello. Oh. Ah. How rude. Oh, yikes, he hit the wall. Oh, but he's trying to leave. Why couldn't he leave to the right? I wonder. Very weird. There's nothing with the shower I can do. I think that we've done everything in this room. Oh, wait, there's some stuff between the walls. What's with that? How do I get the stuff between the walls? I don't know if that's possible. Oh, I see, I see. So we can do this. Yeah, I wasn't really finished exploring in here before. Ah, whoa! Oh, now he's trying to scare us, but he's locked himself in. Well, that's gonna be his own downfall, if you ask me. Oh, there we go. Come on, come on, our first ghost, we gotta catch him. And there we go, we got him. Oh, as easy as that. Isn't that cool? But why is the toilet steaming? I don't know, oh, because there's another ghost. Don't you dare try to wallop me. I saw you revving up that little ghost fist. There we go, we got him. Wow, look at that. And now the lights are on in here, so maybe that means we called all the ghosts. Well, there we go, we called both of those little dudes. Caused some big problems for us. Yeah, let's see if these have any, have like, you know, all that much money in it, in it for us. So it looks like a coin is worth one G, and then a dollar is worth 10 Gs. I wonder how much a gold bar is worth. Probably like 15 or 20. Anyways, I think that's everything. It's looking like it. So we are going to just skedaddle now. Whoa, there's a lot of ghosts though. They're all causing a big ruckus. All right, well they had plenty of friends. Okay, flash the sky, come on. No, I missed him. Uh, but yeah, it's very important to use the stroll bulb, it seems. Without it, things get really messed up. I don't know if we can even get them without the strobe bulb. Okay, get this guy. Oh, he got really close to me. I don't want to get hit by any of them. Well, at least we're, we're making money from it. So we're up to six ghosts in total now? That's crazy. Oh, and now Egad's calling us. What's up, buddy? Oh. Hello. That's the spirit, Luigi. Literally. <laughs> Just like old times, eh, feller? All right, that's enough for now. I'll bring it back to the, no wait. No, I'm not done. See, I knew it. I should have gone to the other room. <laughs> I should have trusted my intuition. Well, I guess we completed the level, but there was still more to do. So I wonder if I can do it in the next level or if that was it. Huh. Well, as you can see, it took me 17 minutes to clear everything. And we got six ghosts. Our health loss was 40, but we got a lot of treasure, but not enough. Didn't it say that it expected me to do like 2,000? Mm -hmm. I mean, I got a two star rank, that's pretty cool. Uh, we didn't get any of the gems. I don't know, this is really weird. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely gonna have to figure this out, but I think that maybe we have the chance to get these gems in different levels as well. I would hope so, but we'll find out in time, in time. So what's going on now? That's sort of the thing I don't like. You never know when the level is going to end. And that just makes it hard to collect everything. You made it back, and with all of your pixels to boot. Good work, Sonny. We might just make it out of this mess. Let's see what you sucked up with the Poltergeist 5000. Lots of ghosts. Whoa. Uh, oh, okay, so we just connect it. Oh man, all of our hard work. And I guess it'll total everything up. New ghost collected, wait, four W. 
I don't know what W stands for, but okay. Uh, treasure earned 1,015. Oh, so our next upgrade is in 2,000. That's cool. Uh, now what? I don't know. <laughs> Incredible. I'll start studying these ghosts post haste. Eh? Wondering where that pipe goes? All the stuff you collected goes to a super safe vault below. It's a good idea to visit it often to check your progress and see the results of my studies. I've got ghost descriptions, hints, even each ghost spectral mass. Knowledge is power after all. Okay, I'll scan the gloomy matter in search of paranormal signals. I reckon the ghost that took the other dark moon pieces is hiding there. Okay. So A1 Poltergeist, we get a two star, but what is that other slot for? Uh, but for right now, let's try this again. Ready for some more action? Ah, you're a courageous lad, he says, as Luigi is shaking his head no. You know, you remind me of myself at your age, feller. Ho ho, those were the days. Anywho, we need to start searching for the rest of the dark moon. Okay. Luckily, I've got the invention to make our job easier. I call it the Periscope, a tip-top device that detects and measures dis distant paranormal signals. In fact, I just use it to scan the gloomy manor, and I found some strong activity in the north rooms. That's where we'll start our search. Okay. So it looks like we're going back into the gloomy manor. Ho ho, you haven't changed a bit, my boy. There's no reason to be scared now that you're equipped with my mighty Poltergust 5000. Let's hope that's true. Now, details. There's a mechanism that controls the access to that section. Oh yeah, we saw that. The big gears in the back of the main room, the, the foyer room, I think. The access mechanism is in the foyer. I'll give you instructions once you get there. Okay. So we're pulling our DS back. Yeah, yep, right there in the foyer. Got all that? Good, now get a move on. Alrighty, off we go. Getting sucked back up by the screen. See, this will be very interesting. I'm definitely going to try to see if I can't get what I missed in the first level. I'm, I'm likely going to be able to do that. Whoop. Ow. <laughs> Poor Luigi. Okay, so here we are at the entrance again. This actually is perfect. I wonder if I should try to suck everything back up that I've already gotten. Will that get me money again? I mean, so far, not looking like it. We'll have, to, we'll have to double check everything, which is sort of gonna be a bit exhaustive in some ways. But you know, we'll try it. I mean, it looks like there are some things that are closed up, right? Cause like this curtain used to be all rolled up. But now that, no, 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 no. I wasn't done, Luigi. What are you doing? Yeah, pull that back. Funny that I can kick it back over though. What happens if I press this button now? It won't give me the dog bone again, I'd imagine. Yeah, now it's empty. Okay, so it looks like there are some things that like once I get them in the previous level, there's nothing to really get. Which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I never really did this, did I? Oh, this gave me the spiders. Well, what can I do with these things? Whoa, it turned into a gold bar. Oh my gosh. Can I do that again? Will they show back up? Ah, not looking like it. I was supposed to get all those in that amount of time. Not very much time at all. Anyways, yeah, we need to run up to this, just like we learned at the end of the last episode. Blast it, and we can just go on down into this room. So I went into the mudroom exterior, but I turned back because I didn't think I needed to go in here. I thought this this would be the room that ended level, because I figured like, oh, maybe once we get a piece of the dark moon, the level ends, but it just sort of ends when Egad says it's over. Is that little dog still in here? Well, he jumped into one of these little holes, didn't he? So maybe not. So far, there's not too much going on in here, except for the fact that we have this gem. This must be a part of the dark moon. And boom! Very cool, and look at this, it's our first one out of 13. We got many more to find. Oh, Egad's giving us a call. Doing some gemstone hunting on the side, eh, fella? Can't say I blame you, those gems are one of a kind, worth a fortune, I reckon. Maybe they're not a part of the, the moonstone, I don't know. But remember, you've got a job to do. You'll have time to look at your gems later in the vault. Carry on, youngster. Okay, so we did that, that's very cool. I'm gonna try my best to collect all those, because that just sounds like it's fun. So really, there is not any money to get out this way. We've only found 20 coins so far. We'll get back into the action, though. So it looks like, yes, gold bars are worth 20 coins. Good to know. 
It's not really worth bothering with this other stuff for now. Uh, for right now, I'll just go where I'm supposed to go. Which seems to be down this way. So if I just run down as fast as I can. Whoa, is this window broken? Ow, I got distracted. <laughs> oh, there's a little mouse. Oh, he dropped the coin when I did that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. Oh, he gave me some health too. Uh, trying to grab these other things while I can too. Can you stop that? Okay, grab the coin. Oh, this coin's about to disappear. Run! Ow! <laughs> stop it! Rude. Okay, these little mice are driving me nuts, so I'm just leaving. So we're back in this room, and oh no, that one door's open now. Whoa, this guy means business. Hey, that's not yours. What are you doing? You're making a big mess of everything. Oh, there's more than one of them too. They don't even like each other. Looks like he's the leader of the group. Gotta leave him. You know, I need that stuff. That's probably why they took it. So what do we gotta do now? I'm not quite sure. Oh, we're gonna call. He's really dialing up her minutes. Dag blasted ghosts. Luigi, those brutes just stole the gears from the access mechanism I told you about. I'll use the periscope to find them. Then you can use the map on the, the DS to hunt them down. Ho oh, ho, the terrified look in your eye just gave me a great idea. From now on, I'm going to call the DS, this is genius, the dual scream. Yeah, because before, Luigi had the Game Boy Horror. Ho oh, ho ho ho, dual scream, ho. Oh. Interact with the map on the dual scream to locate the brute ghosts in the West Wing. The map has a whole slew of features, so be sure to mess around with it later. But now, get those gears back, look lively. So, uh, first off, I will poke around in this room a little bit, recover all four stolen gears. Uh, see, so yeah, in the bottom screen, I can actually see a little to-do list. Activate the mechanism in the foyer, we can't do that. Recover all four stolen gears is what we gotta do first. Hold on, can I go back to that? So yeah, I guess we have some smaller things to get done. Recover a gear in the lab, parlor, parlor study, and studio. Cool. So for right now, my goal is just to sort of poke around a little bit more as we normally do. Uh, see if I can't maybe get some health back or anything like that. Camera's very zoomed out. Hard to really see what's going on. So I, I just can't interact with this. It doesn't really do anything. So for right now though, ah, I didn't want to do that. Oh gosh, you have the key. I thought I sort of slammed the door shut. I don't know if I did or not. Oh, get back here. Here we go again. So what do I got to do to get this guy? I guess I got to run back through the hallway of doom. Hope I don't get sliced by the statues. Here, flash that guy. Grab those coins, thank you very much. No, oh, oh, that was close. Got him. But there's still more than they keep popping up indef indefinitely. Come on, I can get that, I can get that from here. No, I can't, there we go. It was just be really picky with me. And, oh, there he is, there he is, got him, sort of. Pull on him, pull on him, he ain't get away from me, thank you very much. And we get a key, not bad. So there we go, we got it. So now we can run back. But maybe I should check out this room while I'm over here, because who knows when I'm coming back, you know? Is there anything extra around here? Uh, Doesn't currently seem like it. I do hear some more mice. Lots of mice around now. Uh, I know that was a thing in the first game, there was like golden mice that I, I missed the opportunity of getting almost every single time. I was very not good at the first game, so I'm trying to be as good as I can in this game <laughs> to make up for it. So yeah, once again, not looking like much. So I'll run back over and we'll open up that door. Okay, open it up. So this is either gonna be the studio or one of those other rooms. I forget the names of the other ones. I just remember the studio. Uh, this is the common, oh, oh no, I'm, I'm getting it confused. I was getting it, the map was a little weird. I thought I was looking at these doors. So this is a totally new place for us, and we can also roll up this rug. Look at this, all this hidden money under all that. It looks like that's as far back as I can pull it. Okay, what about, yeah, this whole stack of stuff? Nothing? Okay, well, for right now, I can go into here. Whoa, this is the lab. Oh yeah, this is where Egad was, I remember. Wait, did I just suck up a book? I think I did. 
Yeah, this is in the opening cutscene last episode. Oh, is this a thing? No, that, that's not a green circle, that's a yellow. Can't do much with that. I can take this fire though, right? No? Not as much to do around here as I expected. <laughs> Make everything wiggle around, aha! There he is! Oh, almost got him. There he is, come on. We're gonna get you. we're gonna get you. Thank you very much, ow, this guy punched me though. Rude. There it is. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you very much. Uh, nothing on the ceiling now. Oh, big one, big one, big one. Come on, flash him, there we go. So it's sort of the same deal. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Got him, that wasn't so bad. So that was our first red ghost, and along with it, we got ourselves a piece of the gear. Not bad. Anything else to do around here? I got a, it was a blueprint I sucked up that time. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, beyond that, there has not been much treasure so far. That's a bit disappointing. There's definitely not anything on the ceiling around here. I do, however, first I'll see a big hole in the wall, and along with it, you could definitely take this. Yeah, there's like a little hallway on the map. What is going on here, the secret pocket? Can I poke my head inside of here? Whoa. These guys look weird. They're just painting, the <laughs> little artists are painting themselves, look at that. He's like a little uh, example. He's like, hey, stay where you are. <laughs> Did they just sort of loop? Or are they actually gonna be able to finish their painting? Oh. Yeah, I guess it's sort of just the same thing over and over again. So I'll have to sneak up on them and do something about that. For right now though, we got some money to get and a key. Awesome, I wonder if that opens up that door. Anything else to do around here? It doesn't look like it. Yep, this place is actually rather undetailed. Can I have, I could have looked inside of here too. I gotta keep in mind that kind of stuff. Because it might give me more details on what to do. Okay, anyways, can we go into this room now? <laughs> don't don't flash it with the lightning, or the light bulb. No, I can't. Oh, why not? That's a little weird. Let me double check then. There's something blocking the door? Yeah, there's a big pile. I wonder if I can, from here, no. Weird, there must be another way in then, right? Uh, not looking like it. Maybe if I use the vacuum on the door, I'm a little confused. It's hard to see, hard to tell. Hmm. hmm. All right, well, we'll have to figure that out. For right now, I'll try just vacuuming it. If not, maybe there's another way to get in. Yeah, that's definitely not doing anything. That's okay. Oh, this is a big stack of money right here. Oh gosh, the bats are coming in. What can I do about these guys? Uh, I can flash them, turn them into money and stuff. That's cool. Uh, anything else? Can I go through this door? Window, I mean? Guess not. Destroying these books right now. Okay, yeah, going this way, there's a big picture of cheese and a smaller picture of cheese and the mouse running away with the cheese. What's going on in here? What's going on? So this is the library. Oh, some magical flying books. You think they'd be able to organize themselves, but they're all over the place in here. There's like a second level to it too. Okay. Well, that shouldn't be too big of a deal to get into. I mean, yeah, there's a door right here, but it's covered in spider webs. Can't quite get through that amount of spider webs, I don't think. But there's a present, no, not a present, a picture talking about a key. But I already have a key. Maybe that's just a hint? Yeah, I don't know what's with these weird pictures sometimes. So that's all I can get to around here. Well actually no, there's another, I didn't see that before. Apparently on the map it's saying that there is a door over here? No there's not. Huh, maybe there would be if I figured out this whole gear situation or maybe I gotta go up the steps. Ah, whoa, okay, not going that way. 
That was wrong. Whoa, what's happening? It's this guy. One of the picture ghosts, and he's gone. Oh man, not good. Not good at all. Where'd he go, Luigi? There he is, there he is, he's in the vase. Run, run, run. Hiya! That didn't work. Maybe I gotta kick it? There it is, there it is, flash him. Uh, yeah, that's it. No, wait, no, wait, come back, come back, come back. Oh gosh, I messed it up. I let go too soon. So he's inside of this one now. Open up, open up. There we go. Oh, we can get him, we can get him. Thank you very much, sir. All righty. That one was crazy. But I still can't get up here? No, I can. It's going away now. That was definitely scary. What was that? I thought something was shaking. It might be because I just tried to suck it up by accident. So yeah, what's going on up here that might be different? Nothing really. Oh, but maybe I can go to this door to the left. Oh, I can. I do have a key for it now. But yeah, we're still saying that there was a door to the right on the bottom floor. I didn't see that anywhere, so that might just be like a, an exit only area? I don't know, it's weird. More giant spider webs, that does not bode well. Huh. There's lots of weird stuff going on in this mansion, what can I say? Aha, this might be our way to get into the little artistry room, right? Or not, oh no. Uh, Come on, get these guys. That's a gold bar. Ow! Oh, they hurt. No, I was trying to get those. You can't flash very quickly, so it's hard to get all that, but I at least got one. Uh, The parlor. Spooky. What's inside of this? Not much. Anything inside of here? Shake it up a little bit? Not really. I can mess with the ceiling fan. That almost always does something. Whoa! Whoa, okay, that's really doing something. It lowered the ceiling, and there's a ton of money inside. I like how everybody who owns a mansion in the Mario universe, like, it does not like using a bank whatsoever. They hide all of their cash just in random parts of their mansion. Oh, look at that, we got a golden bone, too. Awesome. So, I don't know what I'm using the golden bones for. So, I haven't figured that out. What is this about? There's like a clock over the clock. It's 1.19 in the morning. Luigi, it is way past your bedtime. Ah, oh, that made a ghost. Okay, two of them, actually. Can I get both of them at once? Ooh, a two for one deal, not bad. Oh, gosh, this guy's not happy about that. It's like, hey, who ruined my music? Flash him, there we go. Oh, man, come on. Thank you very much. Oh, got him. Awesome, and that got us another gear. Okay, well, that was wild. <laughs> also, a minute has passed, it's 120. Very intense minute. So we're two out of four with the gears. Oh, so I can press X to look up. That could be helpful. Uh, what's inside of this one? Not much. Still can't really do anything with the fire. And it looks like the clock doesn't do much either. Weird. Okay, so I don't know if there's too much more to do in this room. And I searched through, couldn't find much. But there's still other rooms to get to. Oh, also, another picture of cheese. Oh gosh, more more spiders. Thank you for the coin. Thank you for the coin. Okay, so interacting with random stuff will just make random things happen. So that's, this is the room I came from, the door I came from. All these spiders, that must mean there's, there's a big spider somewhere. That really making me feel uncomfortable. Oh boy. The bedroom. Oh, what's in here? Open up. Oh, it's the thing. It's another one, that one looks like a mushroom. Hmm. But I can't get into it. I need to find a way to get rid of the spider web. Oh, and there's a little uh, thing over this way. Plenty more coins. Very good. Thank you very much. I'll take it. And I can shake this, not much. There's also, once again, another ceiling fan to mess with. That at least got me some extra health, which I could use. I was down to 75 health. So there's a lot of exploring, a lot of poking around in this game. Sometimes it leads to good stuff, like this hole in the wall. Might be something. Let's take a little poke through. So this is the study. Ooh, and there's another gear right there. So I'll have to find a way into this room. It actually doesn't have a proper door inside. Or no, 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 it does right here. What am I talking about? Uh, and what about this? 
Oh, it's on fire. There wasn't much more. And what is this about? Is this a curtain or? Wait, why did they not work? That was weird. Uh. There we go, whoa, it's a bed. One Luigi jumping on the bed? Oh no, I don't trust this. Oh no, watch out! Ah! Oh, we're in here now. Okay, so I guess we didn't need the door. Oh, this place is spooky. What did that do? That gave me some health. That's actually a good thing. So can I just take this real quick or is he? Okay, he didn't like that. Oh no. Flash, there we go. Come on, we can get him, we can get him. Thank you very much. There was another one around. He's right there. Got him. Oh, there's a couple of them too. It also, what's cool about using the flash is even if you don't land the hit on them, it'll actually show where they are. Okay, there's lots of little mice around too. Boom, got ya, got ya. Hold on, I need to get this money so I don't want it to disappear. Come on, we can get this guy too. He's down to 12. Ow, the little mouse hit me. That was rude. Come on, oh no, 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 Luigi! Are you okay? You got punched by a big mean ghost. And got him. See, was that so tough? I don't think so, I mean, it was. <laughs> you get out of here. So you're making me lose coins. And there is our third gear. Not bad, right? So first off, let's open some more stuff. Oh, get some health back for sure, that'd be great. And I can also pull these curtains off. Besides, you know, it being property damage, I don't know if it's really doing too much for us. But I might as well try. There's a, there's definitely a picture back here. Oh, and I also made a bunch of bats. And they turned into dollar bills. But this isn't doing anything for us, once again. It's weird with those pictures, like they, they seem like they do something, but they don't. Maybe it's a hint. Maybe there's a, there's a gem in this room. Not in there. I mean, I feel like as we unlock more abilities, we'll find more stuff. Oh, there's another little mouse, getting him out of here. Oh yeah, I'm making that alarm clock go crazy. But maybe it is a hint, it's saying that there is a gem somewhere in this room. Even if I can't get it now, I can maybe come back in a, in a later level and do it. Just like with the gem I got in today's episode. But for right now, hey now, no, that's not what I wanted. Let's try this. Ooh. Ooh, the fire goes out. Can I go inside? Oh, I don't trust this. Be careful, Luigi. Even though the fire's out, I'm sure that's still hot. Oh no! Oh hey, look at this, we're in the studio! Very cool. Oh, and they ran. They're not even in here anymore? No, oh, then they have to be in here still. Oh, there's one of them. What is he doing? Is he throwing oranges at me? That's just rude. That's just a waste of good food. I mean, I know you don't need it because you know, you're a ghost and all, ow. That doesn't mean it's not worth getting or taking care of. Did I get him? No. Okay, I think he's behind this. Maybe not, that's just a bunch of money. I'm not doing very good at finding these guys right now. Come on, ow, I got him, but then he got me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We got him, see you, buddy. And I get my health back. Where's this other guy at? He usually pops up around here. Come on out. Oh, he's over here now? Yep, he's in here. Come on, come on. Got it. You're going down. Thank you very much. Okay, well that was great. We got rid of both of those dudes. Now we can, oh gosh, he's around. Come on. I don't think he's much of the painter type. Oh boy. I think he's a little bit more interested in putting the pain in the paint. Get it? Anyways, we got our fourth gear. We'll grab that in a second, but I don't trust uh, EGAD. I feel like he's gonna end the level the second I pick it up. So I wanna just like check out everything else. Oh, we can take a little picture too. Whoa, there's a gem up there. Let's zoom in, let's zoom in if I can. Up there in the corner. So like up this way? Yeah, oh there it is, there it is. Okay, so we got ourselves another gem. This is gem number two. Looks like an egg, or it's, it's a little bit more too oval shaped to be an egg. But I'm glad that we got our second gem. Not too much going on over that way. Or inside of this, oh, there's a couple of coins. I'll gladly, oh wait, I didn't mean to take it yet. Oh darn. I mean, hey, maybe the level's not over. I think there might be more we gotta do. Recover all four stolen gears. Of course, Egad is gonna call us and tell us all about it. Oh. Hello. Luigi, how goes it, my boy? Hmm. You found all four gears? That's quick, ho ho. Uh, well, you got there in the end. 
Good work, Sonny. Now head back to the foyer and put the gears back into the access mechanism. Sure, we'll do that in a moment. For right now, I gotta suck this up to get out of here. Might as well check out everything else. Oh, here we go. So we get to see the picture somebody drew a mustache on it. That's great. And anything inside of this big cap? Nope. But yeah, I'm glad that we got one of the gems. That has me super excited. So we're good. We can make our way out of here. I like the studio. The studio is fun. And we never went into here because yeah, that's all covered in uh, spider webs and stuff. Okay. Well, for now, going through this door, and we should be good to do this. Looks like it. What exactly do you do though? Gotta solve the puzzle. Oh no. Luigi might be a plumber, but he's definitely not a mechanic. Uh, what do we gotta do? Hopefully Egad can help us. Why the long face, Luigi? Well, mm -hmm. genetics, I suppose. <laughs> Yikes. Criminy, the gears don't fit into the mechanism. Those brute ghosts must have bent them or something. I suppose I'll have to repair them in order to make them work. Well, at least you recovered all of them. And it looks like you captured some very interesting ghosts. I can't wait to check them out. I'm bringing you back now. Oh, I guess that's all we're doing. That's fine. Another job well done. We got two gems in this level, so I think things turned out quite well. Mission complete. Hey, buddy. Good work, Luigi. I knew I should have called you first. Who would you have called second? I'm curious now. <clears throat> Let's have a look at those gears. Imagine if it was like Bowser or something. Imagine Bowser with the poltergeist running through this. What if he's more afraid of ghosts than Luigi is? Anyways, hmm, I'll come up with something to make him work again. Now, let's unload the poltergeist and see what kind of ghosty, ghostly goodies you got. Sure, and we got ourselves another good couple hundred coins and that's almost 2,000 before we get our next upgrade. That's nice. Can't wait to do that. We'll definitely be doing that by next episode then. I was right, these new ghosts are very interesting indeed. Such spectacular specimens. And that won't be making any more, tr and they won't be making any more trouble for us now that they're in the vault. In the vault, you can review all the types of ghosts that you've captured. And while you're there, feel free to read my research notes on their ghostly behavior. Analyzing the paranormal signatures of ghosts also helps me fine tune the old periscope. Now skedaddle, I need to figure out a way to make go the, those go gears work again. We're doing A3, which is quiet, please. All right, we'll have you fix them. Hey there, Luigi. Now, where were we? Oh yes, the access mechanism in the foyer. Indeed we were. Looks like he is fixing it up. Oh, uh, okay. Here you go, use this crank to operate the access mechanism. Once you do that, you'll be able to access the north rooms, the gloomy manor. Criminy, you hear that? The periscope is picking up an audible signal the very same area, from the very same area we're trying to reach. Let's see here, it's music. How odd. If I remember rightly, there's a grand piano in the library. Maybe a ghost is playing around on it. Anywho, let's mark where you need to go first on the map. Sure. So it looks like we're going way up there. Let's hope that turns out okay. Before that was marked off by uh, a bunch of spider web. Luigi, this is the strongest paranormal signal we've seen yet. With a signal that strong, I reckon the ghost playing the piano might be giving orders to the other ghosts. No time to waste, my boy. Get to the library and catch that ghost. We'll do what we can. Oh man, so we are back at it again with more action. More ghost catching action. But yeah, this is getting crazier and crazier. So this might be the head honcho ghost. Or as you might be able to say, the orchestrator of all the ghosts. And let's see what's going on. So once again, I don't know if it's gonna be really useful to do any of this because we've already tried to do it. It doesn't really give us anything new. So I think we could just sort of rush through. Let's hope that's the case. Oh, the knights aren't here anymore. Oh, that's spooky. Ah, and it's dark. Go to the, these little mice too, get some extra money out of it. Can I look out this window now that's open? Ow, can't. Dude, you're being so rude, stop that. Okay, uh, might as well grab the extra money. Cause like, why not? 
And you, and you. <laughs> it really isn't much, but it, it's worth grabbing, right? I'd imagine. Okay, so. I don't like the sound of this. You can hear somebody's jamming out. So let's try this again. We couldn't do this last episode, but now with the crank, seems to be working pretty well. Oh my, like clockwork. And down goes the aquarium. Very interesting, but how do we get to the gem on the other side of that? <laughs> I did it. Can we reactivate this? Use the crank and foyer, check. Still can't quite do much about this. Investigate the music in the library. Sure thing. So yeah, I can't interact with this at all. I can kick this thing. And I can still take a look inside of here, as you can see. Maybe there's a way to get inside at some point. For right now, though, it's a mystery. So, ow. Again with these mice. They're not being very nice. <laughs> uh, so we need to investigate the music in the library. So I guess the best way to do that would be to... One thing. Oh, was that a golden mouse? It looked like for a second there might have been a golden mouse there. That looked like a little golden tail. Okay. Yeah, but the best way, ooh, look at this. Yeah, we can go into this now. Whoa, the lobby. Oh, they're doing a little rock, paper, scissors. Got him. Okay, come on, take him, take him, take him. Thank you very much. And turn to his friend. I don't know which one won the, the rock, paper, scissors game, but I guess Luigi did. <laughs> Luigi's beats, Luigi beats all three of them. Okay, uh, there we go. Ooh, it's another one of these. Well, actually, there might be another ghost around. Oh, oh no, oh no! Oh gosh, spiders everywhere! Get rid of him! Find this dude, get rid of him! Thank you! Almost done, almost done! Yeah, there we go, we got him. Oh my gosh, very intense. So what's inside of here? A bunch of nothing. Is that money still on the ground? I think we got it. Okay. Now I'm not trying to open up the, the elevator, I'm trying to kick this thing. Any money up on the ceiling? Doesn't look like it, but I can open that up. And there's plenty more money in that safe. That's good. Okay, so what do we do now? For right now I can go through this door. I can't go into the elevator, but that's okay. And we're in the library! The piano is playing itself. Well, it doesn't seem like there's much we can do about it, except for just, you know, to go across. I could go back into the, the room, but I don't want to do that. Oh, no. Oh, no, this book is not happy with me. And a golden spider. Thank you very much for that golden bar. Cool. Got these flying books. There's not really much you can do with them, it seems. What is this? Oh, this is a picture of fire. Hold on. I'm grabbing that. Thank you. Ah, uh, don't hit me. Run, run, run. Another spider. How many of these are gonna pop up? I wonder. I'm gonna keep my eye out for them. We can get more stuff, the more the better. Ouch, there it goes. Can you like see them up on the rafters? Oh, two golden mice, ow, no, 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 wait. Come back, come back, come back, come back. The books ruined it. Go quickly. Oh, I got both of them, so they both drop a golden bar. Those are my first two golden mice. That's awesome. That really might be everything though. I'd imagine so. I'll give it a second. Ow, that really got me. We're down to 70 health. Okay, go through here, quickly. I'm tired of getting hit by the books. You know, they say they hit the books, but they never tell you that the books might hit back. Oh, come on. <laughs> what was that? There we go, thank you. A bunch of mice in the dining room. Might mean that there is a... They might be trying to nibble on some of the food. Oh, look at this. And for my next trick... Oh, hey, that actually worked. I thought that was gonna make a huge mess. Well, we're gonna still make a huge mess because we're gonna vacuum everything up and whoa! The chandeliers hold so much money. It's great, I love it. All righty, so let's run back over this way. I don't know if I actually shook this around enough. Oh, and there's another curtain. Whoa, and getting all the curtains gave me a bunch of money. Okay, that's pretty cool. Gotta keep that in mind. It might not just be one curtain that's enough. You need to get all of the curtains and that got me a ton of money. Oh, and I can open this and there's a mean spider inside. How was I supposed to know? Nothing else though, okay. What about this? This seems a bit odd, doesn't it? Oh, here we go, here we go. Grab that and give it a pull. 
Oh, you know, that's where you put all your dirty dishes and then it goes to like the, the people who wash the dishes, I suppose. So we'll do that, but also could I leave? I could leave out this way, I'm a little curious. Another giant spider web out on the balcony. Oh gosh, more bats. Am I supposed to flash them? That was a dollar. There's another dollar. Hold on. Yeah, they're all up here on the roof. There we go. Lots of money for that. Okay, dude, you're being a bit rude. Where is he going? Hard to tell, but I think I got him, yeah. Wait, did I get the dollar though? I think it fell. Wait, there it is! No, come back! Thank you. <laughs> okay, so there is also some money up on this birdhouse. But it doesn't seem like there's much more. Yeah, unfortunately, that's about it. Oh, but can I get the this window? With the shutters? No? Okay. Don't think there's too much more I can do then. That's fine. Good for the little detour. Made some extra cash. And now we can go into here. So this will probably lead to the kitchen, I'd have to imagine. Because this is how they would bring food up and down. Yeah, and also the dirty dishes and stuff. So I'm guessing if I were to pull this again, it would open that little thing up again. Let's try it out. Yep, for sure. So we got like bags of probably like rice or flour. Uh, we can also open it up to find a bunch of nothing. Got this big table. Has these little drawers we can open up. <laughs> this big rack for things. Whoa, did I see a gem at the wall there? Oh, this is a door. Okay. I got a, okay, it's just not good to see a big pile of trash in the middle of the kitchen. That's not sanitary, no wonder there's mice everywhere. Okay, what are you doing? Oh, he has a little, a shield. No, you don't. How did that, okay, now he's dizzy, he's dizzy, he's dizzy, I got him. <laughs> he was all kitted out. He had the, the full kitchen armor. That was cool. Okay, well we got him, but that's not everything, there's more. Okay, I got one of them. Uh, there it is, so I gotta run so that when he starts swinging at me, he doesn't hit me. And then boom, got him. Come on, come on. Thank you very much. And look at that. Nice stuff, he got the room completed. Let's take a look around here. Got some extra money right there, next to the spice rack. And inside the stove, be careful, Luigi. Uh, I thought we got a little rolling pin. What about inside of the fridge? Whoa, oh hey, it's one of the gems. Oh, you know what I can do with this? Let's roast this open over an open flame. And look at that. Perfect. So there we go, we get our third gem. First gem of today's episode, it's a little uh, diamond. Many more of those to go. But hey, that was cool. Really happy about that one. Is there anything up on the ceiling? Doesn't look like it. I could go to the left, but I'm also very curious what's to the, the bottom. I can't, I don't have a key. All right, that's fine. Let's keep going then. Oh my. Bring me back to Mario 64. Ah! This guy's got a big brain. Oh man. Ah! So what do we gotta do about this? I do not know. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, come on. Keep going, keep going. There it is. Okay, we almost got him out, taken out already, but then he smacked me with a book. Okay, where is he now? I don't know. Uh, don't hit me with that. Maybe if I mess with his piano. No, that's not doing anything. I don't know how I got him to go out before. Because now he's just not here. Oh, maybe it's wherever the, uh, the books are quivering. Oh, I hear him, over this way? Hey, don't be rude. Am I supposed to, yeah, I guess I'm just supposed to listen for him. There we go. Nice, that wasn't too bad at all. Got some extra health for it, but that's not it. He has friends that are very identical to himself. Oh no, gotta watch out for the books. Come on, almost got him. Ah, but the book got me. Oh no, you don't. Okay, run away from that. He's gotta be around here somewhere then. I mean, he also had a friend. That didn't do anything, but if we charge it up, we do get like a longer blast radius. 
There we go. Okay, hold on. Oh, I didn't quite get him. That's a shame. There he is. Oh, this is the other guy. Which it'll be good to get him too. But now we got a bunch of books flying towards us, which makes it much more difficult. Like, how do you do anything about that? So when those books start to fly, we know where he's gonna be. Here we go. Oh, we got both of them now. Oh, you guys are in trouble. Thank you very much. Investigate the music in the library? Check. Awesome. Looks like Egad's calling us to congratulate us. Hello. You okay, Luigi? You had me worried for a minute there, kiddo. Those big brained ghosts sure put up a fight. The way they throw though they were throwing all those books at you reminded me of my college professors. Anywho, I'll bring you back now so I can study those magnificent specimens. All right, well, there we go. Hopefully we found everything we could find because we are heading down here. This was a really short level. I guess some of them are gonna be really short, some of them not so much. Mission complete. See, this is our first time hitting over 2,000 gold and with it, hopefully we'll get something cool. Hello, Luigi, good to see you back in one piece. Whoa. So same as usual, we'll pump in all that money and all the ghosts and everything. So we got a new gem collected, new ghost collected, very big brain, dude. Treasure earned 724, which is gonna get us past 2,000, and now we gotta get up to 4,000 at some point. That shouldn't be too bad. Poltergeist upgraded and locked. 2,000 gold collected, we're level two. When vacuuming up a ghost, you'll be able to charge the power gauge longer. We can ghosts even have oh, even more all right, we can ghost even more when you press A. Okay, interesting. I'll have to keep that in mind. Those brainy poltergeists sure are strong, but they don't seem to be in charge of the other ghosts. I reckon they're still worth studying, though. It's just so fascinating with how some ghosts can evolve into more advanced forms. I don't fully understand the nature of their power, but I will one day. I mean, one day I guess you might also be a ghost, and then you'll really understand. That will be my legacy in the world of paranormal science. And you, Luigi. Once this is all over, you'll finally step out of your brother's shadow and be recognized as a true hero. I think he already is. <laughs> all right, well there we go, that was a lot of fun. And it looks like next level is going to be a4 visual tricks. Criminy, someone's been casting illusions in the gloomy manner. We'll need my dark light device to see through this hooey. I'm pretty sure I left it in the lab. So the dark, dark light device. I'll, I tell you, Luigi, some things in this world are just too strange to be real. Some are real, of course, but some are illusions. There, I've got something to show you. Or here, I've got something to show you. What could it be? Uh, oh. This is a spirit ball, a paranormal specimen with the ability to cause illusions. And someone is releasing a whole mess of them inside of uh, inside the gloomy manor. Oh. Might be a little too dangerous for us. That's why some of the objects in there, even whole suits of armor, have suddenly vanished. Yeah, we noticed that last level. Uh, there was uh, suits of armor gone. But trust me, they're still there. Luckily, I created a special Poltergeist 5000 attachment a while back that will help us. Ooh. I call it the dark light device. It's a nifty little doodad able to break illusions such as objects that have been turned invisible. So I guess we'll be flashing that everywhere. But with all the ghosts gone hostile, I haven't been able to return to my lab to retrieve it. Well, we know exactly where your lab is. But now that you're here, you can get in there and grab it. Oh, great. Another errand to go and run. You'll find the dark light device attached to its charging station. It should be fully charged by now. Okay, I'm sending you in. Prepare to be pixelated. All right. So same as usual, we're, we're jumping into this mansion. So it seems like the mansions have a lot of levels. We're on A4 right now. I'm guessing there might be like five or six of them. But hey, there might be more. Here we are again. So with this one, maybe I'll poke around a little bit. Maybe I'll go into the garage and the room to the right and just make extra sure there isn't anything else I can find. I don't think there will be. It really does seem like it's about, you know, once you find something in a room, even in the future levels, it will be mostly empty, except for like a couple of mice around, it seems that might be a thing. Oh. Oh, got him. Like mice and spiders and stuff will, will stay around, but anything like long-term. 
might not quite work out the same way. Okay. I thought this door's a little bit more open than it was before, but I still can't move that ladder. Anyways, like I said, not much going on around here. So we're, ah, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, we got ourselves a golden ghost. I told, I spoke too soon and I got him. Wowee, are they just around? I do it. Cool. Maybe I should pay attention to the lights because were the lights on before? I don't know. That's really weird. Uh, I'm really not sure how that works. So for right now, I will, I'll poke around this room too. See, I got the lights taken out. Maybe that means there's a ghost around now. Because the ghost, oh, you can see once again, there's something missing here. So maybe now if I try to leave, will a ghost pop up? Not quite. Well, are there any of them missing here? No, they all seem to be here for this one. Okay, well that's fine. We'll just get over this way for now. It's very weird trying to figure out how you're supposed to properly complete this game at times. It's just odd. Anyways, going over this way. And, can we go into the lab? Oh, the door's gone. That's not good. Uh, Was that a boo laugh? Maybe there's a boo around. What about this? There's like a TV here now. I thought there was. Ah, it's shaking. But how do I get in? That's the question. I might have to use the little secret entrance now. So we'll try that out. Thank you very much. Also, let's run over this way and pull up the carpet again. There's probably not gonna be much, but last time there was money. Now there's a bunch of nothing. Okay, go inside and see if I can't find my way to sneak in. I mean, this won't be too helpful. This is the little art room, which as you can see, is rather fine. Hmm. Okay. So if I can't get in through the door, I mean the door might not be there, but it's still actually there, but I still can't get in. Hmm. Oh, I'm getting a call. This might help things out. Hello. Luigi, am I seeing this right? Did the lab's door just disappear? It must have been haunted by spirit balls from inside the room. Hmm, I'm sure there's another way into that room. Well, what is that other way? Maybe now that he's talked to me, I can find out. If I had to guess, I'd probably assume it's a, uh, ah, oh, more bats. Hold on, got him, free money. Uh, it'd probably be upstairs. So I think that's where we're gonna poke around. Oh, and that's another thing. That's where these, like there's different doors that lead to different places I can't quite see. Maybe that's what's going on. Also, I never think I poked my head into here. What's going on? Oh no, this is the library. Yeah, we saw this. We saw all this. Okay, we're good. Hmm. Maybe from above though, we could fall down into it. Like if we go to F2. Yeah, there's a lot of F2. I don't know if we've explored too much. Anyways, uh, the best way to do that would be to go through this door. Hopefully, oh, what's wrong? I don't know. Does that mean there's ghosts around here? The way he's like, Rrr. it might. So we should definitely look around as much as I can. Just poke around with some different stuff. Whoa, lots of money in there this time. Okay, it is really weird how some things will change, some things will not. Okay. Still can't do much with the aquarium, unfortunately, but I'm sure at some point we will. Can't mess with the gears anymore. Whoa, yeah, there's this money restoring in here. It's really weird how sometimes it does that, sometimes it doesn't. I think it just depends on which rooms you're supposed to be going in right now, which is a little bit odd. Nothing in there, though. Okay. I'm always trying to suck up the little mouse holes, too. Well, okay, so I can't quite go down here yet, but maybe a ghost will pop up. Yeah, just like last time, actually. So maybe that's what what that means, like Luigi sort of shakes it off when he goes into a room, maybe that means that there's a ghost somewhere in there. Anyways, oh, one of these big guys again too. Okay, uh, ow, that hurt, but can I get you? You bet I can. Whoa, that was crazy. 
So yeah, let's let's flash this guy and let the meter fill all the way up. We got this upgrade at the end of last episode. Now as you can see, that just like totally zaps him away. Are they still in these pots? Uh, oh gosh, ow, that stunk. Come on, come on. Come on, got him and get him. I'm trying to pull at him. And we'll just do that because he, uh, he was almost taken out anyways. Oh, now he's in this one? Uh, I think he's in here. Yes, he is. Got him. Come on. See you, buddy. And that's everybody. Oh, indeed. Maybe I should also check this room out a little bit. It seems fine. Oh, no, it's not. So he didn't shake that time going into it. So maybe I just have to go into every room. Like, that's that's the lesson here. Uh, That was very rude. There we go. I got a two for one deal, though. Maybe, sort of. Okay, flash this guy. And we got him. Was that everything? That was indeed everything. Well, okay, these are gonna give me a dollar. I can also open these up. And I got a gold bone. Not bad. Back to taking the, the, the jackets. These are mine, thank you very much. And what about this one? Another dollar in there. But then let's really quickly check this out. Not much. So last thing I can do is like try to do anything with the lights or go onto the toilet. So the, the, the sink is on in here. But not much is happening. Okay. Can we hop in? Can we take a quick shower? It's never a bad time for a bath, I suppose. Wow, cool. What's under here? Nothing. Oh yeah, I remember this now. And there's still money in there. Okay, might as well. That seems to be it. Unless I can somehow pull the plunger, not the plunger, the, the little, the flusher. I can pull this little hole in the wall. Didn't see this before. But I must have at some point. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that, that flushes the toilet, but it doesn't do much. Okay, well that was cool. Now we should be able to go up these stairs, no problem. Indeed we can. Is there something else going on in this vault again? More money? Not quite, okay. So a couple ways we can go. I've already done all this, but I might as well double check it. Looking like a whole bunch of nothing. Okay. So this is going to be right over where we need to be. If we go into this room to the left right here. So that's what I'm mostly focused on, but I might, might as well also do this. Last time a bunch of spiders jumped out of this. Not the case this time. Okay. I'm happy about that, to be honest. So this is the parlor. Oh, whoa! What's happening? Oh, here are the dark things. And they got rid of the clock. Now we won't ever know what time it is. But I guess we could do something with the fire? Oh, we can hop in. No oh, boy. <laughs> this is never a good idea, Luigi. But oh man, you fell into the lab. Oh no. Oh, there it is. Maybe we should check everything else out first. Just in case, nah, eh, maybe not the best idea. I know this was, yeah, this was wiggling around a lot. But that didn't really do anything. Let's just grab the light for now if we can. Thank you. Whoa. Come on, Luigi, grab it. Ah! That guy has some cool sunglasses. I guess he doesn't get blasted by it because of that. Oh no, I need that. Come back. Oh, where did he go? Is he inside of there? Oh, there he is, there he is. Dizzying, isn't it? Oh, I can see him though because of the sunglasses, but I just blasted him with the light, nothing happened. Oh, I see. Because of the fact that he has glasses on, I can't blast him with the light. So I have to pull the glasses off first, thank you very much, and then I can blast you. Nice. But there's more. He was not a one of a kind, so give me those shades, then give me you. Thank you. Same thing with this guy, he's like, no, my fashionable items. No, you get back here, you get back here. 
You aren't getting away from me. Is that all of them? Looks like it. And there it is. Okay, right on the table. Thank you very much for that. So now we have the dark light bulb thing. Cool. Oh, don't don't drop it. <laughs> if you broke it, that'd be a problem. Whoa, it's so rainbowy. I like it. Find the dark light device, check. Oh. Hey, buddy. Luigi, whoever is releasing those spirit balls is somehow able to avoid mm -hmm. the periscope. Wait, is that? You found the dark light device. Mm -hmm. Good work, my boy. Mm. Try it out with Y. I I'm sure there is an illusion somewhere in that room. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, over this way. So now what? I found them all. They are attacking me now. Ow, ow, what do I do, what do I do? You could have just given me some context, you know, on what to do. Or maybe this like sucks them up. But now it's all hot. Okay, I'm so confused. I get it. It lights this up. But what do I do now? Oh, I can suck them up. I swear I just tried this, it didn't work. Anyways, ooh. It's a vault. And what'll have inside? Bunches of money, of course. Nice. So I guess I should flash this around everywhere and see if there's any other kind of illusions. Well, the door's gone. That's likely one of them. Ah, uh, that was not all of it, though. Couple more of them over this way. Is that all of them? That is indeed all of them. So now this door is nice and open. Cool. I don't think there was anything else from what I poked around there. But there are still plenty more of illusions to figure out. Oh. Maybe Gad's gonna bring us back now, I'm not sure. Excellent, Luigi. I won't have to ask you to leave now uh, because you've already shown yourself the door. <laughs> now then, have you been hearing that creepy laughter? I mean, the one that isn't yours? Whoever is releasing those spirit balls seems to be enjoying himself. I'm not having any luck with that periscope, so it's up to you to find him and put a stop to him. So, capture whoever is releasing the spirit balls. Will do. So let's go back into this room, where there's plenty of missing stuff. First off, this right here. Whoa, look at that, we got money out of the picture, so that's how that works. So that one with the gem, we're gonna have to go back and get that one. I wonder if this has new stuff in it now. Probably not. Uh, might as well try it. That dollar's disappearing, give me my dollar. So now that we, we gotta really just try to remember this room. Wait, is there something here or not? I guess not. Oh, that's the noise of it restoring. There is definitely this pot, and then we gotta run over this way real quick and grab all these as quickly as we can. Nice. So now I can run back this way. Give it a little kick just to make sure. Nothing. Always good to check though. So there's lots of stuff to do now. We'll go into each room, we'll check it out. One thing I do appreciate, I'm doing the wrong thing, uh, is that it'll tell me which rooms I have been in relative to what I've done this level. So not just in general. And that's really nice. It means that I sort of know what I've explored today and what I haven't. And that's just useful. So before we go wherever we're supposed to go, I'm actually gonna go back to the entrance. Because I know there's some missing stuff there. Like maybe even in this room? Okay, not quite yet. Like these two guys are still here, this dude is there, and that guy is there. Can you guys get out of here? Thank you. Going through this door. Actually, there was, hold on, hold on, hold on. Was there, there was, oh, look at this. I don't know if I've ever seen this one. What will this have for us? This has some money. I'll gladly take it, not much, but it, it's something. Buy more coins. So right over this way, of course, this guy's missing. Let's put him back there. See, it doesn't seem like it's counting how many of these orbs we get. Oh man, but it does give us money when we figure some of it out, so it's, it's worth it, for sure. Okay. Any of this have some dough? Uh, oh yeah, and oh yeah, this. I mean, I, I guess we could just do that really quickly. That is so cool. So that means there's a lot of paintings we have to get back to in this game. And one of them will give us another gem. That's really exciting. So what might be missing in this room? 
Anything? <laughs> Not the car, of course. The car's right here. Uh, yeah, I'll flash that guy. So it looks like everything is right where it should be for this this room. No outstanding uh, pictures or anything like that. So back over in the front uh, yard. Anything around here that might be missing? So far not looking like it, but you never know until you check everything. So we're checking everything. Uh, definitely not on the, the, the front porch. Down this way though. The door is slamming, maybe I could open the door. The way it's slamming like that, it's very peculiar. I wasn't doing that before. Whoa, yeah, this is gone. Let's fix that. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so it looks like it was worth adventuring out this way. Very cool, lots of money all around. It'd be cool if there was like a move I could do that made me like spin around to grab everything real quick. So it's pretty obvious when there's something missing most of the time. Oh, okay, I can light these up and they'll open up that way. I figured they'd need a bit of water, but now that I think about it, it is raining, so. Whoa, whoa, he gave me a gem too. Thank you very much. Very cool. And that's our second one. And then over this way. Thank you, extra cash for me. What's gonna go on over this way? Extra health, which I actually really need, so that's fantastic. So, wait, is there something here? No. That's just the noise it plays, just for something, dis uh, just for it being used. What about these plants? Nothing. And what about this one? More money. Nothing more crazy than that, though. So we'll quickly grab this little thing. I don't know if it's gonna really do anything. Not looking like it. Okay, well, we did a fantastic job exploring all of that. I'm happy with the results. So we're gonna go back through this door and go out to this room. There definitely has to be something missing, right? I don't know. Already got some cobwebs building up. Oh no, speaking of which, get him out of there. I don't like it. Okay. Um. Not too much going on just yet. I mean, I'll grab this stuff. That got me an extra dollar. We're getting a lot of money in this episode, which is great because we need to get as close to 4,000 as possible. We were at like 2,700, I think? Or maybe 2,300. So if we get 700 now, that means we'll be at the 3,000 already, which is fantastic progress. So let me open that door again. And I never check to see if there's anything missing. Definitely doesn't seem like it. Let's go on in, or go on out. <laughs> I definitely don't see anything that's missing around here at first glance, but let's try our second and third glance. This is the doghouse. Let's get that back in here. <laughs> we need the doghouse or the little ghost dog won't have anywhere to say you get back here. And there we go, it's back. But that didn't do anything. Oh, maybe I can, whoa, what's happening? What in the world is this? What? It's the dog realm, 40, 39, 38, what's happening? Open the present. Money, okay, um, more money. Is there supposed to be a present here? Oh, over that way, over that way. Come on, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Okay, go, go, go. That was weird. Open it up, oh no, wrong button, wrong button. Ooh, lots of money, let's grab the gold bars first and quickly grab as many as I can before they all disappear. Thank you. And perfect, we did it! That was cool! Let's see more of that, why don't we? Can I go back in and do it again? No, okay. We'll have to check up on that every once in a while. That was a ton of fun. Uh, this level's been great so far. This might be one of my favorite yet. So with all of that done, let's head back through the store. And, might as well press this again for nothing to happen. Yeah, I, I think I opened these already, but I might as well just double check. Doesn't look like much. Okay, so yeah, I'll go back to the other room and sort of see what's going on there. 
So I've been in quite a lot of rooms now, but we're supposed to, I guess, go up this way. I mean, there's still a number of places we could go, though. Like, I don't know. I want to explore as much as I can. So we're going to go back over this way because there was still that other room. And the other, other room. Uh, this one right over this way. I mean, I think we should just be able to open this, right? Yep. Is there anything missing inside of here? You would think there'd be something. Oh, there's some money. Definitely grab that. Nothing too crazy just yet. Oh, we could look at the picture again. I mean, I already found this gem, so no surprises. Nothing over this way. Probably should have the picture with the guy with the mustache, yeah. So definitely not looking like there's much in this one. But I mean, as we saw before, just a second ago, there can still sometimes be money just hanging around, and that's really important for us, like this right here. So let's grab it while we can, and then leave. I'm looking mostly around, I know that there was a, a, a picture somewhere nearby. Also, these look a little like they could fall off, but they don't, okay. Was it around here? Yes, there's a key. Okay, let's get ourselves a key. I don't know what for, but we'll find out sooner or later. I mean, if it's for this door, not really much of a chance we're getting in, but we can go here, this is new. Whoa, grabbing all that. And what's inside? Oh yeah, it was locked as well. Lots of stuff going on then, this is super exciting. Oh, it's the patio. <laughs> For a second I thought it said patio, but that's not what that word is. Uh, can I, oh, I can look through the window. Oh, it's the kitchen again. We didn't spend too much time in here, but they're spending a lot of time in here. They're, they're making some fish, I guess. <laughs> All right, we'll figure that out soon. Uh, for right now, because I would need another key, most likely. Uh, whoa, more bats. Ow, rude, rude, flash them. And you too, sir, where'd you go? Thank you. That didn't do much for us. Can I look through this window as well? Get another perspective of all the action. So we sort of know how to get into this room. I mean, obviously if we can get another key, that'll help us figure it out a bit more. Oh, let's get the little wind chime. That doesn't do much, but there are more of these little flowers. Which as you can see, gives us some free money. Oh, it's like a little playground out here. There's a little uh, merry-go-round thing. It looks like there's supposed to be a door here. Wait, am I blowing air out? Yeah, I am. I didn't realize that was the thing I could do. That's interesting. And there's more of these. They're sort of all over the place right now. So that should lead back to the foyer. We were wondering about that door, now we know. And I don't know what happened to that heart. It's gone now, which stings because I'm at 60 health. Oh, here we go. Let's make a load of money from all this. Whoa! Whoa, that's a lot more money than I thought. That's great. If we make over a thousand coins in this one level, that'll be more coins than we've ever made in one level before. So that would be cool. How much you wanna bet there's probably a missing, missing fish here? Yeah, it sort of seemed odd that there was only two of them. It was like lopsided. Oh, and that's another gem. We're finding the gems all over the place today. That is going to be gem number five. I mean, not fifth linearly in the line of it all, but it's still our fifth gem. What is with these birds? Oh, they gave me hearts. So a lot of these, oh, there was a golden bird and I missed him. Darn. A lot of these smaller creatures though, you just hit them with the flashlight and that gets it done. What about this? Just more money, nothing too complicated. But it's, oh, you know what? There's something here, isn't there? Wrong button. Whoa, it's a statue of Egad. So this really must have been his mansion. Oh, that's cool. What do we do with this? Well, goodbye, you're flying away. Whoa, there's another key. Okay, that was cool, that was so cool. Very nice. So with that, I'm gonna run back over this way because I don't know if there's too much more we can do in this area. I, I'm sorry I missed a golden bird, but luckily it was only like 20 to 40 extra gold that we missed out on usually. So this will lead to sort of a, a separate entrance to the kitchen. And like I said, they've been creating a ruckus in here. So let's figure out, oh, plenty of health. We're about to deal with something fierce then. I can only imagine. Oh no, here we go. All the troublemakers come out to play. Well, I got one of them. Hold on, ow, 
Oh, I was not ready for that. Run, run, run. Because he's about to start swinging at me. Uh, oh, no, that, that didn't get him? Ouch. Well, that's not good. <laughs> okay, here we go. I at least got this guy. I was trying to get the blue dude, too. Ah, I missed just barely. That's ridiculous. There we go. Okay, no, wait, I pressed the wrong button. There's so many buttons to press in the game now. <laughs> it can be easy to mix up. There we go. We got him, we got him. Ready for this? Thank you. Run over this way really quickly. I think he's still in here. No, he's in there. Ow, I got him, but he hit me with an orange again. Appreciate it if you would stop doing that. Was he in this one? No, that's a mouse. Got him, oh, oh. There we go, come on. Thank you. My gosh, that was tough. So now let's make sure we really explore all of this room. Check all the things. Turn on the stove a little bit. Open that up. I already checked these and this one, I actually already checked. Have anything inside of the fridge? So it looks like actually there's nothing missing. And it was good to get all those ghosts, but it was sort of weird how it didn't really lead to too much. So this room, not missing anything either. I could use this to go upstairs if I wanted, but I'll do that in a second. This room over here is a dead end anyways. What is happening over here? The ice is moving on its own. Okay, I guess it was just sort of our suction that got it over there. That was weird. I thought it was doing something fancy. Okay, so we're back into this library. And once again, I'm just looking around for anything really. A weird lack of things. It's weird that he even let me go through this way. I mean, I guess it's fine that he let me go through this way, but it felt like it was leading to much more. It really must be that we have to go upstairs. So that is exactly what we'll do. So we're gonna go up to the dining room then. And there we go. Up to the dining room. And hopefully, we won't be dining with danger. Now this room definitely seems like it might be missing something. Oh no, what's happening? Oh gosh, it's a boo! I thought that I heard his laugh. What is he doing? He's creating more of these orbs. He's disappearing the whole table. What's your problem, dude? And he's gone. So let's deal with this really quickly. Bring that back, and then we gotta get all of these. Thank you. Hold on, a couple more. And got him. And the table is back. Oh, he didn't like that very much. He's like, I just got rid of this thing. Oh. Oh, he's not happy. Watch out. So the boos are back to no good. Now we gotta fight him. I don't know where he's gonna be. I'm sort of scared. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, more of them? Oh, all over the place, too. Wait, where did they go? I do not know. Oh, there's something up there. Uh, I'll have to keep my eye out on that. What did he disappear? Did he make something go away? Oh, yeah, right here, right here. Okay, grab all of this, if I can. Will that make him come back out? Not quite. Maybe because there's more stuff to invite back in. I hear him, but I don't quite see him. Is he still messing with stuff? Is that the problem? There, no? I thought I saw him moving. This is very weird so far. Uh, I can't leave. See, I heard him, I heard him, okay. Oh, but I, I, fl I flashed him. Maybe I'm supposed to hit him with this. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, here we go, here we go, come on. Oh, I gotta get his tongue, don't I? There it is. What, Luigi got your tongue? Oh, yikes. He's bouncing all over the place like a pinball. I got it now. So we got him, and now, <laughs> you gotta squish him in there a little bit. He's all mine. That was cool, that was a lot of fun. So we got the ghost. Looks like uh, Egad's not quite calling us just yet. Oh, there he goes. But I did notice a couple of things in this room. Oh. But I gotta answer him. There's no way to like decline the call. Mm -hmm. You okay, Luigi? Kariminy, what in tarnations was, that, was Abu doing here in the valley? 
Good thing you had the dark light device with you or you'd have been in real trouble. Let's get you out of there. Hold on tight. All right, well, off we go. There's definitely still more to find in that room. In the ceiling, there was something. You did it. That was definitely one of our best levels yet, though, in terms of getting money and stuff, so that was awesome. Excellent, I'm positively tickled that my dark light device worked. Okay, let's plug it in. So like I said before, we got ourselves some major money. There's another gem, there's another gem, and there's a spectral mass. Oh, that guy's new, yeah, we got him, and the boo, and the treasure earned. We are actually really close. Only 300 more to go before our next upgrade. That's definitely happening next episode. We got the Scare Scraper unlocked. This hair-raising high rise full of ghostly challenges awaits you and your fellow ghost hunters. Access it from the main menu. Maybe we'll check that out at some point. It's concerning to find a boo in the gloomy manor. Boos always spell trouble, especially if they gang up. If you see any more, be sure to capture them right away. I have a special container just for booze down in the vault. Funny story, actually. I, you may remember that I used to have a device called a portrifish, portrifica, something like that. Uh-huh, hold on a sec. The periscope is acting up. Something isn't right, Luigi. The signals coming from the gloomy manor are, give me a minute, I need to figure this out. What is going on? So it looks like A4 is completed. Next episode we will do, Oh, and we get the boo, so I guess there are boos to get. That's what the second slot is. Going to A5, I believe, yeah, A5 is sticky situation. So the spider webs, ugh. Something unexpected and gross has happened to the gloomy manor. It's been infested with spiders, and they're redecorating the place with sticky webs. It started suddenly, and definitely not by natural means. At this rate, just by walking around the place will soon become impossible. Get back to the manor post haste and suck up every last web with the Polter Poltergust 5000. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll try to figure out how this could have happened. But we'll do what we can, but there are some really thick spider webs that we haven't been able to suck up. So hopefully that's something we can figure out in today's episode, because if so, there is a gem waiting for us that was stuck in a bunch of webs. So definitely we'll have to figure that out. But one step at a time, hopefully we get some things done. So is there extra spider webs just hanging around some places? Because if so, that might mean we have a couple of other things to figure out as well. Let's find out. So here we are at the entrance. And we'll take a look around everything, clean up all the webs. Will do, will do indeed. So it wants me to go into the main hallway, but I'll do that in a moment. Right now we're going into here. And this place actually looks pretty clean. Definitely. Can I look through this window? Oh, I can, I don't, I don't think I've ever done this. Not much going on out here. At all. <laughs> okay, well, there goes all the excitement of that. Oh, couple of coins inside of this, and that's what I'm looking for. Just trying to get as many coins as I can out of whatever I can, really. Uh, so we'll run outside into the uh, front porch, the front yard and everything as well, after I take a look at everything. Uh, and we'll also go to the room to the right in a moment as well, but we'll do that one later, just because that one has like another room connected to it. It takes a second. I'll have these reset. I suppose they have. It doesn't give me much. It just gave me one coin. But yeah, we got the ability to use the flashlight last episode, the uh, the dark light or whatever it is. Um, and that's been really useful. Nothing in there. Running back over this way. Oh, can I? Yeah, I can interact with the chair a little bit. Doesn't do too much. What about this one? Nothing and nothing. So it really does not look like there's much going on out here in the front yard. These little... Uh, oh, wrong ones, there we go. We can light these back up. It does give us a couple of dollars each, so you know what, we'll try that. Of course, yeah, one of these gave us a gem. We've already gotten this gem now. It'd be nice it gave me money instead, but I don't think it does. Oh well, that's fine. So it doesn't look like there's anything missing that I need to use the dark light on just yet. Ooh, ooh, money, money from the bush. Not bad. And running over this way, what about this one? Nothing. Yeah, this is still slamming over and over again. <laughs> Very uncomfortable. Uh, we'll shake that a little bit. So it's not looking like there's much out of the ordinary here. But that's why we gotta poke around. And at the least I can, boom, hit that. Grab a couple more bucks. Okay, well, I found what I could find in here. We are going to go back. It does say on the bottom screen that my mission is to get 48 cobwebs. I have found none of them so far, which isn't too big of a surprise. I'm, I'm sort of going the alternative ways to start things off. Um, oh, there's another spider, but no spider web. 
Hmm. Okay, well, I think I'll... I'll poke my head into here real quick. This is the outside area. I mean, once... I mean, last episode, yeah, we, we sort of uh, went into the doghouse. So I wonder if there's more to do there. That would be cool. So I'm gonna take a quick look and then we'll get to what we're supposed to be doing in today's episode. Sorry for the wait. I mean, I can open it, but there's nothing to do. Alrighty then, yeah, let's go back to the main room. Okay, there's definitely a lot of spider webs around here on the statues. There's one, and now he's gonna start swinging at me. Well, you're welcome, I guess, but also not really. Oh, the spiders are back. Missed him the first time. Oh, come on, oh, come on. No, turn around, Luigi, turn around. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? Boom, there we go, that was good. And along with it, maybe I could, uh Grab some of these cobwebs, spider webs, whatever they are. Oh, that didn't hit me, that's good, but now I can't get past. Oh, hello. Don't know where you came from. Okay. Oh, there's more of them. There's always more of them. Got it, and that's all of it. So the lights, you know, light back up. Telling me that I successfully completed it. I don't know if I can reach that one spider. I don't think it matters, we are leaving. <laughs> and what's going on in here? I mean, I could go into that room. Definitely considering it, but for right now I need to uh, get rid of as many spiders as I can. Along with it, just sort of check inside of everything. There's still this one gem in this aquarium that I'm totally clueless on how to get. Yeah, I don't think it has anything to do with any of that. I mean, I can still look inside of it as you can see. And like you can see there's like a weird little box on the corner. But obviously I'm not gonna be able to suck through the glass, so something has to happen there. I just don't know what it is. Anyways, was there something missing over here? No, there's not. Would've been cool if there was. Haven't had to use it, oh wait, too much today. But maybe that'll change as we move forward to get one whole coin, wowie. And nothing in there. Okay, well then we're gonna go through the room to the left. Also, hold on, there was I guess we'll check it out later. I know there's that one entrance we still haven't really found the door for. What do I gotta do with this? Oh, I can suck this out if I needed to. So like, I can't break this is the thing. And you can't really spit it out with any kind of speed. That's weird. Yeah, nothing under there. I guess I could poke my head into these rooms real quick and just sort of take to see a little look-see. It doesn't look like there's anything too much, except for like that right there. Nothing. I mean, that reminds me that in the dining room, there is one on the ceiling that I never got. So I should really work on getting that. And I can't even go into this room. So I might have to access it from a different angle or maybe there's something I have to do with this little spider ball, spider web ball, whatever it is. But definitely, can I peek into this room? Surprised there's no spider webs in here. You think this would be a guaranteed spot for them? I can, but as you can see, there really isn't much. Some rooms are basically untouched from it. Okay, so. Maybe I could, <laughs> that didn't do much. Okay, there's not much I can do here. At some point, we'll have to figure out how to get rid of the giant spider webs, but now is not the time. We'll go over this way. See, like normally, is that doing anything? I can't tell. But there's supposed to be a door here. You can see on the on the thing, on the mini map. But it ain't here. So maybe I've gotten that wrong. Maybe you can only access it from one side, which is, if that's the case, there's definitely no way I'm gonna be able to get to it for right now. And I don't think there's gonna be anything in here. So at this point, I'll leave it be. We'll go upstairs. I'm sure it'll the staircase will make me fall again as it normally does. Oh, hey, it didn't. All right. Anything in there? Because it was sort of shimmering. I got some extra health, that's pretty good. I'll probably need it then, concerningly enough. Uh, let's go into here. Oh my, oh my. Uh, first, yeah, flash that guy. And then try to get whatever this is. There's like something inside of this. Uh, is this giving me money? No, it's not. Am I doing this correct? Oh, I can jump when I'm, huh. That didn't seem right, did it? It's just on the floor now. Isn't this just like the most bizarre thing? Whoa, it was a spider for a second. 
That's so weird. It's just like it doesn't do anything. <laughs> uh, well, in the meantime, there's other spiderwebs we can worry about. And this guy. Uh, be gone. Thank you. Uh, grab this. Please and thank you. Whoa, 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 fire, fire in the in the mansion! Oh, that was that. Oh, okay. Oh no, that made the spiders mad. Get rid of that guy. And that guy. Don't forget this dude. Okay, then charge it up. Boom, see ya. <laughs> okay, grab all those coins. It'd be cool if I could jump all the time. I think in Luigi's Mansion 3, you're supposed to be able to do that. I mean, at least it looks like that in some of the trailers. I've tried to avoid most of the trailers, though. I try to for most new games. Anyways, there's that. So you don't know what to do with that giant thing. A little dangly one. So I'll leave it be for now. Not much happening in the parlor, it seems. Definitely. But th does this bring me back downstairs? Maybe there's a mistake. Uh, I'm pretty sure it brings me downstairs, which I don't really need, because <laughs> already been here. So what else can I access from this room? It looks like I can go into this door. And there's more. And once again, if we can find our way past that. Okay, let's first get you, if you don't mind. But this is, oh gosh, what is this guy doing back there? You might be able to see that that's where the gem is. Nice. But there's, we're not done, there's still more somewhere. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Here he is, I found him for a second, and then he's gone. Ha! And he has a friend over that way. Uh, whoop, got him, come on. Nice. Okay, so far so good. We'll grab these. Oh, there's a little hole. I don't know if we've ever seen this before. Yeah, we can look inside. Yeah, I think we have. It's actually nowhere where I need to be in today's episode, apparently. What if I, like, I don't know what the goal with this is. Whoa, oh no, this one's on the fan. Oh my gosh, it's flaming. Whoa, that's a little crazy. So that's all of them, but more importantly, if you see over here, there is a gem. Okay, wow, we indeed, that's the mushroom gem. I like it. So that gives me an idea, actually. Back this way. I wonder if we can set this one on fire at all. There is the uh, candle over this way. I mean, maybe that's, yeah, yeah, there we go, there we go. It's all over the place now. Whoa. And we get another one of these balls. Now, what I do with the balls, I'm a little confused about. Because I don't know if I can set this on fire, but I'll certainly try. Yeah, let's tiptoe over this way. Can I set it on fire? It doesn't look like it. Um. Because, like, I can spit it out. But it doesn't do anything. If I could, like, launch the thing, like, maybe that would do something. But it's a little weird, isn't it? So I was sort of right on the money with that, but also not quite. Anyways, we'll be able to go into this room. What room is this? Oh no, this is, ow, oh, oh. Yikes, I don't know what's in there. Then we'll, we will not worry about it for now. Instead, we'll go like this. This should bring me somewhere if I remember correctly. Okay. Ooh, I never like this. <laughs> and that brings us, okay, well yeah, this brings us into the study the same way. I remember now. So there's not a spider web in this room, but that doesn't mean there isn't things to find. There definitely still could be. I know that the last time we had a room with curtains, we got rid of all the curtains, and it gave us a ton of money. So hopefully that'll be the case this time. Uh, oh yeah, this is the gem picture. Okay, so we of course got the ability to undo these pictures last episode. Got them, <laughs> look at all that money. I grabbed this heart over this way, so we can go back to 100 health. But yeah, if I go like this, boom, that is another gem for us. We're getting a lot of these. We're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. So we're more than halfway through getting them all. That's really exciting. And I think there might be another gem picture like that somewhere around. Can't quite remember. Oh, there's some money. And some more over this way. See, that was all the gems in the room. And what do you know? It gave me, or all the, no, all the curtains. <laughs> and it gave me uh, some money for getting all that. But yeah, I can also, I remember that I think this is another fireplace we can fall down or not? I can't remember, apparently. Thought I could. Ooh, what does this button do? I mean, this room doesn't have any other exits to it. 
There we go, stand on it. Yeah, and then we can go down. Hmm. All right, well, I might as well try this. Hello. I think this will at least land us in a room downstairs that I couldn't have gotten to. No, that's not true. We could have gotten in this room. So I sort of went into a big circle. But that's okay, there's still one or two places I can still get to. I wonder if I can maybe take these into a different room. Uh, no, I can't. Well, I don't know what to do with those still. Total just mystery to me. But like I said, we're going to go up here. And the next best place I can imagine is into here. The lobby. Oh, and there's already a big mean ghost trying to get us. I'm gonna get him right back. Oh, watch it, watch it. This guy doesn't look like he wants to be very nice. Come on, let's get it all the way up. There it is, thank you very much. Grab that coin. Grab this one too, the big gold bar. Awesome. Is there something missing here? Yes, there is. I don't know if we've ever been in this room. Oh, this is cool. We have not been in this room. There we go. But we're not done. First off, we got that. Does that have anything for me? It does have some coins. Not bad, not bad. This game is a lot of fun, by the way. I'm having a blast with it. I didn't really know how similar it would be to Luigi's Mansion 1, but it has a lot of differences. I know the differences are some of the things that people don't like about this game, but so far, I'm really, truly enjoying it. This is the balcony. Is this a grill? Looks like a grill to me, and it's working like a grill. So I'm gonna say yes, that's a grill. Uh, no, don't leave, don't leave, go back. I wasn't done in there. I was trying to get rid of the bats. I was trying to look up and hit them like that. There we go, give me that dollar bill. And then up there, not only do we have a coin waiting for us or a gold bar, we also have some cobweb we can get rid of. So once again, we have this situation going on. We could try to grab this and bring it over to the fire and be able to burn away this whole web wall. That's it, look at that. Highly destructive. Awesome. So what is this whole room? Once again, we have another one of these web balls that I just don't know what to do with. Okay, can you guys cease your actions? Okay, one more, or not. Uh, that looks like it's all the money. Oh, there's two of them up there, actually. And I got them. Oh, you know, we've been in this room before but there's more webs waiting this way. So if we could find a way to set this ablaze, would be good, but I don't know if that's gonna work. Oh no, see this time it works, it's very picky. Very, very picky apparently. But now I know that I can at least launch this over here, and wow. And that also burnt that up. But what was the point of doing that? I mean, I guess it just gave us another count. Oh, and there's another web right up here. I'm so used to seeing the webs, I never think to suck them up, but there we go, I got it done there. Don't think we can go in here, I think this door's locked. Oh, no, it's not. Oh yeah, okay, perfect room to go in here and do this. I saw this last episode, couldn't quite get it. Oh, and that's a gem, look at that. So that's our eighth. So we have one, two, three, four, five remaining somewhere. That's exciting. Got that one, and this one. Oh, there's a golden bone, not bad. I don't even know what to do with those yet. <laughs> I've gotten several of them. Still have no clue what to do with them. Okay, let's uh, pull that out. Oh no, here are all the spiders. Making big problems for me. I think we got them all, I guess so. I'll open this up a little bit too. Hmm. Well, I'm getting the curtains again. Yeah, definitely. This gave me a lot of money last time. Why not do it again? I think there, there was a coin that dropped right there. So we've got a decent amount of cash so far in today's episode. Uh, 249. We're only looking for like 300, and we should be able to get to our next upgrade. So that's exciting. Oh, there we go. There's a whole other set of coins. Uh, there we go. And then one more right over here. Let's see if that gives me any money. It does not, but it could have. There is, ow, oh, an angry bat. <laughs> and also, some extra stuff right there. Oh, and don't forget this one. Nice, okay. so that is all the cobwebs in this one. Luigi will do a happy little dance when you get it. So I could go down that way in F1, but I'm not gonna do that quite yet. Alrighty, so instead, I want to 
go this way where there is a large number of cobwebs waiting for me. Another one of, oh, there's a fire thing. So if I do this, will it create a fire? If so, that's perfect for this whole situation. I guess so. So now this is all fired up, what do you know? And I can burn that down. Perfect. I'll launch that for right now. Yeah, now it burns away. And that's another cobweb. I don't see too much more, but I do want to run through it all again. Just sort of checking. Oh, wait, 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 I see that one up there. And that might not be everything because of the fact that we have to go down downstairs and probably get a couple of them too. But it is weird that the thing stays, that the little ball does. Once again, I don't think we could go through doors and stuff with it. But now we're in here. And maybe there'll be more. Or have we've already been in this room, gotcha. So, I might wanna take a second look at this one. Wherever there's a little web ball, there should be a way to set it on fire. And you'd think it would be this. But I don't know. I mean, maybe I could keep messing with these and one of them will actually be fireable again. Because that's actually putting out the blaze. It's very weird, but I'll try this again. I'm gonna run back over this way. Oh, come on. Why can't I jump anymore? There we go, I, I did that before you guys all saw it. I tried doing that and it didn't work. So I just assumed it was something you couldn't do. And look at that, we got it done. So we'll have to go downstairs and do it that way too, but that's another room done. So what that means is first off, I've never been this far, I don't think. So I will try to grab this if it'll let me. There we go. And then I'll pull down a little cascading staircase. And what's in this room? This is the bedroom. No, 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 we were already in this room, gotcha. So I do wanna go up there, but I also, don't yet. <laughs> I wanna go downstairs because I wanna figure out that other one. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. You run down this way. And... The only problem with this one, I mean, unless it's trying about, about trying to get it to here. Oh, there it goes. You would think, it's, it's just so weird, isn't it? Oh, and look at this, the power of fire. Get him out of here. Oh man, watch out. Oh, ah. be gone. Maybe I should go to the upstairs part first. I don't know, I always doubt myself. Can you blame me? Okay, burn this. The spiders just don't like it when you do that. Oh no, 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 <laughs> there we go. There's too many of them, too many. No, 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 I, I don't need that anymore. Perfect. And what's going on this way? Oh, more spiders. Uh, and they're gone. What was that noise though? Oh, this is worse than ever. Worse than ever. Okay, so I might need another fireball. Okay. Uh, let's first figure this out. I wanna take a peek inside of this room. Yeah, there's at least one cobweb in here. Actually, it looks like there's literally just one cobweb. Maybe it would be better to go upstairs then. I don't know if I even have, ow a ball to deal with this now. No, I do, okay, this this comes back. I'll try it, I'll try it. I love how there was like an army of spiders I could burn away. Let's keep walking, Luigi, keep walking. Because we're almost there, we're at 30 out of 48. That was 31, 32, 33, and there we go, this room is clear. Uh, I will launch this. Definitely light this up a little bit. That's gonna give me quite a few coins. I appreciate it. Let's go into this room then, real fast. And all I need to do is grab this one, as far as I can tell. No, is there more? Has to be. It's not giving me the, wait, the piano's gone. Where's the piano at? Well, there's some books. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff missing around here. Hold on, <laughs> let's fix that up. So where's the piano, huh? There it is. Okay, grabbing all this now. There must be a boo in this room. Oh, you know what? There is supposed to be a boo, yup, in each level. Ooga booga! Did I scare you? My name's, wait for it, Ooga booga! Oh, do all the boos have their own name now? Just like in the last game? That'd be perfect. Uh, oh yeah, that's right, I gotta blast him with the light, ow. Well, first let's do that. 
But where is he at? I mean, there's still more uh, bookcases and stuff I can light up, because they're, they're still missing. Oh, was that him? There he is, there he is. Got him. And we gotta get his tongue. That's it, that's it, that's it. Thank you very much. Okay, he's bouncing all over the place. And will that get him? It will. I like the process. Wait, there's a different boo now? There's a different boo, I think. Maybe, or maybe that's the same boo. He's just dizzy now. Uh, I can't reach him. How do I get him? He's sort of stuck back there. I'm a little confused. There we go. Oh no, he still had some health left. I can't get him now. I have to wait for him to move out of that area. That's sort of silly. I do like the process of getting booze in this game a lot more though. Like I won't deny. Oh, he's over here now. Or at least he was. There he is, okay. Wait, quick, gotta grab these. In the last game, it could be a bit frustrating when they were running from room to room. So far, that doesn't seem to be as much of a problem. Okay, let's take out the remaining. Oh, no, 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 I wasn't done. I was. I didn't mean to do that. Sometimes the 3S buttons can be awkward, I'm sorry. Come on, grab his tongue. And I pressed the wrong button, but did that get him? I don't know, he might have one health left over. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Boom, there we go. Launching him around. He's knocked out. He's finished, right? What do we do now? Oh, there we go. I remember now, it's all come back to me. Okay, well there's that room finished. And we're getting a call from Egad. Hello. Fantastic, I'm glad you found and captured that hooligan. They're very elusive, only coming out when their hiding spot has been found. They may look the same, but each has its own personality. Try to capture them all. Otherwise, they might regroup and their power grows when they gather in large numbers. That wouldn't be good. Uh, so yeah, we're still looking for more cobwebs. Yeah, right here, right here, right here, I see it. And that's all of them. So there's only two cobwebs in this room. But more than that, there was Taboo to capture, so that was cool. Going into this room now, the kitchen. There is definitely a number of cobwebs to get. Oh man, spiders everywhere. Bah, are they hissing at me? I don't like that. It's creepy. There we go. Nice, okay, at least we're getting a lot of coins from them, I suppose. Ah, oh, and ghosts though? And ghosts, is that really necessary? Can you guys stop it? I'm trying to do something here, it's called surviving. Don't throw oranges at me, I had plenty of vitamin C today, okay? That didn't work. That was weird. Uh, come on, he's in here still. Come on, I'm trying to get your friend here, you know. Come on, that's it. I'm getting you, all the way. That's it, give me that extra health. Running over this way. No, 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 wait, hold on, he's in here. Is there more than one of them? There might be. Oh, got him. He's done, he's finished. But that's not the whole room worth of them. Okay, yeah, there's two more. Okay, well, let's get this one first then. And get some moving so I don't get hit by an orange. Or a tangerine, or grapefruit, whatever that thing's supposed to be. Is he in here? You bet he is. How many of these guys are there? It's like a whole family. That was all of them, got it. Okay, not bad. And a couple of coins in this. Happily grab that. And a mouse in this one. This place has a mouse problem. That's okay. I think mice are great, they're very cute. All right, yeah, we already got that. And another cobweb over this way and up here. Doing a lot of a. Uh, Cleaning, I would say spring cleaning, but it's October, so I guess it's autumn cleaning. I love autumn, it's my favorite month, not my favorite month, my favorite season. There we go, so there's that room cleared out. We could leave out this way, but first, I mean, I guess there really isn't too much more around here. See, I guess we're good to at the least go through this one and take a look around. There's going to be some ghosts, you can tell. Uh, get a couple of extra dollars from these bats if I can. It's very hard to tell perspective-wise where they are compared to you. You can tell it's all purple and stuff. There must be a ghost somewhere around here. Did I hit that bat? Maybe that's not a bat. <laughs> Where's the ghost at? I hear a... Whoa, hey, hey, here they are, I found them, I found them. Come on, come on. 
That's it! Whoa, we got the big money ghost too, so that was fantastic. That was a two for one deal as well. Nice little secrets. Anything new? Got some money. I should also look around to see if maybe I can, aha, I can, oh yeah, this is where this one door is. So I haven't figured this door out until now. Apparently that's not working, there we go. So I could go through here, and as you can see, where does this lead? Whoa, under the stairs. Definitely haven't seen this. There we go, give me that money. That's cool. And then I can leave through that, but I think that might be a one-way thing, so I don't wanna do that just yet. I will, but not now. Because I need to go up to the second floor again anyways. I just sort of wanted to just take a look around. This is missing again. So grab all this. Thank you. And that one. Oh yeah, that gives us the gem. That's why that was missing again. Anything new? Um, oh yeah, these birds are evil. And is the golden bird still around here? Not quite. Oh well. And there's a couple more bucks for us. Thank you. Yeah, now we're making major money. We're up to uh, almost $700. And then we'll go through here. Gotcha. Whoa, we're back here. Okay, that's so exciting. I didn't realize. There it is, we get the star gem. Only four more to go, right? Yeah, four more to go. Oh, that's so cool. Now we've got it. I have figured it all out when it comes to these doors. I, I had misunderstood. But now, now I understand for sure. Oh, and I picked up the old one. I was like, what happened? And we've done this before, but it looks like it's ready to give me some more coins, so I might as well do it again. And that's gonna put us over 700. Very, very nice. I just love running around and like tinkering with the environment and getting stuff out of it. That's a lot of fun. So actually, if I wanna go back upstairs, the quickest way I can do so is going back into the kitchen and going through this if it'll let me. Oh yeah, that's right, I need to use this little pull rope. And let's go. So we're going back up to the dining room, going into the hallway, and there might be a couple places we can get to from there, because we're only looking for eight more. Well actually, yeah, that's right. We gotta go back to the hallway so that we can do the little staircase. I'm glad I saved that for last, because it looks like there was plenty to do in every other room. But man, we made so much progress today. It was really a blast, but we're not done. We got more. What's also cool is we've now like fully explored each floor, um, except for floor three. That's the one we've just not been in. But the first two floors, I think we've been in every room at some point or another. Which means we are a whole lot closer to getting everything done. So hopefully that means there's actually four gems to find up here. For right now it's just one room. And here's our first of eight and our second of eight. I think that's to go back down there, which I don't want to do. Uh, I can definitely flash this safe. What do we get inside of this one? Loads of money. Very cool. That was another 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, five dollars. Whoa, watch it, buddy. That could have been me. No, no, oh, ow. Oh, it was almost me for sure. Okay, well actually, hold on. Maybe I could, can I turn around real quick? I'm just now realizing this guy doesn't have arms. Can I give him his arms back? No. Okay, well we'll go across, oh, very scary. If we're not careful, we'll fall back down into the uh, library. Wait, what happened? Oh, I was supposed to turn the 3DS. Oh, that's really weird. Uh, oh, I don't like that. I don't, I, I'm not good with this. I'm really not good with that kind of thing. I guess I gotta move slowly is the thing. Very, uh, oh, 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 oh. okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Luigi, calm down, calm down. That's it. No, no, no. That's it. Gotta move very slowly. That's it, you're doing a good job, buddy. Come on. Come on, I'm scared. Go, go quickly, go quickly, get out of here. That's it, we did it. That was really tough. I'm not very good with gyro controls, I'm sure you've noticed. Oh, another fire thing. Let's light that up then. And along with it, we know what to do. Pretty simple. And as we're making our way over there, what's down this way? Ooh, whole set of stuff. But we'll be back there in a moment, it seems. But right now, what is with this giant bike? Can I 
do anything with this, or is it just sort of chilling out? All right. I mean, I guess there was one more cobweb gone. This is gonna be another, yep, another one we can fire up. Lots of doing that. Oh yeah. And that's all, oh, that's all 48 of them. So what is this giant contraption? I guess we don't know for now. Oh, hey, look at that up there, there's a gem. Wait, no, don't call me, don't call me, I gotta get the gem. Oh no. Hello. Good work, Luigi. The spiders should leave now that you've removed their webs. Anywho, a more pressing issue has come up. I may have discovered where the spiders came from. Oh no. I'll bring you back now to fill you in. Oh gosh, I didn't get to get the I didn't get the gem. At least I know where it is. That's sort of the more important thing. I did it. Luigi didn't have as much confetti that time. Is that a bad thing? Okie doke. Here we are. Glad to see you back, Sonny. Did you capture any ghosts? I did indeed. But I guess you'll be able to see for yourself. And we get get pretty close to our next one. We only need 2,300-ish. Level two for our uh, dark light. So I guess we can use that for longer before you know it goes away. Thanks to this upgrade, the dark light device won't overheat as quickly. Pretty cool, huh? It is, very helpful. All right. While you were cleaning out all of those webs, I made an important discovery. There's in, an incredibly strong paranormal signal coming from deep within the manor. Now, I'm not sure what it is or how it managed to evade the periscope's radar for so long, but I reckon it's somehow connected to the spider infestation. Unfortunately, in pinpointing the signal hasn't been the easiest of tasks. But as soon as I find the darn thing, I'm sending you in after it. Get your game face on, Sonny. Oh boy. So that'll be the next level, which is, well first off, we got our two stars, and Boo was found. Along with it, oh, it's a boss fight. Confront the source. Eureka, I've cracked it. I've triangulated the, power, the powerful paranormal signal, and it's coming from the cellar. Oh, I didn't even know there was a cellar. Oh no, yep, the cellar. Scared, can't say I blame you. Cellars do have a terrible reputation, but I believe in you, Luigi. Once we find out who or what is behind this mask, we'll put a stop to it. So button up those overalls real tight and get ready for action, my boy. Now, to get to the cellar, you'll need to take the elevator. It's, oh yeah, the elevator, it's pretty straightforward, but I'll mark the cellar on your map. So yeah, there's an elevator in one of the rooms, but it has been locked off up until now. I guess we can use that to get to the cellar. Yeah, at B1, cellar. Oh, look at this thing. This key should open the elevator, though I imagine the elevator's operating permit may be expired. Oh well, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> you just love putting Luigi into danger. Okay, then I'll be tracking your progress from the relative warmth and comfort of this bunker. Ready or not. Okay, off we go. We gotta deal with all the problems ourselves while he just watches and chuckles. I wonder if we'll have the opportunity to maybe go get that one gem that I spotted in the attic before I uh, got warped away from the level because Egad just likes doing that to me. I'm not really sure if this will go up as well as down, or maybe it just goes down. Oh, he's so scared, poor Luigi. Confront the source of the powerful energy. What if I say no? <laughs> it will let me leave, right? No, oh, oh <laughs> he's giving me a call. Hello. Luigi, where are you going? You need to take the elevator down into the cellar. Ah, all right, fine, let's do it. Oh man, <laughs> did he say, I do it. <laughs> the elevator music. Oh no, <laughs> that didn't last long. Oh no. Ah, we're falling. It's like a Disney park ride, except a lot more painful and with no seat belts. I think he pulled, pulled his arm there or something. Is he okay? I think so, can we go back in? We can't. Looks like there's no turning back for right now. Not good. 
Well, hey, we might be able to get some extra money along the way. Whoa, it's coming down with me. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I really don't like this. But we can, boom! That only hit one of them, apparently. Ah, no! I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Got him, sort of. It's not actually doing as much as it normally does. Usually at least gives me some money. Not this time. Well, before we go down that way, where there's obviously trouble, I wanna look down this way and see if I can't find at least maybe some gems or something. There has to be some gems down here. Uh, well, there is a chest. Ah, spider, get him out of here. Oh, lots of money, but not a gem. And why I'm looking for a gem, of course, is because, I don't know, I've explored the upstairs quite thoroughly at this point. And one thing I've noticed is that, uh, besides that one gem I know of in the attic, I, I just don't know where else there could be more. So that's where I'm getting a little concerned. Um, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to use that guy right there for uh, lighting up the ball, the web ball. We'll find out in a moment. I wonder if I can give you your arms back, not quite. There's some stuff up there that I just can't quite reach. I'm also trying to get rid of all the webs, maybe out of habit from last episode, but <laughs> nonetheless. Yeah, so let's pull this all the way over. Oh wait, whoa! Oh my gosh, he's huge! Oh no! Watch it, Luigi! No, no, no! Ah. Somebody help! Where's Mario when you need him? Uh, maybe I really can use this. I gotta be able to in some way. In some way. Oh no. Oh no. He really isn't being very nice. If I get close to him at all, he like threatens to strike me. What if I do it anyways? Come on. Ah! ah. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh gosh, he's got little spider friends now. And they just sort of ran away. They don't even want to deal with me. They know I'm a threat. Uh, oh, okay, can't do that, can't do that. I'm trying to get to the spider ball. Oh, I got him. Okay, yeah, that's what we gotta do. Flash him with the light, steal the spider ball, and now it all makes sense. Oh, no, 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 no. Nah, <laughs> dodge that. And then, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, that's it, that's it. Yeah, you better back up. He's like, no, 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 no. Oh, oh no, oh, there's a big ghost inside. Oh, and he has a piece of the dark moon. What do I do about him? Oh, not that, don't just stand there. Okay, here we go, here we go. Come on, he has infinite health. Wait a minute, that's not fair. Get in here. Whoa, he has like multiple layers. He's an onion ghost. So it wasn't just a spider, it's a ghost spider. <laughs> what was I supposed to know? All right, well maybe now I can go through the wall or maybe he will go through the wall and I'll just follow. So I think it's the same deal this time. Um, maybe. So I can't really grab this one? It's not on me. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so let me try to, as per usual, bring it over this way, but I like I can't make it reach. Yeah, it won't work. Weird, there must be another source of fire I can get somewhere. Well, for right now, I'll mess with this stuff a little bit. Flash him with light. Grab that. Come on, come on, come on. Ow. Oh, sort of sinks. How am I supposed to do anything about that? <laughs> You gotta wait for them to open up their eyes as wide as possible. And then you can go in. Ah, come on with that. And that, I gotta, I gotta figure that out. Because when that happens, I, I let go of the thing. So maybe if I flash you now, the spiders will come down. No, the spiders only come down when I'm trying to get away. Which isn't really fair, because I can't really tell where they're gonna be. Okay, let's try to bring it like all the way to the left. Okay, well I know where they are now. That's it, that's it. And then you're gonna spit your little toxic goo at me. That's all right. See, this time, like I can't get it any farther than this, so what's the dealio here? Like I understand, yeah, that, but I can't get this over there anyways. So this makes no sense. Like what do I do about that? I can't move the fire, and it clearly it's not letting me move this right now. This is really silly. 
Like, I physically cannot get any farther than that. Even if I let it, like, sort of, like, maybe if I pull it the opposite direction, but the timing of that would be impeccable to be able to get it all the way. Oh, I see, I see, okay. This is like a fan. Probably should have saw that sooner, right? Okay. So that's gonna start spinning around like crazy, and then, wow, whoa. Uh, ow, I didn't even see that. Now what do I do? Um, Cause this guy will jab, but what help does that serve? Good question, I don't know. Maybe if I make this start spinning again, I can make something happen. And I can like light it on fire and have it spin around. But then it eventually goes out. So like that's not the solution to my problem anymore. I mean, maybe it's if I bring this out far enough, it might just be that they, he can like skewer it. I'm gonna guess that that has to be what it is is that he can sort of hit it with his spear. Like this, like this, like this, come on. That's it, that's it, that's it. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so, now that he's got it like that. Come on, there it goes, perfect. That took a lot of work to do. <laughs> okay, here he goes again. So I have to be careful about this. He's gonna try to hit me with his super sphere move. Not if I have anything to say about it. And then we're gonna get another layer out of him. Thank you very much. Give me that health, please, please, please. Awesome, we're back at the 95. So this is where he's gonna be charging me if I could like hide in the corner. Will this do it? I hope this is what I got. Yeah, that worked! Cool. And he's gonna be climbing on the wall. I hope. Oh man. Oh man, indeed. Man, everything's falling apart. Ah, honestly, he didn't move farther back at all, though. It looks like it's just sort of the same deal, but it's a little different. So what am I gonna have to do this time to solve this situation? Because as you can see, the fire is still here, but I, I don't have any way to light anything up too much. Nothing coming out of that. Oh, I see, this one is, it's a little different. Ow, oh, I forgot. <laughs> a little different this time. Okay, well, I'm just gonna ignore you guys. Like, let's just chill. <laughs> Ow. Oh, that hurt. No, 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 no. Okay, go this way. And we know what to do about this from last episode. Light this up, or not. I missed that time, but I won't miss a second time. There we go. You guys are in trouble now. Anybody tries to mess with me, they're going up in flames. Or if they land on top of me, that might mess me up a little bit, admittedly. But, ah, uh, come on, we're almost there. Light them up. I guess that's what I was supposed to do. Oh, wow, I'm stuck. No, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm good, I'm good. Don't charge me, don't charge me. Okay. Uh, Did we get him? We got him, we got him. Come on. Oh, man. There it is. We did it. We got him, and we get the Dark Moon Crystal. Would you look at that? Uh, Yeah, let's, let's grab it. <laughs> Whoa. Well, looks like we at least get a reward for our horrifying experience. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, it's shrinking down. Oh, are you nice? Well, it just wants to take care of its spider babies. You can't blame it for that. Ah, oh, watch out. They all wanna go back home to mama. Confront the source of the powerful energy, we did it. And we're getting the call. Yellow. Remarkable, a ghost that can possess other beings. And unless my eyes are going, going, the possessor had a piece of the dark moon inside himself. Oh, by the way, are you okay? That was a pretty intense scuffle. But you and the Poltergeist 5000 really showed that boss ghost who's mm -hmm. boss. I'm sure you're tired of that f after that fight. I'll bring you back now. Okay, well, very cool. But we're not quite done with today's episode. I know that was a little short. I figured what we could do is go back through A1 to, ah, spider, watch out. <laughs> There's also a little web ball in the way. <laughs> oh my gosh. But, and I think that, yeah, on the bottom right here in the, the bunker, you can see, 
like a little diagram of the Dark Moon, only one piece, but I think we're gonna add to that now. Luigi, my boy, what a fight! You really used your noggin to teach that ghost a lesson. Let's take a look at that body snatcher ghost. Okay, so yeah, this guy was some kind of uh, possessor. Good thing he didn't possess Luigi. He's very creepy looking. And we get 114 gold, apparently not enough for the game to be happy with me. I mean, I collected everything around me as much as I could. I don't know what better I could have done. I mean, I guess I could have taken less damage and done it more quickly. Fantastic. Now that we've recovered another Dark Moon piece, we just need to find the rest of them. Oh boy. We got a long adventure ahead of us. Was that? You thought we were done? Ho oh, ho, you didn't think the ghost would keep all the all the pieces in the same place, did you? No, these ghosts are far too crafty for that. They've likely spread pieces across the entire valley. Anywho, let's inspect that piece of the dark moon. Well, here it is. Criminy, just like the other one, this thing is covered is covered with the same corrupted energy. But it's nothing a good scrubbing can't fix. Now let's clean it up. Oh, what is he doing? Is this his bath time music? Was it on a, a little record label before? I don't know. Hey, it works. And that clears up a whole new mansion for us to explore. That's so exciting. We'll do that later, of course. I think we still have unfinished business here at this manor. I mean, maybe there's some stuff I can't get right now. Now, if my suspicions are correct, yes, more of that creepy fog has lifted. Maybe the periscope will be able to locate more dark moon pieces now. Let's take a gander at that map and see what shakes loose. All right. So it looks like all the way over to the left, there's a different area, which I will not be exploring right now, but that's cool. Woohoo, that's it. That's where we've got to go next. How are we getting there, you ask? Well, I thought it might come to this, so I made a couple of tweaks to the pixelator. It should now be able to move you to the next location. Check it out on the monitor. So the next manner we'll be checking out is the, well first off we get the one star there. It's something. Ooh, what was that? And we get Haunted Towers. Now we're gonna be moving on to the Haunted Towers. We're starting with Haunted Towers B1, a job for a plumber. Okay, sounds good. Our quest is taking us to a new location, Luigi. Aren't you excited? He's already shaking his head no. Poor Luigi. No? <laughs> Come on, where's your sense of adventure, son? Our work is far from done. We need to get a, a handle on these ghosts, or who knows how far they'll spread. And there's only one way to fix this mess. Restore the dark moon and place it back in the sky. My periscope has located the next piece somewhere in these haunted towers. They've been abandoned for some time now. So they're teeming with exotic plants and naturally ghosts. The towers are in a bad shape and the water system seems to be broken. If only we had a plumber around here. Well, we do. <laughs> Luigi is the brother of a plumber and he himself is also a plumber the last time I checked. Uh, you see the haunted towers feature a complex water system that powers all the machinery. So the first thing on your to-do list will be to check the hydro generator. All right, sounds like fun. I mean, I really enjoyed the first gloomy manor. I'm really excited to explore new areas now. I sort of like the fact that they're sort of kind of bite-sized. Hydro generator, interesting. Looks like that's where we're gonna be going. Oh, and keep an eye out for the new types of ghosts. That goes without saying. Good luck, young feller. Okay, well, off we go. So yeah, this one actually looks like it has a lot more floors to it. So it'll be fun to explore for sure. But I just like the idea because it's very fresh. We have these sort of thematic different places to go and that's fun. Whoa, this place is huge too. Oh man. Looks like there's some flowers out front already. We have a lot of work ahead of us. But it'll be fun. <laughs> ah, yikes. You okay, Luigi? A Little bit of a rough landing. Here we go again. <laughs> I love his expressions. Haunted Towers entrance. Before we go to the right, let's check out the left a little bit. I should have to reload the controls a little bit because I haven't played in a day or two. Let's uh, light that up. There we go. Not bad. So hustling over this way. So I'm definitely just gonna try to get as much money as I can to sort of make everything worth my while is my big focus right now. 
I don't know if we can exactly directly go in. Maybe if we light up all these plants, something good will happen. Oh, there's the key. Okay, cool. Nice. I guess we can use that on the gate. But there's also a little sewer grate down this way. Is there anything I can do with this? Not at the moment. And this tree is covered in a bunch of gook. So let's get that out of there. I'm gonna, ooh. Give it a kick. Lots of money. <laughs> anything else? Not really. I'm trying to be very, very, uh, I guess, just slow and steady. Trying to get done as much as I can, look around as much as I can. I gotta search every room with the shadow light because of the fact that we gotta find every boo, we have to find every gem. If I could do all that in the first way through, it'll make everything much easier, so that'd be fun. Uh, but yeah, nothing looking like it's gonna go on in here, so let's go to the next room through the entrance, open it up with the key. Oh boy. So what's going on in this one? This is the courtyard. Can I light this up? No. This is a little odd looking, it's very spiky. Right now, let's just sort of normally go through the level. There's like a, oh, a leaf covering up this sort of door. Whoa, tons of money. Okay, grab all that as much as I can. Oh, I can, this spiky ball, I can launch it. Oh, that's interesting. And there's a couple more dollars over this way that flew over here, I think. Oh, here we go, get him. Thanks for the gold bar. So what can I do with this spiky ball? I'm sure there's a number of things. Right now, I'll just leave it over that way, because I, I really don't know. And what about these, you can pull these out of the ground, for better or for worse. And what about this up here? This is definitely something I can grab. Whoa, yeah. What is that stuff? There's a frog. Yeah, ow, yucky. We, we slipped on that stuff. So I, I really don't see too much more on that left side, so we'll move over to the right side now. There's gonna be plenty to explore at first as we learn the lay of the land. There we go, and there we go. We got all those plants out. It didn't really seem to do anything, but it could've. So I can't go through this door just yet, I don't think. Or maybe I can. Oh, that door looks so heavy duty, I could have sworn it was gonna be all locked up. The hydro generator, here we are. Ah, uh, hold on, hold on. Okay, he ran. Okay, he's gone. Uh, what can we do now? We can check this little barrel. Before I move forward, I definitely need to check this room and, oh, he's calling me. That can't be it, there's probably more going on. Hmm, just as I feared. The hydro generator seems to be in good condition, so the water pump must be clogged. Why don't you check the water supply on the roof? On the roof? Oh, we got a while to go then. And that is exactly why I need to look around with this. Well, did I find something? I did find something. Look at this, okay, this could be the boo. That'd be perfect if it is. Okay, grab all those. Is it? No? I guess not. Uh, but I got a key out of this. Oh no, there he is! A one, a one, and a two, and we all love Mambo, except for you. Okay, no you don't, no you don't, no you don't. Where are you? Here he is, here he is. I got him, I got him. <laughs> okay, I'm so glad we found the first move for the first level. He's bouncing all over the place, and I got a key! <laughs> okay, weird timing, very weird timing. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Let's grab him. You aren't going nowhere, buddy. Got him. Okay, so grab his tongue again. What's the matter, Luigi got your tongue? And is that gonna be it? I think so, he's sort of stuck in the ceiling right now. Come on, come on, grab him. Thank you very much. Awesome, so we get the boo. How cool is that? So I don't have to look around for that as ridiculously uh, as I was now, so that's good. And we get a little uh, bone. I still don't know what those are for. <laughs> One day we'll find out. Oh, what is going on up here with all those floorboards? Can't really do much with it. We got more of this goop, so it definitely is clogged up. So maybe at some point we can use the water that was supposed to be in those those certain spots. So I mean, I could look around for gems a bit more in this area and stuff like that, but I'm not as worried about it now. So like, I can do this. Whoa. Whoa, look at that, that's a lot of money too. I can't get up there. Yeah, okay, so I'll leave that be. I still don't know what to do with this spike ball, but I'm sure the answer will become clear eventually. And I can go into here. Like, I don't know if I was supposed to, 
But hey, I guess the more stuff I get opened up now, the better, right? Let's take a look around. I mean, I don't know if we could go the other way. I mean, actually, yeah, we could have. Because all I needed that way was the light, I think. We'll check it all out soon. And get more flowers. Oh no, now I'm down here, I can't get back up. And what about this? I mean, I can suck up the coins, but I can't quite. Oh, that's so weird. So I can climb back up, but without maybe a water stream, I can't actually get across in this room. Good to keep in mind. That's an issue we will have to surpass later. So I, I, this is sort of a dead end for now. Uh-oh. Whenever he shakes off like that, that usually means there's something going on in this room. The answer is what? I just don't really know. I don't see anything that I could like hit with this. Because that was sort of my first thought, right? Like we had in the previous episode, oh, maybe I could just hit the door. Right over this way. That was way too high. That just went way off. Um, But in the previous episode when we were finding gems, we found one just through, see, and that's not high enough. So maybe from like here? Yeah, that didn't do anything though. Okay, I don't really know. Hopefully we'll find out at some point. But we got the head of the the, the suit of armor and we're able to launch it. Does that not work? Huh, this might be different. Okay, so let's answer our call from EGAD. Youngster, did you hear me? The machinery is haunt in the haunted towers is powered by water. Now go to the roof and make sure the, the water pump is working. So this isn't even powered on at the moment. So how are we getting to the roof? I am not quite sure. We have a bit of a puzzle to solve here then. So out this way, what can I do? If I can't jump up there, can't go into these rooms. I definitely think the answer to our problem is likely here, but I don't know. Maybe I, oh, oh, oh. Aha, there we go. And what did that do for me? Got me some money. <laughs> That's at least something. Is that it? I guess so. Okay, well that's a bit disappointing. I was hoping for more, but there might be more tiles for me to stand on. Gotta listen for a sound effect. Aha, there's one over this way. Okay, so let's grab this again. Just like that. And then right over here, stand on this one. What, what are you doing, Luigi? <laughs> what was that about? I was trying to aim it up, it just didn't work. Okay, try again. There we go. I mean, that got me a lot of coins. Unfortunately, it didn't seem to accomplish anything else. Maybe like one of these, like you see this panel here? Nope. If it doesn't like make a little reticle on it, I don't think it is anything. It's weird, I feel like I've solved some stuff here, but I also haven't really. Let's go back into this room then. There's gotta be more we can do here. Like maybe I can duck? Is there like a button to crouch? That I've just not hello. been aware of? Hello. <laughs> I can say hello. hello. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Isn't that weird? I must be missing something. Oh, there's a carpet on the floor over this way. Can I stick up the carpet? Not quite. I don't know, this seems like a dead end to me. There has to be something I'm missing with this then, right? Aha, I gotta do this more often. I'm just, I, I don't know. I was being a dingus, it's right there. We were so close too, I was like inspecting and everything. Okay, whoa, be careful. Somebody's causing havoc. What can I do around you? Can I take these? You bet I can. Thank you. <laughs> oh no, oh this is spooky. There's little uh, forklift things. That's not what they're called, I forgot what they're called. Uh, anyways. There we go. Ah! Oh, this guy's rude. Oh, there he is though. Oh, he's running, he's running, he's scared of us. There we go. Okay, well, I'm getting rid of all of these. I don't know if it's doing anything for me, but I'm working on it. Okay, that was just us being clumsy. There's nothing to be afraid of there, Luigi. What's inside of this one? Oh, we broke it. Oh, that's not good. I wasn't ours. I'm 
getting a lot of, whoa, money! <laughs> That's not what I was gonna say, I was gonna get, getting a lot of these, but it's not doing anything for us. I guess now that we got them all, of course, it's gonna shower us in cash. I need to make sure I get these, they are disappearing right now. No, 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 I got a big bunch of them. Ah, oh, I missed them, that's sort of a shame. I tried. We're not really getting too much money right now. We're up to, uh, what, $400, I think? Oh, man. Oh, you have a shovel. I know where you are. Oh, you're hiding, though, because of that shovel. Oh, I got you, I got you. Ready, see ya. Thank you very much. Can I take the shovel from you? I can't, but there's another guy right over this way. So I have to wait for them to, like, bend the shovel over. That means he's going for me. Like that. Come on, come on. Oh, okay, I got him. <laughs> I think I need to jump more when I'm doing the, uh, the capturing. So can I go through this way? You bet I can look through it. Ah, the frogs. This is the West Garden. And it looks like there's a there's a way in from over there. But I don't know how to get across. There's a door. I can see that on the map. Right this way. Gotcha. So let's figure this out. We're on this side now. Don't jump down or I'll have to go around again. Um, There's a veil. There's a flower to suck up. Whoa, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. There's something moving. Ow. Oh, yikes. I got hit by some goop. And there's a gem down this way. I don't quite know how to get to it. Oh, I can just walk under. <laughs> that was a little deceiving. So the gems are green in this one. That was our first gem of the area. And also the first gem in the list. That's perfect. Nothing in there. Oh, I do see this leaf though. Thank you. Oh, oh, golden bat, golden bat. Nice, look at all that money. That was amazing. Can I get these pipes? I guess not, but I can get those dollar bills. Thank you. I don't see too much going on over that way. Is this a bat? Yeah, it was, okay. Oh, very weird looking bat, but we got it. Ow, and there's another one. He's like, hey, who are you calling weird? There we go. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Come over here. It's, it's, it's fighting me right now. What is going on? Is it because it can't get past the fence? Is that seriously what's happening right now? I can't get this dollar bill because it won't go past the fence? Wow, that was silly. I didn't get it. <laughs> oh well, I'm leaving. We're getting out of here. We are going to go through here. Whoa! What is this thing? Oh no. Oh, that's scary. I did not see these things at all before when looking in the West Garden. Ah! Don't hurt me. The plant nursery. I'm gonna have to go to our nursery after seeing this. Okay. Go for it. Oh wow, he ate it. Did that not, 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 not taste good? I guess not, he's gonna take a nap. Oh no, Luigi! Spit him out, spit him out, spit him out! Eh, nasty. That was scary. Okay. There it is, okay. Looks like that showed him something. But this was not the same oh, yeah. thing as the, the, the room before, is the weird thing. Um, I don't think. Oh, because I'm on a higher level. Okay, I understand now. Anyways, there's that. We got a key for all of our troubles there, or all of our trauma tra traumatizing troubles. See, so yeah, below me there is supposed to be a West Garden. So I don't know what that's about, but we'll have to figure it out at some point. Uh, oh, oh, I could have launched a bucket at him too. Maybe I could use that. I guess if there was running water in here, I could put that under the thing. But for right now, I can at the least do a bit of that before we leave this room. Come on, a little bit more. And there we go. What is going on with all of that? I mean, I guess we know for a fact that's not where the clog is, is the idea? Anyways. Um, in this room, oh, haha! -ha. So if I wanted to, is that a good thing? No, that just bring me right down to where I was. It's a shortcut, just not what I want to take right now. I guess I, I could have walked on that and had to fall down and do it all over, so it's good that I found that. What is going on here? We got a bat tornado. What in the world? You might want to get out of here, Luigi. That Those are not bats, those are crows. Oh no. Even worse. Okay, so we can't like take those guys. Can't suck them up, so ow, gotta be careful. Okay, run. I don't think there's much I can do in this room, weirdly enough. Okay, it's just sort of surviving. 
We're getting higher and higher up, but we're on F2. The, the top floor is F5. So this place is actually really, really big. Laboratories. Oh, definitely uh, get the mouse and then get you. Okay, run or just the opposite direction, really. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And also get that little guy. But there's still more. There he is, there he is. Okay, well, I thought I was gonna get him there, but I guess, ow, not. Come on, come on, try to get me, try to get me. Not happening. But his friend hits me, so, so rude. Not impressed, not impressed at all. Okay, boom, two for one deal, that's what you guys get for trying to hit me when I was getting your friend. Nice. So what's going on, oh, I do see another gem, ouch. They just don't have any quit, do they? Okay, gotta be careful, the other red guy. There it is. Gonna grab that and then get his friend. The mice are messing me up right now. There we go. Be gone, Mr. Mouse. Oh, okay, wait, hold on, I'm dancing. And where are you at? You gotta go. So, what do I gotta do for this room? You can see this is actually sort of sealed off by glass, so I can't get in there. Maybe there's a different entrance or something? But right now, it's a bit of a mystery. Probably gonna have to come back to it. Most of the gems will probably be like that until I learn everything about the, uh, the mansion. Whoa, okay. Uh, what does this thing even do? I do not know. It's gone now. It's like a, what is going on? Is Egad calling me? Is that a balloon? Am I gonna be able to use that to float? Hello. Luigi, that substance suck in the Poltergeist 5000. Why don't you try to create a balloon with it? Use L and R to infiltrate, or not infiltrate, to inflate mm -hmm. and deflate. The air coming out of the Poltergeist 5000 might just be hot enough mm -hmm. to let you lift off. Okay, so let's try this out. Well, that didn't quite work that time, but I guess I gotta, I gotta go like this, and then I can, whoop. So this must be the way that we get to that one thing. Ah, oh, watch out for the spikes, watch out Luigi. There we go. Gotta be very careful. So I could let myself off right here. I can't go any higher up, so yeah. Uh, move forward a little bit, just like that. And from around here, oh, I see. There's a couple of things I can get to. The first thing I wanna try to get to is this over here so we can get this next gem. Um, will that work? Seems like it is to me. Nice, look at that. Okay, so first off, Get that, and there we go, gem number two for today's episode, and it is indeed the second gem. So I think we're finding everything in the appropriate order. Anyways, yeah, get that, and fly upwards. And there's something going on behind that wall. I don't know if that's something we can actually get to. What is this golden one? I don't know, we're about to find out. And try this. Whoa, look at this, look at this. Okay, so I need to get up there quickly, quickly before they disappear, because I'm running out of time. Um, okay, well, I missed one. I can't tell where they are. The depth perception is tough on a 2DS. Oh no, I'm gonna run out of time, aren't I? I don't know, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Come on, just keep going up, keep going up, keep going up, we can do this, Luigi. Oh, I'm running out of time, I'm running out of time. No, wait, no, wait, no, wait, wait. we can do it, we can do it, we can do it, yeah, we did it! Look at that, that was so cool. And I get a chest for that, so that's good. Tons of money. Okay. Grab that, oh no! <laughs> Shouldn't have done that, yikes. But it was worth it for the dollar. Maybe it wasn't. Don't put your life at risk for a dollar. That's never worth it. Your life is more valuable than money. There we go. So we wanna definitely check out some more of that floor though. Because there's sort of two floors going on here. But if I get down this way, there might be some more worth my time. We've got a couple more dollar, not dollars, uh, golden things, whatever they are. Whoa, we almost fell. So is there anything I can do about this big, I can look through it. This big crack in the wall. The seedling laboratory, and they are making a huge mess in here. Wow. No, no respect for literature, I suppose. Why can't you read while you're a ghost, you know? Seems like a great time to maybe brush up on some knowledge. Okay, so what about this one? This chair, oh, just fell. Maybe I can use that for something. Anyways, uh, I do wanna check this out. This is, whoa, the conservatory. This guy is jamming out. See, this guy, he's applying his knowledge of musical skills to play some. That's cool. Very scary, I suppose, according to Luigi. 
And what about a cross tier? I'm not really sure. Sort of tough to get to without popping it. I need to sort of improve my angling there. Shouldn't be that bad of a deal though. Let's try it again. No, come on, you got it, buddy. Because we can't go any higher up. We just gotta get across to here, and then we can do it, see? It is not that bad of a, of a thing. All right, um, so let's go. Oh, we gotta suck this up so that I can walk through the door. And is this the staircase up? It is, okay. So we're at the water supply. Whoa, extra health, I'll probably need it then. Whoa, <laughs> got a lot of the crows there. Nice, I'm trying to get these this money, but it's flying away from me. Oh, wow. Oh, there's a key picture over there. Okay. Uh, I don't know if getting rid of these flowers is really doing anything for me, what happened? I don't know, this bucket has a mind of its own. Oh, there he is, there he is. He can't get flashed though because of the bucket. So I'm gonna have to take the bucket off his head, right? Oh no. Oh, hey, you trying to make fun of me? Not appreciated, sir. Very rude. And there we go, that's all the ghosts. It was just him. So what is going on next? This room looks a little complicated. I can step on this button, and as you can see, some stuff happens. Oh, I see, I see. I could do that, and then this, right? That worked. Oh, you know what, what if I charge it? There we go. But that's not enough. All four of the lights have to go off at once. So if I take this and put it there, that'll open up the other two, correct? No. I need to fill it up with something. That's it. Okay, so if we run back over this way, fill it up with some of this icky goop, if I can. Hold on, I might have to re-angle myself. I can't tell if I'm over it or not. I don't think so. That still isn't working. Did that work? Okay, yeah, it's full, it's full. It just, it's hard to tell. Because it makes the same sound effect, no matter what. So there we go, those are open, these are open, and then I can, boom, get them all at once. So there's the water pump moving. Precious water, H2O, going through those pipes. But if it's clogged, this isn't really gonna solve anything, will it? Oh no. We're gonna have an explosion somewhere. Or not. Oh no, wait, 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 it's getting overcharged. I really don't know what's happening. No, it's working. I guess that solved it. <laughs> Look at these guys. Those swimming around, they're having a good time. That's funny. Oh, and look at this. Now we can more freely go across here so we can go to that one western garden. And there's, oh, that main path over there. There's lots going on now. This place is springing with ghostly life. Fix the water pump on the roof. You got it. Looks like Professor's contacting us. What's up, dude? Hello. Fantastic job, youngster. The water flow is slowly normalizing. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I'll pixelate you out of there in just a minute. In just a minute? Okay, well for right now, victory, oh no, not victory dance, what happened? Uh-oh, not good, not good at all. What in the world is in those pipes? Somebody clogging the toilets on the top floor or what? Oh gosh, ah! Oh no, he is the clog. What is with this guy? He's huge. For a second I thought it was saying that he was the water supply, like that was his name, water supply. Not quite, okay. What do I do about this guy? Um, I don't think I can take his goop. I don't think I would want to. So I have to figure something out here. I mean, oh yeah, I, I just have to flash him. Okay, we're good. Come on, come on, come on, just don't get me. Thank you very much. We're gonna keep going. Watch it, I tried to jump over that. I think I succeeded. Oh, but doing that also moves me towards him, which is weird. Uh, I gotta flash him again. Boom, got him. Ouch, don't belly bump me. That's rude. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's it. One more, there it is. See you, buddy. Nice. Okay. What's up, Professor? Hello. Hmm. Ho ho, good job dealing with that rather rotund ghost. I'm bringing you back, hold on to your hat. Okay, well, that actually wasn't too bad. That was a lot of fun exploring the brand new area. 
getting two gems and the boo for the first level. Great job, Luigi. Let's see that new ghost. And that is not bad. So we get the third meter marker for our poltergeist. When vacuuming up, up a ghost, you can now charge the power gauge to full capacity by pressing A. So that is full capacity poltergeist. What is the next upgrade gonna be? I guess we'll have to find out at some point. Well, I'll be. I've never seen that kind of ghost before. And good job for restoring the water flow. If this whole ghost hunting thing doesn't work out, you may have a future as a plumber. Well, I think that was his past. Uh, you'll be happy to know that the Haunted Tower's water system is now almost completely functional. I also have news regarding the Dark Moon piece. But well, why don't you take a break? You're looking a little soggy. Okay, so next episode we'll be doing the B2, which will be after we see our collectibles here. B2 is going to be the pinwheel gate. We'll tackle that next episode. Looks like we need to get another 10,000 coins to get our next upgrade. With the B2, the pinwheel gate. Luigi want to hear news about the dark moon piece, of course. Well, the periscope was having a heck of a time trying to pinpoint its location. But when it hit me, but then it hit me. I can analyze the dark moon pieces we already have to improve the position. Naturally, I was right, and after a little tinkering, the periscope produced better results. Remember that gigantic tree? The dark moon piece seems to be somewhere up there. So we know roughly where it is, but the hard part is getting there. All right, looks like Luigi's very uh, eager to hop in. He, he's always so good when he hears good news. All righty, so we're going into the tree itself. You'll need to cross the newly raised bridge to, and explore the interior of the hollow tree to find a way up. Got all that? Off you go. So before we actually go into the tree, I wanna explore some of the other parts that we've now unlocked through raising the water level so that hopefully I can find the boo along the way. And maybe along with it, uh, I can maybe find a couple of gems, but the gems I'm not as worried about because a lot of the gems we can find in other situations. I Oh, oh no. Poor Luigi, got his foot stuck in a bucket. Hopefully his clothes aren't ruined. Oh, one of the flowers are missing. Haunted Tower's entrance, okay. There used to be a flower here, there's only one now. Enter the hollow tree, I'll do that in a moment. First off, getting some money. And can I do anything with this bucket? Well, the door's closed again, but I do hear some running water. So maybe I could, yeah, do that, I can grow the flowers now. That's cool. So that leaves a lot of room for things to improve around here. We can change a lot of stuff. Look at Luigi being so uh, ecologically aware. So let's use our flashlight to at least get some more money. Whoa. If not anything else though, we might be able to get a gem or something out of these. Not quite, but lots and lots of cash. So you know what? That's good. And still nothing in here, right? Oh, a golden bat. Again, was that a golden bat last time? It might have been. But what's in here? I didn't, I didn't poke my head into this before. Oh yeah, this is the hydro generator, which as we can see, is pretty much back to normal. In the meantime though, once again, I need to check everything around here. Now this area doesn't seem much like has changed, um, but it's, it's just important to check because if not, I might miss out on the boo and then we'll have to come all the way back and that wouldn't be fun. Always would be a little bit more time consuming, which usually time consuming things aren't that fun. Uh, let's light that up, get some extra money that way. So we'll do the same deal. Oh yeah, we gotta pull this again. Grab this if we can, fill it up, and we know what to do over this way. Uh, so you can only do it when the prompt is available to do it. There's another flower, same thing over here. And that seems to be it. Oh, the tile is missing. Can I fall in? No, that'd be weird. Maybe the tile's somewhere around. And I guess I can maybe fill this up too. Let's try this. So there's lots to sort of uh, mess around with here before we even go into the tree. Okay, this guy seems like he might need more water. Oh no, it's the spike ball, okay. But that's where this gets weird, because once again, um, I can't stand on this, there's no tile there. So hopefully we can find the tile somewhere. Maybe standing on this one will give me the tile. Uh, okay, that was just some extra coins this time, nothing wild. I'm just gonna grab all that. Actually, I do not want this right now. 
But I do want to light all the up uh, this stuff. Tons of money so far in, in this level. That's great. That's another fifty dollars. Hopefully this will be another fifty dollars. But yeah, I guess you just can't do this one right now. Isn't that weird? Very odd. Maybe that'll pop up to be something later. For right now. What's going on in this room? That's what I'm very curious about. Oh, there's a bone. Very cool. And I definitely wanna like jump back into some of these rooms that actually had buckets in them and maybe abilities to get uh, extra stuff. Oh, am I getting a call? I guess so. Why is he gonna tell me I'm going the wrong way? Hey Luigi, did you miss the pinwheel gate? I did not. You know, pinwheels usually spin when you blow them. Just saying, I've already done it. <laughs> I did that last level, last episode. I'm right now trying to find extra collectibles, man. I mean, I know I can get some extra money. I mean, this worked last time. I don't know if it'll work this time. Do I get all of these? Because it seems to remember from level to level, you know, what you sort of have done and what you haven't. I mean, it depends, of course. Oh, oh did that get me money? Okay, let's mess with the, uh, the little things. And pull that back. Got one right over here to shake a little bit. Wait, can we look through this window? We can't. Okay. It will this give me money this time? Uh. It will, wow, okay. That's a great thing to sort of come back and collect extra of then. Let's try to be quick with this. Um, try to get it all. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Major money today. We are already up to, what, 400, 500 almost? Almost. Okay. Nothing going on this way, so we have a total of, it's still counting up. Oh, here we go, a couple more coins, maybe. Can't really tell. So yeah, we're at 498 coins, isn't that wild? And there doesn't seem to be too much more than that, at least from there. But we know, I mean, I already got this gem, so it's not gonna do anything for me. There's, there's still a way, somehow, to get into there. I don't know what that is, though. Can I fall in the water? I can. Doesn't really do much. I might wanna go back into the greenhouse and take a look at that, because that's definitely something I wanna get into sooner than later. Uh, also, I have not been, yo, yeah, it was right here, right? I've not been using the, the thing as much as I should. Were you here before? I don't know, but you can see it's like an opening. Ah, ah, leave me alone. Uh, but some kind of opening. Stop being so mean. I wonder how. I can't like sneak in that way. Very weird, very weird indeed. But I definitely need to run through everything again. Can I like fall through? Not really. But I'm gonna have to run through everything and use this because I don't know if I could have missed anything anywhere. I wanna make sure that we do find what we gotta find, you know? Oh, here we go. Aha, I should have guessed this sooner. It's a door thing right here, okay. Got it, and got it. And look at that, that's our way in. I don't know why I always forget that kind of thing. Oh, if I could get a bucket of some sort into here, how am I gonna do that? And, ow, that hurt. Get me out of here, come on, get me out, get me out, get me out. How am I doing that? I might have to come back for that, because I don't see how. There's no buckets in here, right? I can't take the barrels. Very odd. I mean, I can, oh, what, what will this do now? It'll just give me money. <laughs> it's like I got nothing else for you. Weird. So I've gotten here, but I don't got the explanation I needed. Anyways, now we're in the plant nursery, and I'm sort of just sort of doing the same thing. I'm poking around, trying to find the answers. Because the weird thing about this one is that there is indeed a bucket, but no running water. So maybe I just have to do this. Aha. Oh, and those flowers actually grow right away. Now I don't know what I'm doing with this. Doesn't seem to be, actually, maybe these? Here we go. Get water that up, water this up. I don't see anything else around here. So let's work on that for now. A ton of money, that's for sure. Why doesn't that work? Weird. Man, so much money so far. 
It's great. Another $50 there. Actually, yeah, that was a, another $100, right? I don't know. No, it might, it might have just been 50. There we go. I must have missed a dollar somewhere. Oh well, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. If I miss five dollars. So what's going on inside of this room then? Actually, I mean, it's, go. Oh! I should have known, I should have known. I, I, I just need to look around now with this. So let's not give up quite yet. Aha, okay, this is my answer for this. Okay, now I understand. I just have to sort of get that muscle memory, right? If something is missing, I may be able to make it reappear. That kind of mindset is sort of hard to adopt at times because I don't know, that's usually not how puzzles work. Usually you have to find something that is there. But that's gonna water up and that'll be a spiky ball thing. Whenever that's ready, I will launch that right at you. Thank you very much, sir. And what is gonna be inside of this then? That has me very curious to see. Uh. It's gonna be another gem. That will be gem number three, hopefully. That's gem number like six, yeah. But that is our third gem. Making some great progress with that at the least. But still not everything I'm looking for. So now I'm back up here. Yeah, this is the place, the Sky Bridge. I really, there wasn't really anything to be missing here. So I, ow, come on. I don't know what I could end up missing, you know? So far, it's looking like nothing. And I hope it's not too boring that I'm doubling back on everything that I did last episode, but it is very important to do. And honestly, I've been getting a lot of money for it too, so I think overall it's worth it. Can I look through this? I did not do this before. This is the botany lab. So there's another water pump in this part. So this place is just, it just keeps going and going. It's crazy. So I don't think it's gonna be this far out, but like I don't really know. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, this is all closed off. So I actually cannot go any farther. It, it, there, there is sort of this, this full stop on where I can actually progress. So now I'm gonna go back and do the other side. <laughs> Once again, I don't know how I forget these things. If something is missing, it isn't that I have to find it, it's that it's there and I need to reveal it, you know? And that's sort of where like my video game sense, I guess is a little bit different. Anyways, boom, get this guy. Ooh, golden ghost. Come on, get him, get him, get him. No, you don't. No, you don't. That's it. Lots of money for you, I hope. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Cool. Always fun to see that. So yeah, we could go down the center. I'm not too interested, I wanna go to the right. <laughs> I wanna explore all this. I doubt the boo would be in here. It just wanna make sense, you know? Oh, hello, little froggy. No, come on, get the froggy. Ow. There it is because we already found a boo in here. But this chest, uh, I mean, before this gave me a key. I don't think it's gonna give me anything this time. No, it gave me a lot of money. Okay, that's pretty cool. It doesn't seem like there's anything else though, in this room specifically. So you know what to do, do that. I don't know if we ever went into this before. Did we? No. This is the East Hall where we can get some coins. Thank you very much. Well, that feels nice, just for it to be showered upon us like that. I mean, I obviously this, see this door. This one they tried to make really obvious. Okay, there's supposed to be a door here. I can look inside this drawer. Not much inside. And this corner looks very barren, but there's nothing going on there either. At least I'm getting a very clear idea of everything in this area. Because that's sort of the first few levels, it's very important to do things like that, right? It's really important to figure out where everything is, how to get to it, what's in that room. Let's spin this fan around a little bit. Whoa, whoa, what happened to that, that bed? Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? If I stand on this, it's a little weird. Uh, okay, there's also a bucket of water. Got some extra health I, I will gladly take. I'm still not at full health even after that. And there's a frog. Isn't that weird? So let's search through this room one more time with the, the dark light. Not too much happening with that. I don't know what to do with this bucket. I mean, I guess I could just put it on top of, oh, okay, I see. 
that uh, that was enough weight to like activate this. So I'm like going totally different places. I feel like I'm going too far now, <laughs> too far away. Cause this is like clearly not what I'm supposed to be doing right now. But I'm just trying to find the boo, you know? There's a lot going on in here. I don't know what this is either, Luigi. <laughs> Egad's like, what are you doing? Hey Luigi, be careful with that. That's a pixelator screen, an early prototype of my teleportation device. But with my new pixelator, I can bring you back from just about anywhere in this valley. Well, as long as I can locate you, of course. Yep, rather genius if I do say so myself. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I really probably need to turn around though. What about this? No, nothing? Okay. I gotta be careful of you. So you're not gonna be very nice. So it looks like if I wanna get it back up, I need to use one of those things. Honestly, it doesn't look like there might be too much going on. I'm trying to find a way where I can water this and make it into one of the spiky leaves, but I don't see anything around here. So we could go into this door, is it? I might as well, it looks like a dead end. Oh, okay, there's a chest over there. Whoa, <laughs> this is not real. That was odd, I was not expecting that. And there's a bunch of money inside. Not bad, not bad. I was trying to get this. Oh, there's a boo! Really? Am I Boolean, true or false? What does Boolean mean again? I know it, from something. Okay, where is he? He's right here, got him. So we can fill this meter all the way up this time. Thank you very much. He's gonna go, oh, yikes, all over the place. That must have hurt. Poor Boo, but we, I can't believe we got him. It just took a lot of searching. Half of this episode is probably just gonna be searching for the Boo, <laughs> but I'm glad that we got it. Then over this way, any extra coins? Might as well just sort of see what else is around. But that was one of the ones where I don't have to actually use the light to find him. That's why it's just really good to make sure no stern, or no stern, no stone is left unturned. I cannot speak correctly sometimes. Oh, there's definitely supposed to be something here. Uh, you can tell, there's like this shadow right there. No? Really? I don't believe that for a second. Anyways, let's go into here. Whoa, a casket. Who's in here? Okay, health, that's good. Rather that than the alternative, uh... Oh, that's scary, am I supposed to go inside? No. I don't know, what's on the other side of that? Don't know if I like that very much. What happens if we take out all the candles? And do it again. Nothing. Honestly, there's not much going on in this room. There's probably something later on. Anyways, it seems like I have truly explored all there is to explore, except for the tree. <laughs> So we're gonna go back to the tree now. You know, I said that a little too soon. We could have also gone to this door to the right. But you know what? It's the tool shed that's cool and everything, but I don't need it. I do not need it to progress forward. More money would be great, but at the same time, I also wanna make some progress in the game today. <laughs> we'll explore all that stuff in due time, right? I mean, I'm probably taking too long, so I'm probably not gonna get a very high star rating anyways. Anyways, we've done this before. We'll do it again. Oh, there's a ghost! Oh no, look at this guy, causing a big problem for us. Oh no, he's sending his friends after us? Oh, he's stealing all the stuff. Don't tell me I need to explore the areas again <laughs> to find all these pieces of the fan. Am I really? Did I just do everything out of order? Because if so, that is the most me thing I could have ever done. Poor Luigi. So let's run through the areas we were just in. I mean, I, at least that means that we don't have to sweat it, right? We can just go and do it. All right, hey buddy. Criminy, not again. That pinwheel gate won't open without its veins. Did you see where those skinny ghosts went? Never mind. I'll use the periscope to find them. Hold on a sec. Got him. Check your map. Okay, so enter the hollow tree, can't quite do that, but we can recover the pinwheel vein. So find the, the veins in the east hall, find the vein in the seeding, seedling laboratory, and for the uh, conservatory. Shouldn't there be four of them to find? I don't know. Right now, we will go into here and hope for the best. Here they are. Oh, there's multiple. Okay, I see now. So, okay, now there's actually ghosts in here. <laughs> That's so funny that I found like most stuff. Don't you dare. I see what you're trying to do over there. Thank you, I got that guy. And then you're gonna try to hit me with a shovel because you're a jerk. 
Come on. And then you, buddy. Don't you just try to laugh at me and spook me like that. Not happening. Grab these coins too, quickly. So what was this guy trying to, he was like punching this thing. Weird. There must be another ghost around though. Has to be, so let's just keep checking things. Oh, there he is, got him. Come on. Oh yeah, he's done, he's finished. Thank you very much. And that is going to be our first pinwheel arm. I don't know, pinwheel pin. Nice. Nothing in there. And I think we're good to move to this next room then. This room actually seems quite big. Garden, okay. Get him, get him, ah, oh, he's gone. So he must have went down yeah, farther into here. Looks like there might be a way to reach that. For right now though, let's just keep fiddling with stuff. What is this? It looks like a weird grill or something. There's gotta be a bucket around. Yo, what is this supposed to be? I don't understand, aha! Whoa, it's like a lawnmower. That's weird. Okay, well that got rid of the bushes for us. Oh man, whoa, it's this guy again. Oh great, at least another one of them. But now I have a lot more going for me. Ow, I was gonna say that I do, but I guess not. Okay, hold on, hold on. Don't you hit me. Stop being so mean. Maybe I should get rid of the green guys first, because they're so simple. Oh, I actually got a two for one deal. Come on, come on, come on, ready? Oh my gosh, I pressed A though. Stop doing that. That's sort of the thing. It's, it's very helpful to full up your meter. It's not easy to do this. So jumping will actually cancel your thing, which I don't like too much. I thought the whole point was so that you could use it to dodge, but apparently it's gonna make that complicated for me. Okay, dude, stop eating stuff so that we can continue our duel. What, that, there's no way that hit me. Come on, I'm just trying to get the full meter because I haven't done that yet and you're making everything complicated for me. Oh, I don't appreciate it. I'm very low on health too, so you know what? That's it. No, I got hit. It's impossible for this guy because he just hits you with that and there's no room to move away from it. Stop it. I'm gonna get taken out if you keep this up and I don't appreciate that. Okay, there's some extra health. Thank, what? What? But I hit the, the health. Oh, hey buddy. Is he sniffing me? Look at this little ghost pup. Ah, oh, so he takes the bone. So that's what that is. All right, well thank you so much, this is an extra life. Now I know. Okay, I thought that was gonna be like extra money or something. There we go, what a jerk. All I was trying to do was do it the, the cool way. And he just wouldn't let me. Uh, is there more I can do with the lawnmower? No, it's stuck here. Can't believe that. Those is like not enough room to actually do it properly. Okay, what do you think you're doing? I'm gonna take it all my anger on you. Thank you. And that's gonna be another piece. It's also a little bit brighter in here, which is good. But I need one of these buckets. I'll run over this way. And we're gonna light everything up. Or not light everything, uh, water everything. Which will hopefully make everything a little bit brighter, a bit cheerier in here. And we get one of these, so that's two. So I guess we're only looking for three. But I thought there was five on the pinwheel, and there was only one left, so I thought there was gonna be four more to find, but I guess not. Or four in total. There we go. And anything else I can do with this stuff? Doesn't look like it, so I'm gonna leave it be. And what can I get for this? Oh, hey, that's gonna be another gem. I was not expecting that. Pretty simple gem to get. That's our th the third one there, but our fourth in total. We're doing a great job finding those so far. And that just has a ton of money. That was more of what I was expecting. Is these gonna, on average, drop about $50, which is quite a lot. Oh, that got me some money too. I'll try to get these. That's some money. Thank you. And then finally, flash this thing for another looking like $50. I think they spit out 10 of them. And they're $5 each, so. Very nice. So we're gonna be at 12, 1,200. And what's going on inside of this room? The tool shed stairs. There's some fire in here too. It's a very bright torch. Like that's a major fire hazard. What is that up there? Is that like a, a gem? No, that's a stack of money. Okay. Oh, the flame just went blue for some reason. Uh, I think this room's clear, so we're gonna move out of here. 
And this way, what do we got going on? Oh, uh, whoa, oh, here he is, here he is. Come on, get him. No, he's gone. So this room actually, it's fine now. Oh, hey. Why would I want this in this room? I mean, it's gone now. That's not what I want to do. I guess I just need to use that to get down this way now that I've done it the one way. That's sort of weird. So if I go like this, I can go down there now. Wait. There we go. So we're just gonna float all the way down, ever so gently. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Can we can we actually get rid of this thing, please? Don't you dare. Very rude, very rude. Don't you know it's rude to hit people? Okay. Got it. And then get rid of this guy's glasses if we can. No, stop. Oh, come on, Luigi. What was that about? Come on, get rid of him. Thank you. And you better not eat me. I see that plant trying to do what he's doing. Okay, now let's mess with this. No, he's not in there? Thought he would be. There he is, come on, get him. Thank you. Oh, come on. He's like everywhere right now. Super hard to keep up with, but we got it. And that is the third and final piece. My gosh, that was tough. So is there anything else we can do around here? I don't wanna get eaten by him. So I guess there's not really. Uh, so with that being said, we are going to head back now. No, it says three of five. So where do I gotta go now? Find a vein in the conservatory and find one in the seedling laboratory. So I don't know where those are on the map. Oh, you know what? I do see an extra door over here. This must be some kind of secret then. I swear I walked up to this before and it didn't give me that option, but I must've just messed it up. Huh. What is he doing? Hello. <laughs> ah, don't do that. Oh gosh, whoa, yikes. Okay, so now we're actually in the tool shed stairs. And there's also a bed here. Oh yeah, this is where the bed comes in, in the other room. Interesting. So how are we getting up these stairs? As you've seen, they sort of move on their own. Uh, there we go. No wait, no wait, I, I didn't give up with them. But yeah, these flames were red before, they're blue now. I can get rid of them all together, but they'll come back, they always do. Oh, I don't like this, I don't like this, I feel like I can't keep up. Okay, but, ah, what are you doing? Get out of here. Be gone. There we go. Is that it? Oh, that was it. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So there's more than one way to go here. First, we could go through this door. And where does it lead? Oh no, this one's locked. Ow, oh, oh, that was not a door at all. That was a trick. I should have seen that on the map. It shows that there's not really actually anything there. Oh well. Live and learn. Oh, what was that about? That was spooky. Oh, and now here we are at the botany lab. So there's gotta be stuff going on around here. I mean, first off, more money, that's always good. Maybe I can check some of the desks. There's a bucket here if I do find some running water. Um, There's a pump. Whoa, okay, I guess there's some extra coins over here. So I will bring the water over whenever I find the running water, or the, the bucket over when I find the running water. What is this about? Aha! More money hiding in many different places. So with this one, oh, I know what I gotta do. I gotta face it and then hit it with the triple. Nice. So wait, did that not work? Uh, I believe that did not work. Oh, it only works for a moment. So what we need to do, grab the bucket, run back over, and try to line this up. Uh, I think right here would be good. And then try again. Will that be good enough? It will be, awesome. So now that we have water, I can't quite do that one. Oh, you know what I can do? I know what to do. I'll do it in a moment. First, I gotta do that. Is there anything else that could use water around here? It doesn't look like it, so I wanna put the bucket down because I don't think I need it. And that'll be a gem, nice, okay. Super glad I did that. We are already five gems in everything in the second level, isn't that crazy? But now what I have to do, as you can see, just like that, Thank you very much. So one more time now, it'll follow along the pipes 
and water that thing up. Oh man. Whoa, what in the world? Whoa! And it's like a spiral staircase. Oh, that's so cool. All right, Luigi, watch your step. The seedling laboratory. Are they making a big mess in here? Of course they are. Is this another fake door? It's actually not. Oh, we're over here now. Back on the tool shed stairs. But I gotta go back, I'm not done. So we saw this, what was it earlier? This No, this was last episode we saw these guys making such a huge mess. We gotta put a stop to it. Uh, Actually, can I even get over there? Yes, I can. It's sort of like a weird angle. Um, oh, so he has the beaker protecting, which doesn't really make too much sense because the light will go right through the beaker, but okay. Okay, no, wait, 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 got him. And then you, I will confiscate those glasses, please. And then I'm gonna confiscate you. There we go. So we're looking around to see if we can't find a little blue ghost in here somewhere. There's lots of beakers around. I can't interact with any of that at all. Oh, what about this? More money, always a good thing to see, but not everything. In here? Nope. In here? Nope. Huh. I don't even know what that is, but I cannot interact with it until all the ghosts are gone. It's gotta be around here. Well, this is where I just came from, so I don't wanna do that. Isn't that odd? I must have missed something obvious. Did I check this one? I did. I can't get up here at all. Oh, here's another uh, poster. But that did nothing. Oh, I uh, did I not just check this? Okay, whatever. If it works, it works. And that is going to be another piece, which is fantastic. Four out of five now. So I'm just looking for one more. So I guess there's actually six in total, because there's still one left on the thing. So what is this about? Oh, there's a gem. Oh, look at this. Wait, no, I wanted to fire it. How do you fire it? Uh, oh, like this, whoa. And break all the beakers and stuff. But can I get you? <laughs> That's the question. That seems a little difficult to do. Uh, got him, okay, there's another gem. That one's pretty easy, too. That was fun. Let me just break everything now, because it's just what I do, I guess. I'm very destructive. But it might get us something if we do. It seems like it, right? Like there's a lot of out of the way things. I mean, we got a coin over that way I missed out on it, but that's not that big of a deal. Uh, got it. Okay, just a couple more. Wait, how did that not work? That worked, okay. And that one. Whoa, look at all these. No, 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 I'm not done, I'm not done. I mean, I am done with that, but I, I need to get over this way quickly before these guys touch the ground because they will go away. You're kidding me. Oh, that's super uncool. Okay, well we missed out on two gold bars, but honestly, it's not the biggest deal in the world. We just got our sixth gem and now we have them all in order. That's gonna be 40 right there. So it could have gotten 80, but with that we're over 1,500 in this level. Like I think this might be our highest scoring level yet, which is crazy cool. Anything in there? Oh, lots of health, so I'm probably gonna need it for something before I continue any farther. Might as well check that out. That didn't have anything for me, but it could have. Whoa, hold on, golden bat, golden bat. I got him, but I can't get his money. Oh, come on, <laughs> that was silly. I got a couple dollars, I got one. No, 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 they cost five, so I got four of them. Not bad. Oh, here, here's another one. Thank you. And let's check this out. Inside of here, the conservatory. Oh yeah, there was a big red ghost in here playing the piano. And there he is, what do you know? Oh boy. These guys are silly. <laughs> okay, so first I think I gotta stop the music. Let's get working on that. Oh, there he has a friend. He has a big friend. There we go, I love doing that, that's a lot of fun. Come on, come on, come on. That's it! Yeah, look at that. Get this gold bar, get a couple of them over this way. Take all the papers off, all the music notes. Can I play it? <laughs> that works, okay. But it only pops out like some of the time, that was weird. There we go, there we go, I got him. Nice. And there we go, that's the fifth and final one right there. Cover the pinwheel veins. 
And now Egad's gonna call us, he's gonna tell us to go back. What's up, buddy? Good job, Luigi. That was the last vein for, for the pinwheel gate. I'll bring you back here so we can figure out how to reinstall them. Oh, okay, so that's gonna be it for now. That's fine, we had a very productive level there. Getting over 1,600 coins, we got the boo, we got a couple of gems, so I'm happy with that. Hopefully you guys are too. What do you know? I got some cool stuff. Good job scaring those ghosts out of their hiding spots, young feller. We'd be in a real pickle if we lost those pinwheel veins. I'm sure I have something in my toolbox that we can use to put them back in place. I'll tell you, you really have a knack for stirring up trouble, youngster. You haven't even reached the hollow tree and the ghosts are already giving you a hard time. Stay strong, my boy. We'll have that dark moon back in the sky before you know it. All right, so it looks like next episode we'll be ta tackling B3, after I get these. Uh, B3 will be graveyard ship. All righty, so more exploring of this giant tower. All right, Luigi, get those pinwheel veins with you. Or got those. Yeah, yeah I guess we do, we got them last episode. And what is that? <laughs> Take this wrench, oh, okay, it's wrench, and use it to attach the pinwheel veins back to the gate. Sure thing. <laughs> Luigi's pretty handy. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Okay, looks like we're going into a brand new area of the uh, tower then. Now, once you open the gate, enter the hollow tree and look for a way up. <laughs> I get the feeling that dark that the dark moon piece is somewhere near the top. Okay, I'll be comfortably monitoring your progress from here. You know, as usual. Anywho, good luck, kiddo. <laughs> I would like to see him go out here and grab some ghosts. I don't know why we gotta do all the work. We're doing this for totally for free. I mean, I guess not for free. We get, do we get to keep the money or not? <laughs> does Luigi get to keep the money? I mean, in the first game, he got to keep the mansion. In this game, what is he really getting out of all of this? What's funny is it's not even Luigi's mansion. It's just mansions featuring Luigi. <laughs> ah! <laughs> What's going on here? What are you doing out front? Oh, he sort of looks a little scared, to be honest with you. Uh, attach the pinwheel veins. We'll try to do exactly that, but I gotta be careful of this guy who's blocking the door. So this might become a bit more problematic this time. What I have to do, first off, is to pull that and fill these up. Maybe I can get something done with these flowers first. So, over here, thank you very much. Same deal over that way. And then I have to run all the way down without you messing with me too much, sir. Thank you. And one of that, you probably just another normal flower. I think that's all I need the water bucket for. But what I need to do now is to suck that up and to launch it right at you. And while you're doing all that, I might as well grab some money from these flowers. Ooh, you're giving me a ton. Thank you a lot for that. That's gonna be all the way up to 65 to start things off for today's episode. And you're gonna do sort of the same. 100 there. Okay, well th that's 100 in total. Gotcha. So I don't know if there's too much more I can do in this area, but first let's, uh, I do see there's a little spider web on that. There wasn't before. Whoa, okay, come on, come on, come on. That just like didn't work at all. Once again, the perception can be a bit tough to work out at times. Whoa, oh, is there a golden ghost in here? Yeah, there's a golden ghost in the hydro generator. Okay, definitely we'll have to get that. But I don't see anything else in this area we can do. I'm just sort of checking over it all really quickly uh, before we skedaddle into the main room. Uh. So yeah, let's go in, Luigi looks a little worried, but I think he'll be okay. Uh-oh. So what are they up to? Are they up to no good? Are they gonna steal the last vein? Oh, come on, really? Always gotta be causing trouble. Oh, oh, they noticed me. Oh no, <laughs> he's trying to get out of here. Well, let's stop this guy real quick. Okay, run over here, boom, gotcha. Oh man, he's got some friends though. There we go. Thank you very much. This guy's not happy about it. Come on, get out of here. So we only have to fill it up two meters. Ow, but his friend hit me right at the perfect time. That's not good. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. And that might be all of them. No, wait, there's still you. Let's grab you real quick then. Nice. Okay, that was a little bit of hard work, but we, we made it happen. Oh, it looks like these coins disappeared. That's sort of a shame. Is it still a panel that'll get me something? Not right now, though. Hmm. 
Interesting. So I'm sure there's a lot we can do around here. For right now, I'm just sort of gonna be looking around, trying to find whatever might work. So what about this one? Nothing. So let's go into this room, because this room will have the golden ghost. I think, yep, right there. Did I get him? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is, there he is. He's trying to swim away from me. Not happening, buddy. That's it, boom. And that'll be loads more money. Okay, not bad. And that'll turn the lights on and everything. So in here, it looks like most things are the same. We get a dog bone, so as we learned last episode, if I get taken out, I should be okay. That'll be great. And a couple of coins in there too. So yeah, that's what I'm just trying to do is to go into each room, get a good look around, because I'm gonna be able to go into the tree now. So I, I wanna make sure that uh, everything else is at least clear as much as I can make it. Maybe get some extra coins from this, even if it is only a couple. No, it's actually quite a lot. Awesome. Because I only need like what? I think around uh, 800 coins to get the new thing, uh, the new upgrade. What about the spider web up here? You never know. I'm still sort of used to that from uh, Gloomy Manor, trying to get all the spider webs in there. Yeah, I wonder what the boss fight will be here. Maybe it's gonna be like a giant flower or something. So, so far things are looking mostly clean around here. I'm gonna go down this way first, because this one's sort of a dead end. I don't know if there's gonna be too much around, but that's sort of just what I gotta do. If I run into anything new, I guess I'll point it out, like there's a flower over this way. So first off, well, I, I might have already done all those flowers, but we'll just go through this again. Try to make the most of it, because those boos are really important to get. Running down this way, and it seems like, is there even a bucket around here? There has to be, you would think so. I mean, maybe this one has one. That gave me some money, but I actually do not see a bucket. I might not be able to do this then. Huh, weird. So unfortunately, no, there's not a bucket in there at all. I don't know if I should double check this stuff later and look for the ghosts in other spots or what. But I feel like I need to do these now. I know I did this last episode, then I ended up having to go through this stuff again, but I don't think that's gonna happen twice, you know? This time we're definitely supposed to be going into the tree. So if I could just sort of go quickly through everything, that'd be great. And if I get extra money along the way, I really need it anyways, so. So yeah, that's a fake door, don't forget that. <laughs> If I do, I'm gonna be hurting. What's inside of here, anything? Honestly, the, the more we go outside of the realm of where we're supposed to be going, definitely the less money we're making. Yeah, this is where that we had, is there even a bucket in this area anymore? No, it doesn't look like it. So it's like definitely taking away things that I'm not supposed to be solving right now. But at least, you know, there's a couple things here and there I can get some money from, so that's important. So I don't think I ever went into this area to the left. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing much here. This is the crow's nest. Wow. And then maybe this is, whoa, I'm way above the entrance to the tree. I don't see too much going on in here. I can poke my head into this area. Where, where is this? This is the west bathroom. Definitely looks like a bathroom to me. Uh, I don't see too much going on exactly. Just a bathroom. But I don't know if I really should be going all the way out here. I mean, I might as well. <laughs> but I think that like, I'm mostly gonna be finding this stuff later. So for right now, you know what, I'm just, I think both of those doors are red, so I think they're both locked anyways. That's usually how that works. So I'm gonna go all the way back and I guess try some other areas where we can find the boo. So I gave everything a good look around. I couldn't find anything. I did find some extra money, but basically in the same spots I found them in previous episodes. So I'm up to 560 coins already. Let's see what we can do here with the, uh, with all the veins and the wrenches. Oh, not bad. First move, pretty good. He actually has not been using the wrench yet. Why did we even get the wrench? Oh, okay, here we go. We're gonna tighten it all up. Wow, good job. Wow, that was perfect. He's very good with the wrench. Alrighty, and then we can just do this just as we did in the very first level, and knock, knock. Whoa, that opened up quick. The hollow tree. Look at this place. It is indeed very hollow and very spooky. What are we gonna do about this? Well, first, let's take a look around. This is definitely where I need to start scanning everything once more, because I don't wanna miss out on a potential. Oh, wait, there we go. Let's get rid of that guy. He had a dollar. Um, I don't wanna miss out on any kind of potential thing. 
if we can find a spiderweb ball, we could get through that on the on the bottom center, or you know whatever that is. Ah! Okay, that's not good. Get him! Get him! Come on! There we go! Hit him with the flashlight. And boom! Not bad. He'll give us a gold bar. And that's our sixth ghost. So can we go up this way now? Well, it will send me falling back down. Not this time. Okay. Not really too much going on up this way. Once again, I'm just taking a good look around. Can I get these vines? You bet I can. I don't know if I'll need them, <laughs> but I'm taking them. All right. And then down this way. Ooh, no! <laughs> run, Luigi, run! No, oh, okay, okay, stop messing with me. It's not nice. That's it. And is there anything else going on over this way? I don't think so. There are some weird ghosts around here, I gotta be honest. They got some weird hobbies. Just messing with Luigi all the time. Where'd you go? Uh, oh, there's like a wall. No, you don't! Ouchies, that hurt. Come on, come on. That's it. See ya, buddy. And that's all the ghosts out of here. I still can't go this way, though. Is there something I can do with this? No? All right. We'll go around the other way. And sort of the same deal here. Oh, I see, actually. No, we can go up this way for sure. But what I don't see is any kind of web ball we can bring downstairs. Well, we did get the mysterious passage figured out. I cannot get this, there we go. So there's definitely not anything around here. Doesn't look like it, so we are moving. Ah, oh, come on! There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Wait, what is this about? Yeah, I guess it's not gonna work. Oh, but Egad's calling us. What's up? Criminy, where'd that creepy looking door come from? That's the only way up to the treetop. Give me just a sec here. Bingo, I found something in the Haunted Tower's records. There's a special key that opens that door, but it's hidden in the crypt. I hope you're not as scared, not scared of graveyards, Luigi. It's not like they're full of vengeful spirits or anything. <laughs> he just loves it when Luigi gets into trouble. So it looks like we need to find the special key in the crypt. I figured the best thing I could do for right now is grab this. What are we doing? I have no clue. Is it like bungee jumping? Oh no. You can do this, buddy. Geronimo! Oh, here I go. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no! Okay, let go, let go, let go. See, it wasn't that bad. Nothing to sweat about. Alrighty, so, we got a couple of these uh, web ball things here. And I think what I gotta do is pretty simple. I just gotta light it on fire. Is it still on fire, though? It's not. So what's the dealio with that? I mean, I guess I just have to keep it raised in the air, just like this, gotcha. Okay, now that I've done that, we're good. So let's go through this staircase. Maybe this will lead to the crypt then. Whoa, this is cool. So there's nothing really to the right. What about to the left? I guess this is the way we're supposed to be going. Uh, And now we're over here. Yeah, definitely pull this. It's like some kind of lever. Uh, get rid of the spider. What did that do? Oh, this is like a curtain. Aha. So I guess that was not the real one. Maybe I just have to do both of them. Yeah, I don't know what that's supposed to do, but I guess every time I do it, a spider comes down. So let me just keep trying it. Oh, I see. Okay, I got one of them, or two of them. That was it. Okay, we'll go on the tree stump then. <laughs> This is, this is a very weird situation. Whoa, where are we? <laughs> We're going out of this giant bird's mouth. Well, there's a lot of crows around here. There we go, they at least give us a dollar each time. And I I see this money back here, I wanna make, take the, the most of that. That got us like a lot of money, 65. One of those was the dollar though, so I guess $60 from that. Oh, and hey, look at that, as easy as it gets, there's the star gem. So the diamond one, we're still looking for that. That's okay, we'll find it eventually. Nice. And what about this thing? I'm so blown away by how quick we've been able to find all the gems. 
I hope we can continue with that. Oh no, oh no, ha, gotcha. We're getting very close to 800, which is what I need, I think, from what I remember. We're at 706 right now. So let me make sure I'm looking around the lot for everything. I might have to just clear out the whole room and then look through again. Can I get this? You bet I can. One of these is gonna give us something. Has to, what is going on over here? I and mean, first off, I can get rid of this little bush. Oh, there's a frog in there. Let me alone, Mr. Frog. Ah, oh, oh, okay. That made the ghost mad. It really is a vengeful spirit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's it, nice. Okay, so we got two golden ghosts in one level. That's pretty good, right? And that's actually all the ghosts around here, really? Wasn't expecting that, what's inside of here? Nothing, I can't open this? That's surprising to me. But maybe there's still more around. I'm not done looking. We gotta be able to find more stuff. Oh, got it. That's another frog. All right, I'll take it. One coin for me. Okay. So that's really looking like everything. Nothing behind the graves, right? Okay. Oh, definitely get rid of you. Thank you. Uh, oh, I wonder if this is missing. No? Okay. Uh, let's try this out then. Can I get this vine? It's hard to tell what angle it's at. I guess there's nothing around here. Okay, I'm just trying to be extra sure. Let's go. The crypt? Uh, I got some cobwebs I can get. What about this? Oh, plenty of health. I'm gonna guess that that is like gonna open up the next area. So I'm trying to look around this as much as I can. Oh, hello, get rid of you. I don't see anything in this room. So what's going on with this? Oh my, uh, I guess that was right. Do I just have to keep pulling it? Yeah, look at this, it's crumbling apart. Whoa, it's a picture of Toad. Wait a minute. Oh, what's this? Yeah, right here, there's a vase. Oh man, this could be the boo. Was that it? Oh wait, there's one more, one more. What is that? Uh, oh, there he is! I'm Booluga! I used to be covered in blubber, but then I went to a, on a diet. Oh, Booluga? Like a Beluga whale? Is that the idea? I think so. Okay, where is he at? Here he is, here he is. Ready, I got him, I got him, I got him. Nice, he's gonna be all over the place now. I don't know if that's gonna get rid of all of his health, but it will. Okay, let's grab him real quick. And he is mine. Nice, so we got our, our boo for today's episode. I was about to say we got our whale for today's episode. <laughs> Anyways, what else is going on around here? Can I interact with this painting? Oh, it's one of the, one of the, whoa, whoa, it's one of the dark light paintings. So am I gonna be able to get Toad out of this painting? I was, I was starting to think like, where are the Toads in this game? They were a couple in Luigi's Mansion 1. Hey buddy! I'm free! Wait, Luigi, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Oh, it doesn't matter, you're my hero. Oh. Well, I guess we saved the toad. He's <laughs> so happy. All right, well, we saved toad. And what's going on now? Egal's gonna tell us about it. No sign of the special key. Those giants, they're those giants, why am I reading that? Those ghosts are really starting to ruffle my fev criminy. Is that one of my toad assistants? How did he get trapped inside that painting? I sent him to look after the place. No wonder why it's such a mess. We'd better get him back to the bunker. He might know of the whereabouts of the special key we're looking for, but I can't pixelate both of you out of there. Let me think. I know, lead him to the gardener's lab. There's a pixelator screen there. Oh yeah, we know about that. It's an old prototype, but it should do the trick. Okay, um, search the crypt for a special key. We did it, so we gotta bring Toad all the way back there. Send, ah! Oh! oh no, oh no, that's a problem. Oh, he's getting dizzy. There we go, let's get rid of all these bats. So I guess, oh. 
<laughs> See ya. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that works. So right now we are supposed to be sending Toad to the bunker, but we gotta do it the long way. Come on. Aw, Luigi's so courteous. He's cute. So can I just like pick you up and we can just move out of here together? Like, like this might be the most productive way to do it, right? I mean, maybe not. Like if I, whoa, <laughs> watch out. Oh no, we're in trouble. Ooh, nice hat. Oh no. Ah, you also have a nice hat. Run, no. Oh, we're in trouble. We're in a lot of trouble, triple trouble. This is some very pretty ghosts. Oh gosh, but they're up to no good. Uh-oh. Hi. Uh. Oh gosh, I guess we got some new ghosts to take on. So obviously, as you can see, we can't really, ow, ooh, ooh, ah. I don't exactly know what to do here because I have mirrors which will block off all of our light attacks, which means we can't quite capture them unless we like wait until they attack. That didn't quite work. Uh, once again, see, doesn't really work that way. That's weird, isn't it? And then the bird flies by each time, so maybe that's something. But what if I get a supercharged one? Oh no, that doesn't work. No, get the bird, get the bird. Maybe, I think the bird has something to do with it. So I'm gonna try to dodge these three, but it didn't work. No, come on, the angling is so weird. Like perspective wise, it's so hard to tell what's in front of me and what's behind me sometimes. So I'm gonna do that again and just try to run away from these three. And that'll put me in a good position to get rid of the bird. Did that do anything for me? I don't think it did. <laughs> I had the check though, right? See, what do I? What do I do? I don't know, but the bird does give me some extra health, which is nice. Maybe I can take the mirror. Come on, give me the mirror. It didn't work. Darn. I feel like there's something I'm supposed to be able to do here. Maybe I can... Uh, No, that didn't work. <laughs> Launch Toad at you. Wait, that's how it got you? But I didn't get the chance to get you. Why? Come on. What 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 really happened differently there? I don't know why I had the chance just for a second to get her. Like I don't know what I did differently. Anyways. See, it didn't work that time. And that didn't work either, even though I thought I had gotten her. Oh man, it's so weird, isn't it? Like maybe there's a moment. Yeah, I guess where maybe they let their guard down so that they can look at themselves. I tried to not let that happen the way it did, but it did. So let me try that again. Yeah, you see how she sort of looks at herself in the mirror? Oh gosh. But then the other one starts smacking me. <laughs> it's like nearly impossible to do anything about that. This is tough. It's like the toughest battle we've had yet. Oh, I wasn't trying to get her. Ouch, come on. Not cool. Not cool at all. Toad is just walking into the bush over and over again over there. There we go, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't hit me, please don't hit me. I'm trying really hard not to get hit. <laughs> okay, this is actually working out. Don't you dare hit me. Okay, come on. They're really trying to get me. Ah. Uh, that's it, that's it. Oh no, oh no, there's some health over there I can't get. Ah, they got me. Man, my health is so low. Oh, can I get you? Ah, you're gone, you're gone. Ready for this? Come on, come on, come on. Don't you dare. <laughs> Don't hit me, please. Come on, this is it, this is it, this is it. Thank you very much. Okay, we got one of them. We're back up to 75 health now. So now it's just down to two of them. That'll be much easier to work with. There we go, and you are very low on health too. I've been working on you for a while now. There we go. Come on. Yeah, it seems much easier most of the time. Oh, come on, that was baloney. No health from that bird. Okay, they're gonna pop back up though. And now I get to work on her a little bit. There we go, already got her down to 60 something. And our one friend isn't really helping too much. 
That's it, that's it. Whoa, there it is. Only one left to go. So let's take her on. You ready for this, Toad? We're gonna get her. Right now. And she only has six health left. So thank you very much. That's all of them. That was difficult. But hey, I'm getting a call. It's okay, Toad, it's okay. They're gone. As I live and breathe, those were the ghosts of the three sisters. Huh, really uh, original name. They're regular paranormal celebrities. Yep, the periscope was going bonkers for a minute there, but it's back to normal there now. The sisters are normally very polite ghosts. It's disturbing to see them act so rude. Good job capturing them. Alrighty then. So, uh, Toad, you gotta calm down, buddy. You gotta calm down. It's all right. It's all right. Come here. There we go. Hopefully this will just sort of give you a second to calm down. We're gonna go back this way now. And maybe I'll launch you. Will that calm you down? Yes, okay, you're following me again now. Let's move it. Or not. Yeah, how do I get back? I actually do not know how. I can only imagine maybe somewhere. Oh, do you not like water? Why don't you like water? What has that been a thing? Why have Toad's been like allergic to water? Erica, he's like clapping while you do this. Very, apparently very impressive. I, I sort of sent them into the fire there, sorry. There we go, that's cool. Huh. Oh, hold on tight. Oh no. Ah, yikes. <laughs> you seem to have fun. Okay, so now what? Oh yeah, actually, we're really close to where we need to be. So, if you just wanna stay there, buddy, I'm going to pull these somewhere, like that, and get into here. Oh, nice. And now we can get into this way. So I guess pressing that button will call Toad over. Was that the X button? Let's find out. I don't know, that was weird. I pressed the X button, opened the door, and he sort of called Toad over. That was, I don't know what happened. We're almost there, we're just right around the corner. Is that big uh, fly trap around here? I guess not. Anyways, we made it. All right, little buddy, you good to go home? I guess so. Well, would you look at that? We now have a toad friend. I don't know what that's gonna really change for us. Send toad to the bunker, I did it. And now we can get zapped back home. Oh. Hello. Well done, my boy. See that graveyard wasn't so bad, was it? Nice work capturing the three sisters and leading my toad assistant to safety. He just mm -hmm. popped out of the screen over here. Now it's your turn, kiddo. Ow. Alrighty, so another job well done. We got that level completed, and along with it, we were able to get the boo, a thousand coins, that'll be another upgrade ready for us. Good work up there, Luigi, though I really hoped we f we, we'd find the special key inside the crypt. On the bright side, you didn't come back totally empty-handed. Empty Let's have a look at those ghosts. So yeah, we're gonna pump everything back in here. I don't see the toad anywhere, though. Oh wow, okay, so our dark light upgrade unlocked. Very cool, so now we have even more dark light. The cooling component in the dark light device has reached its maximum efficiency now. Those ghosts can't hide from you. That's cool. Even though I'm pretty sure it said reach 10,000 gold for a poltergust upgrade. I mean, I guess that's technically a part of the poltergust. It's too bad we have to keep the three sisters down in the vault, but it's for their own safety. Once we restore the dark moon, maybe they'll be willing to join me for a streaming cup, or steaming cup of ghost tea. Okay, what? Why are you looking at me like that? Anywho, I feel bad for that toad fellow. Being trapped inside of a pa uh, inside that painting can't have been fun. He seems to be having trouble remembering what happened. You know, for having such a big head, there really isn't much rattling around in there. Wow. Anywho, his rescue wasn't a complete waste of time. He brought back a little snapshot taken by my tr special tri-dimensional security camera. Give me a couple of minutes to unscramble the image. All right, so it looks like our next level in the next episode, after we get our little uh, markers here, will be B4 Pool Party. That sounds like fun. So now we're moving on over to B4 The Pool Party. Let's take a look at it. All right then, so this should be interesting. All right, Luigi, I've unscrambled the image that our toad friend brought back. Let's take a look-see. So he brought back an image? 
I guess so. Whoa, look at this. Wait, well, 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 first off, there's a boo. Hold on a sec, that key there, it looks mighty special if you ask me. That boo is handing it over to that pinkish ghost. And there's several of them. We'll need to take a very close look at this image in order to find clues. You can inspect the scene by tilting the Nintendo 3DS in all directions. Oh, there's multiple boos in this picture. Zoom in and out with L and R and press B when you're done inspecting the image. So as you can see, we can look around a little bit. Um, I can zoom in. Just look at those ghosts. They're out of control. The boos seem to be encouraging them for their bad behavior. So this guy's like knocking stuff over, the boo's cheering him on. Over this way, there's another one of the purple ghosts. I've never seen that kind of ghost before. Back there, there's a couple more green guys causing problems. The rooftop pool seems to be a meeting point for the boos. Their power increases when they gang up and they feed off each other's evil energy. And then up this way, wait, what is that? Uh, What are the boos carrying? Suspicious, it looks like a painting and it looks upside down like those are feet. Don't tell me they have Mario again. <laughs> Did they find a way to get Mario into another painting? Like, does he go to art galleries a lot or something? How is he running into so many paintings? I mean, I guess there is Mario 64. That, that game is all about going into paintings. <laughs> Anyways, that key in the image, it must be the special key we're looking for. You know, the key that unlocks the door inside the hollow tree. The ghosts must be hiding that key from us because they don't want us to get to the top of the tree. Oh. And they don't want us to get to the top of the tree because that's where the dark moon piece is. Ho oh, ho, these are some crafty ghosts we're dealing with. Looks like Egad loves a good riddle, but they're no match for the intellect of the living. Okay, well, we'll find out about that one. Uh, looks like we gotta go all the way over to the rooftop pool on floor five. Now then, the image was, that image was recorded at the rooftop pool. Go get that special key. So I guess we get to try this out. This means we have a lot more left to explore in this one. Not really sure how we're gonna get to it all, but we will try our best and hope for the best. I also have to search far and wide for the potential boo for this level, even though apparently there's several, seeing how there were a lot in that room in the pool, so maybe we'd find some there. I don't really know how that would work. But here we are, starting at the very beginning once more. You think you'd start us a little bit closer. I know there's a couple more security cameras in this tower. Alrighty then. Hmm. So first off, I'm poking around here as much as I can. There's a little puddle now. I don't think there was a puddle here before. Oh, the flowers are different. These aren't gonna give me as much money, are they? I mean, clearly, but that's okay. You can at least get something from them. That's always good. Because I have a while until my next upgrade. Uh, we just hit 10,000 coins. I need, need to hit 20,000 coins to get to the next thing. So all the coins I've collected so far in the game, I need to now double that. So things are a lot different here. Uh, we have like different piles and stuff around. Whoa, whoa, okay, got him, got him. Come on. Can't believe we found a gold ghost too soon. Like, that's really quick. And let's be sure to grab all of that then. And look at that. So that is going to be a bonus 110 coins right there on top of the eight we had, so we're at 118 already. So not too much happening in the hydro generator room, but we will start poking around at everything just to make extra sure we find everything. But once again, I need to start looking around. We just got a dark light upgrade so that we can see farther throughout it all. And let's go on. Oh no. Where, where's the thing that we, ow, no, come on, it's not fair. Not fair, let me out. Let me out. Yuck. Come on, just run by quick, run by quick. Oh, we can't. Oh, I guess I can't go into these rooms then. Like, that's the trick, isn't it? He's like, making sure I know that I can't get past them. I need to go down this way. Right? Uh, maybe not. These vines are all crossed off too. What do I do? No, oh, no, that got me. I don't like this. I'm really confused on what I do. Maybe I can like blind them? Oh, no, wait, run, run. Ah, I can't get past him. So I, I don't think I'm, oh, I'm supposed to fight, that's right. <laughs> I'm losing health, I better fight quick. So I cannot get past them. I mean, hopefully for right now I can go into this door, but I don't know how I have any hope of going back through that way. 
But that was just like super duper unfair. What is with this flower? Okay, that's not a very nice flower. Now I can take him out maybe. Thank you. <laughs> Jeez, like what is going on with this level already? Total mess. All right, well my best bet is to survive as much as I can. So like this is going to, ah, uh, try to get me. But I wanna get him back. And it doesn't look like I, oh, okay, there's some extra health. I don't have the vines on the on the roof for this level, so that's gonna be less stuff I can get. Cause usually I go to the vines to this roof and it gives me like 100 bucks, 200 dollars, something like that. Can I look through this one? I cannot. So I can't like flash this, that doesn't do anything for me, okay. So you're gonna try to slam on me, but not if I have anything to say about it. Maybe this one can give me some more health. Whoa, okay, this did give me a lot of money though for getting everybody, I guess. Okay, cool. Go, 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 go. And one more, a couple more dollars. Oh, I missed out on them. 180 is still pretty good though. So I'm gonna run back all the way over here and take a little look inside of this place. There's another one of these guys. I don't know if it matters. That just had a gem in it, right? Yeah. So I don't really need to bother with that too much. But if I was curious as to where it was, it's right here. Uh, I mean, I could try it again. Like, I don't know though. I, I'm pretty sure it was just a gem, so I don't have to worry about it. But I never really looked around this room for the boot, so I, I would like to do that. And it doesn't look like he's around. Because it sort of makes a little bit of a sparkle whenever you actually, ah, run into anything. But definitely not in here. So let's try going up here. I'll activate the little valve as per usual. Perfect. And let's get up this way. So with a lot of this stuff, oh, there's a bone. That's actually really good. So now if I really get beat up, hopefully I'll be okay. And then we know about this already. I'll do it again, just to be sure. <laughs> But I already know that, you know, we don't want to do with this. And then there's another part right there, because this is all for the one bonus area. There we go. It just makes me feel better to know it's done, you know? Okay, not too much going on over that way. So I really hope that this all ends up being the right thing to do. Wowie. Wowie. Okay. Well, here we go. Uh, hey, hey, watch it, watch it. What do you think you're doing? Don't do that to me. So there's a lot of plants in here. This place is definitely a bit overgrown. So definitely activate this valve right here. And with that, the water's starting to fall down a bit. So what exactly do I gotta do around here? I guess, pretty simply, I just put the bucket right over this way. And I can give that a bit of a splash. I don't know what this one, oh, this one's gonna be a staircase, okay. Then should I go this other way at all? I don't know if that's worth it for right now. Maybe we'll, we'll double check that at some point, but for right now, let's just keep moving forward. Because it seems like so far, a lot of the boos that we've been finding have been on the main path. They haven't been too far out of the way of where we normally explore. I, like, I keep tr trying to go out of my way to find the boos, and they end up just being right where I'm gonna head anyways. So like, I don't wanna mess with that too much this time. Like right here, there's definitely supposed to be a coat rack. So let's try this, this might actually be the boo. Um, oh, hold on. Yeah, I, I don't wanna get those, I wanted to get these. Ooh. And what happens if I get this scarf? Nothing. Wait, why did that seriously do nothing? Okay, weird. Maybe there's another one to do around here, maybe that really just wasn't much. Very odd. Hmm, <laughs> there's only one light on in that ghost house. But yeah, this is definitely, apparently it's the rumpus room. Ah! Why is this called the rumpus room? I thought rumpus meant like butt. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of these, oh, I bet you there's like some kind of color coordinated thing going on here. They all have their own color, right? Well, I guess both of these are purple. Oh, hello? Wait, whoa! Whoa, that's weird! I'm looking into the dollhouse and seeing myself. Oh. That That is definitely very spooky. And this lady's looking at me. 
Well, she was looking at me. This is so weird. I feel like there has to be more to this room. Maybe I have to leave. Oh, there we go, there's a ghost in that one. <laughs> Did I not try that one before? Oh, there's more of them too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on, get him. That's it. Get you two, where do you think you're going? Oh, he's got a friend. He's got multiple friends. Okay, two for one. Nice, I think that's all of them. Let's hope, there we go, we did it. At least for a second. It's at least a little bit not as scary in here. So a lot of these other ones are just normal. So I guess there was no like order to them. It was just the blue one had ghosts in it. I still don't know what the dealio with this was. <laughs> I like how you can see Luigi in the reflection. Okay, well now we're good to go this way. What do we got going on around here? Nothing in there. Got a heart that way. Not too much in the sink or anything. Oh, I can grab this for one reason or another. Maybe I can use that at some point. Oh, here we go, here we go. What do you think you guys are doing? <laughs> Leave me alone. It's not only too much more. Okay, there's definitely some stuff going on in here. Like obviously, this is sort of to the side. This might be our boot. This one feels too obvious though. Cause some of them have been really discreet. So I think this one might be too obvious to be the boo. But we will, oh I can like put it back into order. No, there he is! I always knew you'd fall for me. Booby trap strikes again! Yeah, cause whenever it's like a trap, they're called booby traps. Uh, oh, where'd you go, where'd you go? There we go. So we should be able to just fill this all the way up. Oh, I forgot, I, I pressed it. Way too soon, I forgot to let it go to red. Okay, okay, not quite done with you, you know. Don't you try to run. Don't you try to run. Thank you. We could just fill it up like that. That should be enough. Three, two, one, and we got him. Thank you very much. Excellent. Okay, well there we go, we got it done. Good job, Luigi. <laughs> There's a little jukebox over this way. I'll try that out in a second. I'm just trying to get the coin. Can I like start it somehow? I like it. <laughs> okay, not really too much more to it though. Ah. Nothing with that, that vase. Nothing with this. Okay, not really too much more to interact with in this room, so I guess we're good to move to the next one. The solarium. So what is a solarium? I'm guessing this is like maybe where we can have a telescope and look outside? We're definitely getting closer to the top then. Wait, oh, that that's, that's something. Ooh, treasure chest. Grabbing all this stuff. Oh, there's another gem. This is gem number seven for us, I think. And it's way over there. So we have five remaining that we're trying to find. How cool is that? We're slowly chipping away at it. What about over here then? It'd be very hard to see. There's sort of stuff in Luigi's way. Was there something I could interact with? Oh, I can see through the crack in the wall, isn't it? Whoa. Oh, pillow fight! <laughs> I guess even the ghosts sleep. <laughs> Who did it? Who did it? <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? Oh, it was him, huh? Oh! Oh! <laughs> wow. Yikes. See, what was that for? <laughs> he just chuckles. Oh, who are you going for now? Are you going back to him? And the cycle continues. Alrighty then. Uh, so they're gonna keep each other up all night. What pranksters. Okay, well there's all that. Let's go in and maybe crash a little slumber party. Oh no, that's in the next room over. Gotcha, we'll have to figure that out in a moment. But for right now, whoa, whoa. Hey, party's over. <laughs> okay, ready for this? Maybe? They haven't noticed me yet. Oh, they saw me. Hey guys. Oh, they're all hiding in the beds. And there is a story about the three little monkeys jumping in the bed. Or is it like seven monkeys? I forgot. But, I've never heard it about ghosts. So how do I shake open? Oh, I gotta pull the, the, the covers off. There you are. 
I found you. Sorry, not happening tonight. Let's, oh, I see you. He's trying to hide. Whoa, hey, stop it. I think it's still these two on the right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Come on, don't you dare just try to hop into another bed. So it has to be this one, but I think it's gonna jump around again. We'll just watch it then. It's on the far left, it's in the middle. <laughs> it's crazy that a bed, something that heavy, is just sort of jump around like it weighs like a pound. There we go. And that got us a key, oh awesome. I wasn't expecting that. And that'll open up the doors to the right. Cool. Anything of interest inside of these? I don't think so. I don't think there's anything more we can do with this fan. Okay. And anything more that'll happen if we take the covers off? I guess we should do that for each of them just to be sure. There we go. And this one. Yep, everything's fine. So let's open up this door. The weird thing is we've been over this way in the last episode. There's not too much going over here for us. But I mean, I'm not really too worried about it anymore because we found the boo, so we're just gonna let's do what we gotta do. See, I was not in this room before, but we have been out here. Let me double check just to be sure. This is the crow's nest, yeah. And there's a lot of crows out there now. I don't have to worry about all that, at least not for now. So I'm gonna leave it be. I see the spider up there. Don't like it. Oh, but now I can peek through. Whoa, way up there. That's sort of like a different part of it though. I haven't been up there before. I've been down this way. But that'll give me another key. Gotcha. I'll have to look around for that a bit more then. Thank you. Add another one. They just keep popping up. Let's get through the door before more of them show up. Oh, this one's locked. So we have to find a way through. All right, we have no other choice. Then you betcha, let's go. So with the crow's nest, like I see these vines. Can we actually get these? We can. With this actually, if we get all these, maybe it'll give me some money. I'll also, if I can, yeah, blast those guys. Wait, why would I look in from here? Isn't this, no, this is a different, this is the west bathroom. What are you doing? Oh, is he posing for the mirror? Trying to look like a tough guy? <laughs> He's like, you looking at me? You talking to me? <laughs> Anyways, uh, I see these two up there. We'll get them. This one, no, he flew away. That's fine. Grabbing that. Yeah, it has this weird view of what's down below. Just to remind you how high up you are if you're afraid of heights. Can I grab this dollar or no? Oh, it's gone. That's silly. I'll grab this real quick though. Was that all of them? I'm pretty sure that was all of them. All the vines. If I don't get anything for it, that's sort of a shame. Just double checking, looking through. Yeah, I guess that was all of them. Oh well, I tried. Didn't get anything for it. It's sort of weird that they were just randomly there then, but that's okay. So what is next? Yeah, the conservatories. We've already been here. The question is, I guess, how can we get higher up? And maybe there's a way? I mean, this place is all very overgrown. Yeah, okay, I see right here. Obviously, duh. I can uh, grab one of these balloon things and use that to get up this way. Okay, this is all new for me. Oh, and there's a golden one over this way. Oh, that'll be fun. Is this, this is supposed to be a door right here too. Okay, so a couple of things to do. First we'll do that, then I'll get this, and let's get going. That's it, no, 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 go up, go up, go up. Come on. You got it, you got it. I can't really see what's below, but I think I got it all. And that got me a treasure chest full of money. Awesome. All right, yeah. Take that, grab these dollar bills, and we're good. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Wait, why did that, I didn't even get to uh, use that, that was weird. So I will go to the left for the, oh, I hit the thing, I didn't even realize. Very thorny, that chandelier. So why does it immediately pop? There we go. I will go to the left though, because I know it's a dead end, it just has the key in it. 
Oh, is that a candle? I thought that was a gold bar. Uh, yeah, I don't need that too much. Just trying to see if there's anything I can do about that over there. But I guess there isn't for right now. I will take this. And there's a couple of things we can do with that. I mean, I think there's only one. We can go to that room way to the left again. But before I do any of that, I'm definitely going to go to the right and see what that door that we just uncovered is going to be. Actually, hold on. Is there anything under this rug? Oh, I see. <laughs> That's fine. I actually got this already, so we can just get across. Perfect. So, what's going on inside of this door? Whoa! Whoa, it's one of these bonus things. We saw all this for the doghouse before. Whoa. 15 seconds to get all these red coins. Oh man, this is like Mario 3D Land. The problem is it's very hard to tell in non-3D mode, but this is really cool looking. Come on, I almost got them all, almost got them all. I gotta go down this way. There it is, we did it! Oh, that was so much fun! Alrighty, and that is another gem for us. That was so cool, I love those. So we are looking at four more left to find, slowly chipping through them. Okay, so with that done, what's next? I mean, for right now, I just need to get across like this and then fall down, Wee! Awesome. And with all that, we should be able to go all the way back across the crow's nest. Excuse me. And there we are. And then we can go through this one door that's typically locked, but is not any longer. Very nice. So we're in that bathroom. Oh no. So I know that he's, how does this work? Uh, there it goes. Okay, I was just being a little picky with me. Oh boy. Oh boy, come on, got it. Don't you dare hit me. Okay, leave me alone. I'm gonna grab this guy's glasses and then I'll tussle with both of you. How did that not work? What are you talking about? Okay, come on, pull it. What are you doing? Luigi, you just having an off day all of a sudden? No, my money, my money, my money. Okay, game. What are you trying to pull here? Get rid of this guy then. Be gone, sir. Don't you dare punch me. I already was trying to take glasses. Apparently it didn't work. There. Jeez, very silly. Nothing over here. I do have this, which doesn't have anything in it. But there's still gonna be more ghosts around here, apparently. Inside of here, maybe? Not the hamper. Where are the other ghosts at? Ah, he's the ghost, oh no! Oh, get me out of here! Come on, what do I gotta do, what do I gotta do? There we go. Ugh. Oh, he's split into two, too. There we go, got one of them. <laughs> what is going on with that? Those guys are new. Nothing inside of that toilet. What about this one? Nothing. Well, that's actually a bidet. Interesting. Can I get this rug? I cannot. So this is like sort of part of the pool room, right? It's just sort of a beach chair. Maybe if we lay on it? <laughs> the people who own this mansion must have been very tall. Oh no, oh, yikes. The rooftop pool, here we are. Oh man, just like in the picture. Reach the rooftop pool. Look for the special key. I'll do what I can. I mean, it was on the left side of the room before. So I'll take a look around the perimeter before I go for the center of it. And also grab little vines like this to yank them down. Because you never really know. Oh, here we go. Oh, I see. There's a little diving board too. I sort of want to take the diving board. Hold on. There we go. And there it is. Okay, it was as simple as that. Awesome. I found the key. Uh oh. Somebody didn't like that. You're not supposed to be in the pool without a lifeguard on duty. Oh no. <laughs> or this might happen. What is happening? Oh no, behind you! It's the purple guy! Oh, he's taking the key! Get back here! Oh, where'd you go? Oh, hey, 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 uh-uh, not happening. Give me my key back. Come on, come on. Thank you very much. No key, though. 
But there's more of them. There's always more. Let me get that gold bar before this goes away. Okay, 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 watch it. You're being rude. I don't like how I can't change my position too much. Okay, I got two of them, but I needed three. Apparently. You can see where they are in the water. There we go! If we could get both of them right here, that'd be pretty big. Thank you very much. And that's all of it again. We get our key packets on the diving board. Let me grab the, this money though, before it disappears. There we go. Not bad. So I didn't really look around here too much, so I'm just gonna do that really fast. Or did I get a towel? There we go. <laughs> Not much going on in that. And let's take it for real this time. Don't fall in the water, Luigi. Oh, hey, it's a little ghost pup. Can you come back here with that? What is he doing? <laughs> He's so cute. He's chewing on it, it's not a toy. Why are you so adorable? Come back. No! Why'd you do that? I guess you just want somebody to play with, but that wasn't a toy. Oh no. Well, it looks like our job's not quite done then. Or maybe it is, maybe Egad will zap us back still. Criminy, where did that ghostly dog come from? And now it's vanished completely. God, blasted pooch, let's bring you back. Okay, so it looks like that is where we're gonna wrap it up for today's episode. Oh, uh, did he step into some dog, ghost, ghost dog poo? Ew. Well, I didn't see that coming. We need to recover that special key at all costs. I tried to locate that confounded canine with the periscope, but the doggone dog's gone. <laughs> That's called wordplay, my soft-spoken friend. Anywho, let's unload the Poltergust 5000. I believe you captured a new kind of ghost. I believe we did. Now, where were we? Ah yes, I'll try to tune that periscope to find that dog's hiding place. Why don't you take a breather, son? I'll be trying to. Uh, so next episode we'll be doing B5, but first, as you can see, we get another two star ranking. I'm pretty happy about that. And B5 is the doggone key. Yet the little ghost dog stole it last time. Well, Luigi, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is that the ghost dog that took the special key is still somewhere in the haunted towers. The bad news is that the dog is running from room to room, so we can't actually pinpoint him. However, the periscope discovered something that may help us. The dog left behind a trail of spectral paw prints starting in the courtyard. If you follow that invisible trail, you should eventually find him. The prints will be invisible to the naked eye, so you'll need to use the dark light device to reveal them. Okay, we've been using that quite a lot, so that'll be pretty easy for us. Ready, Luigi? Don't you dare come back here without that special key. Haha, <laughs> you should have seen your face, Sonny. Ha, <laughs> priceless. All right, well, he likes scaring Luigi. That's why he sends him on these adventures. But off we go. Hopefully this turns out well. So I guess there'll be signs of him around. If there's nothing in that room, it'll be like everything will be invisible. So we'll just really have to search through everything. We're starting from the very beginning again though. Wow. Oh man. More crows. And all these uh, flowers are grown. That sort of stinks, because that means I can't take them. What is that noise? Oh, there he is! Okay, it's him making that noise. Oh, look at this one's missing. So let's go ahead and get that. Thank you. So there might be a lot of opportunities for uh, for Boo to pop up. So I'm definitely gonna have to out oh, look for that. What was that? I don't know what hit me there. Anyways, there's that. Inside of here, is there anything? Actually, one of the only times there's actually not anything in there. Weird. What about in this uh, pump room? The hydro generator. Not really much. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We'll just sort of keep looking around from room to room until we need to get, or we get to where we need to go. Hello? Are you still there? Oh, hey, buddy. Are you, are you, are you tinkling? <laughs> hey there, buddy, can I have that key? Well, it's like this easy for me. Oh, what are you doing this? No, you ate it! What are you doing? Get back here! Oh my gosh. What are we gonna do about this guy? Okay, well, let's try to grab this. Oh, look at this, we actually have one of these back again. 
There we go. <laughs> that didn't really do anything. Maybe if I get the other one, it will. And I can't go through this door at all, so definitely we're not going that way. It's sort of good to know that some of my options aren't available because it means that I, I have less things I need to ponder about, I suppose. But this one doesn't do anything. Unless I'm missing something, which I might be. Oh, whoa, whoa, we got paw prints. Yeah, right there. Will this like bring him back? I don't know if this really does too much more than investigatively tells me where he's been. Uh, I'll let it fill up just in case, but I don't think like it actually turns into anything. Yeah, it just sort of stays the way it is. Okay, well there's a bucket of water, but I don't see too much I could actually put that on. Oh, here we go, here we go. Uh, Grab that and that, and what is this? A little bit of extra health, I suppose. It's, it's something. But yeah, there really isn't anything I can use that bucket of water for. I could go in here, but I don't really need to, so I'm, I'm turning around. <laughs> uh, but once I get the key, I can use that to get up that way. That'll be perfect. But right now, I'm running back over here and going through this door. So he's somewhere around here, huh? Oh, I can see his little puppy footsteps. Puppy paw prints. So cute. And then he went over here? Yep, he went right through the wall. So we know that he's in the next room. Before we bother with that, we might as well check everything else. Usually this chest gives me a lot of money. Not this time, though. It's all out of goods. Not getting too much money so far. We've only gotten $20. Well, let's go through this door. See if we can't find where he went next. Oh, so you know what? He's in the next room over. That's the deal, yeah. And can I get these guys? Yes, I can. I'm getting a little bit better at that. Nothing inside of that. That one's knocked over. And I don't know how many coins will be in this. A couple. Not bad. 20 of them. So let's go this way for now, because that's where he was. Oh, yeah, he was all over the place. Oh man, he's been on such bad behavior, but where does it go? Oh, it just goes in here, oh, <laughs> okay, 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 calm down, oh, and he's gone. So we just went over that way. We found him, but then we unfound him, sort of. Uh, recover the special key. All right, give me some time. So that, that's where he came in from. Gotcha, because he went out this way. So should I interact with this room then? Probably not, but we'll try it. He definitely went into the to the outdoor section, I think. Yeah. Or maybe not. Oh no, it's one of these uh, creepers. Okay, yeah, there's not too much, I think. No. No, it is. Like, how do I get them to go out without having to run into them? That's sort of the question there. I don't really know. Because then it turns into two of them. Boom. Got them, and they immediately turn into gold. Very nice. So I'm gonna leave for right now. I, I'm sure I'll be coming back into this room, but I'm more interested in trying to find our puppy pal. Ugh, indeed. Okay, just definitely making sure there's nothing in here before we move to the next room. So we can't quite leave. There must be some kind of ghost running into. Hey, buddy. No, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Watch out, Luigi! You could have heard us. Be careful there, buddy. And he's gone. <laughs> he's left. So we'll check out where maybe he's gone in a moment. Let me grab these coins that he set off, at the least. So we could always use as much coins as we can get. And there must be a bucket around somewhere. I would hope. That money went everywhere. I don't know why it wouldn't let me collect that. That was sort of silly. Okay. Has this always been a boo head? I feel like it was a little bit different last time. But I guess it was. Hmm. Yeah, there's no bucket around here, really. So unless it's hidden somewhere. You'd think with it being raining, you'd just be able to find it that way. He definitely went, okay, now he's over there. If we take a little peek, maybe we'll see him. Yep. Look at him tearing up the pillows. You're such a bad boy. Ah! Oh no, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble. Turn around. 
They're not there anymore. They're not there. Uh, no, come on, come on, come on. There we go, I got one of them. A little bit more. We got them. Thank you. Okay, I was trying to get both of those guys there. It just didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Oh, there it is. Come on. Thank you. So let's grab this gold before it disappears. Well, he has to do a happy little dance first. There we go. Awesome. But still no bucket. So I guess that's gonna be it. I can't use the watering can. So yeah, we will leave and try to get him to give us that key. I mean, he is, I mean, the key is still in his tummy. Oh man, everything's gone in here. Okay, uh, we'll do what we can about that. Uh, something up there. Got a little like paint cans or something. So I'll just, we'll just restore this whole room right now. Got it. And God, I don't know what'll happen. Oh, hey, it's Sabu. Yip, yip, I'm French Boodle. Aren't I beautiful? Oh, the dog buns, man. The dog buns. Okay, so let's see if we can't grab you and get a full fling on this one. He is all over the place. He is like a pin bull. Get it? Oh, that wasn't enough, actually. Oh, surprising. Usually that is. Okay, boom, that'll definitely be enough. He's gonna bounce around a little bit. I'm gonna grab his coins before they disappear and get you. Awesome, so that was actually a pretty easy oh, yeah. boo this time. Grabbing all those. And there's still a couple more things we're missing out on, <laughs> which is weird. But that definitely seems like it might be all of it. Okay, well we cleared up the room. Let's go back into here. Oh yeah. Okay, hey buddy. Where are you going? No, come back, please. Come on, I just wanna hang out. I wanna play, I just wanna get my key back. How are we gonna play fetch if, if, if I never threw anything? I mean, I guess he's trying to get me to play fetch with the key. So now we gotta get up that way. That actually shouldn't be too bad, right? Maybe. Yeah, we just gotta get up that way. That shouldn't be too big of a deal. I'll grab some money from this flower really quickly. There is a bucket here, so maybe I can also, well, that other one just gives me the gem. So I don't need to worry about that too much. I've already done that. So really, there's actually not too much more to get there. I'll check that out, but that didn't give me any money. Okay. You got this, Luigi. Just go up that way real quick. And I don't think there's, oh gosh, there's spiders everywhere. That's not the way I wanted to do that. There we go. Got a couple of extra coins wherever I can get them. And that seems to be about it. We're still looking for a couple last gems, but I already explored all that area, so I think we'll be fine. Oh, hey, buddy. Come on, hit him with the flashlight. Oh, now he wants to go in here, huh? Okay, where could he be? Follow his little puppy footsteps. Down here? It's hard to see. Here we go. Sort of. Uh, I've lost his trail. Where did he go? Oh, he went up. So he is then on the ceiling. My gosh, this dog gets around everywhere. But no, then it's gone again. No, it has to be over that way. There it is, so he is up on the ceiling or up on the next floor, I mean. So we should just be able to leave from here. Yep, go up this way. And he better be in there. He's been very confusing about all this. I do see another bat up this way. I can't get him, apparently. There we go. Thank you for the money or not. Goodbye, money. Yeah, I'm not really getting too much money in this in this level. That's okay. Can't get it in every level, right? Where is he now? He did pop up, and then he was in the piano. Oh yeah, the piano's not here. <laughs> there we go. All right, buddy, you gotta get out of there. Can I get this stuff? Thank you. So let's see if we can't interact with the snail. Whoa! What are you doing? Come back. Are you scared? What if I play it again? Come on, I see you back there. Are you scared? It's all right. Oh, maybe I can go back there, but there's the ghost again. Save me! 
Save me, no! Ah, he just likes putting me in harm's way. Okay. Uh, was that it? What happened to the smaller versions? They might be back here, but I can't see them if they are. It is so hard to see what's going on. Uh, I guess they got my feet. Oh, that's weird. Anyways, can I just leave? Can I leave this guy be? No, okay, here we go, now it's a problem. Oh my gosh, these big guys. Okay, ready, ready? Boom, I was trying to get, how did I not get both of them? The angling's so weird sometimes. Thank you. And then, there we, that was supposed to be, dude, you just, you're so mean, you're so mean. There we go, I slipped on his, his goo, as per usual, right? Ah, every time with this guy, this guy is the worst. All right. I'm just gonna do that, there we go. As simple as that, don't overcomplicate it this time, Zebra. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, so what's gonna go on in this room? We're still looking for our pal. He was all up on the walls. Okay, well, I can't get that health. There we go. Then he ran over this way. <laughs> Let's grab that. One of these days is gonna pull down something super worth my while. And then did he go in here? Yes, he did. A little trickster every time with him. I'm gonna try this one more time with getting all the vines, if I can. Doesn't do nothing, okay. So he's not in this room, he's in the west bathroom. Hey buddy, no, come back, please. We're going all the way back to the pool at this rate, you know. Okay, bring the toilet back. <laughs> Don't know why you wanted to take the toilet. Is he in there? Oh, there's some money in there. I'll take that, and the toilet paper. <laughs> hey, look at that, that was actually a gem. Oh, I can't believe it, only three more remaining. Oh, that's super cool. Oh, there he was, he was in the bidet. Oh no, where are you going now? Oh, you're too crazy for me. So, ah, uh, everything is gone again? Oh, maybe using the dark thing on the, these guys then is what reveals them. Is that the idea? I suppose so. There we go, I'll grab that coin as well. We're getting out of here. I'm not doing a very good job keeping up with him, I gotta be honest. Yeah, I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do or not, or if that's coincidental. Definitely want my health back though. See, so yeah, that's the room he came in from, and then he went where? This way. And under the bed covers, what do you know? There he is, he gets so happy when we find him. Hey, there we go. Oh, I feel so bad for this, I feel so bad, but I gotta do it, I'm sorry. It has to happen. Oh, we got him. Wow, do we have to keep him in there? I feel so bad, all he wants to do is play, he's not hurting anybody. What about this thing, what is this on the ground? I don't know, but you guys calling us. Hello. Huzzah, you finally nabbed the special key. Good work catching that dog, Luigi. You know, I think the little guy just wanted someone to play with, that's what I was saying. Well, you'll find plenty of playmates in the vault. Oh, poor guy. I'll bring you back now, son, hold on. I just feel like, you know, like a dog deserves like a bunch of room to play, not just some tiny vault with a bunch of mean ghosts. Welcome back, Luigi. Let's send that spectral pooch down to the vault right away. All righty. And, oh, he's still in there. Get him out, whoa, <laughs> oh, he's so wonderfully friendly, and he's gone. Huh, <laughs> his glasses are all to the side. Criminy, how did it escape from the Poltergeist 5000? I guess I'll have to tighten up the containment unit. But that can wait, let's see that special key. All right, well, oh no, it's a little chewed up, isn't it? God, it's all chewed up and slimy. That's a problem. I'll ask the toad fellow to clean it before I try to repair it. 
Yes, the timing of this will work out perfectly because I've finished my analysis of the spectrogenic para -com composition of the dark moon pieces we have. All right. Oh, uh, sorry. How do I put this? Luigi, I basically asked our dark moon pieces where their friend is hiding. And once I enter the data into the periscope, we'll know exactly where the next dark moon piece is. Okay, so basically, we know where the, the boss fight is, right? Maybe? And we get our ghost there. Very cool. As you can see, this tree topping. But I'm sure there's something to stop us, or always is. Luigi, it's time to open that creepy door and see what's behind it. Aren't you excited? No, he's not excited. Of course he isn't. Thanks to my recent analysis of the dark moon pieces, the periscope has become much more accurate. So it looks like he's tapping away. The piece we're looking for is located in the tree house at the very top of the big tree. We were on the right track after all. Indeed we were. Okay, so we know where to go. We just need to use the key this time. Nothing's stopping us. And there's, and here's the special key. It wasn't tough to fix. Okay, that's actually good to know. Use the key to open that door, get to the tree house, and find that dark moon piece. Oh, and Luigi, the periscope picked up some troubling signals inside the tree house. Powerful signals. Be careful up there, Sonny. I guess we'll have to keep that in mind. In we go. Oh boy. So we are back into the television, going to the haunted towers to get to the top of the treehouse and probably fight a boss fight of some sort. I'd have to imagine, man, that is a creepy door. But hey, at least they start us right here. And we don't have to worry about finding a boo or anything in this level, which is always nice. So not gonna worry about that. Hmm. Instead, I'm going to be worrying about survival. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he just pulls out this big key and pops it in. Fits like a glove. Oh my. Uh, hold on to your hat. Oh man. This seems very dangerous. Uh oh. Whoa! That's a lot of fire, huh? Another one? It's another uh, possessor ghost. Eerie staircase. Find the dark moon piece in the treehouse. All right. So uh, if I go up. Oh, okay. So it's a guessing game all the way to the top, isn't it? And with each one, the stakes are probably going to get higher. So that wasn't correct. So let's try the one to our left. Oh, <laughs> not getting a lucky start, I can tell you that much. Oh no, it really is the staircase of terror. And there's so many. It just keeps going and going and going. There has to be a hint, right? I mean, these two weren't lit. Okay, that worked. But where do I go now? I mean, there's mice running down these stairs. Maybe that means that this one's the right one. That worked. So I guess there's maybe occasionally hints. It's, it's sort of hard to tell what it's getting at. Ah, not this. No, 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 all the way back down to the bottom. Oh no, that's the worst. I wasn't expecting that. I mean, luckily we sort of know the way back up. It doesn't sort of hide it in that way. It's a little weird, there's like some weird sound effects. So once again, like this one's actually, okay. Do I just follow this then? I mean, that worked that time. So I'm gonna guess is this way if the mice are running down like that. It's hard to tell. I mean, we are making our way up a little bit more each time, so that's good. And luckily this guy's not too difficult. So far it's only been green ghosts. I thought it was gonna be a little bit crazier. I mean, so far it seems to be following a zigzag pattern of some sort. I don't know if that pattern is gonna continue, but if it does can consist of the same thing, that means we'll be going up the middle and then over to the left. Nope, okay, so it is changing up a little bit. Oh, come on. Okay, you are getting taken out. Please and thank you. So far, not so bad, like, figuring it out. It's just sort of, you have to do a lot of trial and error. So it has to be in the center. 
Just like that. And... There we go. So it has to be this one. And this one again? No way. Oh my gosh, really? Oh, but the music is starting to pick up. I don't like that. Oh, oh no. And there's just no way to stop. You gotta go all the way down to the bottom. Oh my gosh. Where'd you go? Come on, come here. Come here. I'm sick of these guys pulling tricks on me. Try again. Go to the left. Go up. Oh my gosh, it's just so much work. So we went up into the center three times. That's still a little weird. One, two, and three. There's no way we go up to the center again. Yes, we do. And then we go, because the flames are out. Isn't that weird? What, am I always supposed to? Oh, this one sort of dipped out for a second. Because the flames are giving hints. Okay, yeah, I sort of got, it's, it's hard to know. Hey, am I missing? I think I'm missing some details here that I'm supposed to know. And I've just sort of been mostly getting lucky. <laughs> okay, uh, there we go. Come on, thank you. Luckily, it hasn't been too much of a struggle to get back up. And just like take out the ghosts, you run back up, all that kind of stuff. So it's not too bad. It really is just sort of time consuming trial and error. Yeah, we go up to the middle several times, and then we go to the right a couple of times. Okay. So it either has to be in the middle or the left, but you can already see, it's going to be middle, middle, right, left? Yeah, okay, it's super weird, but it actually just tells you. But then it was left. And then I guess it was it's right, because that was the one that's dimmed for a second. And then I don't know what it was. Maybe it was center, maybe it wasn't. Yeah, okay. Back down to the bottom, but there's only like a little set of them left to do. So it's very weird, but it really just tells you. <laughs> He's just gonna follow me all the way down. This is sort of getting fun. It's like one of those rides at the amusement park where it's just like a really big slide. You've seen those, right? There we go. So let's get back up. <laughs> all the way back up. It's probably quite the leg workout for Luigi too. All those stairs, all the cardio too, of running up them. Man. Okay, so let's see if we can't. Yeah, it's, just, it's crazy how many of them would just run up the center. And then take a right. And then back to the center in a moment. I wanna make sure I don't go down the wrong one. Because if I do, I'm gonna have to fall down to the bottom again. And be very unnecessary. It looks like the first one I'm going to is gonna be on the right. I'm trying to spot it out now, but it can be hard to tell at this distance, but it looks like it's right, left, left, center. So right, yeah, yeah, it definitely is. So the lights will really just tell you. And then like the lights will change around, but that's fine. And then right here, right, <laughs> don't fall all the way down to the very end. We did it! Oh my gosh! Oh man, let's not fall back down. There'll be no way to get back up. So the eerie staircase has been conquered. How funny would it be if I undo this door and there's just a whole another staircase twice as long? That'd be sort of funny. Um, whoop, there we go. What's going on in here? Oh, health, I actually don't need it. That's how good we're doing, we haven't taken any damage yet. Hmm. Uh, so let's take that and got it. Yeah, look at that, okay, let's go up here. It's like a tree house on top of the tree. Oh, really, it is, <laughs> the tree house. Oh, that's so cool. Doesn't look like there's too much to actually do around here, though. Hey, hey, whoa, yikes. Why are stairs always so so against us? What is this thing? It is, ah, <laughs> this tree house is hungry. I don't like this. What do we do about it? Um, I don't know. Ow, not that. Oh, it's creepy, too. Man, it is all over the place. Ooh, sort of fell apart, though. Pull out its tongue a little bit, maybe? Oh my gosh, oh, there you are. Get over here. What are you? What is this even supposed to be, though? It's so weird. Come on, ready for this? Ooh, thank you. Are you gonna hop back in there? I guess so. Here we go again. 
Let's see if he's gonna jump around as much. He's screaming at me. <laughs> Out of all things to attack me, I wasn't expecting it to be a staircase. Ah. Come on, keep dodging. That's it. <laughs> we got these little blue flames we gotta watch out for. So whenever he jumps in the air, that's when I have to be ready to tear him apart. Whoa, whoa, too close, too close. Ow, oh, come on, I didn't even get the chance there. Okay, here we go. He's gonna fall, just like that. I have to take this. And now he's over that way. And you can tell he has the dark moon piece. Oh no, 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 wait, what are you doing, what are you doing? Oh, he's charging, that's right. He has the dark moon piece inside of him. And there is another layer of him down, and we get some hearts out of that. So are we even gonna go into this tree house over here? Because I'm very curious about that now. Ow, oh. Oh no, run. Come on, we can do it, we keep moving. So, so far so good, we just have to dodge him. This is so far substantially easier than the first boss. It's just sort of dodging, waiting for him to jump, and then you just go for it. Got him. Okay, what's next, buddy? Can I get you quick? You're about to do your move, but I was too fast for you, and there we go! That was it! Oh, wow, okay, wait. That's going up there. Can we get up there, then? Will this turn back into a normal staircase now, maybe? Uh, that's it. You got it. Whoa. Automatic stairs, how fancy. We did it! Cool. Let me grab this extra money before we go up there. So yeah, I guess that, that really is it. Weird. That was a very weird level through and through. But hey, who cares? We got ourselves another piece of the dark moon. Can we go into this house or not? I'm very curious. I guess not. Uh, but let's, let's answer our call. Luigi, are you okay? Who would have thought? Another possessor ghost guarding the Dark Moon piece. He was one tough customer, but you really took care of, of business. Nice work, my boy. I'm sure the view from up there is nice, but we still have got work to do. I'm bringing you back. Hold on to your overalls. All right, well, a good job done. Luigi's gonna do his happy dance. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, he's got a little sticker on him. A sticker bush thing. Eh. Oh no. Oh, he can't get it off. Don't get poked. Not good. Oh, there you go. We did it! Mission complete! Alrighty, well, what's next? Welcome back, Luigi. Sorry if it smells like popcorn here in the bunker. Your battle with the possessor was so thrilling, I just had to have some. He just gets so much entertainment out of us. Now, let's lock that possessor in the vault where he won't give us any more trouble. Alrighty, well, plop him in there. So it's gonna be the same thing, a, a possessor ghost, along with it, three gold. Wow. <laughs> and a new mission unlocked, the Haunted Tower's Hostile Intrusion, not forgetting all of the booze. Very cool. My brain's been a percolating on the uh, on the subject of those possessor ghosts. I don't think it's a coincidence that both of the possessors we've seen had dark moon pieces in them. Speaking of which, let's get our new dark moon piece all cleaned up, shall we? All right. So yeah, let's put it on there on the little uh, record scratcher. So this is moon piece number three, technically. I mean, it's the second one we have earned, but the first one we found just because it was, the EGAD found it. So we have, I think, like three more to go from that diagram in the background. Yeah, it looks like it. Now, let's see here. Yes, Luigi, more of the fog is cleared. Okay, so as you can see, we have our third area over this way. Another mansion full of pesky ghosts, no doubt, is now within pixelator range. Let's check it out. So this next area, after we get the tree topping completed with a wonderful three stars and the hostile intrusion pops up, we are moving to our third new area. This is the old clockworks. Okay, C1, a timely entrance. Alrighty, well, looks like we have our third area underway then. You see that, Luigi? That's where the next dark moon piece is, the old clockworks. Before it was abandoned, this place was 
plays once produced the finest timepieces ever made. But years of neglect have turned into a, a favorite haunt for ghosts. So it wasn't surprising when the periscope detected a dark moon piece inside of the old clockworks. Alrighty, so moon piece number four, here we go. I mean, it's our third area, fourth piece is a little weird. And after tuning the periscope a little more, I was actually able to pinpoint its precise location, the top of the clock tower. Now you see this fancy looking door, that's the clock tower gate. It's always at the top of something, right? It was the top of the haunted tower, now it's the top of the clock tower. You'll need to get through it in order to climb the clock tower. I've highlighted it on your map. Okie doke, it's always so fun to have a new area to explore and to learn and everything. Starting right over there. So let's get to the clock tower gate and start figuring this out one piece at a time. We know where the dark moon piece is this time, so you won't have to stumble around in the dark. Yep, this'll be a snap, as slick as a whistle. I'm doubting that one. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? I mean, a never ending amount of mischievous ghosts could go ahead and try to ruin our plans as much as possible like has happened every single turn of the way so far. So I'm guessing it won't be very simple or easy, but we will still have fun. Okay, <laughs> poor Luigi. Ah, uh, and a pile of dust too. Oh. That's not fun, getting a bunch of dust in your nose. Oh boy, this place looks way spookier than I expected. It's very westerny, I like it. But there's the old clock tower we have to get to the top of, Clockworks Court. Get to the clock tower gate. Well first, let's take a look around. I definitely wanna figure this place out. What in the world are these things? Oh, they're like little bugs. I definitely wanna to try to get rid of them then. Oh, and if I vacuum this, we get some extra coins. I'm definitely gonna be thoroughly sweeping over everything in this area before we even think of leaving. Um, because that's just what I do. Definitely if I wanna be able to, oh hey, just gold bars chilling out over here. Can I look through this telescope? Oh, I can, this is a huge telescope. Whoa. So there's the clock tower. Ah, oh there he is, that's the possessor. What is he up to? Oh man, nothing good, that's for sure. What are you doing? And back into the clock tower he goes. I don't have a very good feeling about that. I could zoom in a little bit and zoom out. Okay, <laughs> there's that done. Anything else around here? Actually, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so we should be good to flash that and that'll open up this whole door. Whatever it is, I guess it's a gate. Then we can't come back, so hopefully I found everything. And what's the dealio with this? It's just a broken, broken clock, I guess. So I'm just trying to poke around as much as I can. Oh, it's a bug. I pulled the bug out of the, the sand and it hurt me. Not good. Can I interact with these? Not quite. There's more of these. Might as well get them, it's free money. And what's down here? There's like a little tarp or something. Oh no, it's a pile of sand with more gold and a bug. This is very interesting so far, very spooky too. Ooh, ooh, how do I get over here? Well, I guess I just fill in the blanks as per usual. Let's grab these and open this up. Whoa, tons of money in there. That was cool. Wait, no, come back, come back, my money. <laughs> I got as much as I could, right? That is over $100. Oh no, exactly $100. What is this? Oh wow. Um, Looks like a dodgeball, but made out of metal. Where'd it go? Um, It's down this way. What is that noise? Uh, Oh, it's just another bug. Let's grab the bug. Or, there we go. What happened to that dodgeball? <laughs> it might be, I mean, it's making a whole bunch of beeps and boops. It's definitely something technological. Maybe something over here? Oh, there's another one. That's definitely not what I want. Oh, okay, I can light them up. It's trying to come over to explode on me. But that's not gonna happen. Oh my, that was crazy. Anything in this bush? It looks like more money. Okay. Oh, here we go. What do we got here? Maybe this will be the boo for the level? 
Maybe we're still looking for it. Oh no, it's our first gem. The red in this world, in this area. So we got our very first gem. Super duper awesome. And let's keep poking around. You never know where we might end up finding uh, the boo at, maybe somewhere nearby. But so far, not quite the case. So I'm gonna run back this way. There's another one up here. Oh, there's actually a couple things going on. Let's check this out. That didn't have anything? Weird. Oh, we could probably look inside of here. Indeed we can. Oh, it is very noisy. This guy's making a big mess. He doesn't even know what he's knocking over. He's getting really angry about it. He can't get that thing out of there. Well, at least he tried. <laughs> this one's just moving around. Okay, well, I I've seen enough of that. So if I want this to explode, I could do that. It's gonna try to run towards me. That's wild. But I don't really know what to do with that, you know? I mean, I guess for right now, there's not really anything I need to do. I could just go over this way and turn the clock a little bit. Let time pass by. Whoa, watch it. <laughs> that looks like a giant bug coming to attack me, but I think it was just a little bit closer to the camera than I was. Is this working? Am I supposed to stop it at a certain time? Maybe at the same time that this says right there. Let's try that out. So that is big hand on about there. Aha, there it is, okay. Good perception skills, I suppose. Let's move in. And hey, buddy. Ah, no, come on. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, he's gone. He's out of here. So we're in the warehouse now. Oh boy, this area looks very complicated too. Oh, here we go. What in the world is this thing? I don't know, but it gave me some uh, some gold. And these, I can't really do too much with. I can like fire them. Well, both of them, I can do that. Huh. There's sort of a lot going on here. Then there's this big box. Don't know what to do with that. Okay, let's first go to the left. Yeah, what is this? Um. Oh, it's like an elevator. Well, up we go. Got rid of the spider. Very weird elevator. But I can't get past any of this. So not really worthwhile, for now at the least. Unless I can get this. It doesn't look like it. Hmm. See, I, gotta get, I guess I gotta blow air on it so that it can go down. It seems like there's a number of things I could do here, but maybe none of them I can just do quite yet. Uh. There we go, got rid of that. I hear the laugh of what has to be a boo. So maybe, maybe that's going on? Let's open up this safe. I don't really trust it. It's a golden one. It's very shiny too. I don't know what these are. They're just like little piles. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't know. What, what, what would I do with it? Oh, maybe I can, I can put it into here. Whoa and then I can undo it. Oh, I see. It's like a spool, and that got me a key. Very interesting. So let's try these other ones then. Put that there. And that got me money. Okay, I understand. I understand now. That's usually not how you're supposed to organize money, is spooling it. <laughs> Uh, I feel like that's just gonna damage the money and make it very hard to count how much you have. And that gave us a spider, which is not good, but still worth uh, getting it all done. Is there any others around? I don't know. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's an arrow saying to the right. How far to the right? That was spooky. Yeah, I have a feeling there's something going on around here because I keep hearing that boo laugh. I don't know what that's about, but anyways, right now I gotta I got keep on spooling these things before we worry about anything else. Got it? Nice. Oh, oh hey, here he is! Kombooter says 011000100, 011, 011111, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 011, 
<laughs> okay, so I guess he's a computer, uh, which, if you don't know, uh, computers have sort of like its own language called binary code, and that's what he was speaking there. I don't know what he said, but I'm guessing he said boo. <laughs> if I had to guess. Anyways, let's go ahead and get him. That actually worked out really well. So we found our first boo. And we've already found our first gem as well, so things are going really nicely, actually. Uh, but the question is, like, still, I don't know what's going on with this big crate. It seems like that has to be something. But I don't know. We'll get this as well. And then once again, do some unspooling. There we go. So we have more than one way we could go. We could go up or we could go to the right because we have the key for that. But I'm gonna go up for now. This is the roundhouse. Get rid of that spider. There's a big pile of trash here. But nothing really behind it? Okay. That seems oddly pointless. Hey, 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 whoa. I got him. Actually, I should maybe check to see, is there anything on the ceiling? No. Okay. Check inside of this. There is a golden bone. So hopefully, if I need to, I can get our little puppy pal to help us if we get taken out. Ooh, let's get that money. Oh, I can't get up that, I slide back down. That's not good. Can I get that dollar before it's too late though? Yes, I can. So I don't think I can grab that from here. So I'm gonna have to find another way around. Well, there's a door over this way. And it's a dead end. Oh, I'm getting a call. Hey, buddy. That path leads underground, but it appears to be blocked. I've always wondered what's down there. Hmm. Anywho, let's get to the top of that clock tower, eh? So this is not something we gotta do right now. I think that's sort of his hint of say, like, hey, turn around. You're being silly. You're going all sorts of the wrong way. So I can't worry about any of this anymore. We'll come back later. I mean, I'm pretty happy. We got the boo for this level. We got our first gem. If we could find more, that'll be fantastic. But for right now, I don't know if there's too much more we can do. Especially with this box. I feel like these boxes have something, but maybe I'm, I'm wrong. Yeah, we'll go into here, put this key in. Open sesame. Maybe. There we go. The workshop, ah! What do I do about this guy? Oh, oh they're freaking out because he's about to ah, explode and not got rid of all their armor. That's funny. So I guess that's what I had to do. I had to light up the bomb. That worked out perfectly then. And totally by mistake. There's not too much going on up there. Oh, oh, okay, I can pull these. And that like unleashed a vent. What about this one? Oh, there's another one. Whoa, let's get this guy then. We got a golden ghost. Come on. Thank you very much. I'll take that money. Awesome. Oh, yeah. And that's all the ghosts in here. So now the question is like, what is this thing? It's like some kind of like, like pressurized machine. Like presses down really hardly. Uh, oh, okay, I can maybe put this in there or something? Like I have this mask. I don't know what I do with it. I mean, for right now I'll just launch it, but maybe there's something more I can do with that? Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything more I can do with the vents. Oh, here we go. Little uh, cover up on the walls, a little smiley face of money. I like that, very cheeky. Grabbing all that, nice. So yeah, this is a little confusing. I have these welding masks. You would think I'd be able to do something with them. They're sort of chilling out. I don't see anything I can launch it at or anything though. But also like I can use this, I can interact with it, but it doesn't do anything. And that's also weird. I can also hit this or use that. Okay, well for right now it seems useless, but maybe at some point it'll serve a purpose. We'll have to wait until then. But this is the room we're supposed to be in, the clock tower gate. I'll grab some extra dirt, because why not? Can I open this up? Nope. Oh, oh, there's something over this way. What is this? Hey, this could be good. I mean, most, I feel I have a feeling this one's most likely just a bunch of money, which isn't a bad thing. No, that one's a gem. Who would have guessed? Okay, so gem number two. Pretty easy, actually. Actually, we might have missed one somewhere along the line. We'll find it. I'm sure it was when one of the rooms that were a little unaccessible to us. So I don't know if I should be waking these guys up, but I did. Can I grab this? Doesn't look like it. 
I'm like sort of sinking in the sand. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a very good idea to just awaken all of these guys. Oh, I can look inside of here. Whoa, look at this. I guess that's sort of the inner workings of the clock. Lots of spiders and mice in here. Oh. Hmm. And then there's a door over this way, which I can access once I get rid of the sand. I don't know if I do want to go over that way just yet. I want to sort of uh, walk up to the gate and take a look. So there's no hands to the clock. That's not good. Let's see if Egad can tell me anything. Hello. Good job, Luigi. I see you made it to the gate. Mm -hmm. Billowing banshees, the clock hands are missing. Ho, 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 ho. Those ghosts sure are cl a clever bunch. You see, the clock hands mm -hmm. operate the clock tower gate. Mm -hmm. The ghosts figured that out and hid them from us. Incredible. Mm -hmm. Well, not for us, of course. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty terrible. Mm -hmm. It would take a strong ghost to pry off those clock hands. I'll scan the area for any powerful paranormal signals. Mm. You do that. Hold tight, I'll let you know when I find something. Ciao. All right, sounds great. Get to the clock tower gate, check. Uh-oh, oh no. Oh, he doesn't seem so bad, and he's gone. Oh no, he's making a little tornado. Maybe I got rid of those bombs too soon. Uh, What do I do? I can't suck up his tornado, but I can just stun him when he's done being a tornado. Wait, was that seriously yet? No, there's gotta be more. Okay, there might be more than one of them. Yeah, I'm sort of sinking in the sand right now. Okay, can I time this? Uh, I was trying to get both of them. Oh, that's fine. I'll just get this guy really quickly. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Got him, okay. Pull him back. Thank you very much. And there we go. So with this one, I get a nice key. And I guess that's about it. I mean, with the key, I can't go up to the thing because I still don't have the clock hands, but I guess I can go to the right. Don't see what else I can do, you know? So with this one, we are now in the cargo room. Hmm. Oh, and we're getting a call again. Hey, buddy. Well, I think I found our clock thieves. Mm -hmm. There's a strong signal underground, and I reckon it's them. According to my research, there's a special compass that should help you get down there. It's likely stored somewhere in the drafting office. Check your map and hop to it. So we have to go back to where we were? Or to the left? Or no, no, we gotta go to F2. So I think that we're, we're still on the right path for everything. Um, okay. Let's get that spider. And what about this? Oh, there's another bomb thing. I'll check that out in just a second. I also wanna get rid of this pile if I can, I cannot. So what do I do with this? Oh, I guess it just it explodes. What do you know? And that fills the whole place with sin. Maybe I should get up to higher ground real quick. Or maybe I shouldn't have done that just yet. Is there stuff under there? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Now everything is nice and level. Whoa, oh, that almost landed right on Luigi's head. You gotta be careful there, buddy. What about this area? There's a pipe. Oh, he can look inside. It's a little weird. This is the service elevator. Oh no, there's a little yellow toad. Watch out! Oh no. Oh no! Is he okay? Oh, they fell too. <laughs> well, it serves you right. You could have told him to be careful. I know he's trying to get all that gold over there. Jeez, poor guy, I hope he's okay. We're gonna find him later. Ah, okay, ow, oh, oh, yikes, that's gonna hurt. That'll leave a mark, oh no. Gotta be careful of those. Okay, wrong way, thank you. Okay, come on, get him, get him. And this explosive is running towards me! Oh, oh man. Is there another one? What was that? Whoa, there's something in the sand. Hold on. What's the dealio with that? I don't know, maybe I can just suck up the sand? I can. There he is, hey buddy, what do you think you're doing? Come on, come on, maybe he has one of the clock hands. Nope, he just has money. All right, well there's all the ghosts. Not bad. So I've made some decent money so far this level. We're at 527. And what's under here? Uh, oh, definitely something we can light up. So 
So I don't think this would be another gem, right above the previous gem, but it might be some money. Whoa, it's a golden bomb. Oh gosh, I sort of made both of them mad at me. Oh, he's fast, ouch. I gotta get down there quick if I want that money though. Come on, he dropped uh, one, two, three, four, five of them, so that should be 100 gold in total. You bet it is. So now we're at 627. That was very interesting. <laughs> You're kidding me. Okay, well now we know of a, of a bit of a shortcut if we need that. Can I do anything with this box though? I suppose not. No, no, I could open it. Well, what's going on in here? Oh, I can activate this and that just gives me free money. And speaking of free money, I do see this guy right there. I will take that, thank you. Nice. Also try to get him. So lots going on so far in this level. I, I actually really like this area. So what do we have to do here? Because I can't just walk off the side. I mean, maybe this just isn't the right area? I'm a little confused. Maybe this isn't the way I'm supposed to be going. No, wait, oh no, no, that's not really anything. Yeah, this is just the room over the clock tower entrance again, so I'll probably have to come back here later then. Maybe that's why they give us a shortcut. So I don't know, yeah, I can't go into this room, right? It's blocked off, because that's sort of something I'm learning on the mini-map. If there is like a marker for the door and it's green, that means I can go through. If it's a marker for the door and it's gray, it means it's blocked off. And if it's a marker for the door and it's red, that means that I could go through if I had the proper key. But I don't for this big clock tower thing because I don't have the clock hands. So for this one, we know what to do. We gotta go down below, right? Or do we have to go up? I can't remember. It's so like, maybe I'm not wrong. Maybe I have to, because I have to go on the next floor up. I forgot the number one rule to this game. If something's not there, use the dark light. My gosh, I forget that so often because it just goes against like what I mostly know of the video games. Like, okay, there's something missing. I gotta go find it. I have to solve something. There's something I'm not seeing. And, but like, I don't take it so literally as in I just point a flashlight at it. I just, it can be so tough to get used to that at times. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. So there's that. And oh gosh, don't let the spider get me. There we go, we got him instead. Okay, it looks like that guy's probably gonna f float away in a moment, or not, he's still waiting for me. There we go. <laughs> okay, we got him. I can pull this lever for something. Oh, a bunch of health, which means we're running into trouble, aren't we? <laughs> Most likely. Let's find out. The drafting office, oh no! This is trouble, huh? There we go. Nothing inside of there. So this is cool, this is actually where they drafted out the blueprints to the watches. I, I was acting like it was a bad thing, but it's actually highly interesting. Anything over this way? Anything in the waste basket? So this is the room we're supposed to be in, right? Oh, I see. Maybe we can just get through this way. Aha, there's a crack in the wall. And maybe also something, whoa! Yeah, there's more to this room than it seems. Oh gosh, but we only have so much time to get through. I did see also a purple ghost sneak his way by. Ah, he spooked me, that was just rude. How am I supposed to get in if you do that kind of stuff to me? There we go, and there's, oh he has friends too. Okay, well I got two of them right there. Oh, come on dude, but I need to get all three <laughs> for this to work out it seems. Come on, come on, I got him. And then these two, right here. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. Can you stop it? I got one of them way over here just by being fortunate, but then that happens. There we go. That's what I was trying to do this whole time, is just get more than one of them, and that's all of them. Thank goodness. So let's try for a third time now. Bring the fan back. And that's perfect. And that is a compass? The special compass, okay. I forgot he asked for a compass. <laughs> All right, well, let's enter our call from EGAD. What you got there, son? I guess maybe he didn't ask for a compass. The way it checked it off, it made it seem like, I don't know. 
I don't remember, to be honest. Ah, that must be the special compass. I'll bring it back so I can take a gander at it. Hold on a sec. So it looks like that's gonna be it for t this level for today. That did take a good chunk of work, but that was a lot of fun. I really like this area so far. The whole clockwork company is fun. What's going on now? Happy with our findings? Welcome back, Luigi. I really thought getting that dark moon piece would be a breeze. Should have known those pesky ghosts wouldn't make it easy for us. Speaking of ghosts, let's unload the, the Poltergeist 5000. And that's about it. Nothing too crazy beyond that. Okay, let me see that strange special compass thing. So as you can see, it's a compass. It'll tell you the different directions you can go. Well, I'll be, this really is something else. Hmm, he just puts it to the side. I'm gonna need some time to examine it. Perhaps you'd like to visit the vault in the meantime. Uh, yeah, sure, what's going on at the vault? Anyways, we completed a timely entrance and got two stars and the boo. Next episode in uh, Old Clockworks, we'll be doing Underground Expedition. That'll be fun. Underground Alrighty, so we'll Expedition. we'll hop into this area and see how things go. Good news, Luigi. The special compass revealed an alternate entrance to the underground. Okay, sounds cool. I've marked it on your map. Take a look. So we'll be going underground now. Hopefully we can save that one yellow toad. The normal access may be blocked, but there's an exterior hatch located in the clockwork's court. Okay, well, now we know. Is he sending us off? Oh no, here's the compass we found last episode. Whoa, and get this, the, the special compass opens it. They don't call it special for nothing. <laughs> so I guess it's sort of like a key in some ways, or a gear, yeah. Sort of probably have to put it in some kind of slot. Uh, now let's talk about the missing parts of the clock tower gate. We're looking for the clock hands, you know, the things that tell you what when it's bedtime. Knowing ghosts, they probably took them as deep underground as possible. Yep. Good luck, young feller. Don't get lost down there. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go deep underground looking for the clock hands. Hopefully it goes well, because I, I guess we can't get to the top of the clock tower without you know, going into the clock tower, which we can't do without these hands. So it's a whole mess of a situation, as it normally is when we're dealing with ghosts. So let's do what we can. So I like this area a lot in the first level, but it seems like it might be a bit of a challenge to actually like get everything done. So we'll just sort out this, or maybe, oh, like that. Okay, gotcha. So yeah, this this is weird. This is really weird. It's gonna spin. And where in the world is it gonna go? Whoa, okay. So it's like some kind of patch. Oh no. I don't trust that Luigi. Don't fall! <laughs> I spoke at the, at the right time, I guess, or maybe a little too late. Are you okay, buddy? I mean, he seems to have landed in one piece. Now we are in the storm cellar. So let's check this out, way out, or as much as we can. Look for the missing clock hands. Will do. Oh, oh hey, hey, there's a bomb. Watch out. Oh, what do I do about this guy? He has a rock. I guess I gotta take it, just like I have to do with the uh, sunglasses. That's mine, buddy. And you are mine as well. Okay, is there still another bomb in here? It's not. I don't know if there was something I was supposed to do with those. Can I still take the rock? I can. I just don't see too much of a use for it. Oh, why is this bed jumping around? Ah! Oh, there was a, there was a ghost under the bed. There really is a monster under there. <laughs> there we go, got it. And there we go, there's all the ghosts in the area. Not bad. But I think we can still check some things out. Just try to make sure that everything around here has been obtained. And it looks like it. So let's go ahead and, well, I can't go that way. Huh. If I can't go that way, then which way do I go? So that's all blocked off. Maybe I can take the sheets off the bed. I can. Oh, look at this, okay. There is something over here. What is this? Oh, that's a gem, okay, perfect. So there is our, our second or third gem. It's our third gem, not bad, okay. Um, the question is, how do I get through this? Is there like something I'm missing? I mean, obviously there has to be. 
problem is I just don't quite see it. Oh, I see, so we were on this before, but I guess the weight of it, that's what the rock is for. Okay, I got it now. So what we do with the rock is I guess we go all the way up and see if that'll do its thing. Hold on, maybe if I get on there a little bit more properly. Uh, whoop. That works, okay, not bad. And we're in the Canyon Hall. It looks like this way's a bit of a dead end. Another one of these bombs, run! Okay, I was trying to pick it up, but I didn't do much. What is this drill doing? It's making money. <laughs> I guess there must be like a money vein in there. That was it? Okay, not too much though, unfortunately. Okay, nothing else around there. Hmm. Oh no, spiders, get them out of here. Too many spiders, that is for sure. Can I get this pickaxe out of there? I suppose not. I can, though, get all these coins up in the rafters. Not bad. And I don't think I missed anything. Just trying to take, you know, double check around. Oh, there's one of these explosives again. There we go. But he's sort of stuck in the dirt, so he's just gonna explode. Interesting. Oh, does that mean we can look through here? Indeed we can. The canyon narrows. There's something behind that door, that's for sure. Not too much more I can see. That is super duper creepy. The question is, how do I get across? Aha! Right over here. Let's go inside. They really are narrow. Whoa, it's like a zip line. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's super duper cool. Okay, let me off. There we go. Yeah, get some extra money from these bushes. I haven't gotten too much cast yet. You were right under $100, so I'm working on it. There we go, now we're over $100. So I could go up to this very spooky door, or I could also continue forward. You know what, I don't see anything on the map here, so chances are this is fake, but I have to try. Whoa, oh no, it's a bonus door. Okay, so we got this hourglass. Oh my, there's chests everywhere. Do I have to like get them? I suppose, oh I see, I see, I see. Okay, open this up, and that has a ghost in it. Oh, I see, okay. So I have to quickly get this ghost before time runs out. And then I also have to get to these other chests. Oh, that's crazy weird. I guess this one's gonna be closer to me first. Got it? Okay, hold on, hold on. I'll get you in a moment. I'm gonna try to get both of them at once. It didn't work. Okay, that'll be good. Same deal over this way with you. There we go, there we go, come on, thank you. Grab this cash as much as I can. Come on, come on, come on, gotcha. And then run over here quick, run over here really quick. There it is, okay. You gotta charge it up a little bit sometimes. And that's hopefully everything. Do we get a gem out of doing that? I don't know. <laughs> you would think so. We're definitely gonna get a lot of cash. Awesome. That was cool, that was really cool. But is there more? I don't know. Oh yeah. I mean, I guess not. Every other bonus room has had a gem to get, so that one's a little worrying. I might have to come back to that at some point. But hey, that was a couple hundred more dollars. We're up to uh, 500 now. So that's cool. It's actually still going up. <laughs> so I'll have to see how much we actually got in a moment. Once it's done, continually going upwards. Ah, oh, that's a mirror. Aha, <laughs> I got you. That was weird. Oh, that's so weird. Is there anything else around here? I guess not. Okay, so we have 646 gold. Oh no, 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 no. What do you mean? There's definitely a ghost in here. Where is he? Oh, now he's over there. <laughs> oh, that's creepy, I don't like it. Oh, oh, okay. I'll happily grab, ah, come on, buddy. Get out of here, be gone. They're trying to make fun of me right now. Oh man, there he is, got him! You aren't sneaking up on me like that, that's for sure. You're mine, you're mine, see ya buddy. Awesome, so that was all the ghosts around here. Oh my gosh, stressful. So nothing more down that way or this way. Okay, so I guess we'll go through this door for now. We could also go to the right, but I'm going to leave that be for now. This definitely looks like a room I should look around for a boo in. 
Uh, anything in the box? There's a bomb. Watch out. With the barrels. Everything has a bomb in it. Why? Who's putting bombs everywhere? Probably the ghosts. I had to guess. Ow, that hurt. That was silly of me. Can't do anything with the staircase. It definitely looks like I can pull this wall down or something crazy like that. What is going on with this? Uh, whoa, it's another like crazy bonus area, right? It has to be, oh, hey. Uh, oh, am I looking through the sarcophagus? Okay, so there's a boo right there and then there's a blue ghost, what is he doing? Do I have to remember what is where? So where's the boo gonna go? He is going to hide that barrel. Well, now I know what's going on. They're caused a bunch of issues for me. First off, let's reveal the barrel and grab all of that. And let's see what's going on inside. Nothing. <laughs> I thought that maybe, okay. I thought that maybe that would make it so that the boot would pop up. I know the blue ghost is in this one. And the other one has a bomb in it, so we'll just try to avoid that. Uh, and then flash him, that's it. Okay, we got it. Thank you very much. And that's everybody in the room. So obviously this one should have the bomb in it. Surprise, surprise. So I don't know if there's really too much else going on around here. It doesn't look like it. What if I go in again? Oh, now it's, it's nothing. Huh. Okay, well, no, no, I didn't want to do it again. Just trying to take a look around. So I think that's gonna be about it for this room. So at least I got a ghost gone, but that boo is still around, so I'll have to find him. Okay, let's pull this wall. Whoa. But there was also a different way I could have gone. So like, there's like a lot going on here, but it looks like we're getting a call from Egad. Oh. Hey, buddy. Hello. Louie, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. You must have be very deep underground. Look at the tunnel. I don't know how to do a voice where it's interference. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It seems that the old clockworks was built D directly above an ancient archaeolog archaeological site. Be careful, who knows what things you'll find down there. Let's hope the claw cans are among them. Ow. All right then, so we'll try that out. For right now. Oh, hey, look, a dog bone. Apparently, the dog bones will give you money if, if you complete the level with them. So that's good to know. Uh, let's go ahead and go through this doorway and we get the pit slide. Whoa, whoa, okay, what's happening? Did the door close behind me? No? Okay. I thought that might have been the case. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. We're gonna start sliding, whoa! Try to hit the money. Try to hit the money piles. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I missed some there, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world if I just miss a little bit. That was great. Oh man, quick way to make some cash. Nice, okay. That is a lot of extra money there. Yeah, we are almost at $1,000 for this level, which is a pretty good pace. So far, so good. Whoa, there's a spider. Get rid of him. <laughs> also grab this extra health, and we are good to move through. Aha, wait! There's one missing. What will this have? Maybe a boo? It has a bunch of money. That's good, too. All right, I'll gladly take it. Next up, the quarry. Oh, more spiders, because of course. Huh? How do we get up there? Good question. Hmm. Well, first, I guess I'm, I'm getting this little opening. I can't go inside. Oh wow, there's like a sand fall. Not a waterfall, but a sand fall. I can walk through it, that probably just made him Covered in sand, that'd be so uncomfortable. I'm sorry, Luigi. So there's nothing around here? This area seems oddly barren. Uh, I'm a little bit confused. Can I, oh, there's a rope attached to it, gotcha. So yeah, I wanna pull this, hey, hey, hey. Where are you guys going? Well, I guess I missed out on that. Can I, oh, I can go inside of here. Whoa, and look at this, there's a gem. And also two golden bats if I could hit them. Apparently not the angling for this is bizarre. There we go, look at all that money. I thought there was a third one, but I guess not. 
That was uh, $35 each, and we get a red gem. Very cool. Happy to get that, so two gems so far in today's level, and we're not done. Let's pull that backwards, pull one more time, and it's stuck. Oh, the ghost wasn't happy about that. Well, I'm not happy about you. Get out of here. There we go. Oh, and there's more. <laughs> They're not done. The whole place is filling up with sand now, because it's not falling into that pit anymore. Gotcha. Man, they are everywhere. I'm going to have to survive all this. Okay, ready? Got him, but I didn't get the other guy, who's also trying to attack me with a shovel. There we go. Wait, what? No, not happening. And then this guy, he's gonna go for me maybe. There we go. Come on, quickly. Got it. Oh, there's more. There's always more, but we got him pretty good there. Come on, come on. That's it. And loads of money coming from the Golden Ghosts. Lots of Golden Ghosts in today's episode, it's awesome. No, you don't. <laughs> You're trying to get me there, I'm not having it. And of course, he had a friend. They always do, don't they? Okay, so that really wasn't too bad at all, but now we should be able to maybe make it up here. But doesn't this mean we can never return? But this whole room's always gonna be filled with sand. I still can't, oh, did the sand finally stop? That's good. Oh no, oh, did I get them? I got some of them. Oh, stop it, oh, stop it. Um, I got two of them again, but not all three of them. One of them's about to pop up, so let me get rid of these two, and then maybe get them. No, you can see them treading around, around in the sand. Is there another one? No, I think this is the last guy. There we go, awesome. That was a lot of hard work. So, we survived it though. So we could go through this door, but it looks like there might be something up here. Oh yeah, there's a missing, you gotta remember whenever there's something missing, it means that it's, uh, you gotta use the, the dark light. There we go, oh, it's a boo! Oh ha ha, I'm Boutine, with extra gravy. I, I don't get it. Uh. There he is, there he is, there he is. Boom, got him, pull his tongue all the way back. Oh wait, I didn't, <laughs> that was only up to green, sorry. I wonder if there's a gem up there though, I really hope so, that'd be awesome. So that was good, but not quite enough. Okay, let me qu quickly grab this money and try to look for him a little bit. There he is, right in front of me. So pull this one all the way back for real this time, he is definitely gonna get knocked out. Right all the way to zero, there it is, awesome. So I will quickly grab him before he like wakes back up or something. And that is this level's boo. I'm really happy to get that. Couple more coins over that way. Grab these ones before they disappear. Sometimes I feel like the coins disappear too quickly. There's 10 more. We're at 1,800 or 1,283. That's cool. And inside of here, oh, just lots of money. That's fine. I'm not disappointed by that. I just also need the gems. The more the merrier, right? Anyways, that seems to be this room all finished up. Along with it, we are in the antechamber. I can't get into there without some fire. What is going on in here? Well, I do see one of the web balls and a couple of spiders. Let's try to get rid of those guys first. Boom, got it. And of course, we'll burn this down. Pretty simple thing to do. I don't know too much about what's going on in here, but we at least have that. Nothing in there, but what's inside of the treasure chest? Loads of money. Thank you very much. See, this is a very profitable level so far. I like it. So we gotta do that again. This time just heading straight. But the nice thing is that it really lights everything up well. So I can get through here. Just like that. Burn those guys up, get some free money out of it. At least sometimes. There we go. And there's a little corridor to the left here, and that has what? Extra health? Weird selection, I can also light the torch. That might be good to do, so I can quickly grab the extra health. I can check out these pots, see if they have anything in them. Check things out with the dark light. Nothing okay. There might be more spiders around. All right, now I'm just trying to find the web ball again. Yep, another one will just pop up right there. And we can, oh man, it is so dark. You can just barely see. With this, it's so much more visible. 
Oh, it is super creepy too. I don't like it. What's inside of this one? Whoa, golden spiders. Let's toast these guys up real quick. And once again, we will uh, light that. And I'm trying to... There we go, <laughs> just trying to back into it. Nice, that's 80 more dollars right there. Get rid of that guy. So I think that's all of the corridors. Ah, come on. Couldn't even see these guys. Get back here. <laughs> too late, too late. And what's going on in here? We're in the tomb. Oh, that's creepy. That is very creepy. Uh, I don't see anything around here. We'll open up the tomb in a second. I gotta search around thoroughly. Got a cobweb over this way. Can I go inside of there? No. So it looks like there's not anything to light up. Not anything I'm missing. Okay, let's open this tomb. Oh man, this is creepy. What's inside? Are you strong enough to lift it? Yeah, look at him. Luigi's Mr. Muscles. And there's one of them. The claw hand. Oh wait, come back. Oh no. Ah! It's another poltergeist. Oh great. And he's gone. Well, the clock is ticking. We need to go and get that handpiece. Where did he go? Isn't this the way we came from? Oh no! Watch out, Luigi! Where's the mummy? Oh no. Okay, run, run, run. You can't just flash him like that. I mean, he doesn't like it very much. Oh, he fell. Oh, well, maybe I can take some of his straps. Whoa. Oh. Oh, it was all just a big joke, huh? These guys are such jokesters, but there's more of them. Oh man, there's there's two. So if they don't like the light, that'll make them mad and sort of try to charge at us. We need to make them try to hit the wall. That's the wrong way. Uh, There we go. Okay, so he's gonna fall. He's gonna fall too. I don't care which one I get as long as I get one. Thank you. And then seeing deal over this way quickly, quickly. Ah, too late. All right, that's fine. I'll at least get this guy. And, oh, come on. The angling's bad. Okay, okay. There's a bug in the, in the sand for some reason. Okay, I don't care too much. Just get that. Awesome. And we got him. Okay, not bad. And that's all of them taken out. Now let's get this guy before he gets me, or not. Always getting a call. Hey, buddy. Luigi, are you all right? Did you see that big-headed ghost? He ran off with the claw cans we're looking for. We need to track him down. I'll pixel port you back so we can regroup. Oh, okay, that's it. That wasn't too bad then. I thought there was gonna be more. That was still great. We got 1,645 coins, and on top of that, we also got a golden bone we still have left over, so that was a lot of fun. Good job down there, my boy. Those ghosts pretending to be mummies, and what a hoot. Let's send the clever little rascals to the vault, eh? Alrighty then. So I don't know if that'll be a new addition to the vault. We'll have to see. That big-headed poltergeist, the one that looked that took the clock hands, could be a problem. The periscope went crazy when he appeared, so he must be very powerful. On the bright side, that very power will allow me to track him down. While I scan the old clockworks, why don't you go check on the vault? I caught some cheeky ghosts trying to break free earlier. Really? Okay. Maybe there's something new going on there. So we can just press A to continue. Uh, so yeah, let's see what we got here. Three stars and the boo. Next episode's level will be C3 Roundhouse Brawl. Guess what, Luigi? The Periscope was able to find that poltergeist that looked, that took the clock hands. I don't know why I keep on reading that as look. Its signal is different than the other ghosts. I suspect that we may be dealing with an ancient poltergeist. We're very exciting stuff. Capturing an ancient ghost would make for uh, for groundbreaking research. Alrighty, well, as you can see, he's gonna start tapping away. All right then, he seems to have settled in the roundhouse. Okay, that's not too far into the uh, to the area. Uh, be very careful in there, Luigi. Ghosts tend to gain power over time, and this poltergeist seems to be absolutely ancient. I guess you could say he has a lot of time on his hands. All right, well, 
Let's go in. <laughs> get it? Time on his hands because he has the clock hands. What do you mean you don't get it, Luigi? <laughs> it's pretty obvious. <clears throat> All righty. Well, Luigi, we're hopping into a brand new level. Let's see how it goes. So we're going against the ancient poltergeist. He is in the roundhouse room, which I think we've been into. Yeah, we definitely have been before, but there was a ramp that blocked us off from really getting too far into it. So, oh, we're actually being spawned in in the clock house this time. Instead of being spawned in outside. So the answer should be fairly simple. It should just be to go this way. I don't think there's gonna be another ghost in this room. We've already had a ghost in this room. A boo, I mean. Uh, Oh, oh, okay, he's giving us a call. What's that? Good job, Luigi, you made it to the roundhouse. All I had to do was go through a door. But, hmm, the poltergeist signal is on the other side of the room. You'll need to find a way across that gap. If I were you, I'd shave my mustache and try to lift the warehouse. Or try to lift in the warehouse. Mm -hmm. What does shaving the mustache have to do with it? Okay, anyways, the lift in the warehouse was in the other room. Right over this way. So let's try figuring that out real quick. Yep, just by going up here, I suppose. Oh yeah, that's right, I have to blow like this. Got it. But I can't, oh no, I, 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 okay, I can do that. And boom, nice, okay, that was cool. Hey, where are you going? You get back here. <laughs> this chest is trying to get away from me. Uh, no wait, come back. Where is it going? Do I just have to chase it around? Oh, there we go, it's a golden ghost. I got him real quick though. That laugh he had just sort of went away. <laughs> there we go. I missed out on one of the gold bars though, a couple of them actually. But that is all the ghosts in the area, or along with it, there's one of these. I feel like I need to, I saw another one down there too. Hold on, let me launch that, or not. Is there anything around here? Oh, there is, right? I don't know what I'm pointing that at. Uh, it's hard to see. <laughs> okay, I think it's something down there. It looks like it. So if I could just go back there now, that'd be great. <laughs> Hold on, so it seems like there's a number of things to find out here more than I expected. Can I? I can't launch that over a fence. But I'll need this on the one machine. So let's stand on this panel and blow the air. So I don't know if that's a thing I've already found or not, but I can at least do this. Just like that. And that gave me a ton of cash, cool. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of you. But where was that thing I saw? Oh, okay, it's one of these. Well, we might as well do these, because they get us a lot of money. There we go. I'm going to grab that. We're gonna put it right there. And once again, we know the deal, yo. Just do that. And that's actually a gem, okay. So I haven't found that one. Nice, happy about that. So that's what I was sort of curious about, not this one, but there's another one in the ceiling. I was wondering if that was a gem. Um, But I guess probably not. There probably wouldn't be two gems so close. Let's try this out. How much money will this give us? Just one gold bar, that's still pretty good. Where was it, up here? I mean, hey, at the least it'll give us some money. Oh wow, there's a lot more going on over this way because of the spiders. So I can't actually go to the right like I normally would. Okay, but I could take that staircase up. I did want to check that out. Like if we go up to the elevator and take it to the right, there should be more stuff. That is so much money. <laughs> My gosh. Okay, so I think that's all of them from what I can see. So what I wanna do is not go that way for right now. I will at some point, but doesn't need to be at the moment. Grab this coin and try this door. Oh yeah, I remember this. This is where the one level, and this is where we found the compass. So I don't know if there'll actually be anything worth a while. We get a bone? Cool, so if we don't die, we get some extra money from that. So it doesn't look like there's anything else going on around here. It was good to check. I mean, it's saying there's something to the right. Oh, whoa! Okay. And then I can just, aha. Well, I still can't get through. 
So I'm not sure how useful. Oh, and then I can from here. I don't need to do all that though. I already know what's over that way. We've been there before in the previous level, so I don't think there's gonna be anything this time. That was still really cool though. Right now we're going this way. Whoa, okay, wait, wait, wait a minute, there's a gem. How do I get the gem? There's a ghost here, he's sleeping with the gem. I have to wake him up somehow. Well, you can see there's a clock, and it looks like the power to it, whoa, goes under here. I'm getting that gem, I have to. Uh, can get a couple pages of this book. Don't know if that really solved anything for me. Weird. What about inside of this wardrobe? Nothing. So this area is actually quite barren. I mean, this'll do that. And I guess eventually it'll make it so that the alarm clock goes off? No? Or maybe I have to stop at a certain time. So, let's pay attention to the clock. It looks like it is, um, so uh, three, six, nine, right there. So it's at nine, exactly. It should be at the least. So let's try doing that. No, wait, I messed up. Make it go backwards. It sort of goes up a little bit. Why is it doing that? There it is, oh, okay, I got it. I solved the puzzle. Can we get him? Okay, there we go. Give me that. Give me that gem. It's mine. Oh, I love this. This was a cool puzzle. There it is, grab it. Awesome. And that is our sixth gem in this area. Not bad. So it looks like that's about everything. We are going to move out of here then and into this room. We're back in the roundhouse. Oh my. Careful, Luigi. Uh, there he is. He still has that clock hand. Oh, he's like using it like a little wand. Oh boy, get another call. What's up? Hello. There he is, Luigi. Hmm, but well, you'll need to reach the other side of the room to get down there. Ah, you can use the beams to get across, or the beams, not beans. <laughs> use the circle pad to jump from beam to beam. I hope you're not afraid of heights, youngster. Let's hope not, because he jumps higher than Mario does. Okay, so this was super tough before. The last time I had to do this in the attic of the gloomy manor, because you have to actually balance the the DS or he'll sort of lose his balance, and that's really tough to do. I don't know. That's it. Come on. And we made it with oh, a golden end. No, you're kidding me. I was right at the end. No. Oh, there's a golden spider. I want to be able to get to that. It's, it's really hard for me to hold the. The, the, the system still, apparently. That really stinks. Come on. Try again. Just move slowly. This guy's making like the most annoying noise in the background. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Which doesn't help me keep my focus. There we go, I made it this time. Okay, this guy's going down when I get to him. He's just been there like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's like the most annoying thing. When you're trying to focus, at the least. So there's two ways I could go here. I could go actually across that one beam. But I could also go into this room. I can't. So that's maybe a bit blocked off for now. I don't have the, the, no, I can go in here. What is all this? I don't know, this is all totally different. Oh, it's a boo. Get him. Hi. Oh, don't laugh at me. And he's going into a room. Okay, so we gotta get him. So this is all like totally unrelated to what I was looking at before. Uh, whoa, hold on, I guess I'm not going this way for now. <laughs> I can get this money though. Thank you. Very weird. So let's go to the door to the left for now. The finishing room. So we'll try to find that boo. I don't know if that was a good idea. He's gonna try to explode me now. Oh no. Oh, I do see him, there's a ghost over that way. Uh, right here, right? I mean, it's looking at me, I guess not. Weird. Hmm. There's a big arrow pointing this way. There's gotta be something. 
I guess not. Huh. I can definitely launch these somewhere. Let's, let's go up onto this upper floor. Ah! Rude. Oh, there's money. Okay, and there's a big stack of cash over this way. Hmm. It has to do something with this mask, but I can't actually get it. Maybe I can launch one mask into the other? I can, but it doesn't do much. Here we go. Let's grab all this while, while it's here. Okay. That's all falling. Angling is bizarre. There we go, okay. So I can't leave, the problem is I don't know where the ghost is. Oh! What is, go oh, I see! This isn't outside at all. It's all fake, it's all ruse. Oh, whoa! Oh no, oh gosh, we gotta get these coins. Oh, it's a maze, okay, so, got it. I know what's going on now. I gotta go this way. Run, Luigi, run. Run, Luigi, run. You can do it. Do this. Get over this way. Perfect. Five more seconds. Got it. Awesome. That was cool. Do we get a gem for that? I better hope so. Uh, we don't. We just get more money. Weird. There's been more of these bonus levels that actually don't give us gems recently, which is a bit concerning. That was cool and everything. But I actually still have no clue on how to actually progress through the level. <laughs> Isn't that bizarre? Maybe I need to get one of these masks and bring them up here. And put that inside. No. Like, I'm fine with finding ghosts and everything, it's just where are the ghosts? I hear somebody laughing at me. Oh, that didn't work before. Okay, got him. Boom. Okay, this time it worked, right? That was all of them? That was not all of them. Is there, okay, yep, there's more. There it is, who's gonna hit me over the head with that? How rude. Okay, where's the next one? He's right over this way. Okay, you're going down. Whoa, he left? Wait a minute. There he is. Nice. Okay, we did it. So the problem with this one is that we can't actually go forward, as you can see, it'll just sort of go away. Um, so what we need to do is I suppose is move down this way and then go up again and then, yeah, okay. So this is the container yard. Lots of stuff going on in this level then, more than I was expecting. So I thought we were just gonna go in that room and beat that one guy up, apparently not. So I can't do anything with this. I can light this guy up. That'll do something, right? Whoa, okay, sort of did. I mean, I guess, it, was that right though? Well, there's another one. Can I make more than one? Why is this box moving? What's going on with this box? <laughs> ah, there we go, okay, it's, it's a big mean red guy. There we go. Let's get him quick before the other guy tries to punch me. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's it. Okay, so yeah, you can put more than one of them on there. This place is weird. Uh, but yeah, now that we've done that, got these extra coins, and Whoa. nope, I still slide down. So what I gotta do is probably just make another one, if I had to guess. So do that again, and that's enough to get across. Cool, and there's a chest waiting for me with tons of money inside. Well, thank you very much. A little confusing, okay, you know what, I, I think that this is like a pulley system, so if I light these up again, they're gonna explode, and I should be able to get across once they're off. Perfect. Alrighty, well that part of the puzzle's been solved. I do see this money I would like to get before I start moving. Because I can move backwards all I want. Oh no, there's a golden spider right there. I missed out on him. I just can't move. Uh, okay, I can move backwards, I can't move forwards on that little conveyor belt. So there's like this pressure thing here. I can't do anything about that. It's very misty. This is the killing room. Room, not killing room. Uh. 
So this is where I guess they do kiln related things. There's not much I can do besides light this up. That didn't do much though. So maybe there is. Wait, wait, hold on. Here we go. Ah, I see the lever's not actually there. Okay. So now if I, oh, they didn't like that. What do you think you're doing? I don't know. If I shut this off, and I go over here and do the same thing, the boards are sort of in the way, but it works still. Uh, What did that actually do? Is it me or did that do nothing? Well, that's odd. Maybe there's more around here? No. Like, I know there's a ghost around there, but. Oh, no, wait, wait. Maybe I just didn't tighten it enough? Because it was sort of starting to get not misty there. No. I'm so confused. Now it's sort of fine. Maybe I was vacuuming away the mist. That's what it was. I vacuumed away the mist. I get it now. And there they are. I was waiting for you two. There we go. It shouldn't be too bad to get these guys. Thank you. Okay, and there's the boo, let's get him. Budonculus is in the building. Budonculus, really? My name makes no sense. <laughs> oh, you seemed a bit disappointed by that. I sort of feel bad. There we go. Okay, let's grab this guy all the way and boom. So he is bouncing all over the place, but it's still not gonna be enough, so we'll have to Trap him again, before he can do much at all. And got him. Very cool, he is going crazy. Awesome. So I guess I'll grab him, but I'm more interested in the coins for the, the moment, before they disappear. Okay, so it was quite a bit of an ex escapade. Like obviously we didn't need to do any of that, we just did it because we wanted the, the boo. I don't think any of this will actually move us forward with our main quest. But I'll, I'll find out. What's in here? Uh, oh, it's a golden one. Okay, Um, I forget how this works, but I think I gotta run away from him. There we go. <laughs> okay, cool. That's all it had? I suppose so. I mean, maybe there's more? There is the key, which I suppose we need. Where'd you go? Get back here. I guess I can't get him. Oh well, missed out on like 20 gold. Not the end of the world. We got some more over this way. See, so what's going on with this? We need some kind of gear. Whoa, okay, that just launched me. That's not what I was expecting, but sure. And there is a key way over there now. Anything else of interest around here? Not looking like it. Sweet. Okay, cool. See, so what is this about? Doesn't this seem weird? Like there's something supposed to be going on here? Uh, I don't have anything that I'd be able to carry, and then this starts doing its thing again. I mean, maybe there was something I could carry that I missed out on? I'm a little confused by that. I feel like if, we, if you were to hold all those gears down, but there's nothing in this room I can pick up, and you can't bring pick up a bulls in between rooms. So maybe that's just nothing. I don't know, I guess we'll have to find out later. Well, actually, why is it saying that I haven't been in that one room when I have been? That's a little weird, the room to the right. I was already in that room, but it has like a dash outline. Maybe there's more to find in there. I'll go check it out real quick. Right here, this room. This room has a dash outline on the map. I don't see what else could be in it. This was like the most simple room. So isn't that weird? I mean, maybe it's nothing, but I really don't know. So I couldn't find anything in particular about that room, why that room has a dashed outline and not the other ones. But anyways, I now have a key so I can go this way, which I guess is what I was supposed to do, so maybe I should turn around because there's that one rafter I still haven't walked across in the other room. I don't wanna miss that. I, I figured that was the way to go. Um, and that this was all bonus, but maybe not. I guess I was wrong about the whole situation. Anyways, yeah, I'm going, whoa. Whoa, very dark in here for a second. Um, I'm gonna go into here, again. 
Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't go back. Oh no, I hope I didn't miss out on anything. That would stink. Uh, anyways. I'm gonna go through here. And just hope for the best, I suppose. What else can I do? Uh, there we go. Oh, what's behind here looks like some money. Plenty of money. Thank you very much. So it looks like that's all for this area, but aha, I found something. What is gonna be inside of this little drawer? Hopefully something good. Bunches of money, that's always good. Oh no, here he is. Hi. Oh man. He's causing big trouble. Wow. Whoa, where did he go? He's making a tornado. Find the poltergeist in the roundhouse, I did, but now there's a big problem everywhere. Uh, recover the claw hands, I would love to. Uh, I mean, it says hands, he only has one though, from what I've seen. So what do we have to do here? If I flash him like that, nothing really happened. Okay, well, is it gonna work like the other, ow, he's hiding. I don't know if it's gonna work like the other poltergeist did, but so far it is. Why is pulling him in the opposite direction not working? I don't know. He's still throwing stuff at me though. Ah, darn it, I should've just pulled it while I had the chance. That was me being silly. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he has friends still. He still has friends running around here. That's not good. Okay, here's this little dude. There it is, come on, just a little bit more. Thank you. Don't you dare. No, I'm in the tornado! Whoa! Yikes. Oh no, and he's throwing a bomb at me, yikes! That's not cool. We gotta run. Gotta run. How do I hit him from there? I guess I just don't. Okay, that was silly. I don't know why that wasn't hitting him. There he is. There we go, there we go. Dodge that, thank you. I'm trying to dodge what I can here. Get him. I'm getting him, I'm getting him. This dude messed me up, so I'm gonna mess him up. And he dropped some health. I really appreciate that one. Okay, that's not cool. That's not cool, I had no time to react to that. I was busy catching a ghost. It launches us right towards you, you just have to run around. Oh man, oh man. That's it, just keep running. Ah. Okay, are you done? You are, but then your friend's in the way. You have two friends, actually. Gotta watch out for the, the other one. Okay, come on, you're kidding me. I got him now, which is both Good and bad, because like I said, his friend is still probably gonna get in the way. But I got him too. <laughs> okay. How did that not get you? Because you were hiding behind the brick that you were levitating. Okay, he's almost down. He's almost. We got him. There it is, dodge the brick. Oh my gosh, that was tough. But we survived. Okay, so there is the clock hand right over this way. Thank you. And let's grab it. Perfect. Recover the clock hands, check. Oh, it looks like he's giving us a ring again. Uh, but it says clock hands, even though it's literally just one of them. Good going, Luigi, I knew you had it in you. You recovered the clock hands and you captured the ancient poltergeist. Let's get you back here. I don't want that poltergeist escaping from the poltergeist 5000. Hold on. Alrighty, so a very successful level if you ask me. We got a lot of money. Uh, I think we're up to now with the golden bone. Um, mission complete. Well done, my boy, well done. That poltergeist telekinetic, poltergeist telekinetic power was no match for the poltergeist 5000. Oh, and your uh, tremendous strength and courage, of course. <laughs> now, let's see those clock hands. So apparently we have two of them. Criminy, that's only one minute hand, or only the minute hand. Where's the hour hand? I thought so. Well, one hand is better than no hands, I suppose. But where could the other hand be? Hmm. I'll try to come up with a plan to find the missing hour hand. In the meantime, why don't you go wash up? The ghostly goo smell coming from your overalls is making me a little woozy. All right, well, as you can see, C3 has been completed. We get two stars and the boo. And along with it, 
We will be playing C4 play catch. Ah, Luigi, just the man I wanted to see. Not that we have mu have a choice being stuck here in the bunker together and all. Anywho, I tried my darndest, but I wasn't able to locate that missing hour hand. The periscope can only find paranormal objects, so we're out of luck here. However, while I was searching, I found some minor paranormal signals in the clockwork's court. It's probably just a few greenies, but we have to start our search somewhere. Okay, you ready, Luigi? Prepare to be pixelated. So I guess right now we're sort of, oh, okay, hold on. And son, you don't need to cower in fear every time I pixelate you. It's perfectly safe. You've done this over a dozen times without anything going wrong. All right, I'm going to push the button now. Don't go cowering in fear this time, you hear? <laughs> He's cowering. There's just some things you can't stop. All right, well, Luigi's gonna be Luigi. You can't blame him for that. So, we are going to uh, just keep moving forward with this one. This will be interesting, I'm sure, because we're, we don't really know where we're going. We're just looking for ghosts and taking them out and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Um. Oh man, there's a couple out here just in the front, front yard, if you could call it that. Oh look, it's the ghost dog. And he ate it. <laughs> Great. And he off he goes, so who knows where he's gonna be off to. We're gonna have to chase him down. And it looks like they're not happy about it either. And it said it was Polterpap. Oh, can we look inside? So they're looking around for him too. They have no clue where he could have gone. <laughs> I find that funny that we both sort of have a common goal for once, to find the little puppy. Let's go inside. I wanna beat them up still, don't get me wrong. We're not working together on this one. Uh, boom. Wait, you have infinite health? What's the deal with this? Uh, let me try it full, full capacity. Nothing. Oh, that broke the shield though. That did it, that did it, okay. Now we can get you. That's bizarre, I've not seen that before. And we got him. And that was it, I guess the other two must have left. Yeah, that's where he came in from. Oh, okay, we got another one, but he's gone. He is gone indeed. Is there anything popping out of the vents? There is a golden spider, but I keep missing him. There we go. There has to be more, right? Maybe not. Can I even get this one? Yeah, I, I can. It just doesn't give us anything. <laughs> okay, note taken. Whoa, whoa, hey, he was in there. Okay, I didn't even realize. Well, that was a little wild. Uh, so yeah, let's go over this way. Let's find out. Obviously, he was on the thing. Did he go this way? I mean, obviously not. He jumped up in the air. It's just the way that shows this is a little confusing. Yeah, okay, he's up here. Sort of. Yep, right there, I found him. And there's also a little opening in the wall. <laughs> has a sad face, he's sad that I found him. Okay, well that's it for this room. I guess the best bet would be to go this way, right? And go up the stairs. I don't know, I don't trust it. Oh, here we go, here's something. Oh, I wonder, this this isn't the boo, is it? I feel like this is way too simple. Nope, there he is. Don't you dare call me Gumbu. My name is Jambulaya. Okay, whatever you say. Okay, hold on. Trying to catch up with him. Where did he go? Actually, I, I've, I've actually lost him. Wait, where'd he go? It said I was getting him. There he is. Thank you very much. Give this a full charge. And hopefully he'll bounce around enough to, uh, ah, uh, not quite. Definitely in the smaller rooms, he, uh, he ends up getting knocked out really fast. Or at least the booze in general do, not just him. Okay, let's grab him again, and once again, all the way to the red. Perfect. And will that be enough? I sure hope so. Yep, there it is. <laughs> He's all stuck in the gears right now. There we go, we got him. So there we go, already we get the uh, boo of this level pretty quickly. And here we are, he should be around this room, and it seems like he is, right? Follow the footsteps, so he's in here. Yep, hey buddy! Oh no. Oh no, come on. Get back here, both of you. <laughs> Where did you guys go? So obviously he went through the wall. 
We want to deal with that. We'll have to move this around. So we're just going in a big circle right now. It's a little ridiculous. Is he in here? No. Oh, he went through here. No, he did not. Okay. He must have just went, yeah, up on top of there and into the other room. So here we go again. Where is he now? He was up on the walls. This pup has no manners. What are you doing over there? I know I gotta fill this all the way up to red if I wanna be able to get rid of that bubble and then keep at it again. Thank you very much. Well, that was cool to get, but we're still not quite finished because he's off this way doing who knows what. Oh my gosh, papers everywhere. Where will this lead? Inside of here, I found you! Come on, gotta blast him with light. And he's gone again. He is so tough to keep up with. <laughs> he's quick. Oh no, here we go again. But I never went down here. Whatever's in that area is a mystery to me. I, I don't like doing this though. He's gonna cheer me on though, right? I would hope so. There we go, oh man. Hold on tight, Luigi. I'm trying to hold this as straight as I can. I'll leave him alone. What do you ever do to you? Except for steal your thing, which you know, it wasn't yours to begin with, so. So they ran off that way, but I need to go this way, because I've never done this. Don't you dare, don't you dare. Don't fall, don't fall, don't. That's it. Okay. Because there might be a gem over on this side or something, I don't really know. Don't fall, don't fall. Is there anything? There has to be something, aha! Yes there is, there's the star gem. Okay, so we got it, that's good. And that is our seventh gem. We missed one of them somewhere, unfortunately. But I'm sure we'll find it eventually. If not anything else, we'll find it in the last episode of this world. I mean, so far it doesn't seem like getting all the gems really does anything yet. Maybe at the very end of the game it will, but so far they're just sort of like, just another box to check off, you know? Yeah, this is the finishing room. Nothing really going on in there. Let's follow the footsteps again. So they were all over the place and they went into this door, which is good because it's the only way I can go. And then they went uh, into here. Surprise, surprise. We've done all this before, but I guess we get to, okay, hold on, do it again. Wow. They're tripping me right now. Oh, I got the ghost, sort of. He ran. Oh, come on. Oh man, there's a lot of them too. Let's run into the corner and see if I can't. Oh, what was that? I've never seen them do that before. That only got this guy. That sort of stinks. <laughs> come on. See you, buddy. Don't you dare try to hit me. I'm, just, I'm trying to do more than that, but the game's just not letting me. They're too separated. Okay, well, that was just rude. Come on. This is it, this is it. We can get both of these guys right here. Lots of gold for that too. Thank you very much, that'll be uh, 80. I will gladly take it. Hey buddy, <laughs> come on. Why do you gotta make this so difficult? He just loves to play so much. And now he's back over there. So we know what to do in this room at the least. We gotta pull this, do it three times. Once you solve it once, you know, it's pretty basic. There'll be a couple of coins inside of here. Might as well take them. And I don't know what's with these gold bars are sitting on the floor. But I'll take those too. Okay, so flash those while that's going crazy. Is there any new money in that? There's a bone. You would think maybe if we intentionally got taken out, he'd come and save us and just give us the uh, the clock hand out of, out of pity or something like that. I don't know. So what's going on this way? Can you please come back here? Oh, I caught him, or he caught me, sort of. Oh, there, there's definitely something I'm not doing right there. I need to be like quiet. I need to like tiptoe. Is that what he wants? Probably, because it's the same thing over again. So yeah, there's definitely, certainly something to solve there. Okay, got it, and then, 
get that set up and run across real quick. And now I just have to wait. <laughs> so let's try again. Because it seems like, yeah, he's sniffing something. He hasn't noticed us. Got him, okay. No, you don't. No, you don't. I'm sorry, but you gotta come with me. Ah, oh, there it is. We got him. Oh man, that was crazy. <laughs> so at least we get the clock hand. Is that gonna be this level? Chase a dog and get the hour hand. Perfect. I mean, Egad's calling us. Yellow. Don't know if there's much more to do in this level. Nice work, Luigi. That ghostly dog actually did us a favor by snatching that hour hand from the ghosts. I'll bring you back in just a second. Here, hold on. Now oh, that means there might be more to the level. Oh no, no there's not, okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so we got it done, we got the boo, which is really what I needed. But will that little ghostly dog be able to pop out this time or not? Because he, he was able to last time, he always gets away, right? Welcome back, youngster. Great job up there, as usual. Now, would you hand over that uh, handy hour hand? Ho ho! Yep, of course. Here it is. Pretty heavy. Phew, that dog didn't chew it up. After our last ghost dog incident, I was worried I'd have to repair this thing. Well, you don't have to. So now we actually can use that to get up to the top of the clock tower. All right, you know the drill, son. Let's send those ghosties down to the vault. Oh, uh-oh. There's a little bit of extra weight in there. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I love him so much. He's wonderful. Doggone it, not again! I don't get what that little guy, how that little guy managed to escape from the Poltergeist 5000, maybe because he has a heart of gold. Anywho, we need to focus on finding the last missing clock piece, the rotor. Okay, there's still one more piece. You'll need to operate, or need it to operate the clock hands and open the clock tower gate. I'll need some time to crack it down. Why don't you take a load off? All right, well, I don't mind a little bit of relaxing. You hear me, young fella, skedaddle. Okay, so there is C4 completed. Oh yeah, I don't know why, I thought that was C5. Um, so C5 is coming up. That'll be C5 piece at last. Hey there, Luigi. We have both clock hands now, so all that's left to find is the rotor. Then we'll be able to fix the clock tower gate. The periscope shows that the dark moon piece is still up there, but we've got to hurry. It's also picking up a lot of ghostly activity and the east side of the clockworks, or the old clockworks, uh, which makes me think that they're hiding the rotor there. The ghosts have that area on lockdown, but I have a few tricks up my sleeve. There's another pixelator camera in that area, so all I had to do was hack it and adjust the destination. Who knows, maybe you'll even catch the ghosts off guard. Alrighty, so it looks like we're going to a new part of the clockwork factory. Uh, here's a picture of the rotor, keep an eye out for it. Okay, that doesn't look like it's you know gonna be too hard to find, hopefully. Ready, youngster, give them, give them a four. Alrighty, so into another level. This should be the last one before the boss fight, so this will be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I, I like this area a lot. I still feel like there's a lot of rooms we haven't entered and learned about yet. Maybe that'll change in this level, but we'll find out together. Oh, it's another one of these guys. Oh, we really are sneaking up on him. Oh, he has the rotor too. Go get him. Uh, hi. Awkward. Uh, bye. I wanted that, you know. So we're at the service elevator. Gotcha, so we can't go back that way. Yeah, that's the room, this is this is the other side of the room that's normally blocked off by a bunch of bricks. Gotcha. Can we interact with this? Nope. Alrighty. So we'll just sort of look around a little bit and see what we can find. Also try to use the dark light wherever we can. Now that looks busted. Yeah, oh no! Oh, come on. That's not good. So there's something wrong with that one. Not gonna work. That's okay, there's plenty of other things to poke around with in this room. Is that a gem? Oh, that looks like a gem. But how do we, oh, it's a mirror. Can I just vacuum this stuff up? I can't. So there has to be a way to get over there. Definitely not from this side, right? Isn't that weird? Uh, so I can't quite reach that stuff, but that doesn't mean I can't get to it. I would just have to do something else. Hmm. 
Okay, did I ever kick this can? Yeah, there's nothing in there. So we'll have to find a way around. Maybe, somehow, I'm not really sure about that one, but we're in the gear chamber now. And this is an elevator? Whoa. Okay. Where are we now? Oh, there it is. He's putting it in the box. No, he's not. Can you just give it to us? Why can't you be nice? Oh my gosh. Okay, so this room, seems like there's a lot going on. Can I go back up? I can't, which sort of is a bummer. I mean, maybe I can go up from this side. No, I can't. I'm like, seriously, <laughs> missing out on a ton of stuff then, right? Okay, so there he is. Is he gonna hand it off? He's like, what is this thing? I don't know, but he wants it, so we gotta get it somewhere. Uh, is he gonna put it in there? Oh, oh no! No, he caught us! Darn it! Oh, come on! That ain't fair. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's not cool at all. They found us out. Criminy, we need to get you inside that storage room. Oh, why didn't I think of this earlier? I, I hired a toad assistant to look after the old clockworks. Yeah, he fell down a pit, we saw him earlier. Mm -hmm. He may be able to help you. Give me a second to locate him. <laughs> hmm, apparently he went to the check on a malfunction. He went to go check on a malfunction in the synchronization room. I can't believe I forgot about him. Working, f working for me must be really terrible. Well, I guess Luigi's not gonna dispute that. Meet the toad in the synchronization room. Will do. Uh, so once again, I don't think I can go up here. Sort of stinks, but I'll keep it in mind. Uh, but we can definitely go down this way. And what does this do? It'll open up that, which will get me a couple of coins at the least. Thank you very much. Oh, some of them bounced down here. Okay, I got them. So I can go to the left, but I might leave that for a minute. Just try to take a good look around. What is with that door? Uh, lots of bugs coming out of it. There we go, I got most of them. Okay, this is very weird. Uh, is that all there is to this door? Is there a way in? I suppose there's not. Okay, well, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> a very weird level so far. Aha, there's something over this way. There's like a little pathway. Actually, what was that? Nothing and I can make a little bit of a, of a uh, bridge across. There we go. But is there anything under? Not that I can see. Very, very weird. This is just like an odd level so far. What is, oh, this is maybe how we can get in and get over to here. And this is gonna be a bonus room. Oh boy, another red coin challenge. So, there's like a gear, which I guess will open up other things. Okay, so what I think might be the thing I gotta do here is I gotta go over this way, and then I'll, oh, that launches me. Okay, that's perfect though. Run, 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 run. Got it, five seconds left, but that's all I need. Go this way. Ah, uh, <laughs> we did it. Phew, indeed. So what is this? This better be a gem. I'm sort of lacking on the gems. Yes, it is. Very cool. So I will happily grab that. And there we go. That means that we have five gems remaining. And there's no way I can go to the left. All right, well, there's that solved. Happy to say. So that means that really all we have to do is to go to left. Go to the left. <laughs> right here. And this is the service elevator. Oh my, oh gosh, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Grab as much of it as I can. Because I don't know if I can get down there at all. Doesn't look like it. Well, that was a lot of cash though. So that's at least good. Let's go. So this is the maintenance hub. So this is all under what we're normally used to. Whoa, look at us, we're zip lining again. And I could even go over here. Hold on, hold on, can I? Yeah, plop off right there. What is this about? Well, apparently there's not much I could do here. Can I fall off? I can. All right, well, that might be what I need to do. 
there's just a lot of weird stuff going on. Like, a lot of different ways to go. Some things don't seem like they're adding up as much as I'd like them to. I'm sure we just gotta keep exploring because it seems like there's still so much more to this entire tower, this whole level that I just have not found. So I gotta work on that. Oh, here we go. What is this gonna be? Maybe another one, maybe not. Okay, I need these mice to leave me alone. This is gonna be another one. Okay, two very close to each other, I like it. So now I'm only looking for four more. That's pretty good. Whoa, okay, that launches me back up here. Oh, and now this is uh, fixed for whatever reason. Sure, why not? But it's locked, oh, okay. Let me fall back down. There might be more. There might not be. <laughs> I just don't really know. There we go. Nothing over that way. Hmm. I already kicked that open. So besides all the mice, I, I, I think that we have found everything there is to see. I'm so glad we found another gem though. That's what we've been desperately needing more of. So I'm a tad bit confused on what to do, where to go, if this is locked. How are we going to continue forward? Oh, well, th is that the door we started on? No. No, it's not. Uh, I mean, I have to go back then, because there's nothing else in this room. I don't know why. I, I think he thought he was falling. Yeah, I, I'll look around a little bit more, but I'm totally confused on what more I can do. I'm a dingus, what can I say? Oh man, no, 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 wait, wait, come back, come back. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Let's grab these. And there we go. That's all I'm asking for is a way forward. I should have been able to see that because there is like a room up there on the map, but I don't know, I was just being silly, I suppose. Okay, so it looks like there's a way up there, but I, I can't. Maybe if this gear was moving, I could. Oh, another golden rat, did I miss him? I think I missed him, oh well. <laughs> uh, oh, that is just a couple of gold bars, but I will quickly grab them. So there seems to be a number of things to do around here. Okay, uh, I guess I'll activate these. I don't know if that was the best idea. Can they get up on the stairs? Oh, they can, they can, they can, ow! Oh, yikes. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, whoa, there's an entire gear missing. That's a lot of, a, a really big object to just have missing. And that started moving that again. Okay, so that might be the way I'm supposed to go. It seems like there might be more than one way, which is always splendid, right? Oh, tons of cash in that. Can I actually grab them before they all disappear though? That's the real question. I got most of them. Another spider over that way. Hard to sort of see what's going on over there. Where does this lead? Anywhere? Okay, well this is a weird dead end. But hey, well, at least we got some money out of it. So, could I have gone over this way? I mean, it looks like I could. There we go. Um, hmm. Oh, but I can't, because this gear is going the wrong way. So if I can find a way, maybe go to the left and, oh, there's another little mouse. Don't know if I can reach him from here, he's gone. Yeah, there's no way I could get him from there. Uh, but now I can walk on to this. Yeah, look at that. And there may be a number of things to do over this way. I'm still looking for the boo, so I'm trying to uh, cover everything. Oh, it's telling me to go to the left. Oh, this is supposed to be some kind of secret, right? Looks like it to me, and look at the shadow on the ground. What will this be? Will this be a gem or a boo? Probably a gem, or maybe just money? Nope, it's the boo. Boo, you found me, nobody here, except Booney Raboot. Okay, I guess it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a bunny joke. Hold on, I see that money over there, I wanted to grab that. Okay, now I can get you. This room is super duper tiny. So you would think I'd be able to make you bounce around like crazy and be able to do this super easy. You are all over the place. I can't even see where you are right now. And that's not all of it. Okay. 
start him again. No, wait. There we go. And you only need three, so that should be enough. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, grab all that money, and then grab you. Maybe. There we go. Okay, so the, the boo for this level has been collected, and with that, that means we've collected every boo uh, in this whole area, the, uh, the old clockworks. That's pretty cool. So I can't go into there. That was awesome. So I guess, yeah, for right now, we just gotta continue this way. Don't have many other options. So if I could sneak in through that, thank you. There's some extra health, I'll definitely take it. Nothing in there. Uh, thank you. And let's try to get both of these guys, or just one of them. Great. Well, there was a golden ghost there for a second. I don't know where he went. Uh, well, I guess he's gone for now. All right, come on, come on, there it is. Is that everybody? Okay, yeah, I thought I saw a golden ghost. If so, he flew off. That sort of stinks. So I do see this key. We can definitely use that. Thank you. Along with it, there are some different lockers in here we can check. Ah, oh, there he is. Got him. Okay, so I guess he truly wasn't gone. He just likes to hide around. Awesome. Well, there's a lot more money for us. And there we go. Now the lights are truly back on. Can we get these darts? <laughs> Not quite, okay. Wait, I picked up, did I pick up the newspaper though? Did that give me money? I don't think so. I think it just looked a little weird. Anyways, oh, there's a little mouse in there. Come back. How did that not get you? Come on, there. So I guess I'll grab that. It doesn't look like there's much more in this, so can I go back this way? Am I looking at this wrong? I guess I am. There we go. So yeah, we can come back the way we came. Not too complicated then. Oh, actually, there's something up here. Oh, nice. What is all this? That doesn't have much in it. And was it really only a couple of bucks? I don't know, I have a hard time believing that, but apparently that's all it was. Okay. So, with that done, whenever we can just hop off this gear. There we go. Uh, we should be able to go back to that one room we were at, and yeah, I think the door is over this way. Get over to that door, open it up, and move to the left. Apparently that's where the, the toad is, so we'll get that done. Yep, now with our key, not even a problem to open this up. And what is inside? Well, first off, money. We can get rid of this spider web. Cool. Lots of cash around here, actually. We've already gotten quite a lot of money so far in this level. This will bring us up to over 900. So that'll be crazy. Nothing with this lantern, but what'll that do? It's like a weird like birdhouse. Yeah, that was right. Oh no! Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Oh, that was rude. All right, well now we're on this side. This is the Synchro Gantry. I don't even know really what that means, but I guess this is where everything moves synchronously, which is very important for a clock. Oh, and there's the toad picture. So I can't get across this. As you can see, we need to line up the gears somehow. All right, note taken. Uh, what about this present? That'll give me a lot of money at the least. Doesn't help me get any closer to the toad. I guess I gotta get down that way. Is there another way to do that? Maybe, yep, from over this way there's a staircase. Huh. Yep, there's one missing. It seemed like it. It seemed like something where there should be three, seeing how there's three gears. Uh, right there, awesome. So each one will move the gears a little bit. So we just wanna make it so that the indents are lined up. That should be good. And then lastly, perfect. That's actually really cool how that worked out. And I did see some coins up there. I don't know what my chances of actually reaching them are. There we go. All right, Toad, I made it. You're saved. I don't know how long you've been stuck in that painting. I guess for a couple of episodes now, the poor guy. 
He seems happy. L Luigi, the Luigi? Ah, um, it's an honor to finally meet you, sir. I'm a huge fan. Huh? The professor sent you to rescue me? I was sure he had forgotten about me. Oh, you're looking for a way to access the storage room? Sure, let's go take a look, but first, there's something you should know about me. I, I have an irrational fear of clocks. You came to the wrong place. Please don't laugh. Just keep me away from any large clocks or gears, okay? Man, this place gives me the creeps. You know, there's no possible way we could get you to cross. You're on top of a gear right now, okay? So it doesn't seem like he minds as much as he's letting on because we just walked across some gears. Oh no, oh no, ghosts. Okay, where are they at? Okay, here they are, here they are. Boom, I got two of them. I need to bring this all the way up to red, as far as I understand. Or maybe the red ones I need to bring to red, and the green ones I just need to bring up to at least green. I think that's what was going on there. Oh, get some money. Okay, he's still running around like a little maniac. <laughs> we'll deal with him in just a second. Okay, so whenever they're freaking out like this, I think we're just supposed to pick him up, and then we can just go back into this room. So like, there's a lot of gears and stuff, but hopefully, or maybe I could just, no. Where'd he go? Did I just throw him into the gears? That's not what I meant to do, I, I promise. I wanted to step on this. I didn't do this before, did I? Or maybe I did. Oh, I guarantee you that might be, no? I'm trying to find out where the gem is, because there was that one gem, but bye, Toad. Now we gotta go through this way. Oh, man. Oh, no, there's a ghost. Run, run, run. I got you. Come on. Nice, okay, we saved him. He's, he's fine, he's fine. Oh, my gosh, the poor guy. So, yeah, let's just launch you there. He's right here, what are you talking about? Okay, so here we are back in the maintenance hub where this gear is now moving. So I don't think he'd wanna walk on this gear by himself. Is that the idea? I think I'm supposed to launch him over that way. Oh, oh, come on. Uh. Okay, that didn't work. I think I need him to swing at me first. Yeah, and then we can get him. You're going down. See ya. But he has friends, so we need to wait for both of these guys to take a swing at me. I only got one of them? Oh, that's baloney. Total baloney. Come on, do your thing. Ow. I tried to dodge it, it just didn't work. Come on, the game is being silly right now. Come on, swing, swing, swing. That's it. And I got you. No, come on, he's at like one hit. Okay, he doesn't have his stuff anymore there, though. Thank you, all I was asking for. So I think I actually need to go back across here. Yep, just like this. I'm coming, Toad, don't you worry. See, you're safe. Let's go. Okay, now we're good. So with this, oh man, there's spiders everywhere now. Not this many before, were there? I'm getting some dollar bills from him, so that's cool. Oh no, he's over there like that. There we go. And a couple more over that way. Whoa. Uh, come on, got him. I know Toad is sort of upset at the moment, but we'll deal with him in a second. Okay. And lots of health up here. I don't need all of that, but I'll take what I can get. All right, come over here, come over here. It's all right, all right, don't cry. So there's no way down to the bottom of that for now. I would hope there is at some point, but I really have no clue. Oh no, 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 no. Get him, get him, get him. Ah, oh, Luigi, you had to drop your flashlight. No, you don't, no, you don't. Okay, that was only one of them. Oh man, these guys are not nice. This is an awful angle, but if it works, that'd be great. Okay, three for one, pretty cool. Uh, oh no, not the shovels. 
Leave me alone. Okay, that's at least two of them. This guy's gonna try to get me. He missed me though. Ow. I tried to run, it just didn't work. Oh, come on. I'm trying to just look at him, but it just, it's hard to tell sometimes, perspectively. There we go. Okay, we just have to deal with this guy now. Will he just not move? That'd be great. Ah, uh, that didn't work. Oh my gosh, what are these? Oh, they're just more. <laughs> All right. I got two of them, which sort of stinks, because I needed all three. Thank you. And now I got you, don't you dare. Ha! And you're another red one. Come on. Nice. And this should be it. How many of them are around? Like it just it just keeps going and going. Ah, uh, now we got the mummies. This guy is causing a big havoc for us. So yeah, I should be able to blind them. They'll charge towards me. Toad, you are getting in the way. And I should just be able to tear that right off. Don't you dare, don't you dare. Oh, come on, you're so rude. So rude. Oh boy. So I gotta rip this off now. Come on. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to the other one. I might just have to get these two. How did I not get either of them? Uh, There we go. Thank you very much. And the extra health, very needed. And if it's just this guy, which is not, there's another ghost over here. What do you think you're doing? Stop it. Okay, ready? Go over here. Hey, hey, leave him alone. You big bully. Don't you think I'm dealing with somebody right now? What am I supposed to do about this? This isn't cool. Poor Toad. He's just afraid of clocks. Why do you have to mess with him? I know you're gonna try to scare me. That's not even fair. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what you deserve. Being so mean. Okay, what happened to the other guy? Why couldn't I? All right. All right, all right. There it is. Awesome. Jeez, that took a while. <laughs> okay, looks like he's excited. Uh. What does he have to say? Well done, Luigi, you really taught that ghost a lesson. He looked different than the other ghosts. I wonder why. Anywho, let's hope he didn't hide that rotor too well. It get to searching, yeah, he had like cracks in him or something, it was weird. But yeah, that was, I guess that was the guy who had the rotors, wasn't it? Anyways, we're supposed to be going up here, I think. I guess we'll find out. Will you let me go on here? Will this be enough? No. So I'm still not entirely sure what to do. Not that. Okay. So do you have, oh, okay, I see, I see. No, almost, I just don't think the angling, yeah, was right. It still isn't right. <laughs> what was that? Do I have to go all the way back down for him? That's just silly. Um. Weird, isn't it? Oh, I'm sorry, buddy, you're crying. Come on. It's weird though, it's hard to angle that up. But I'll try one more time. That's definitely what I have to do. I have no other choices, so it has to be what we have to do. It's just a bit tough to line up. He doesn't seem like he would go up that high, but he must. So once I get over there, look up. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> And if I stand like right here, okay, that time it worked. Very uh, picky. Now I can at the least go around the corner and go into this room. Awesome. You gotta let the, go, let the toad go in first. So it should be hidden somewhere in this room, right? Oh, I see it, I see it, okay. Well, we'll deal with that. Oh, do you not wanna go? Why don't you wanna go? He doesn't want to go into this room, so I guess I can't go in this room. Ah, oh, come on, Toad. There must be too many gears in that specific way. So could you go in there and get that? Ah, oh, almost, almost. You know, before we do that, though, let me explore the rest of the room. Because there could be more. And I want to make sure if that's the case, we find it before the level ends. 
Uh, oh, bunches of money in there. And anything this way? Nope. There is this chest, which has a ton more cash in it, so I'm guessing that, that'll be the end of the level, because usually, when you're finding this random cash like this laying around, I feel like that means you're closer to the end. Okay. Well, we did find some good money this round, almost about $1,500. And along with that, there we go. Uh, we'll get $200 for the dog bone. So he got it, and now he's falling down that way. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for your help. <laughs> did they give each other a little high five? That's cute. Ah, I can't believe I touched that clock rotor. I feel sick. Now that you got what you came for, can you take me back to the service elevator? There's a pixelator screen in there. I can't wait to get out of this place. Okay. Chase the ghost to get the rotor. We got it. Uh, lead the toad to the service elevator. I don't know how to get there without going up this way, though. Are you gonna follow me? So I'm pretty sure we gotta go this way. Let's see, okay, now he'll follow me. He's, he's sort of gotten over his fears a little bit. Okay, so yeah, that's, that's all that was in that direction. So I couldn't have gone across there either way. I didn't really know that. But this is where maybe, yeah, he's right here. Maybe I can still get this gem? Can you help me out with this? I sure hope so. Oh, yeah, he did it! Thank you! Look at that, and that is going to be another one, so we only need three left to find. Awesome. You're the best, buddy. Okay, so three more left to find somewhere around here. Oh, what's this? Oh, I guess this is where we can just look in this old room. This is the cargo room now, so like right next to here, there's a bunch of bricks, which is why we normally can't go into here. Anyways, we did it! Very cool, he's right here. Luigi, you can't see him? See you, little buddy. <laughs> I'm glad we could have helped them. No longer trapped in a painting. Doesn't have to be in a warehouse full of things he's afraid of, apparently. All right, so we'll answer this call. Thanks for rescuing my toad assistant, Luigi. He's very eager to see his fellow toad from the haunted towers. And nice work tracking that rotor down. Hold on a sec, I'll bring you back. So that was a very successful level. We should have all the clock pieces available so that we can go ahead and take on the boss fight in the next episode. So that'll be cool, mission complete. He seems happy too. <laughs> Fine work, my boy, you handled that well. That sneaker ghost you caught seems to be more powerful than the others. And he has a strange mark all over his body, peculiar. Anywho, just like the first toad, this toad couldn't tell me how he got trapped in the painting. He only remembers being chased by booze. Then, suddenly everything went black. However, he was very happy he could help you. He wouldn't stop bragging about it. But you're the real hero here, Luigi. Good job recovering that final clock part. No, no, you keep it. You'll need it for the next mission. All right. We're finally ready to open the clock tower gate and climb to the top. But first, there's something we need to review. This toad also had a snapshot from the tri-dimensional security camera with him. It was taken pretty recently too. Hopefully it'll give us some useful information. I'll go ahead and process it now. Let me know when you're ready to look at it. So I guess that's something we'll start with in the next level? No, I, I don't know. Uh, yes, it will be. So there's C5 piece at last completed. Got everything we needed to get. You can see it is showtime. We, have fi we finally have everything we need to reach the top of Clock Tower. But first, let's check the security image that Toad brought with him. So we rescued Yellow Toad in the last episode. All right, Luigi, ready to take a gander at the security camera image? Yes, I am. Oh no! Who's everywhere? And all sorts of different ghosts. And there is uh, the possessor. That area is just behind the clock tower gate. Hmm, another possessor. I wish I could say I was surprised. Anywho, he and those ghosts seem to be headed to the top of the tower. Remember how to inspect the scene? Look around by tilting the Nintendo 3DS in all directions. Zoom in and out with R and L. Press B when you're done. Okay, so looks like there's a boo over this way. 
Hey, buddy. Boos everywhere. Strange, they seem to get along with the possessor ghost. Boos don't usually get along well with other powerful ghosts. Weird, okay. Didn't know they were so picky. This guy's definitely making something invisible. Another boo using those spirit balls to create illusions. Who gave them that ability? They can't just have just started doing that on their own. Hmm, good question. Probably the dark boo king, or whatever his name is. So these guys are just chilling out. Uh, oh no, not again. Oh, it is definitely Mario. Look at that at the top of the hat. Uh, that sack, is that a painting inside? Hmm, why are those boos guarding it so closely? Wait a minute, there's something familiar about that hat. Oh no, they got Mario again. <laughs> not good. Two games in a row. Hmm, I wonder how each one of those possessor ghosts got a hold of a Dark Moon piece. That can't be a coincidence. That is for sure. So it looks like that's about everything I can find. Oh wait, look at this guy up there. Okay, it's not gonna tell me anything about him though. Uh, what's that ominous glow? It almost seems like it's influencing the ghosts somehow, including the possessors. The ghosts become hostile, but they they also seem to be under someone's control. Hmm. Well, well, there we go. There's our answer. Look at this shadow. That is one big scary shadow. I'm starting to think that the dark moon didn't break apart by itself. That is for sure. It looks like it was King Boo. And I really don't see anything else. So we are going to back out with that. That glow coming from outside the limits of the image gives me a very bad feeling. It's almost like there's an evil presence ordering the possessors to guard the Dark Moon pieces. Could it be that all the ghosts in the Evershade Valley are being commanded by some evil villain? Who or what could that source be? Anywho, I could ponder forever, but we need to get up to the top of that clock tower as soon as possible. I trust you've still got that rotor on you. Yes, we do, and we'll have the clock hands as well. Excellent, you'll need to install it near the big clock face. All right, and we need these. And here, don't forget our precious clock hands. All right, we have a whole collection of clock repairing things. Awesome, <laughs> just shoves that into his pocket. It's a good thing you have such deep pockets in those overalls, <laughs> like I just said. All right, youngster, it's showtime. Get to the top of the clock tower and find the dark moon piece. Stay on your guard, the possessor ghost is likely at the top of the tower. Be careful and look lively, Luigi. All right, we'll do everything we can. Oh boy, this is surely going to be interesting. So with this one, I mean, I hope everything turns out well. I hope that he possesses something that's a little bit more interesting than a staircase as well. But we'll have to find out. Oh no. Oh, so we're starting right in front of the, uh, the gate. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually take a look through this right here. Just get a good look around. Yeah, this is what we were just inspecting through the image. So looks like we have a couple of things to poke around with. Good to know. So we have everything we need. Open it up. Oh my. It seems like he knows what to do. Maybe. Oh, look at him, how handy. Well, would you look at that? As good as new. And then you put the rotor in. And we are good to start telling the time. It's time to kick some ghost butt. <laughs> All right, clock tower gate is open. Or I would think it is. Is it opening right now? Uh, I don't know what I gotta do. Oh, do I do this? Oh, you bet I do. So, what time do we have to make it though? That's the question. There's probably a specific time we're looking for. So let me look back into here. Maybe this will give me a heads up. Oh, okay. That might be what I'm looking for. Yeah, they're both at the same time. So what is that? That's about 7 p.m.? I mean 7 a.m., 7 p.m., 7 o'clock. I wanna only be able to know. Uh. 
Perfect. There it is. Oh man, it's opening. Right? No? Was that not right? Or maybe, I, I guess it had to be to that one arrow. Maybe I was a little off. So let's, no, 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 what are you doing? Oh no, that, that worked. Okay, I was sort of like, no, you got it. Weird. Alrighty, so 7 p.m., a little bit like maybe like 7.30. Huh? Yeah, it was 7.30, I'm now realizing, yeah, the big hand was on the six, sorry. Uh, but yeah, that, 7.30, and oh, look at that, just sitting right here, there is another gem. I was not expecting that just to be so easy. We get the mushroom. I like this one, this is my favorite gem type. So I guess there's not gonna be any more moving forward because it usually seems like you can find them in a linear order. So the other two are gonna be before all of this. So there's not much, wait, there was a thing here. There we go, what is this gonna be? I mean, it's not gonna be a boo, maybe there is another gem in here. No, it's just a bunch of cash. I'm fine with that. Just making extra sure there's nothing around here. So what do we do? I mean, first off, there's some coins to get. We can't like walk on these gears, can we? I can't quite reach those golden bars, but I might be able to mess with this a little bit. There we go. And that's that's sort of like very weird because I thought that I was the one moving there. Oh, it did move the platform upwards. Oh, that's weird. Didn't even realize. Yeah, let's get all of that. Thank you. Then over this way, there's a gold bar. There's a couple more right over here. See so yeah, if we can just raise that a tiny bit more. And then, oh, be careful of this. That, thank you. Got a couple more gold bars we can snag. And then I wanna go into this opening in the wall. See so yeah, right over this way. Open that up. And we're getting a couple coins, nothing major. Maybe it'll give me more after the coins, it will not. Oh well, that's fine. So there's that done. I'm trying to keep a good look around. Sort of figure out, make sure I'm just not missing anything, is sort of the big goal. Oh, more of them, great. Oh, they're so easy to miss. Okay, back to this. Got it. And I think there's one more coin, and I got it. Okay, oh, extra money up there, hey! Watch it, did that count as earning money? It did not, that stinks. But at least I got all of this. Uh, okay, just get rid of that guy. It's easier that way. These bats are so rude. So that really does look like everything. Like, I can raise it just enough so that it meets, meets with this platform. Hold on. We got some more money we can get. I'll gladly take it. Awesome. Okay, anything else around here? Not looking like it. What's going on in here? Are we at the top of the clock tower? We're at the Belfry. Belfry? I'm not really sure. Gotta be honest with you, I don't know much about clock towers! <laughs> Who needs the ladder? Oh, poor bird. Uh, oh, yikes. That was not a soft landing. Whoa, we're at the top. Yeah, let, let's close that. Oh no, he's right there. What is he gonna possess? Oh no, he's gonna possess the entire tower or something. Oh no, watch out. We're going back in time before all this nightmare started. So he's going to take over the cuckoo clock. Oh no. What do we gotta do? Ah, ooh. Was I supposed to know what to do there? That was weird. Um, Let's get the green ghost if I can. Huh, very bizarre situation. But I got it. Um, see what is, I guess I just have to hide. Oh, I have like a gauntlet to survive, I have to survive 12 rounds of ghosts. I think that's what it's trying to say. I just got one done. I'm pretty sure that's what it's asking of me. And I have to do it before the time runs out. There we go. So as you can see, that's two. 
And now it's gonna whip around real quick again, and we're up to round three. Okay, ready? Boom! That was, okay, so that's sort of a thing. You cannot get more than three of them at once. Gotta keep that in mind. But I got the other two at the same time. Lots of money there. That was great. That was really great. Okay, round number four coming up. Oh, it's these guys. Not good. But I can definitely get both of them at once. Gotta get all the way to green. This is really cool so far. Very intense. Once again, hide in the corner. So we're not even, that's one third of the way there. Uh, oh, okay, he's mad about that. He's like, dude, you're messing up the game. Whoa, okay. Uh, he's just sort of slamming around at the moment. Oh, but then he's stuck. Oh, you ready for this? That's it. I don't know if we need to do all that. Maybe we just have to do it to the first first meter because all we have to do is fill up the, uh, or get rid of his like lair. So that's the first time we did, we gotta do that two more times. And I was right. So it's like one third of the way there. What do we got this time? It's very dusty. Oh, those are bugs. Oh, those are bugs. Do I just have to get rid of all the bugs? I suppose so. Was that it? Okay, that was quite easy. Easiest one yet. We're back to full health now. Oh no, it's the sneakers. These guys are the worst. Come on, I'm trying to get you. Well, I was trying to get all three of them. That would have been great if I could have gotten all three of them. But right now I'm getting none of them. Okay, there's two. I might wanna, ah, oh, I was gonna say, I might just wanna press A at the first meter. How was that not both of them? Oh, that's so lame, so lame. Come on, come on, come on, ready? Immediately when it's blue. I was hoping to get both of them. I know, I know. We're running out of time here. Okay, one last guy. He's over here. We can get him. That's it. They don't give you much coins for all the trouble they cause. All right, that's level number six. So now we're properly halfway through. And we got three of these guys. These guys can be a pain. You gotta let them try to attack. Okay, so I got one, but then the other guy's trying to go for us. Come on, dude. Ah, oh, couldn't get him. That's fine. I still got this guy. And wait for him to attack. There we go, got a two for one deal. That's what I was hoping for. Back up to 100 health. Oh man. I'm getting closer and closer. Where are they coming in from this time? Right now it's a bunch of green ghosts. Like, that's pretty basic. Uh, but they're mummies. Oh, great. All right, ready for this? That didn't really work. They're gonna charge, though. Okay, pull his bandages off really quickly. Thank you. So he is no longer a... a, a, a mummy, he's just a normal ghost. The time will go by really fast, though, is the problem. There we go, come on, come on, come on. Get these two. I'll grab this gold bar and this one as well. But now we need to work on this guy. We're running out of time like we seriously are. So let's go for it. Okay, go for him. Now. Oh, we got it. I'm pretty sure that we can run out of time. Like maybe I'm wrong. I don't think so. So now we're two thirds of the way done. He's gonna pop out. I'm ready for you. Or maybe I'm not. Okay, so yeah, he's gonna start charging at me. I'm just trying to avoid it. Okay, there we go. And this, do that. Thank you very much. He's down to one layer. We know what to do about it, right? Well, first we're doing number nine. More bugs. All right, <laughs> we can handle the bugs pretty easily. I think at the least. Okay, was is that seriously it? That one was even easier. So there was like no sand for them to pop out of. Well, I like it. <laughs> I prefer easy ones more than difficult ones. Are these the, the, yeah. Let's get rid of these guys then real quick. 
They're actually not too tough now that I know what to do against them. I was hoping to get all three there, but I sort of messed that up, I suppose. Uh, just work on this guy then. I haven't had to deal with these guys, I think for the entirety of the old clockworks. There we go. And as you can see, that's another 95 gold, level 10 completed. Now we're looking at level 11. And do we just have to get rid of these? That actually might be very difficult. I'm trying to activate them all at once, but that didn't work. Uh, oh man. I'm using the clock hands to actually protect myself is not that bad of an idea. Ow, that one got me. That's okay. Was that it? Okay, only getting hit, a one, hit, hit once in a situation like that's really not that bad. So we have one more left to survive right before the ghost pops out. Okay, right now it's just one green ghost. That's not gonna be it though. Okay, so it's a little bit of everything so far. Uh, so far it really is a little bit of everything. Okay, oh, not the sneakers. The sneakers we need to get rid of first. Trying to find where the sneaker's gonna be. There he is! Okay, I got everybody but the green guy who's gonna mess me up. Thanks, dude. I owe you one. Ah, uh, the problem is I can't get the green guy without getting the sneaker, but the, the green guy's gonna try to get me when I'm trying to get the sneaker. It's just like, okay, this is a tough thing to solve. How did that not get both of them? Oh, it did, it did, it did. Don't you dare stop it! Come on! And how did that not get you? Ooh, game! You're not being fair right now. Come on, just attack. I'll get you. And do it quick. There we go. One last dude to deal with here. Get back here. I'm trying to get him. Oh, I'm at 10 health right now. I don't have a bone either. So if I get hit one more time, I'm done for. Thank you, now we're up to 35 health. And we just have to survive against this guy one more time. Can we do it? I sure hope so. Oh no, oh no. I'm just gonna keep running. Going to keep running, because he's gonna keep trying to charge towards me, right? Oh, actually, maybe not. There we go, fill it up, boom, and we gotcha. Oh man, and there's a piece of the dark moon. So another boss fight defeated, this time in old clockworks. We got it. One step closer to completing this moon. Wasn't well, that great? Find and retrieve the Dark Moon piece. You got it. And we're getting a call. What's going on? Outstanding, Luigi. That possessor didn't stand a chance. You really cleaned his clock. <laughs> Hold still. I'll bring you back. Well, that was great. That was a lot of fun, too. Def definitely a bit of a different boss fight. <laughs> He's taking a little bit of a sit down. Oh, wake up! Never a moment's rest for our buddy Luigi. Hello. Welcome back, Luigi. You were mighty heroic up there fighting the pos that possessor ghost. Criminy, I can actually hear the possessor raging ra around inside the Poltergeist 5000. Let's get him into the vault quickly. Okay, so the next possessor ghost. And we got the Super Poltergeist unlocked for the 20,000 gold collected. Ta-da, the Super Poltergeist. This new model will capture ghosts much faster than the old model, really? That's good, glad to see that. Is there any more goals to get her or am I maxed out on that? The longer that the possessor ghosts remain with the dark moon pieces, the stronger they seem to get. Good thing I've been working on upgrades for the Poltergeist 5000. Anywho, that dark moon piece has probably been corrupted by dark energy. Let's get it all cleaned up. Okay. So yep, once again, as per usual, we're gonna be cleaning this thing up a little bit. But yeah, I really don't know if there's gonna be any more goals for the gold. I wanna be earning more gold, of course, but if there's no real purpose anymore, it's not gonna feel as satisfying. So hopefully there's more upgrades to obtain. Because we still have at least, you know, this area. I think there might be two more areas left to explore, this one and then another one, but who knows. The more Dark Moon pieces we find, the more I think someone shattered it on purpose. Anywho, we've got to keep going. Let's check the map to see if any more fog has left it yet. So there's two more pieces of the Dark Moon to find, so I'm pretty sure there's two more areas to go through. And it looks like on this map, there's like a fifth area. Um, so there we go, that'll be the fourth area that we'll start exploring in an upcoming episode. Ah, the top of the mountains. That's the coldest part of Evershade Valley. I hope you brought your winter coat. 
I'm guessing he didn't. Alrighty, so we get our three stars there as a marker. We also unlock the level Outlandish Interruption and the Secret Mine has been opened, which is all things that we will check out. That's not good. So we're starting with D1, the cold case. You know, sometimes you say it's hard to work for you and sometimes you complain about the, the work you get. I don't know. Son, I hope you like snow because your next destination is the top of a snowy mountain. A secret mining operation was started up there a while back, but it's been abandoned since. Apparently, the minerals in the mountain, especially the crystals, have unusual properties. Anywho, the next Dark Moon piece is somewhere in this location. But the signal picked up by the periscope is unstable because of the terrible weather. Luckily, I already have a toad assistant there doing research. What are the odds, eh? Actually, they are one in 734,958, but that's not important right now. The toad may have seen where the Dark Moon piece landed, but he's not responding to my calls. He's probably in the chalet, napping in front of the fireplace. I'll pixelate you nearby, find him, and bring him back here so we can talk to him. In the meantime, I'll keep scanning the area with the periscope, looking for our Dark Moon piece, though the harsh weather will make it tough to find anything. You ready, son? Here we go. So we are going from more of a desert type area to a very snowy mountainous area now. So this one, I think this one's gonna be fun. Uh, aesthetically, it looks like it'll be a lot of fun, maybe a bit different than the other ones, so that'll be really cool. But yeah, I'm glad that we've been making such good progress through the game. Oh, it's very snowy. And here we are, yikes. Before he was sneezing because of all the dust, and now he's got a face full of snow. He really should have brought a sweater. Hello. Oh my. Looks totally frozen over. The chalet approach. I wish I knew how to pronounce it. Is it chal chalet? Maybe? Oh, okay, it's a mirror. Look at this. What's inside of here? We get a bunch of money to start things off. Awesome. So of course, we'll be trying to get through this as well as we can, try to find all the booze, all the gems, all the everything that we possibly can. And hopefully, everything goes well. Doesn't look like there's, I'm really missing anything around here. That's good to know. Uh, and it looks like I gotta go through this little pile of snow, get to where I'm going. All right, let's go. Oh, I love all the little footprints in the snow. This game is so pretty. For being on the 3DS and having like a super tiny screen, it's very pretty. Oh, I see. I can make a snowman, can't I? Or, no, I can't. I thought I could maybe suck this up and put it there. Not the case. But I can take this snowman out as well. I'm a monster. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Where did it go? I don't know. Um, can't believe I'm doing this to the poor snowman. Uh, what is next? We got this over here. It didn't really do much. Aha, but there is something here. Oh, look at this. It is a coin. A uh, picture on top of this like toboggan sled thing. And that's gonna be a bunch more coins for us. Is there more? No, I think that's it. Okay, anything else around here? Not really. Very cool so far. Can we take a look inside the window? Oh no. Oh no, somebody wrote a little smiley face on it. Oh, that's spooky. This is the shot. I see somebody sleeping up there. Oh man, that's a creepy little rug. And this is moving on its own, it's a ghost! Ah! <laughs> oh, now he's just making a big mess. I gotta get those coins, you know. And, oh. Okay, well hopefully those don't disappear. <laughs> Anyways. Looks like I gotta get in there real quick. Nice. And anything, oh. There's uh, this stuff right here. So what is, wait, what are you doing, Luigi? Yeah, face this way. What is this about? Oh, there's some gold on this grill. There we go. Luckily, we got it before it became melted gold. All right, well, that seems everything for the front yard. And now we're inside of it. And there's all this money. Definitely wanna grab that, but I probably also probably should have gotten rid of him. Where did he go? Oh, he's inside of, ah! <laughs> I don't like that. Is he alive still? Is he just taking a nap? I think he's in here. There we go, got him. And you're mine. Oh man, our, our improved poltergeist is so good. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on. Who's in there now? Uh-uh, uh-uh. 
Where'd you go? Why is this not working? Oh, no way. I'm trying to look for the mirror and like work with the perspective there, but it's sort of weird. There we go. Okay, so what can I do about this? Can I grab his tail? I can. Oh, and there was a ghost inside. Should have guessed. All righty. They're getting played a lot to start things off. Um, yeah, let me grab all the money. And there's another guy inside of this one. Boom. Flash him. Thank you very much. And there we go. Awesome. So there might be more to do around here. That didn't do anything. Oh, there's a bone in there. That's good. <laughs> Luigi's pretty happy about it. Nothing I can do with that antler. What is that up there? What is that? There's like a little monster up there. You see him? Oh, that's weird. That's really weird. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a bug. He hurt me a little bit. That's unfortunate. Can I grab this? I can. Oh, I guess that maybe we could probably fall through something to land in that fireplace, if I had to guess. And a couple more coins in there. So that looks like about everything, except for a couple more coins to grab there. And this is probably an older pixelator. Oh, he's calling me. He's gonna tell me all about it. We'll never skip the opportunity to tell me about his inventions. No sign of the toad, eh? He'd better not be fishing in the fishing hut out back. I'm not paying him to catch fish. Well, unless there's some kind of freaky ghost fish. Boy, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> is that foreshadowing? That might be foreshadowing. So it looks like there's only, only one way for us to go, and that is to this door. Oh, this is creepy. Oh, this is really creepy. There's a rope there, but it's all sort of uh, frozen. Oh, what is this about? It's like a missing towel. Ooh. Oh, look at this. That did something. That's gonna be our first, I guess, sapphire gem. Awesome. We found it. And it is supposed to be the first one, as you can see. That's cool. All right, well, anything else around here I can get? I can shake some stuff around. Maybe warm this place up a little bit. I actually cannot. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Perfect, it's on. Uh, and there's a ghost, of course there's a ghost. What else would there be? And there's a couple too. Oh, this guy has a rock or something? Oh, he has some coal. I definitely need that. But first I need to get rid of you. Okie doke, so there we go, they're gone. So what I need with this, yeah, light it on fire a little bit and then try to launch it at that. That's perfect. And what will pulling this do for us? Just get us a ton of cash. That's pretty good. I mean, like, like I said in previous episodes though, I don't really know what my direction is with the money at this point. I mean, I'm trying to get like the good ratings and everything, but beyond that, it's a little bit disappointing because there's no more like objectives for me to reach with the total amount of gold I'm getting. And that's just sort of a little lame. Whoa, there's some stuff in the moonlight back there. I wonder what that's about. Anyways, for right now I just gotta keep messing with stuff. Oh, there's like a little ice hockey ring. Whoa, oh, look at the background. There's Dark Boo. Or not Dark Boo, he's King Boo. And he's making a big problem. Don't know really what he's up to. Hmm. So not too much going on over this way. Oh, here we go. We could pull in this plaid shirt and that made water everywhere. Oh my. Uh, oh, I guess with that, we can look through here. Little crack in the wall. Is he in here, Toad? There's a boo. Oh no, you can see him in the picture. Okay, where's the boo gonna go? Is he just gonna stay here? I don't know. It seems like, yeah. He's just gonna stay here and make fun of this poor, poor Toad. We're gonna have to go in there and help him. Not, not the boo, we gotta help the Toad. <laughs> I don't think the boo needs any help. Anyways. Going over this way, I'm just gonna check a couple of things out. Definitely, we can just go in through there. So let's get it done. Awesome. And what's on the other side? So he's not here for now. Oh no, he is, he is. Come on, get him. And he's gone. But he got rid of the painting too. Oh, that's not good. So let's pull these fish out of here. <laughs> Maybe we can eat these later or something. I mean, personally, I don't really like fish at all. I've never liked any kind of seafood. It's always made me feel sick. 
Oh, there's a gem under here. You see that? How do I get that? Oh, just like that. Awesome, so gem number two has been found. That was very fortunate of me. So I don't know if I can get up here. I'm like sort of stuck in the snow. Maybe I should just plop down now that I have found some stuff. Well, actually, no, he's right here. But what is this stuff down that way? Oh, this is all like a mirror. Okay. The problem is then, I don't know if I've ever found the boot. But I mean, we can find them in other places, I'm sure. Whoa, okay. Uh, I got money from that for some reason. That's cool. Yeah, let me get rid of all the snow piles, and then I will be more than glad to help uh, Mr. Toad out. Yep, get that, vacuum all these up, and we're good. And he's free, oh man, be careful. Don't break the ice. Thanks, Mart. Luigi, is that you? He just assumed it was gonna be Mario, how rude. That's not the icebreaker I was expecting. Uh, boy, am I happy to see you. Can you stop, stop? Oh gosh. Oh no. You really aren't good at first impressions, are you? <laughs> Yikes. Let's get him out of there before he freezes. You okay? <laughs> Luigi's so cute. All right, well, we found the missing toad and we're getting a call from Egad. Hello. Luigi, are you all right? You, you're losing reception. Are you underground? Criminy, you probably fell into the old mine. The place is extremely dangerous, be careful. There's an old elevator that should take you back to the chalet. I don't, I'm just gonna call it that for the chalet. I don't know if that's correct or not, but I have no clue. I've never heard that word before. I'm gonna look it up between episodes. Mm -hmm. That's the only way out. Good luck. Alrighty. Well, first off, let's sort of figure things out in this room. There's like an upward draft which throws me up here. Oh, wow. Not quite done. I wanna go back down there. Oh, <laughs> cool. Oh, he's crying because I went off without him. Don't worry, I'm back. Hey, what does this do? We're still looking for that boo, who we can only imagine is somewhere around here, but right now we have uh, this guy. There it is. Thank you. That's a lot of money for me. And that's everybody here. I have a hard time believing that. What is this? Oh, it's like a little, whoa, there's a gem. How do I get it? We'll have to find out. Okay, so for right now, tons of money in there. I don't see any way through. So if that's everything I can do on this part of the floor, that means I need to launch myself way back up here. Oh, and I guess I would have to fall down there? Assumedly that would be... Huh. Very weird. How do I get down? <laughs> um... Now, okay, maybe I pull this. There we go, <laughs> safe and sound. So I guess what I wanna do here, hey little buddy, is I wanna pick you up, right? Yeah, and launch you just like that, perfect. So I could just take the door to the left, but I'm not doing that. Instead, yeah, I'm launching you into there. Sorry, if I could fit, I'd do it myself. And there we go, along with it, pops out a gem. Funny that we're just sort of making him do the dirty work. See, so yeah, if you could stay there, that'd be perfect. We are going to get gem number three. We are storming through them so far in today's episode. Finding them all in order as well. So I feel like I've done what I could when it comes to trying to find this boo, but so far, no luck. Anyways, come with me. Come on. Yep. And we're in the terminal. Okay, uh, what is this gonna do? Nothing? All right, that seems like it would do something. Oh, this is another like mirror. So I gotta go that way, but I'd, I'd rather not for right now, I wanna look around. Hmm. So it doesn't seem like there's anything missing. Do you see anything in the, in the mirror, Toad? I guess not. Okay, well there's really not much around here then. I'm not quite finished. So I'm supposed to be going to the room to the left, but what happens if I go up here? 
I, I really don't know. Well, there's a couple of birds. He doesn't seem to be very happy about that fact. I'm just trying to find out. I mean, this is clearly not where I'm supposed to be going. I'm supposed to be going to the room to the left, so I guess I'll go back. I just don't know where the boo is, you know? What I'm seeing on the map now, I mean, I don't see a way to actually get into it, but there is supposed to be a room on the other side of this. Maybe you can help me out. I'm so sorry for this, but... No, okay, that didn't do anything. Had to try, had to try. Uh, we'll run back into this room then, to the left. I don't know if we've been in this room, right? Come on. Uh, so there, there still might be a boo in here. Gah, the zip line can't be activated from this side. <laughs> Luigi, over there. Come on. The elevator, that's the elevator we need to reach. We'll need to find another way to get over there. So actually we can't Come do anything on. in this room. As far as I can tell. And there's something in there. Come on, trying to pick you up. Yeah, can I put you up there? We are just launching him all over the place right now. And that is a key, perfect. Uh, I gotta get out of the snow. There we go. Well, isn't that great? So we got ourselves a key. I can also look through these binoculars to see what exactly. Probably that I gotta go in from there or from over that way. And this bridge isn't looking so good, but yeah, there's lots of stuff to figure out around here. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Hey, 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 hey. Where are you going with that? You put it in the barrel. Gonna have to look out for that one. Okay, so there is another gem. Uh, I did not mean to pause the game. Yeah, come with me. Is there anything down this way? It doesn't seem like it. I'm getting really worried that we're gonna miss the boo, but it seems that like we also have a lot to do still, so. That's at least good. So I really don't know the answers to most of these issues, but I do know. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you guys see that? That looked a little weird. Uh, hold on. You see, there's no reflection. What happened to her? Okay, no, turn around. Turn around. What's going on here? Am I being fooled? Is this all a ruse? Hold on, out of the way. <laughs> What is going on here? Nothing. Very suspect. Aha! You are hiding from me. I hear your chuckles. Here's the boo. Hey, who turned out the lights? I'm buffoon. You aren't gonna make a buffoon out of me. That's for sure. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that wasn't quite all the way. Whoops. Okay, that's fine. I'm picking up all of his coins really well. And let's just start zapping him again. And this should definitely get him, just like that. That should be fine. Yep, there we go. As easy as that. The weird thing is, is the map still says that there is a door we can reach somehow. Maybe if I can find a way to melt the, I the ice, but right now I definitely cannot go in. That's fine, I'm just happy that we were able to find the uh, the boo, that's what I was worried about. Come on, buddy. Let's go through here now for real. <laughs> that was crazy though, I love it. Anything in here? Nope. What about this? Oh no, be careful, the ice is cracking. Oh, he's not gonna go. <laughs> he's like, uh-uh. Here, I'll help you. Oh no, 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 wait, wait, launch you. There we go, you're safe, sort of. No, hold on. Oh, he doesn't like water. Okay, well, once again, we can help with that. It played music as if I solved it, but then I unsolved it, sort of. Oh, I see, so I wasn't wrong now. I need to launch him, but I just didn't launch him far enough. So once I have him like this. Did he make it that time? He did. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Nice, high five. Oh, golden spider, thank you. Oh, did I? I stun toad, I'm sorry, buddy. Anyways, we should just, yeah, be good to go through this door. Not really too much to that. Now this room seems a bit more open. I'm supposed to be going to the left, so. Oh, well first let me get this money. And then I'm going to the right, because I am a rebel. Well actually, we might not, whoa! I thought that was a pit that I just walked right off of. 
Not quite the case. We'll get those dollar bills. All right. This is very, very weird. Okay, grab that. And that's another key inside of there, which is good. I guess the other door was uh, necessary to get a key for. Anything around here? Is Toad okay? He's making some weird noises. <laughs> he was sort of freaking out. Okay, well, I guess there's not too much going on over this way then. That doesn't mean that's everything. Like, what's going on with this? Oh man, TNT. I'm trying to, doing the wrong thing here. There we go. We made a lot of money so far this level though. So I got all the snow away from this, but no clear way to do anything about it. Oh no, no, look at this, look at this. Gotta pull it all the way back. Oh man. Oh man, I didn't even see that. Watch out, Toter's gonna explode, run! Actually, I wanna see the explosion. Whoa, what is this then? I don't even know. Oh, it's a bonus! Whoa, look at this. Okay, so what's going on here? Um, There are a couple of coal blocks. I need to like complete the snowman, maybe? Uh, Good question, I have no clue what's happening. Oh yeah, I do, I do. Oh, that's so stressful. Um, grab it. No, what are you doing? Okay, no, that actually worked. Can't believe it. Okay, we got 23 seconds left. Uh, nice. Oh man, this is like super stressful. 15 seconds remaining. This is the last one though, right? No, it's not, no, it's not, no, it's not, no, it's not. 12 seconds to get this. Run over here and get to the very top right of his smiley. Don't miss. Yeah, there it is, okay. Whew. And that gave us a lot of money, but I'm not looking for money, I'm looking for gems. That seriously did not get us a gem? I bet that's sort of a bummer. <laughs> Lots of cash though, this is actually a lot of money. Okay, run over this way real quickly, make sure that's all of them. There we go. Wow, very cool, but once again, nothing back there. <laughs> that's yeah. not really what I was hoping for, but that was a very interesting experience to say the least. Come on. All righty. So, what is going through this door now, <laughs> for real? We have over $1,000 though earned up in this level now. Huh. Pretty happy about that. Oh man, another one of these rooms with mirrors. I know they're over there, thank you very much. Wow, that is fantastically easy. Um, I say that, but there's still one more guy over this way. We got him. And that gave us some extra health back, and wow, that room is cleared now. Are you okay? Calm down, calm down. Is there more? I don't know. He's freaking out as if there's more. Okay, well, let's first grab this. There we go, what did that do? I mean, I guess it just did that, so we can... Can you calm down? <laughs> there we go. Take a breather. Whoa, golden frogs? Awesome, what is this, Donkey Kong Country now? Oh, I missed out on one of them. <laughs> I just wasn't ready for that. There must be more going on though, because he's still really upset. Hmm. Okay, not that way. Can't look through that crack or anything. Got some extra hearts. Yeah, I really don't know why he's so upset though. Cause I, I got everything. Come on. There we go, now he's calm. We got it. So there's that done. And now we're at the airway, and this is where things can get a bit scary. Can I tighten this rope a little bit? Uh, Yes, I can. Sort of. <laughs> it sort of tightens. What's this way? A lot of cracking ice. So I can't get over here with him. He won't stand on the ice. Okay, so that's definitely something for later. Oh my. Okay, I'm going to get across and then I'll help you across after I'm, ah, <laughs> you're on your own, Toad. You're on your own. Because I'm pretty sure I can tighten it from the other side. No, come on, I, I try to stop walking so I can center, but it doesn't help. Come on, that's not even fair. Like it's not even giving me a chance. I don't even think I'm moving it. I'm trying not to. Not very good with motion controls, unfortunately. Don't you dare. 
I don't understand. Like, that's sort of the thing. Like, even if I keep it completely still, sometimes he falls to the left and sometimes he falls to the right. So it makes me think it's not my fault, but what do I do? Oh, I really don't like these. I don't know why Nintendo likes adding these to every single one of their games. Is like, there's like weird motion control sections where they're not necessary. Can you please stop? Thank you. Come on. Don't you dare. And that, I mean, I know that the wind is pushing him off, but man, is that frustrating. Okay, I, I, it was a miracle that I made it past that time. I was honestly scared I could lose all of my health. There we go. So now he can make his way across, but more importantly, we got a gem. I remember, don't you worry. But we did miss one, somewhere, somehow. Uh, hopefully later on we'll be able to get it because we, I mean, we got four gems in today's episode, right? Or is that my fifth? I don't remember. Four or five is still a ton in one episode, so I'm pretty happy with it so far. I'm just trying to get across with Toad, so everything turns out okay. I did notice that little lever up there, but it doesn't seem like something I can actually reach. Okay, so yeah, first, boom, I'm gonna light that up. Oh, now it's being lowered. So this has to do something. It's just the angling's weird. Come back. Let me try again once it gets over here. Yep, there we go. So where is this bringing me? Uh, Back here? Oh, it's a shortcut. All right, well I don't need that right now, but in the future I'm sure I will. So now I'm glad I have it. So hey buddy, we don't even need to worry about it. Okay, I didn't mean to stun you. Can you come over here? No, you're gonna be upset because you don't know where I went. All right. Come with me. There we go. So on the elevator we go. Back up to the first floor. There's these little fuzzy things. Or what are these guys? Oh man. Oh, watch it. Oh, that's really cool. So what in the world am I looking at here? Oh, they're rolling for me. Uh, okay. I can't really suck them up or anything. <laughs> they just sort of uh, poof up a little bit, I guess. They're actually nice, right? I mean, this guy's not hurting me. <laughs> They're sort of cute. I thought they were scary. I like him. All right, Toad. He's like, over here, over here. I got it, I got it. <laughs> They're still hanging out with me. All right, go on in. See ya, buddy. So a very successful first level. We got to send the toad to the bunker, and we got a ton of gems, a ton of money, and now Egad's gonna tell us all about it. Oh. Hello. You had me worried for a minute there, son. Mm -hmm. Thought I'd have to go looking for the both of you myself. That would have been interesting. Mm -hmm. The toad assistant made it back safe and sound. I'll bring you on back too. Hold on a sec. Okay. So that is our first level and the secret mines completed. I had a lot of fun, that was a really cool level. Okay, well he's happy too. Welcome back, Luigi, you did good. The Poltergeist 5000 must be about the, to burst with all the treasures and ghosts you found in the mine. The toad's a bit spooked, but he'll be okay, I think. <laughs> he hasn't seen the dark moon piece, but he told me the ghosts, booze especially, have been very active. He mentioned that you both heard some crazed laughter coming from the bottom of the mine. That doesn't sound good. And like the other toads, he brought back a snapshot from the tri-dimensional security camera. I'll process it post haste. So we'll check that out next episode, I'm sure. Uh, for right now, D1 cold case is completed with one star and one boo. Awesome. D2 hit rock bottom. Hey youngster, I finished processing the security camera image. Shall we take a look? All right, so, oh man, it is a party. Actually, maybe not, they're getting locked up in ice. Some of them seem happier about it than others. Yowzer, what's all this? Look at those ghosts stuck in the crystals. Did the booze put them there? Why? Who knows? <laughs> I have no clue. All right, so let's take a look at this whole area. First off, oh no! <laughs> They've been dragging that painting all over Evershade Valley. Whoever's behind all this really cares about that painting. I can only imagine why. Hello. Oh, you have a little pile of money there. In this last report, the toad said something about the crystals having strength, strengthening qualities. Hmm. So this guy, not this guy, but the, the green guy seemed a little upset, but I guess he's being strengthened. 
Got some other boos hanging out this way. It's just like the toad said, the boos are running amok. And what about this guy? <laughs> He's having a good time. They seem to be extracting crystals from that quarry. Why would they need crystals? I don't like this at all. Me neither, man, me neither. Well, I don't see anything else going on, so. Well, I don't know what that is. But it doesn't look like the professor does either. So, I guess that really is it. All right, let's back out. Luigi, I didn't like what at all what we saw in there. Why are those boos putting ghosts inside of crystals? And who is commanding them? That sinister laughter coming from the bottom of the mine. Do you think it came from their leader? That photo was taken just before you arrived, so they're probably still down there. All right. But the only way to know for sure is to investigate the crystal quarry. Whoa, that thing is really long. And we gotta go all the way over there. Okay, so we got a really long quarry to go down. That's gonna be very interesting. You'll find my E-gates on the way there. Don't be afraid to use them. Okay, Sonny. Let the bottom of the mine and uh, get to the bottom of the mine and stop those boos from doing whatever it is they're doing. Alrighty, in we go to another level. I really enjoyed the first level in the uh, secret mine. Hopefully this one will go just as well because I think it's really cool. I, I just feel like the layout of the area, I enjoy it more than I think the second and third areas so far. But we'll see if that continues here. I just like the concept of it too. I like sort of chillier levels sometimes. Especially since it's, it's actually becoming winter as of recording this, of course, it's October. But I wanna run up this way really fast. If I can, it's hard to run fast in the snow, that's for sure, you need some snowshoes. Light this on fire, and what we're gonna do with this is we are going to give that painting a little bit of a torch. There we go, perfect. <laughs> Love how we just send that flying. And look at that, that actually got us a gem, perfect. I didn't, I thought it was gonna be a coin. It looked like a coin to me. So we still missed like a, one of the gems, like the egg-shaped one. But hey, I'm happy to have that. So next up, we are going to go back into here and go down this way. I think that's the way we gotta go. Because before, we could sort of enter towards the quarry area, but the problem was that uh, Toad didn't wanna come with us. Do I have to? Oh, I have to go across this. No, 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 the, the bridge is fixed, so we're good. So, whoa, got that crow. Come on, come on. That money is just going away from me. Oh well, I got what I could. Is this ice gonna break? I don't think so. So let's keep moving. All right, so we're at the crossroads now. Huh, it'd be cool if we could ride a minecart. Uh, whoa. What is this? Uh, I guess touch it. Whoa. So these are the E-gates he was talking about, aren't they? I, oh, it's like a portal. <laughs> That's really cool. Well, this is gonna get very interesting. First off, is there anything else I can do around here? Doesn't look like it to me. So I can go through this and pop out on the other side. Right over this way there is a key, but it's sort of stuck in a block of ice, so I'll have to find a way to figure that out. I mean, maybe. Aha, here we go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So that is our key, which I can use to get through that door to the left. All right, let's try that again. Anything else of interest around here? Not looking like it. Yep, use that key you just got. Go in here. Hmm. So this is the skip slope, and this goes down for a while, as far as I can tell. But then there's also, I guess this is for if I mess up, I can come back. That'd be nice. What about this up here? Ooh, money! Not a bad hiding spot up there, I guess, but not good enough for Luigi. He finds it all. Okay, so let's try this out. Oh man. Uh, so we're just gonna slide. Oh, there's like more than one way to go. Did I go the wrong way? No, I got a key for that. Awesome. Oh man. Oh, oh, there was a gem. Oh, I definitely missed a gem. So we gotta go through that again. For sure. All the money is sliding down with us. 
Awesome, that was fun. But a couple of things here. First off, I can activate the gate. That'll probably send this back. I noticed that yeah, there's a rope in this little chute. Is this like a laundry thing? It's a bucket. Get back here. What is it doing? <laughs> this bucket has a mind of its own. Oh, I had a golden mouse in it. I didn't know if I was supposed to pick it up or what. So I'm not gonna worry about any of this because for right now, let's go back up to the top and slide back down. So we've gone to the right to get the key and now we can stay to the left maybe. Not only get some more coins, but maybe if we're lucky, ow. What do we do there? Huh. I'm actually not sure. But there's gotta be something. I'm gonna try one more time. Maybe there's like an opening and my timing was just bad. Or maybe I have to come back. Cause I can't, I mean I can like light things up. Yeah, there's no opening there at all. But I see the crystal, it's a star. I might have to come back for that one. At least I know where it is, so that makes it like a little bit of a less of a struggle, right? I actually cannot open these lockers. But I can do something with whatever this is. Whoa, okay. A bit of a secret, isn't it? It's a door, okay. Still doesn't answer what I can do with that other thing. Maybe I should try it now, maybe it's different. Probably not, but let's try it. Like maybe it's an angling kind of thing. I have to start from the left or from the right and move over. Definitely not, there's just like no clear opening there. Hmm. Okay, well for now, I will go this way and maybe we can return at some point, that'd be nice. So inside of here, Ooh, got a couple of things going on. First there's a painting, which is a money painting. Very good. And we got this log that's very fired up. We could use that to melt this chest right there. Uh, melt a little bit of everything, why not? This guy is a, a little frozen over. Oh, what is he gonna do? Whoa, he, he, he got the other guy. Whoa, okay, there's a lot going on right now. There's a lot going on. Oh, I missed it on most of the bats. That's a shame. <laughs> run, 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 run. Come on. I did everything too quickly, and now I'm paying the price. Oh. There we go. So I gotta, ow, take your log. Don't hit people with logs. That's just rude. What was happening there? I was pulling it at the direct opposite angle, and it was just arguing with me. Okay, first, get the log. Try to flash both of you. And there we go, as easy as that. Thank you. So, um, couple things going on here. First, there's another treasure chest over this way. What's inside of this one? Couple of coins, not too much. Inside of this one, once again, just a couple of coins. I think we still need to, can we close this door or something? Uh, yes we can, just like that. Hold on, come on, close it, that's it. Jeez. So let me just quickly check to make extra sure. One thing that I'm not missing any coins that, is there anything more I can do with the fact that you just stole that guy's head? No? All right. So there really isn't anything else around here. That's fine. Logs on fire, so I just need to melt this real quick and we are good. We can't launch it back through the window or nothing. Okay, so now we are in the shaft. And I guess we just need to activate this so that we can go down below. I guess we have to push air on it instead of suck it up. Oh, there's some coins. I'll take them. It's not working now. There it goes. Oh, it's so creepy. Whoa, hey, 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 hey. What? Oh, no, 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 I thought that was a, no, I thought that was a gem. That's one of the crystals. So they're carrying those things around. Not good. I, I, I'm used to seeing them being red because that's what they were in the last world. Can I get him? Oh, he's trying to. There we go, I got him. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Get over here. Thank you very much. Oh yeah. And that's, okay. 
I don't know if I could have gotten those other guys or not. It was a little bit weird. But hey, we'll just keep moving. What is this about? There's like, whoa. Oh, bats. They're everywhere and they're gone now. <laughs> the bats is moving and leaves so quickly. Oh, got a couple more coins and I got one of these crystals. I wanna launch it over there for now. Grab this last coin, because that's a tad bit more important to me. Oh, oh, this is what I want. I wanna see what this does. Seemingly nothing. Uh, can we get back up there and take a look? What did that connect to? Aha, okay, not bad, at least we found this guy. That is the, the, the sixth gem we found, very cool. Obviously we're missing a couple here and there. I knew it was gonna happen. But I think that we're doing great progress. For the second level, I think we're doing excellent. And what about all this? Okay, first off, launch that over there. And I guess try this out. And I can just turn this. Whoa, oh, not what I wanted. The Coward's Chasm. Oh my, this is not a place for Luigi. So what exactly are we trying to do here? Hmm. There's no opening to get across. Oh, it's a, it's, it's a mirror. I keep on thinking it's like a corridor and there's two lanterns, but I guess not. So I'm trying to like move this back and forth and seeing if that's doing anything. But it doesn't seem to be. Okay, I'm a little confused. Come on. I mean, I'm really starting to make it swing, but is that really accomplishing anything? Not at all. I am so con, oh, okay. I was so confused. Wow. That's odd. I like it though. Anything over this way? Not looking like it. So what about this? That did something for the lantern. I mean, I think I need it to be lowered. But that much? Probably not. Why do I need the lantern? I mean, there has to be a reason, right? I mean, I can do that, but What's the purpose? That's really confusing. There has to be a reason why I'd want this either raised or lowered. Whoa, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on. What's that about? Okay, here we go. I missed all of them, because that's what I do. Mm, there we go, I got all of them that time. Thank you very much. What happens if I continue to lower it? Nothing really. Okay, well question answered. That was a little bit of an odd situation, but we're good to move through the door. And like, this is where we're supposed to be right now and I still have not found the boo. Okay, Egad's calling me. Oh. Hello. Luigi, are you there? I can barely hear you. You probably made it to the very bottom of the mine. So far, so good? Mm -hmm. The crystal quarry should be nearby. Try to find a way in. But whatever you do, don't, uh, don't part with, uh, caramel? That's not what that says. Uh, I don't know what it's supposed to say. I think it's supposed to be a mystery. Uh, we reached the bottom of the mine, I did it. So now we have to inspect the crystal quarry. So we're not quite done. That's at least good to know. What is this? Oh, don't do something with the crystal. Don't part with the crystal, don't play with it, don't something. Okay, well there's a couple of ways that we can go. I'm just trying to figure out what I can do in this room first. I can try to look through here, but as you can see, actually, no, I can see. These boos are making a big problem. So they want to get out of the crystals. They sort of all seem pretty sad. Okay, I'll have to do something about that. Can I light this on fire? No, I, I would hope that I can. <laughs> That's sort of the one thing I wouldn't want lit on fire is the welding mask. 
Means it's not a very good one. Okay, so we can also look through this door, or this little crack into what would be in this door. Okay, there's a golden guy, and a key, and a mouse. Okay, well he's waiting for me. Oh no, you don't, you tripped me. Oh, how mean. Okay, I got one of them, but not both of them. I really need both of them there. Okay, uh, can I just get you really quickly? Come on. He is swimming around right now. That's it. <laughs> he can be tough to keep up with, but we made it work. Okay, lots more money. And that's actually everything, okay. Grab that dollar. Over here, there's another one. If I can, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 110 bucks from that guy, very good. So now, am I good to go into here or do I have to pull this back again? Or maybe that's only one part of it, gotcha. As you can see, there's still this one, which unless I can get this over to the fire or bring the fire over to it, nothing's gonna happen there. So let's try going through this way. Uh, what is, oh, that's where we started with the, right, over that way? No, that might be different. Okay, so what's going on inside of this room? First off, we have this thing. Not really sure what the dealio is. Nice, okay. That sort of worked. So this is like making the whole conveyor belt move. Also makes more bugs pop out. <laughs> is that it? I guess so, nope. There's still more. Well, I don't need to mess with every single bug, but I do get a bone. Okay. And then there's another valve to mess with over this way. Hmm. Oh, there's a rock. Oh, it's coal. Perfect. Okay, let's get a couple of these on there. It looks like I can get up to three. And that's going to go through the warp, which on the other side is right there in the bucket. Okay, now I understand. Going full circle now. So let's head up. No, nope, wrong way. That's it. And through the door we go. So the coal should just be right like that. Thank you. And do I need to launch it onto there? I guess so. So once we go through this door, we'll be able to get the key, and with the key, of course. Oh, look at that, up there, up there, I see it. Oh, you thought you could hide from me. Not happening. Boom. We are just finding gems like crazy in these first two episodes of this area. So that is another one, meaning there are six left to find. So we have found more than half of them. But inside of here, there's definitely a key. The worry is, is there more? It looks like there might be more to the room to the left. I also have that. What will this do? Whoa, that'll make fire. Very dangerous. But with this, there's a couple of things I can do. I can get the key, but I can also go over here. This better be where the boo is, because if it isn't, I have no clue. Okay, let's figure out what's going on in this room. There's a coal. Oh, I see. Can I go into this little hole? I can launch a coal in there. I don't know if that was worth doing. I mean, I can get more, so it's fine. Is this thing on fire? Indeed it is, so I can launch that up there. But that wasn't enough. Light this one on fire too. And I got it. Still no boo anywhere. I feel like I might wanna backtrack or something and see if I can't find him. I don't know. Oh, there's gonna be ghosts in here actually. Maybe I should just focus on that for now. Okay, give me that gem. Ow. I didn't want you to smack me with it. Okay, maybe if he just lifts it to hit me, I can just get him, just like that. And then same thing to you, buddy, yep. Oh, come on, I didn't want the welding mask. And is that gonna be everything or more of them will probably pop up? Nope, that was it. Yeah, I might wanna backtrack a little bit. So I looked through the last couple rooms, I still didn't see it anywhere. 
I'm going to have to come back into the level maybe after we're done completing it or something, or maybe just later on I'll have to come back for it. That's such a pain. Oh well. I mean, it might still be in here, I just don't think it is. Oh my. Hey guys. Uh, uh, I mean, do these guys count as the booze? No, they're leaving. Oh no. This guy's not happy. Oh, and now they're super powered, just like that other guy from the other world. Or the other world, the other place, you know. Oh no. The crystal quarry, here we go. So, first let's take a look around. <laughs> because why wouldn't I? If I have the second two, maybe we can find the boo around here, or at least something. So I'm supposed to activate that, I'm sure. They are so not happy. Ooh, what do we got here? Just a bunch of money. Okay, well the money's good. I'm not complaining about that. That's a lot of money too. That is a uh, 95. Let's activate this. If I, ca I can't, oh no. What do I have to do? Uh, He's not in there anymore. Ah, no, he's right there. Scary. Oh no, he busted out. Oh gosh. Come on, we can get him. If it's just one on one, we can handle it. I know we can. There we go, already got him halfway down. That's it, just a little bit more. Thank you very much. Awesome, now it's this guy and his friend. Okay, now it's become a lot more of a problem. But I got both of them, a two for one deal. Fill the meter up all the way again. Come on, it's like fishing, just more spectral. Okay, <laughs> that was great. We inspected the crystal quarry, we got a bunch of money, and I'm getting a call. So I'm guessing he's still gonna be all broken up. Criminy, what was going on there? Those booze flood the scene of the crime, eh? And you say they've been ordering ghosts to take the crystals away? Well, on the bright side, you managed to capture those powerful ghosts. I'll need to study them. I'm bringing you back. All right, well, we don't get to see what that one thing teleports me to, but maybe I get to find out later. But hey, for right now, what's done is done. Mission complete. Hello, Professor, how are you doing? Good to see you back here, Luigi. Let's see what you've got. I've got a theory. That strong ghost you captured back in the old clockworks, I think I know what happened to him. Someone seems to be controlling all of the ghosts in the valley, but it doesn't stop there. They also figured out a way to use the mine crystals to strengthen the ghosts. And if they've been extracting crystals this entire time and taking them elsewhere, I fear we may be up against much stronger ghosts in the future. That wouldn't be good. On top of things, we still have no idea who's pulling the strings behind all of this. Who could orchestrate such a thing? Luigi, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. So look at that, we got D2 completed, one way or another, but no boo. Ah, oh, that's disappointing to see after such a long streak of getting boos every level. D3, across the chasm, we have not crossed the chasm yet, we get to do that now. Luigi, researching those powerful ghosts you just caught will have to wait, because I finally located the Dark Moon piece. Okay. So we're gonna be able to find it that easily? The signal is coming from an unlikely place outside of the mine, the distant workshop. Oh wow, so that will indeed be pretty distant. But the workshop is on the other side of the big chasm, and the nearby pixelator camera isn't responding. Luckily, the toad you rescued knows how to get across the chasm. He says there's a gondola that will take you to the workshop. The weather seems to be getting worse, but the gondola ride shouldn't take too long. All you need to do is board it at the terminal and ride it across the chasm. Easy as pie, eh, youngster? I'll call you on the dual screen once you get across. Look lively. Okay, so apparently it's gonna be easy, but whenever anything seems easy in this game, it's typically the opposite, so we'll have to see for ourselves. Uh, but either way, I'm up to the task. Like I've said before, I'm really enjoying exploring this area. We've been doing a great job finding all the gems, or at least mostly a great job. And we're back here. Oh man, it's cold. Really cold. Who, who left open a draft? This is gonna ruin the, the floorboards. Find the gondola access. Okay, hey buddy. Not trying to mess with you right now. 
Okay. <laughs> Seems like you want to be messed with. Okay, so yeah, here we go. We can get some money from this guy. Yeah, pick up all those if I can. And, ooh, whoop, there we go. That's all the money we can get from you. That's fine. Over this way, not too much. Want to get rid of all these snow piles, though, if I can. The only problem is these guys, while they are cute, they do follow me around a bunch. It can be a bit annoying. Nothing in there, nothing in there. So I can't go down this. It looks like maybe I could go through this. Uh, I don't know if this is a good idea. Well, let's go for it. Whoa, we're up here now. Oh, that's cool. Well, can we close this door, please? Thank you. Much better. Definitely try to get rid of all this snow around. So that's just gonna become a big problem if we don't. Whoa, oh, there's a, there's a, a, a vault. That's what it's called. And what is this about? I guess it's some kind of chandelier, but now we can lower it onto that ice to melt the ice over the elevator. Problem solved. Well, before we hop onto that, I definitely wanna check out this vault. Uh, maybe we can get some good money from it. You bet we can. Okay. Okay, can you leave? Yeah, go join your friends down there. So before we leave this room, I need to be extra, extra thorough with all of this, because if I don't, I'm gonna miss the ghost again. Unfortunately, I missed the boo last episode, and that was the first time in a long time that I missed the boo, so like, I just don't want that to happen. I don't want that to become a habit, you know? So I don't see it anywhere around here. Let's move to the next thing. So definitely, we're supposed to be going down this way, but, what do we do here? That's where I'm a little confused. I guess what we need to do, first off, is light that up. And if we could, just get up this way. Hold on tight, Luigi. No, no wait, oh, I let go too soon. Whoops. I thought I was at a better spot than I was. Try it again, one more time. We got it. Now I know just to be a tiny bit more patient. Perfect. So, this way then, yeah, and this is the room we're supposed to be in. So, we've never, oh, hey, look at this. I was gonna say, we've never been to this room over this way. Okay. Uh, that sort of worked. Oh, there's another one over there, and there's another one right there. So, get that, and get that. Boom, and, oh, there's another one. Just immediately light them back up. That's perfect. And that should bust all of it. Find the gondola access. Okay, so that's the gondola. What about all this other stuff? Uh, Yeah, we've never gone over here to the high wires. I don't know if we need to right now. <laughs> so I might just leave the thing. Instead, should we just go the way we're supposed to go? I mean, I suppose that'd be the, the smartest action, right? We've already been, oh yeah, I remember this. So we've already been in this room. I don't wanna worry too much about it. If we're supposed to go in the gondola, let's go in the gondola. Huh. Hmm. Ah, whoa! Oh no, it's a super powered big belly ghost. This is a problem. Oh boy. And he's locking it up. Why do you have to go and do that? Oh, they all have a lock, so I, we're gonna have to chase all of them down to break their locks. Great. That'll be fun. I also, okay, wait, first off, we're getting a call, but I noticed some ice on the ceiling. I wonder if we can get rid of that. Hmm. Criminy, Luigi. Mm -hmm. These chains, they're paranormal chains. They won't go away until the ghosts that made them are defeated. Ow. All right, well, we got it. Get rid of the paranormal chains. So I don't know if I can get rid of that ice up there. Actually, there's some gold up there, though. There has to be a lot. I mean, I don't see really any kind of thing we could use. I mean, even if we use this lantern, which I can't. Hmm. Well, hopefully, at some point, we can figure that out. For right now, we gotta go down this way. Looking around for these ghosts now. It'll certainly be a challenge, I'm sure. Nothing in there. Oh, hey! Was this here before? Can I not get this now that the toad's not here? 
Oh no. I did not see that before. I mean, I guess the most important thing is that I know it's here, right? So, I mean, if I can find something to maybe throw onto there, maybe that would solve my problems. But there's nothing around here to do that with. I must have just missed it. That's sort of a shame. Unless there's maybe something around. Oh, oh, here we go. It's pointing this way. Aha! Why is that not working? Okay, yeah, it just took a minute. So what'll that do for me? Oh, here we go. Logs, okay. So maybe I can solve this. There we go, grab the gem quick. So I guess maybe this isn't something I could have solved before. So even though I think this is like the second or third in the line, no, it's not, okay. It's still earlier than what I think I could have gotten it before, so I'm just glad I was able to get it. That's all I'm saying. So I have to step off of the ice now so that it can freeze back up. I mean, I guess that makes, that's honestly like a weird amount of sense that that makes because when ice, when water is in ocean, or when water is in motion, I don't believe it can freeze for whatever reason. So I know that's something that like, you know, if you have like a house with pipes where the water freezes, usually you keep the, the water sort of running so that it won't freeze the pipes. Anyways, whoa, can we get this guy? There we go, give me my dollar. So I tried this before and it, and it got me, oh yeah, that's right, this is where the little secret area was. So I don't think there's anything more here, but we might as well check it out. <laughs> Like maybe there'll be another thing this time. I doubt it. Ow, oh, that actually hurt me too. Nope, it's it's the same thing. Oh, it's empty this time. That's a little lame. That's fine, that's fine. Wouldn't have mind getting the extra money. Whoa. You can see him back there. Or is he behind me? I really don't know. Uh, this is a little confusing. It's very hard to tell what's going on. Is he up there? No. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, I guess I gotta explode this. And you are getting out of here. Maybe. <laughs> Hoping that'll actually explode you, it does not. Oh, he's got little friends. Okay, I got two of them. There it is. Took a second. So this guy's hiding in this crate. We should be able to get him, no problem. One of them is fine to deal with. I say that, but then I totally miss him. So where is he at? Did he run? Oh no, he didn't. Oh, come on. Ouch, that's not fair. Landed right on top of me, let me out of here. <laughs> so I can flash him like that. This is where we're gonna be careful though, because he will start throwing his stuff at me, but since I have the super fast poltergeist, I can get him quite quickly. Um, you yeah, just don't hit that goop pile that's already there. I'm trying to dodge it, but it doesn't always work very well. Oh, come on, stop with the belly bump. This is like my least favorite ghost type. Like, I gotta be honest. Dodge that one. That's it. Thank you very much. I get some extra health out of that, and I guess those chains were broken. Yep, here it is, boom. <laughs> Two more to go. Yeah. So we remove the yellow chain. There's still plenty left to do around here. Oh, we get a bone? That'll be good. So is there anything more to do around here? It doesn't seem like it. I get some extra money from that. Yeah, let me check all these. Nothing in that one. Okay, next room. I don't know where I'm going now. I mean, I guess I'm going to different floors. One of them says F1, and the one says B2. So basement two is the one where I go all the way down the slide. And it looks like there is indeed something over that way. So we'll do that one now. Um, yeah, over this way. I'll check all this out again. Remember, we're still looking for the boo. Taking a look at everything that could be peculiar would be important. Yeah, like this, this could be it. Wait, what do I gotta do about that? Do I have to go through again? Yes, I do. 
Very weird. What will this get me? It might be the boo, or it might be the gem. Nice, another sapphire. We're getting so close, only four remaining. That's crazy. And one of them's right here. The problem is I just couldn't get it last time, but hey, we'll have another chance right here. Wee! Oh man, yeah, definitely flash him out of the way or not. Oh, there were some golden spiders over there. I missed out. Oh, it's open this time, and I got it! Awesome, it just wasn't possible before, but now it is. Okay, that was cool. So we get the star gem. So happy about that. And I can give this a pull. And once again, it's the same thing as last time, I guess. He's gonna run around until he reveals himself to be a golden fly. Not fly, what am I talking about, mouse? Where did I get fly from? I don't know. I will try again though, because there were some golden spiders on the right. I mean, it's not gonna be a key this time, is it? I wanna think. Oh, the golden spiders aren't there anymore. That's sort of not cool, but whatever. I'm just so glad we were able to get the star gem, because I had no clue how to get that before. Anyways, <laughs> this door is missing now, but I can fix that pretty quick. Oh, oh one more, oh no, two more actually. And let's go through. So what is going on in this room? First off, before this was coins, and it looks like it still is, quite a lot of them. Up here we can get a couple. Not bad. So somewhere inside of here we should be finding a ghost in this room. Oh no, it's this guy. First off, anything in there? Aha, yeah, we gotta get this guy back. So you can give him a little jab. Oh, <laughs> that must hurt. So now what? Oh, there he is, come on, get him. He's a greenie. No, don't go through the window again. Oh man, we got some sneakers. Get him quick so I can get his friend. There's a couple of them, he let in all the mean ghosts. Oh, we got the two for one. Look at how quick that was. It definitely fills up faster when you have more ghosts. It's great. Oh, he's back, he's back. Launch a, a log at him. I couldn't. Oh well. No, I can. Here we go. Uh, I couldn't launch a log at him. I thought that he may be left into the other room. That's it. We definitely get more coins for capturing them if it's the last, you know, taking in of them is like the full red meter. So there we go, we removed the green chain. I mean, I can't go back up the one way, so I guess I have to go this way. All right. So let's try that out. Yeah, I'll just go down again. I wonder if we'll see all the crystal stuff again. Maybe. We'll get the extra money. Getting a lot of money this round. And once again, I don't really need it, but at this point, it's just sort of fun to collect. I mean, it always has been. Yeah, as you can see, there's nobody around. Sort of a little boring. But I gotta do it. I wanna get out of here. Oh, here we go. It's not too much money. And I missed every single one of the bats. I just was not ready for them. That could have been a lot more money if I, if I was. And we already got this, that was a gem. We've already found that. But well, it's good that you get a second chance at it, basically. Hmm. So yeah, go through this. You know what to do, Luigi. Oh, I didn't mean to press that. I pressed pause. Hmm. Oh, I did it again. I'm sorry, I'm trying to move around a little bit. I'm trying to, because it's hard to hold the, the 2DS. Gotta be honest. So we know what to do here. We just gotta go this way. But actually, we missing anything? Doesn't look like it. So we already know about the bats down this way. Is it really that much worth doing? I suppose it could be. There it is. I'm gonna be ready for him this time, you would think. Oh, but it's all gonna fall. It's all gonna fall. Well, I didn't wanna do that, okay. <laughs> we at least got some money. Better than nothing. So what is going on in this room? I mean, honestly, not much. You would think I'd be able to get back somewhere. Oh, here we go. 
Got a little kettle. Let's get all that. No, 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 not that. Perfect. Now what? Uh, oh, that actually did something. Oh, we can boil it. What is it? this? Oh, it gave us a boo, okay. I'm Parabola, a symmetrical open plane curve formed by the intersection of a cone with a plane parallel to its side. I mean, boo! <laughs> Mathematics, the scariest ghost of them all. Boom, especially geometry. Oh wow, yikes! He got stuck in a bad spot there. Did that get him, got, got, got him taken out all in one go? The poor guy didn't get very good luck there. Talk about being parallel between two planes. Two planes of pain. There we go, grab all that money. So I don't really need to go into these extra rooms then. I'm just trying to find a way to get back up, which is what this room is for. I should probably check the other rooms out because we found some gems where I didn't expect to find gems. Uh, but obviously I was trying to open that up before. I have no clue where that, where, where that will lead, but I do know that We can check this out. So we've already, oh, you know what? It probably, no, it does not lead there. So we've done all this, but once again, I just wanna double check to make sure there's no gems I'm missing or anything like that, because that could definitely be the case. I might just cut out until we find out, because you guys have already seen all this last episode. Whoa, look at that, giant money crystal. That's cool. All right, well, we'll be able to check that out. That's what I'm talking about when it comes to things we could find. So that is all moving over that way. I'll check these barrels really quickly. Nothing. Let's get back out there. That's exciting. I don't know how much money that'll give me, but I'm definitely willing to find out. So that should be over here. And I guess for this, unless this breaks it, it does not. I need to light this on fire and then maybe melt it that way. I mean, it's working, just not very fast. Whoa, it's a golden ghost. Okay, cool. Oh, nice, we got him. That's a pretty fun one, I like that one. Cool secret, and that is all the ghosts in here, of course, so I don't have to worry about any more. So lastly, I'll go through this room, just to make extra sure there's not anything more I am missing. Which once again, it doesn't seem like I am. I mean, I can still, I can already go into this room. And we already checked this room out, there really isn't too much. So yeah, I guess I am good to uh, just make my way out of here through the one room here. And it doesn't seem like there's anything particularly happening around here. So I think I'm good to go through this wherever it leads me. Whoa, whoa, ah, hold on, ah. Whoa, hey, and that got us a crystal. I can't believe that. That was actually a really easy one. Nice. We literally only need two more. That's amazing. I can't believe it. So, where are we off to now? I mean, I guess we're apparently in the room we're supposed to be in. Um. Hmm. We'll go up the stairs in just a second, then. Yep, go back on there, Luigi, you know what to do. You've done it before. Is there somebody up here? I don't know why it's saying there's something going on in this room, if there really isn't. But it says somewhere in 4-1. There must be something hidden, out of plain sight. I don't think I would need to lift this again. And obviously it's already lit. So, probably not what I need. Huh. I don't think it has anything to do with these fur coats, right? I don't know, this this seems weird. I've, I've, I've like sort of searched through everything. Oh, well, this is rattling. Oh, there he is. Of course, the last thing I check. I was just up there. Come on, buddy. Why do you gotta make this so complicated? And there's ghosts waiting for me. Should've seen that a mile away. Okay, I got one of them right here. There's this guy. Come on. And 
Is that everything? No, there's still more? Not in there. Here we go, I found him. It did, that didn't work though. There we go, okay, so we gotta make this all the way to the red. And we can get him. Cool. Well, that's still not it. Here he is. He's very mean. And he's the last one. Once we do this, we have broken the chain. Come on. Thank you. Okay. Almost there. That's it. And we got like two or three gold bars for that one. Three of them. Yep. And now we can use the gondola to get to where we're trying to get to. Awesome. We're getting another call. Hello there, Professor. Good job, young feller. That was the last chain. Why are you all disrupted? We're on the ground floor. Time to ride that gondola to cr and cross the chasm. Post haste. I'm guessing just in case the last ghost we got was downstairs. I think that was like a very preemptive uh, thing. <laughs> Weird. No, I'm not going the right way, am I? No, no, I might be. Yeah, I am, I am. So what I gotta do, just like before, is I need to... Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> okay, just gotta wait here for the next one, my next ride. And don't fall off too soon this time. Don't wanna embarrass myself. Perfect. So we've already been there before. We just gotta go back over and we should be able to ride this gondola. Whoa. So what's going on with all of this? First off, we have a big bundle of hearts that maybe I should keep there. Uh, and what is this thing? Oh, it's like a little, what, like a snowball launcher? No, I didn't wanna be done. So I thought the gondola would move. That's what gondolas usually do. Yeah, I can like launch, or maybe those are coal balls. Oh yeah, they're like flaming hot coals. Wow, okay. A lot more dangerous than snowballs. So let's first, I mean, I guess I'll just melt whatever I can. It looks like these birds have something, don't they? Whoa, whoa, this entire tree is falling, my gosh. Causing a lot of destruction. So that did something, there's like an outhouse over there. It looks like they might have another ruby. Oh, that must have hurt. I will have to do something about that. I'm trying to like knock it out of the nest. That doesn't work, okay. Now I can go down there where there's another one. Let's melt that. I'm trying to just melt every piece of ice I can discover. I can launch stuff over there, but I don't think that's necessary or relevant. So those aren't iced up. That looks to be everything. So now we can actually go to that area. We haven't gone there yet. This'll be interesting. So we're running over here. Oh, I'm getting a call again. He calls us quite often. Hello. Luigi, can you hear me? The gondola isn't working anymore, is it? Fix it, would you? Or fixing it would be way too hard. You're going to have to cross the old fashioned way. Well, I'm already on it, don't you worry. I already have that in mind. So out here, we got a number of things we need to worry about. First off, there's how much over this way unless I can melt that ice, which I don't think I can. And nothing over here. So very simply, all we gotta do is this. And I definitely think that has to be a ruby or sapphire on top of that nest. Yep. No, no, no. Be careful. So can I just shake it down? I can. That is the second to last one. So we just missed one. No, no, okay. We didn't miss one. Wow, that's crazy. It's just gonna be around somewhere. So let's try to get across to here in this outhouse. There's something shaking. I don't like this one bit. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. What's inside of here? Oh, it's gonna be another secret level thing. Uh, what do I do? There's a chest waiting for me. Oh man, uh, what do I do? Do I launch this at them? That didn't seem to work. Um, I'm very confused. Okay, there's another one. I'm guessing I have to, yeah. It's sort of like whack-a-mole, but a bit more ghostly. Okay, that got one of them. That's cool and everything, but I'm looking to get all of them. So I don't know if I'm too beh behind on time for that, but hopefully there's only three of them. 
Uh, because this could be the last gem right here. I mean, I don't think it is, but there it is. Did we win? He seemed a little disappointed. And look at that! We have found every gem on the first try! We didn't have to go back for anything, which is ironic, because this is the only time we we're going back for booze since the first area. Oh my gosh, that is so cool! So we don't have as much searching to do for the next couple of levels. No, 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 we need to be careful. There we go, you made it, you made it, good job. So now all we have to do is to go on to this and see where it brings me. Oh man, whoa, you can see King Boo in the background again. Watch out for that guy, he means business. He's a bad, bad ghost. Ooh, and tons of money inside of that chest as well. So what is going on inside of this gondola? Is there another hot coal firer? Doesn't seem like it. There is a bird. Okay, well, I got rid of him. Oh, there's more of them. What is with the explosions happening over there? I have no clue. I, I think they might just be continuously coming over here. So, oh, I see. What I have to do is I have to like walk across, be very careful. If I wanna get over there, I can do that. Gotta be careful in the oncoming birds. Go! Oh. So yeah, grab this and then jump back. Oh my gosh. And then go across real quick. Good job, Luigi, good job. So it looks like there's more than one way to go. I mean, I can't get into there with its constant explosions, but I can take a look inside. What are they doing? Oh, it's him, it's the possessor. Oh, leave him alone. What is he doing? Nothing, you're so mean. Oh, yeah, I saw you. Yeah, you better leave. Okay, so we're gonna have to help that little guy. Ah, oh no, don't try to spook me. I'll get you, I hope you know, it's only a matter of time. Your days are numbered. Okay, so we're going to move over this way and see what's going on inside of here. We got some money on a conveyor belt, the maintenance room. Okay. Nothing going on in there. I guess I could grab this crystal. Oh, oh, we're getting a call. Sure, what's up? Hello? Luigi, I hope you're doing okay down there. Mm -hmm. Looks like you've reached the maintenance room. Good. Get that generator going to power up the workshop's door and the pixelator's camera. Okay, so if we can figure this out, everything will be great. Hmm, is it like a puzzle? I'm just sort of trying to figure out what I need to do. I mean, I could use one of these, I suppose. I mean, he's gonna be running at me now. Actually, no, he's sort of stuck under there. I didn't do anything, though. Oh, up there, okay, I see now, I see. Uh. So if I launch it up like, okay, come on, really? Maybe I don't need to do that. Maybe I just need to use the crystals. No, the crystals don't get launched that far. Okay, well, I think I have to make him mad or I don't get another bomb, because this game is silly. That's fine, leave me alone. Grab this one. See, was that so hard? Did that not work? I don't think that worked, because I got him back. So not the center one, but I can do this. And how does that go? Will that break the ice? Indeed it will, so that's one of them going. Hmm. I'm a little confused about how I get that other one. Like I could do this. Oh, maybe if I do this, it'll move it. Let's find out, and I'll grab another one. Because it has this little arrow thing to it. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was hoping for. And inside of this, you go, and you should be able to explode that. And then there'll be one more we have to do. Actually, two more, maybe. Yeah, two more we have to do. Actually, maybe even more than that, depending on how that works. Okay. So get that guy to get mad. We will grab another one. He's gonna flip over. And that fell the wrong way. See, that's what I was worried about. So what we gotta do is we gotta grab this. 
launch them into the left one to set that back up again. And then we'll send one down the center. It's very silly how you, to, how you have to do it that way, but you have to do it that way. Okay, so yeah, go down there. Perfect. And that should be it. Then the generator will be good. Okay. The maintenance room has been maintenance. The power is back on. We can go into that room and save that little purple guy. And if that possessor ghost is in there, he's gonna be in trouble. Oh, hey, look at this. We also get a pixelator camera. So let's go over there and get it done if we can. Whoa, whoa. Can I not leave? That was weird. Ah, we're snowed in. What happened? Oh boy, we're trapped. Okay, so Egad, maybe he can beam us out of here. Hello. Luigi, the interference is terrible. Are you snowed in? Good thing you activated the camera outside. I'll get you out of there and pixelate you back later. You'll want to warm up before facing the possessor. Anyways, hold on to your ha hair. No, my hat, okay. But does that mean we're going to the possessor next level? If so, this one's really short. Cause we've only done three levels. Usually we have to do five before the boss fight. Who knows what's gonna happen next? Only the professor does, really. Hey, buddy. Welcome back, young feller. Wow, not much for conversation this time. Anything else to say? Good thing you fixed that generator. We'd be in a fix if we couldn't open the door to the workshop. And now that the pixelator over there is active, you won't have to mess with that gondola again. We're getting close, Luigi. Take some time to relax and thaw out before the big fight. Here, I'll wait. <laughs> I'd say that's long enough. Ready yet, Whippersnapper? You know, for being a little bit older, you are not the most patient, but that's okay. Looks like we got a boo, we got two stars. I'm pretty happy about that. So very soon, I wasn't expecting this, but it is the boss fight, Chilly Ride. So let's get into there and complete this area already. Luigi, you ready to get that Dark Moon piece on? Uh. <laughs> Looks like he's not ready, but we're gonna do it anyways. I know you're not exactly the personification of courage, but I'll remind you to be careful, anywho. Remember, that where there's a dark moon piece, there's likely a possessor ghost guarding it. Speaking of possessors, they only showed up when all this started, so I don't know much about them. But I can say one thing for sure, they're smarter than your average ghost. Also, they're clearly the most powerful ghosts in the valley. It's no wonder our mysterious villain chose them to guard the Dark Moon pieces. Anywho, it's high noon, Sonny. Let's show them what we're made of. Off you go. Okay, so into another adventure, another boss fight. As long as it's not a staircase, we're good. <laughs> I know I keep bringing that up, but it's true. It's the silliest one. It's just, it's just a staircase. Anyways, we're being zapped in here. Yikes and flat on our faces. Okay, well we turned on the power last episode, so we should be good with uh, just getting in there. I'm just checking around for anything extra, but I don't think there's gonna be anything. We found all the gems in the last episode. Oh, hello? Are you still in here, Mr. Possessor? I need to catch you. Oh no. Ah, he's right there! <laughs> Why are you so mean? Whoa. Oh my gosh, he's possessing the, the ice itself. Whoa, that's that's creepy. I don't like that very much. Oh no. And what is that? Ah, no! Watch out! Whoa! What is happening? Oh my gosh, this is wild. Um, what do I do? What do I do? What button do I press? Uh, there we go. I, I'm launching cannonballs right at him. That seems to hurt him. I gotta get rid of all the ice pieces, don't I? Okay. Got it. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I love it. Um, okay, I'm reloading. Okay, that didn't, didn't get him. Of course, he's gonna laugh at me because of that. It's actually tough to land because by the time they actually get down there, they're sort of in like a totally different spot. This tiny piece is definitely gonna be the toughest one. But I got it! Wait, did that not work? Oh, he's opening his mouth! Fire them in there! Oh! Oh my gosh! What is happening? Okay, there he is. Come on, we gotta go get him. 
Oh, man. Oh, boy. He's still running. Okay. Gotta get him quick, but actually, no, he's gonna charge around a little bit. Ow. Oh, he's going through the thing, just like uh, Egad's E-Gates. Come on. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of his first layer. He's gonna have three of those just like normal. Are we doing it again? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I love how ridiculous it is. Oh no. Here we go again, up on tight. Okay, I'm ready. Are you? Let's get rid of the ones in the center because they're the easiest to get rid of. Awesome. Oh gosh, my, my headphones just fell out. I can't hear anything. There we go. We're fine, we're fine. Boom. And nice. Let's try to work on this one in the center. I did not get it. I actually got the, the bottom one. It's actually a little hard to hit because it has to bounce. That's weird. That's really weird how it has to bounce like that. Okay, I got that. It's just the center one that's really tough. Can I even get it? I don't know. Maybe if I did it to the side like that. No, that's not helping. It must just be a timing thing. Yeah, when that part, that's hard to do. Oh, that's really tough to do. Come on. No, what's happening? Oh no, he rebuilt. Oh, that's lame. There we go, yeah, get rid of that piece right away because that's the one I got stuck on that for the entire time. Okay, now it's working a lot better. Sort of. Oh, it's very stressful now that I, I know that if I mess up, he's going to come back at full size. Almost got it. Now it's just sort of like a matter of bowling. Okay, my timing is not very good. Come on, come on. Yes. Okay, so I need to wait for him to be like at the top like that. Oh, that almost got him. Has to be even sooner. That's wild. There. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Oh, we got it. Okay, so he's gonna try to scare me away. I don't know why the first one didn't land, but the second one did. Okay, good job, Luigi. Wait, what's happening? Was that not good enough? I don't know if that was good enough. Oh, we're about to overheat. We gotta calm down, we gotta calm down. I didn't even realize that was a thing. Well, how do I, how do I get it to cool off? Oh no, it's broken. I'm so confused. I guess I just missed too many times. Good night. I have to restart the whole mission. Oh no. Okay, so I'm back to trying it again. I'm sort of starting not to like the boss fight anymore because it's a little weird. Um, because the thing is, is that like sometimes I clearly got it in his mouth there, but like it just didn't count, and then I have to do the whole thing over. Like that's sort of lame. I just I don't like boss fights that rely on motion controls for the majority of it. Like it's a fun gimmick, but then it's just like oh, that's most of the boss fight. I'm like I don't know how I like that because there's like it thinks like you know it makes it seem like it's overheating, right? But in reality, it's not overheating at all. It's just an ammo counter because there's no way for it to go down. I, I can sit here and wait and it won't go back down anymore. That got him, okay, cool. So this is where it becomes a problem though, because I tried to launch this in his mouth before and it didn't work, but this time it did, so that's good. Okay, so here he is. We're gonna be able to get rid of the second layer now, and now I'm really worried about what happens after that. <laughs> okay, come on, get him, get him, get him. Well, first he's gonna charge around like a crazy person, as he does. It's hard to know where exactly he's gonna go, at first, but then after that, the, the things will sort of give you a pretty good heads up. Okay, so one more layer left to get through. We can do it. He's gonna scream at me again. Oh, get back on there. <laughs> this time, he's, he's willingly getting on that thing. He knows this is his best bet. Okay, so let's, once again, work on the ones on the center first. Because they're really hard to do when they're far away. Oh no. Uh, I'm missing it a lot, which is concerning. There we go, we got it. Because after it goes farther down, we have to rely on it bouncing. 
Okay. Go for it. Nice. Oh, a little too soon. Now. Almost. You have to go really, really early. Okay, so this is where we just launch a ton of them. That didn't work. What are you talking about? That's not fair. And look at this, my ammo, my, my overheat thing, it doesn't go back down. So I have to make every shot perfect if I don't wanna get taken out here. I don't understand that. Like that's really, really not cool how it works that way. I just don't wanna have to do the whole entire boss fight over because it just sort of wasn't very nice to me. And once again, we're having a really hard time hitting that. I got very fortunate there. But look at this, it's overheating and there's nothing I can do about it. Like I've sat here and waited before and it just, it doesn't restore it. So I have these these set number of tries and then the motion controls go super wonky for some reason. Oh no, I'm done for, I'm done for. That was way too soon as well. There's no way. So I need to wait for that. There we go. But that's, what are you talking about? That's not fair. Okay, well, I'm guaranteed to be taken out now. There's like, I'm, I'm gonna press all the other buttons and they don't do anything. So like, I'm guaranteed to be overheated now. Like, why have both? Because there's nothing I can do about that. Yep, it's about to overheat. I can't believe I got every single one of them that time. Yes, oh my gosh, we did it. I can't believe that. That was very lucky that time. Very, very lucky. Come on, this is the moment of truth. Okay, where are you going, buddy? He's gonna be trying to charge at us. We can handle it. We can handle it. I've gotten pretty good at dealing with this. There we go, and boom. I can't believe it, it took so many tries. That was very, very difficult, but we have got it. Another possessor, and because of it, the second to last Dark Moon piece. Man, oh man, give it to me. That is great to see. <laughs> that really did take so much work. Ooh. Well, he seems happy. All right, we retrieved the Dark Moon piece, and along with it, you guys gonna give us a ring? Hey, buddy. Hello. Luigi, can you hear me? What are you doing? Blah, 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 blah hold on. Uh-oh, uh -oh. oh no, oh no. Probably should have brought his snowshoes. Egad is happy. Criminy, where in Tarnation were you, Luigi? I can barely follow you. I was worried you were too deep into the mountain for the pixelator to bring you back. So, did you capture the possessor? What about the dark moon piece? Yep, both of them. Woohoo! great job, Luigi. Let's send that possessor ghost down to the vault. Alrighty, yep, put him on in there. All right, hand over that dark moon piece and we'll clean it up. So as you can see, We'll, we'll put it on this as we normally do. We only have to do this one more time after this. Isn't that crazy? I truly can't believe how much progress we're making. But yeah, it's been a ton of fun. Even if this boss was ridiculous. The fifth and most likely final area has been opened up. What is that place? That looks spooky. I reckon some more fog has lifted. Let's take a look. So I wonder if this area is gonna be as short as this area was, because this one was super duper quick. Um, very cool to see, all five areas. Hmm, that place. I better take a reading with the periscope. All right, uh-oh, <laughs> oh no. What's going on? So it looks like Chili Ride is completed. We get two stars and the bonus level's open, but I gotta get the ghost for it. And then we got the Treacherous Mansion. Whoa, look at this. We are heading into the fifth and presumably final area of the game, the Treacherous Mansion. So we're starting with E1, the front door key. All right, Luigi, the final dark moon piece appears to be located here in the Treacherous Mansion but I'm reading the highest levels of paranormal activity ever recorded in the history of forever. 
no paranormal researcher worth their salt would go near the place. Yep, going in there is an absolutely terrible idea. For me, you on the other hand, well, you don't really have a choice. You're the only one who can recover the final Dark Moon piece. But don't despair, son. Look on the bright side. You, um, you, uh, you have a very bushy mustache. Well, he isn't lying. Whoa. Sorry, I'm no good at pep talks. Is this, this is the key and it has an E as like the little the prongs of the key. Anywho, this here is the front door key for the treacherous mansion. Is this your mansion? You know, Professor E. Gad, E for E. It'll make getting into the mansion a whole lot easier, so don't get lo don't go losing it. I tried to pinpoint the Dark Moon piece, but there's just too much paranormal interference in there. You'll have to look for it the old fashioned way. Good luck, Luigi. You're gonna need it. <laughs> oh no. We're in trouble, aren't we? Oh man, I've never related to Luigi's cowering more as he's been pixelated into that TV. This might be really tough, who knows, but we will try our best as we always do and see what we can get completed. So we're starting right here, out here on the outside, but apparently we'll be able to unlock the front door. Is this the front door or is this the front gate? I guess this would be the gate, technically. Oh no. Even the gate is scary. But that opens no problem, whoa! Now that is a waterfall. This does not seem structurally sound at all. Why would you wanna build a mansion here? Oh no! Oh yeah, hold on to your hat, Luigi. Don't lose that. Oh man, we have one of the balancing sections to start it off too. Oh, that's the worst. Hold on, let's let's turn around. <laughs> let's run away. What <laughs> what actually happens if I try to leave? Ah, nothing. I have to take a look around here, though. You know, I have to. There has to be something around here. You know, maybe. Uh. -huh. I'm definitely gonna take as good of a look around as I can. Ah ha! I found you. And look at this. I don't know if this will be a boo, if this will be a gem, but I'm not missing it right off the bat. That is for sure. What did that do? I mean, he's glowing as if there's something. Nothing? What's with the weird beeping? I'm hearing something like there's like a robot around. Maybe there was another one missing? There definitely is not. Why did that not do anything? That's sort of weird. See, like whenever I go near it though, it beeps a lot. I, I don't know what's going on with this. Okay, apparently nothing. That really is disappointing. Why would it do something if it doesn't do something, you know? Weird. Maybe it unlocks something later. Maybe it's actually for a later level. Oh, let's get across this really quickly. Uh, <laughs> I don't like it. I never like it. Oh gosh, not more of them. I hate these. They're just they're so tough for me. I'm just gonna try to make quick work of it though. Whoop. That's it. Almost there. Good job, buddy. One more, one more, we got it. This one's super short. Oh no, oh no, it's a cutscene. Run! Ah, uh, no turning back now. Huh, and there's more of these gargoyles around. Once again, if you point these at them, it makes weird like beeping noises. It seems to happen for all of them. I wonder what that means. It has to mean something. Anyways, we have the key. There's no really other way to go for now. Uh, open sesame. Ah! Oh, hey, it's our puppy buddy. Oh, he knocked Luigi out that time. No, please don't. No, please, please, we need that key, we need that key. <laughs> oh no, bad doggy. Whoa, oh hey. Well now we have a little bit more to explore at the least. 
Oh, I can poke my head in here. Recover the front door key. Oh no, poor Toad. Being bullied by a bunch of booze. Oh, there's more than one. Hey, you come back with that. <gasps> Uh-oh. Do you see who that is to the left? No, hey, leave him alone. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Oh my gosh. He's putting more and more Toads into the painting. That is awful. Why even do that to him? So that's all that's to the right, but there might be more to the left. There is another window to peek into. Whoa, whoa. You guys are playing a little bit of a helmet vo volleyball. Oh, yikes. Ah, uh, hi, huh? Ah, uh, they're running. They've been noticed. <laughs> I'm gonna tell on you. That's for sure. Oh, what's over here? There is a treasure chest, that's good. Grab as much of it as I can. Come on, there we go. What's inside of this one then? Just a bunch of cash, which is great because that's the first bit of money we've gotten this entire level. It's been oddly sort of kind of barren. Come back here, puppy. Where Where is he going? Who knows? Oh, there's some money in this doghouse though. Can I go inside the doghouse? I can, there's just not much there. Hmm. So I wonder if this is where he's originally from, because was, there was a doghouse in the first gloomy manor. There's also a doghouse here. Ooh, what is this about? It looks like I can go down this well, which is sort of good, because I, I don't think I can go anywhere else. So let's try this out. Oh, I don't like this very much at all. Oh, this is spooky. Oh, this is super spooky. Uh. The bottom of a well. Can we ever go back up? I hope I didn't miss anything up there. Maybe I should have explored it a little bit more thoroughly. We're at the bottom of a well. Okay. And I can pull these mushrooms around for whatever reason. And I also see this is not a real wall. It has money. Who would hide their money at the bottom of a well? I mean, I guess maybe nobody. That's just people trying to make some wishes. <laughs> oh, there we go. Got those guys. Yeah, let's try to grab some of these mushrooms, because why not? Sounds like fun. Not really getting me too much, but it could have. Oh yeah, we need to pull this back to pull that brick wall out of there. And there he is again. Oh, he's gone. The guard tunnel. Huh. Oh, what is that? Oh, I guess I could shake the armor suit. Gotcha. And there's no way around. Oh, there was a golden mouse I just missed out on. Oh well, it happens. So it looks like there might be a couple ways I can sort of go here first off. Nothing, okay. Can't do much with that sword. Give this guy a little shake. And can I look through? I can. Oh, hey, where are you going? Underground, great. Oh, there's some spiders. I see a chest back there. There's a number of things. So I guess there's really only one, one way for us to go. And that would be over here. Oh gosh, hey guys. Hold on, hold on. Uh, that didn't get either of them. Now they both have swords and they're gonna be swinging them at me. But I can still, I guess like, oh, come on. I just can't believe that didn't hit both of them. How, it's so picky. I swear it's getting pickier the farther we get into the game. Don't you dare. Ah, you are a stinker, I hope you know. Like, get out of here. Jeez, oh, now he has a friend. Isn't that fantastic? Honestly, this game can be really hard to tell perspectives at times. I guess it's because it's designed for the 3DS and it's supposed to have like the 3D effect, but it makes it very hard to actually see what's going on. No, you don't. Oh, I didn't get that guy at full charge though because of that. Ow. This is the worst. I don't like this little hallway right now. You would think it would make it easier, but it makes it significantly harder. There we go, we at least get him at the full amount. I do it. Okay. Grab these gold bars before they disappear, please, thank you. So we're up to $348. Hmm. And what's going on around here? Not much. Oh, so that'll open that gate. But there's still more down that way. Hmm. Oh, I do see a gem, so it looks like they're green this time. I guess they're like emeralds. How do I get down there? 
I mean, I guess I can run over. Ow, oh, did it hit me? That's not good. Hold on, ow, that's so not cool. I don't like how that works. So there must be another way to get down there. Not from here, that's for sure. Okay. Go for it, don't get hit this time, thank you. Oh, maybe it's just right there. Maybe I should turn around really quickly. I might be wrong. Okay, nothing. Weird, very weird for sure. There's some spider web up, web up here I can't really do too much with. But you know what? I do see that this isn't a real wall. There's another spider in there. Is that it? That's it. So there must be another way to get to that one room that I'm not seeing. Another fake wall and another golden spider. What do you know? So how do I get past this guy? Because I know there's a chest behind him. There's little bits of web here too. Which maybe I can light on fire. Aha, here we go, this is what I've been looking for. So we can do a couple of things with this. If we run back this way, first off, you know, do that. Get me a couple pieces of gold. And then running over this way, we can light a couple of torches on fire. Just like that, and that, and same thing this way. I don't see anything else, unless I can get this rug. Whoa. Whoa. Oh no, we're in trouble. Uh. Oh no, it's alive! Oh, and these guys mean business. They got spikes all over them. Not good, not good, not good. What do we do? Uh, I can't get him. So I got rid of this rug and under, aha, that's what you do. Okay, I was gonna say, like how many rugs are under this rug? Maybe an indefinite amount. So I guess that's what we gotta do. We gotta make him fall while he's on the rug. I don't like that very much, but yeah, okay. Watch it, that's it. I gotta watch out for these spiders now because I tried to flash them, but the flashlight isn't the most reliable. I feel like that would have been a cool uh, gold upgrade, is being able to upgrade the, the amount your flashlight charges, or how quickly it could charge, or something like that. Anyways, inside of here we get a bunch of money. We haven't found a single gem yet. I mean, I found the location of one of the gems. I'm not gonna sit on that, not yet. Not until I'm certain I have found everything in this area. Another thing I'm looking for, of course, is the booze. I've not found a single boo yet in this level. There's a lot I could have ended up making a mistake with and that always worries me. That really looks like everything here. So, hopping into the next area. Oh, down we go. Oh, now we're in the haunted catacombs which apparently doesn't even have a map. It's all just fizzled out. So I could go down that way, but what about the other directions? Oh, I see. One of these kind of things. It's very haunted. You'll never get your way out. Okay, that just sends me back there. I'm gonna try every possible thing. Like, likely it's not gonna get me anywhere, but I have to try, right? Anyways, we're supposed to be going down this way. Hey, 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 get back here. Come on, okay. Did I get him? No, I didn't. <laughs> My gosh. Okay, run back this way. That doesn't do anything. And all these will send me right back to the beginning. Should I really try every single one of them just in case there's a secret? Oh, so I guess that one did work. And there's, okay, well there was nothing down this way, so. Yeah. And this is a wall. And that, okay, that's the way we're supposed to go. I'm trying to go the ways I'm not supposed to go. Yeah, like that so that I know for absolute certain, and I, I, I can make sure I find everything. Because obviously, this is fake. But how do I get in? That is the question. Once again, trying to get those, uh, makes it so it makes a beep noise, it's so weird. I don't know what the idea, what the secret is with that. I mean, maybe I can, Oh. Oh. Maybe I've missed out on a ton because of that. I mean, that's some extra coins, but what if that one gargoyle I restored 
Maybe he could have given me a gem instead. I don't know how I didn't do that. <laughs> Sorry. Well, we're gonna go this way, and I guess go to the right. This is the only way I can go for right now. Uh, let's grab, no, 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 that. There we go. Take a look around this area a little bit too. And definitely I'll go down, hey, watch it. And that throws me all the way back. Okay, I'm tired of getting sent back to the beginning every time. So how am I getting past these guys? Oh wait, wait, so the footsteps are leading this way. That's good to know. So what happens if I go this way? I get sent back. Okay, so now we sort of know that there's only so many ways you can go. You have to go right twice. Actually, have I looked this area around with one of these? Sort of, but also not really. I still have those. Okay, there's something we can do with that, I'm sure. Didn't I already light these guys up? I swear I did. Maybe I didn't. Okay, so yeah, let them do their thing. And then I guess whenever they move back, we can just run through. That seemed to have worked. Yeah, let's get these guys. Maybe, come on. <laughs> Line it up, there we go. And it looks like he went that way, so obviously, I'm gonna go the other way. Aha, secret apparently. Whoa, oh, okay. Look at this, it's a bonus level. It is another red coin puzzle maze thing. Okay, go quickly. I know these guys are gonna try to take a jab at me. I don't like it very much either, but it's what I gotta do. Run, 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 run. Ready, thank you very much. And they all fall apart. Actually, it wasn't too bad at all. Just to do a little figure eight. And now it's just gold, really? But that definitely should have been a gem. All right, off we go. So, what's this way? Okay, we're back to the beginning. That sort of makes sense though. Anyways, now we don't have to worry about any of that. We can go down here, run past him. I actually didn't check this area out though with this. So I definitely wanna do that. And also, get that and get that. <laughs> cool. So running back here, another two of these guys, because it, of course. So he actually goes that way, which means Whoa. that sends me back to the beginning again. <laughs> My gosh. It's very silly. Yep, there we go, okay, I dodge that. And I have to go that way. I don't trust anything anymore because I wanna be able to find everything. But also, I just really don't trust it because obviously he went through there, right? So, going this way is gonna send me back to the beginning, oh my gosh. So trying everything, I couldn't really find anything. Um, I went through every possible exit. They all lead back to the beginning, except for this. And, oh no. Oh, it's a scientist ghost. What is he up to? Oh no. Is he making like a Frankenstein? Oh boy, this is gonna be a problem. Oh no. It's alive! It's alive! It's also missing arms. <laughs> the other guy's like, what have we created? So I can't get these guys because of their goggles, and I know there's a dude behind me. Come on. Oh boy, these ghosts are getting really tough to deal with. Oh, did I get a two for one deal on the goggles? Nice. Didn't think that was gonna be possible. Oh, and I get all three of them! Thank you very much, come on over here. I'm not finished with you. Maybe I am, hold on. There it is. Man, oh man, that was crazy. And that is every single one of them. So that turned out pretty well. So that guy actually wasn't alive, I guess. They give you a lot of hearts for all that. I can't get these ones though, as you can see. Um, could we make him become alive? I don't know why we'd wanna do that, but we can. <laughs> this seems like an awful idea. Okay, we just overloaded him. Oh, hey, look at this, it's the boo. Arf, arf, grr, better run from the bulldog. <laughs> okay, that one's pretty bad. <laughs> it's a pretty bad pun. I'm running over this way, I'll get you. And I do see a gem to the right, so we'll have to try to get that. 
Oh, maybe they're not green, maybe they're white, like diamonds. I think that might be the case. Because I think they were green in the first area, the very first world. Um, I can't remember. There we go, and that should maybe get rid of you depending on how much you bounce. Yeah, there we go. Okay, quickly let's go and get you. Uh, whoop. Thank you very much. Cool. Oh yeah. So there's the boo obtained. Along with it, is there anything else? Besides, of course, this. Which I don't really know how to get. Good question. There's no clue, clear way I see on how to get that. It has nothing to do with all that. Oh, you know what? You know what? Let's grab that. That's it. Boom. Thank you very much. Let me grab the, the thing now. So we got our first one. It is like white like a diamond or sort of clear-ish. And that's supposed to be the first one we get. Okay. So I guess we've done a good job so far. Believe it or not. So we're back in the haunted catacombs. I can interact with this guy. So get away from me. I'm not having a good day. Uh... Yeah, let's get both of these guys so we can get some more money. He's still trying to take a swing at me. Wow. Okay, so this seems to be the beginning area where this is where I'm gonna be sent back if things aren't going my way. So I just gotta keep that in mind. If I try to go to the right, it pops me out to the left. So let's go back down and sort of systematically try all of them. So that was the correct direction there. But I also wanna try going the incorrect direction so that I can make sure I'm not missing any kind of collectible. Uh, but we can also see where he would, he actually went this way though. Okay. And what is all this? I don't know, it never ends. Okay, this is the way he went. And there's not anything more that way. And this sends me back. Okay, so that means that this over this way is a secret. I mean, it played the you found the secret sound, so I would hope it would be. This guy's not doing so well. He's like, go that way. <laughs> Maybe he's sad, he doesn't have a friend. Oh, no? Can't do anything. He's just, I guess he's just sort of pointing me a direction. That might be the secret here. Anything of interest over this way? A treasure chest. Whoa, loads of money. Okay, so grab all of that. And I'm gonna keep going the way that these guys point me to. So far so good, it's working out. There's one, there's the other. Now the question is, how do I get through this web? Because I think there might be a gem behind there. Oh, there's a door right here. Okay. That's cool, but not really what I'm looking for, is it? Let's see what he does. He's like, yeah, yeah, that way. <laughs> These guys are just not having a good day. They seem so sad. Okay. What's going on in this room? So far. Not much until we find this guy, I had a feeling. It felt like there was supposed to be a guy there. Okay, so running back here. What do we got? Not looking like much, but I don't like, trust it at all. Anyways, yeah. Run up this way. Hey buddy, he's like, this way, go! Aha, okay. I see now. Gotta hit this with the dark light. This is super cool. So now I have to sort of remember my way back though. Wow. Oh no, <laughs> I did not remember my way back. That's fine though, because we can start from here pretty easily. And there we are. So let's see if this gets us, yup, a gem. Very cool, that is gem number two as well, so we're doing a great job. So the third gem is definitely that one that we saw earlier, because that was the shape that that is in. Wow. So that's sort of the weird thing. If we go, there was still a door we could get into. I don't know what that'll do for us. So we, we gotta figure that out now. Um, not there, not there. Uh, it was maybe one more down. But there was a door. No, it was not here. Where was it? Was it here? Oh, I gotta find that door again. Here it is, okay. So it's right in front of where the web was. What's inside of this room? This is the cliff side. And there it is, another gem, the one we were just talking about. Well, that's perfect that we got that. So let's run over this way really quickly and snag that. Wow, super cool. Three gems, one episode. Maybe it will be a shorter world just like the previous one was, where it was only like three levels in a boss fight. I mean, maybe not, but lots of money in those bushes. Uh, 
Not too much more. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Could we get like two for one gem action here? That would be weird. That'd be really weird. I don't think that's gonna be the case, but. Oh, hey, 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 hold on. Oh, they're gone. Okay, I got one of them. <laughs> I tried my best there. Didn't turn out so well. Oh, tons of cash in there. Awesome, and check out the bush as well. Oh no, threw all the coins right off the side. That was wasteful. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm gonna run back this way. I don't see too much else happening, so I think that we're sorta of done. Okay, so we might as well, yeah, let it do that to us so that we can just go the normal way, which I, I guess is uh, this way. So you could have missed out on a ton of cool secrets, which, why would I wanna do that? See, obviously he went through this door. Oh, I hear him in the dungeon cells. Oh no. Come on over here, little buddy, please. No, he's gone. Great, great. Um, hmm. Oh, hey, hey, hold on. I'm gonna get you. So this is our first time finding one of these souped up blue guys. So this will be a new one for the vault. That's exciting. And I don't get any coins for it. Oh well. I have a lot of money right now, 1,353 coins. So that's going pretty well. Uh, I don't see too much going on here. Just trying to interact with what I can. That gave me literally one coin. Oh, you know what? What does this do? Something. Oh, I can get this bucket and fill this up with water. I don't know what I'm giving the water to, but maybe something in this room? You bet. Look at this. Yeah. Applying what we found out in the uh, haunted towers. That gave us some extra health. We didn't really need it too much, but I'll take it. Can I get these hooks? I cannot. But I can get this, and that gives me a bunch more cash. Cool. So there's a couple of things going on here. First, we can still walk over and through to this. Hmm, okay. If this guy was just playing chess. Oh, there's a bomb we can sort of light up. That'll open that up. Oh, look at this, this is very flimsy. Gotcha. This one is not very flimsy. That's the opposite of flimsy. Hmm. So what is our way of getting into here? I mean, there has to be something. Can't just splash it with water. <laughs> okay. Because he went through that way. I mean, I think that he just went through everything. Right, maybe? I, I guess we could get another bomb, though, is the thing. What does this do? Oh, that turns it around. Now things are becoming a lot more clear. There's something over this way, though. I think this is our way out. So I'm gonna leave this beef, maybe, for now? Yeah, I don't trust that. I feel like it's gonna bring me somewhere I don't wanna be yet. Uh, so, Instead, let's see how that works. That should launch across the room. And perfect. So this is where he went, but then he sort of disappears this way? Where'd the footsteps sort of go. Anyways, oh, oh, I found him! Hey, what's up? Oh, and he's gone. <laughs> okay, well, I guess it was good to do that. Um, there's nothing I can do with this picture. Nothing in there, that's actually it. But I mean, that sort of makes sense. I needed to do that to continue with the level. So now that we know, I can actually continue with the level. Awesome. But I'm exploring everything as thoroughly as I can. That gave us a lot of money. Am I going the right way though? I actually don't know. Um, look at that mushroom. Nothing inside it. Oh, hey, I took the shovel. What do I need a shovel for? I'm not sure. Oh, what did that do? That sort of made the game slow down for a second. It's sort of weird. I'm just trying to find out, well, where did, the, where did the pup go? He went. No, he's in the barrel. There he is, I found him. Can I get you? Yes, I can, here we go. But I almost don't trust this. Like, what if there's another gem I'm missing out on? Like, I feel like that shovel has something. Hold on. I'm gonna let him free for a second. There has to be a reasoning for the shovel, right? Maybe it was just the money, but I, I, there's something I don't trust about that. I mean, there's not like any kind of nondescript piles of dirt around. So you know what, it might be nothing. Maybe I'm overthinking this. 
Uh, okay, he's in here. We'll just get him. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, and thank you. We recovered the front door key. I don't know if that's gonna be the end of the level or not, but I think we did a pretty good job nonetheless. Yep, he's calling us. Hi, Professor. Bravo, Luigi. Someone needs to put a leash on that blasted pooch. Eh, you're pretty far from the mansion's entrance now. It'll be faster for me to bring you back here and then send you to the entrance. Hold on. All right, well, at least we got a good lay of the land of some of the portions of the mansion. There's still plenty more to explore, I'm sure of it, but hey, we still got a lot done. Luigi's happy about it, so am I. Welcome back, youngster. Nice work hunting down that front door key. That dog really took you for a walk, ho ho. All right, well, oh, I wonder if that means we can't get any more bones. Probably not, we can still probably get those. Ha, gotcha now, you spooky mutt. I made some adjustments to the capture mechanism so we couldn't escape this time. Although, you didn't encounter as many ghosts as I thought you would. However, that was just the basement of the treacherous mansion. Who knows what the rest of the place has in store for you. The mansion looks a lot creepier than the last time I saw it. I wonder who's been decorating. Anywho, I'll adjust a pixelator to send you to the mansion's entrance. In the meantime, why don't you do some training in the scare scraper? You'll need to keep your skills sharp to make it through the treacherous mansion. I've not tried this, the scare scraper yet. I think it's multiplayer only, but I might have my own episode on that. We'll have to wait and see. Um, there's the E1 front door key completed. We get the two stars and the boo. Super happy about that. Next episode, we'll be tackling E2 double trouble. Well, the thing is that we saw not one, but two toads turn into a painting last episode. So I guess maybe that's where the double trouble comes in. Oh, that's not good, that's not good at all. The paranormal readings in the treacherous mansion are getting stronger. With a periscope going bonkers like this, there's no way it'll be able to find the Dark Moon piece. I'm also worried about the safety of my toad assistant. See, the mansion contains exhibits full of artifacts from all over Evershade Valley and beyond. They're very valuable, so I sent a toad curator to look after them. Okay, well that might not be a good idea. But looking at these readings, I reckon he may be in a hostile work environment. We need to help him. Besides, he might know where the ghosts are hiding, the Dark Moon piece. Okay, don't drop the front door key this time, youngster. Off you go. Well, now we have the Polter Pup. I don't think it's gonna be as big of a deal about that. But yeah, we explored a lot in the last episode. Hopefully we'll be able to explore a lot more this time. The first thing I'm going to do if it lets me is actually start from the very beginning, try to flash the Oh, actually, it starts me here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go back then. I guess not. I really hope I haven't missed a gem there, but I don't think I did. I don't know, I think I just missed out on a lot of money. Anyways, as you can see, what I missed out before is that you can actually hit these with light. Uh, hold on. Like this, and you can get a lot for it. We still might wanna poke around as much as we can, because you never know what we might be able to, oh, hello. Lots of golden crows, that's perfect. That's exactly what I mean. Uh, because we're gonna have to find a boo, we're going to have to find a uh, couple of other things, I'm sure. So let's look into here again. Oh, it's silent. It's treacherously silent. So I'm not going that way. I'll go into the mansion soon enough, but I wanna make sure that we're ready for it, you know? Anything new happening in here before there were a couple of ghosts playing in here? Now, once again, they must be expecting me. With how quiet it is, they have to be waiting for me. Anyways, down this way. Like, I don't think I wanna go down the well. I don't think I can, actually. Grab a couple dollars out of this bush. I don't know if there's a way to get over that way. But, like, yeah, I can't even go into the bush. Or not the bush, the well. So, definitely worth poking around here just to see what else might be around. Like this right here. I don't know if this is the thing before, but it's a thing now. Whoa. Whoa, this leads way over this way. Okay. There we go, I got all three of them. <laughs> cool. Um, hmm. I don't see anything around here, though, besides the, the birds. It looks like it was just an opportunity to get a couple more dollars. That's fine. Running back this way. Just looking for anything else we might be able to snag. Could I go down here? Yeah, there's a staircase down this way. I didn't find this before either. It's a miracle I didn't miss out on any gems. Like, maybe I did. If I did, they're not in order. There we go. Can I get that? I got one of them. 
here. Uh, let's pull that. Nothing coming out of that one, okay. Oh, and there's just some dollar bills at the end. And we can look through this, what is this about? Oh yeah, this is where we were before, the guard tunnel. Already been there, explored it incredibly thoroughly. I mean, we got a lot of stuff. So there we go, that's actually a pretty good start to everything. I'm feeling a lot more confident going through it now that I found everything that I could find, that I need to find, all that kind of stuff. Uh, for right now, let's go in. Oh. You got it this time, Luigi. Hmm. Okie dokie. And it works. Oh. oh no, it's pitch black in there. Even the flashlight doesn't work. We're in trouble, oh no! Turn around, turn around! Uh, that's scary. I don't like him. Oh, we're in trouble, aren't we, Luigi? Can I do anything with these gargoyles? I cannot. Oh man, all kinds of spooky, but we're in the front entrance of the mansion now. So I can't do anything with these E-gates just yet, but there's a couple of them. None of them are turned on. But these doors are unlocked, and this is the East Gallery. Oh, uh, hey, 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 where do you think you're going? And what about this? <laughs> I can't like make this crooked picture fixed in any way. Doesn't look like it. I can pull back this rug, though. See what that does for me. Uh, not much. So, okay, let's try from the other side, maybe. There is a torch on the ground, so if we can find a way to, oh, can I light it on fire, maybe? So what does that do for me? <laughs> it's pushing this rug like this. It doesn't do much. Isn't that bizarre? I feel like there's more I can do here that's just not letting me do. Nope, it is, you can't make them go any closer than that. And I can go this way. I mean, right now it looks like our goal is just to explore and figure things out. This is the jungle exhibit. Every mansion has to have one. Uh. That did not work. Let's try that again. Perfect. And that's a lot of money in there. Okay, well, oh gosh, the ghosts weren't happy about that. That's okay, we'll, we'll figure it out. This guy has, whoa, they have like little javelins. Gotta be careful about that, that could hurt us. The problem is I can't find them. <laughs> there we go. He's hiding behind it. Oh, it's a miracle I dodged that one, and that one actually. Come on. Thank you, dodge at. Don't you laugh at me. There we go, okay, so we're getting this guy too. Nice. Okay, so there's that room done, at least when it comes to the ghosts, apparently. Oh no, oh, there's one of the toads, but I can't get him until I can find a way to get past this guy. Which, whoa, what is this? Looks like there might be more to this room. More than I expected, for sure. Nothing inside of there. Hmm. Can I get through this? I can. Another E-gate. Okay, this one we can actually activate. Just like that. And where does that lead? That leads back here. So I guess this mansion is so big, we need to set up sort of a, a navigation through it. Boom. There we go. What did that give us? A couple of dollars. Hey, hey, I wasn't done. Oh, come on. I'm gonna lose out on that money if I don't get down there quickly. Come on. Oh, I'm definitely gonna lose out on it. Okay, well, I tried at the least, right? Oh, no, I got it, I got it. Good. So don't step on the flower just yet. It's not what I intended to do. We do need to find a way. Here, pick up the, yeah, the, the log. I don't know what we can do with this, but I'm hoping that we can, maybe we can just feed it to him. I doubt it. No, that didn't work. Ow, oh come on, get me out of here. Oh, this guy's missing a set of teeth over here. You run quickly. No, I guess not, Never mind. Hmm. I mean, maybe there's something else I can do with these logs though, but I can't bring them I can bring them through this way, yeah, okay. The problem is that I can't like light them on fire or anything with that water still flowing. So even if I can find like say a fireplace to light them on, 
Doesn't make much of a difference for me just yet. And there's a couple more ways to go up here, but most of them, once again, are sort of blocked off at the moment. Then let's look through here. Whoa, the inner courtyard is covered in birds. And I guess they're just sort of flying around. To be honest with you, not much going on in this area. Hmm. It's been oddly barren of ghosts. I mean, of course, there's been a couple, but not a lot. So I think I've explored all I can for the right area for right now. Let's explore the left. This is the West Gallery. Let's get that guy. Give me a couple coins. And this dude didn't attack me. Very surprising. Usually those guys do. Once again, we're gonna pull up the rug. And once again, it doesn't do much. <laughs> uh, try from this side. At some point, that has to do something, right? You would think. Anyways. There'll be another uh, E-gate teleport portal thing to open up, I think, around here. And there is a golden bone. Pretty cool to get that. What about this guy? Nope, he does not want to be bothered. I don't trust that thing over there. It's like one of those spiky coffins. Ah, and there's a ghost inside. Of course there is. Oh, but there's the bucket. Oh, I need that. See, this is where everything sort of lines up. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Oh gosh. Come on, we can get him all the way, all the way, all the way. That's it. Yeah, three more gold bars. So I'm just gonna wait for him to uh, try to attack me. That's it. <laughs> wait, hey, the bucket landed on me. That messed me up. And that's another three gold bars. Making a lot of money, we're up to $500 already. So where is he at? Is he in this one? You bet he is. I got him. Would've been cool if I could've gotten more than one of them at once, but I couldn't. See, I'm not gonna get the full thing for him. That's unfortunate. But there's still plenty to explore around here. Oh, do we need like a book for that missing slot? Maybe? Let's open this chest and there it is. What do you know? So grab this book and put it right there. Ta-da! And there is the E-gate. So once again, activate that. That'll go back to the main floor, the main entrance room, I can only imagine. Do any of these have anything worthwhile? It looks like there is another book I'm missing somewhere. But once again, that doesn't even have to be in this room anymore. That could be somewhere totally different. And nothing in there. So let me search through the whole room one more time with the dark light. Just to make extra sure. And it looks like that's everything. So we could go up, but also I could solve another couple of puzzles here. So first off, well actually maybe I shouldn't then. Um, because I know how to get a toad. The toad's gonna tell me, you know, show me around. Then maybe I should just keep exploring for right now. There we go. Oh, here we go, what is this? A dresser. If this is where the boo is, that'd be perfect. I'd be super happy with that. Oh my gosh. Oh, hey, it's a golden ghost. Okay, quickly. Where are you going? Did I get him? No. There it is. Oh. There it is, awesome. We got some extra money out of him by filling it all the way up. And there we go, that's gonna be a bonus. 100? Oh, even more. 150. Cool. So that was nice to do. Uh, there still might be more. That's what I'm trying to figure out right now. It's like, how much of this can we just sort of decipher for the time being? It looks like I can go into this room and that made a sound effect as if I solved something. Whoa, fish. Can I get the fish? No. And I can mess with some stuff around here. Oh yeah. So this is like reminding me, it feels like it's like every area combined in a cool way. That got me a lot of money. Oh, it's a money fish. We're still looking for the boo in this level, though. Oh, and okay, the igloo is just holding the, the E-gate. That's cool. Yeah, it feels like every area combined in a really cool way. Can I take your tusk? Not your tusk, your, your... Oh, gosh, you're alive now. Wait, are you living? What is happening? Why are we up here now? That is not what I intended. Oh. Whoa, I think I saw... It's right here. No? Oh. 
Oh, look at this. I gotta put a star in the sky. How cool is that? But we're still missing one. Yeah, let me grab that. I thought this was gonna be the diamond. I mean, it may still be. I'd have to imagine it is. Right there. And that looks like a star if I've ever seen one. No, 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 there's one missing. Okay. So who has it, though? Yeah, where is it, though? Um, right here. Cough that up for me, if you don't mind. And right over that way. And that is a completed star if I've ever seen one. <laughs> and look at that, that does get us a gem. And it is, oh, it's not the star gem. Isn't that weird? You'd think that would've been the star gem, but it's not. All right, well, that's another thing solved. I will poke around really quickly to make sure there's no other thing. I was not expecting that, but that was so cool. Okay, that seems to be about everything. Go back down this little vent. Down you go. And we're back at the Ice Age exhibit. Um, Is there more to do, I'd imagine? Oh, what's this? There's another, another, uh... ah, I see now, it's all going full circle. Also, how do I get up there? <laughs> I thought that maybe there'd be a more obvious solution to that one. Huh. Maybe I have to make your tusk come back? What did I do there? Oh, I guess I activated the like AC vent. I mean, I could have you launch me again, as you can see. Is there maybe another way down? I don't think so? Hmm. All right then. We'll have to figure that out at some point. Hello. But for right now, I, I have no clue. So the thing is, is that we know where both of the toads are and hopefully how to get to them and help them. So let's take this E-gate again. And as you can see, we could take this one. This would lead right there. So we have a couple of ideas of what's going on here. So what I wanna do is pick up this bucket, run back over this way, go through this door, then run over to this one over yonder. And now there's a couple of things we can do. We can fill this up with water along the way, run over here, and basically do the vice versa with the logs. Are the logs still in here? Where did the logs go? I don't know, that's actually concerning. Um, so as you can see, that makes a spike ball. I'll launch that over here. Oh, here's one of the logs, okay. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Log. And launch that right in his mouth. How do you like that, buddy? And then we can just let you free, right? Okay, there we go, we just gotta go a little closer. And the green toad has been saved. You okay, buddy? Aw, so cute. Okay. Find and rescue the toad assistant. Finally, fresh air! Oh, Luigi, boy, am I glad to see you. It was terrible, boos were chasing me all over the place, and that laughter, that horrible laughter. Anyway, thanks for rescuing me. My friend got captured too, we've gotta save him. Huh, the pro professor didn't tell you there were two of us? That old coot, he always thinks we're the same person. I wonder if he's colorblind. Luigi, let's go save my friend. Before I fainted, I overheard the boos saying their, their boss finished trapping him inside a painting. Then they muttered something about the Ice Age exhibit. Yeah, we've already seen that. So we actually know where he is. We'll deal with that soon. He doesn't like water though. So we're just gonna have to manually get him over. I'm not quite done exploring. Maybe I should have gotten the toads last because there's still I gotta, like stuff I gotta poke around with. And he might actually make it difficult for me to find those things. Um, for right now, there's definitely gonna be a ghost in here. Definitely, you can already see something sort of blocked off. Okay, that's sort of, <laughs> sorry toad. Uh, oh, and this one's all sandy. Just like the old clockworks. Grab all that money. And I could just go through that door. So why can't I go through this? Hmm. I know, I know, I'm coming back for you. Aha, there's something more over this way. Some kind of other doorway. So there's a lot you can explore here which is odd, considering it's not, aha, what I'm supposed to be doing at all. I'm supposed to be getting this guy. Okay, I got one of them, but I didn't get the other. That was still only one of them. But I got him quick! That was good, that was really lucky. 
And here's this guy. Watch out, Toad. Nice. Is that all of them? That is indeed all of them. So what's going on with this little crack in the wall? Well, there's this guy reading up. Oh, this is a bathroom. It's the restrooms, yeah. Wonder what he's reading. The daily news, ghosts take over Evershade Valley. Okay, can you come with me? Uh, we are going to go, actually, we should probably go into this room first. Do you not like the sand? I don't know if he likes the sand. Come on. Are you with me? There we go. I mean, hopefully we can find some more stuff in here. Whoa. The ancient exhibit. What did that do? Oh man, the sand's sinking. I was not ready for that. I was not ready for that at all. No, <laughs> Toad. You're gonna be okay. I hope. Oh, is there gonna be... What is this stuff? Oh man. They're all sarco sarcophaguses. This is scary. Um, can we do anything with these? I can open them. That one didn't open. This one didn't open. I don't trust that for a minute. None of these open. There's also a way over here, which I guess gets us back up, which is great. That's sort of what I want to explore for now. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. This reminds me of that really old TV show. You know, there was a TV show where you had to, like, there was like, they, were, they would have people play like all the different it was like a game show. I forget most other details about it. <laughs> I'm coming back, Toad. But it was like a giant head that would talk to you. It was like, oh, you have to do the thing. It looks like there's another way to get a, a water bucket here. And that'll probably get me something done. So that's important to know. Come on. Don't know if we'll do that now. But at the least, I need to activate this gate. To do any of that, I need to activate the gate. So I'm guessing that's probably behind here. No, out of the way, out of the way. Got it. Got it. So, what's going on? Oh no. Oh no. Maybe this was a bad idea. Whoa! We have a mummy! Uh, several mummies, right? I think so, they're all rattling around. Yep, we're in trouble. I mean, at least we know how to handle them. I guess, but do we know how to handle this many? Even the toad is freaking out. Oh, and he's on fire? Oh, he touched the torch. Okay, so that made it so that he, uh... oh man, come on, come on, let's get this guy. Thank you. So they're getting all torched up, or at least if I try to make them run towards this, that'd be great. Because <laughs> that makes it so I don't have to break their bandages and everything, which is sort of a pain in the butt sometimes. Oh no, you get back here, where do you think you're going? Trying to dodge the mummy, too. There we go. Okay, so if you could just do me a favor and just charge right over this way. He has some bugs on him, too. Weird. Okay. Now turn around, Luigi. What are you doing? What are you doing? There we go. And got him. That really wasn't that bad. Awesome. So with all that done, we still haven't found the boo for this level. I gotta really look for that. Um, I can get that figured out. And can you come over here? Thank you. We gotta go through here. You first. So I'm glad he knows how to do that. So there's a couple of things I could still figure out though is the thing. I don't know how much of it I should be saving for the next level though. Like that's sort of the question. So it might just be a good time to go and get the other, uh, Toad, because I feel like this is continually gonna become an issue. The thing is, is that I need to go into here to get the log, then go back into the other area, so if you could just stay here, that'd be perfect, but you're probably not going to. The bucket stays where it is, though. Like, that's sort of a tough thing, because I'm gonna have to sort of memorize where everything is. Because right now, I, mean, I guess the best way would be to... Can I launch this back over? I can, perfect. <laughs> Where's Toad at? Hey, buddy. Um. So can I launch you over? I think I could, given, the, okay, yeah, there we go. <laughs> He's not very happy about it, but he'll be fine. All right, where are you? Hi, I didn't leave you, I just needed to pick up this log. So with this log, if you go through, Come on. we are going to go which way? Um, 
I mean, which one would have the fire? I think this has a fire. Right? Is there a fire in here? Maybe I'm wrong. I suppose I am. That's sort of the struggle right now, is just trying to find out where there is actually a light that I can use this on. I'm sure there's somewhere. Maybe I haven't found it yet, is the thing. Come on. I mean, maybe I could just hold it up to here. No, I definitely cannot. Let's just try in this room. I might be forgetting about something. So far, it doesn't seem like it, though. Uh, It definitely doesn't. So I need to find out where there could actually be an actual thing to light this up on. I, I guess that's where we're continuing to explore for right now, so I'll keep looking. Let's try the desert room again. Uh, aha, yeah, there is. I, I can't believe I already forgot that. <laughs> Pretty easy thing to keep in mind, but somehow I got it mixed up. Come on. So let's run back this way into the ice room. And with that, we should be able to help him out. Let's find out. Well, I can also melt this ice. What did that do? That just gives us some more money. Cool, I would gladly take more money. I also wanna see, can we like light this guy up or something? Because I still have no clue how to get that treasure chest, but we maybe have to get it from this angle. Ah, okay, so we'll save this. Wait, 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 wait. So I still have more to melt. We'll save this other toad in a moment. Will this light this on fire? It won't, okay. Very destructive of me. Actually, what's going on here? Well, it's cool that I got another treasure chest, but I thought that this would lead to the treasure chest that's already there that I have no way to get. Isn't that bizarre? <laughs> I have no clue how to get that still. Um, I really do not see a way, unless, no, it has nothing to do with this. I'm very confused about that. There has to be a way up there, right? Can I melt this ice? No. And there's nothing in here I can melt. Oh, maybe, maybe it's a lot simpler than I'm expecting it to be, no? There's not a fake wall? Jeez, like what is the answer here? <laughs> can I send Toad up there to get it? I really don't want to do that, then he'd be stuck. That would be the worst, so I really have no clue how to get to that chest. Maybe it's for display. <laughs> maybe that's the thing, it's just for display purposes only. But anyways, the purple Toad has been saved. Ah. <laughs> The toads are really adorable in this game. So he doesn't even say much. Oh, and we're getting a call from Egad. Is he gonna bring us back already? Hey, young feller, how's it going up there? I haven't been checking in on you because I've been nap er, looking for the dark moon piece, of course. <sighs> Anywho, have you found that blasted toad yet? Once you do, send him through the pixelator screen in the inner courtyard. Okay, perfect. So we haven't been there yet, so we get to go there now. Oh no, fish. Okay, let's get this guy. Oh no, this actually could be a problem. Hey, let's see if I can't get both of them at once or not. Never works out that way, does it? Okay, but maybe these two. Thank you very much. These guys are freaking out. They're starting to get dizzy. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Come here. Come on. That's it. <laughs> Threw him against the wall. I don't think that's gonna help him get any more calm. That's it, both of you. This really is double trouble. And this room is now lit up, so I guess I got everything done. Ooh, we have not gone down this way at all. So this is the kitchen, and as you can see, it's quite active. <laughs> uh, there's some stuff cooking in there. Oh, ow, oh, oh, yikes. That's not good, so that's not the way I'm supposed to go. Can I try this door? This one works, but it's not the kitchen. No, it's the kitchen. Okay, I thought it looked like a hallway or something. Uh, so there's a couple of things I can mess with around here. First off, we can go into this little pantry. Not really much for me. Oh no, I already see him. Yeah, there's a big scary. No, 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 come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Calm down. Calm down, everybody, calm down. <laughs> okay, can we close this door, please? No. Okay, well, they're very not happy anymore. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Here, you want you wanted something to eat? I got, okay, come on, game. That was the game's controls not being the best. I really hope it's better in Luigi's Mansion 3. 
There we go. We got something for you to eat. Toasty, right? What did you swallow? Chicken bone? And look at all that money. Thank you very much. Don't want it fall in the fire. Can you get out of here? I'm trying to get the money. <laughs> there we go. Anything else to get though? Nope, just cash. All right, well that's not the biggest deal in the world, but it's still good to get. We're almost at $2,000 for this level. Like, isn't that crazy? Well, there's a couple of dollars in there, a couple of coins. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Yeah, the fridge. Oh my gosh, this better be the boo. This better be the boo. I'm trying to get these, but the toads just continually get in the way. Whoa, oh, it's a bonus. Okay, another red coin challenge. We gotta be careful of these fish getting in the way. Oh, I see, I gotta do it in a way where I don't run into the fish at all. So I got it, that's actually fine. <laughs> that's not too difficult whatsoever. Even if it's dark and a little bit icy, we got it done. There's a treasure chest, which probably means this is a gem. Oh, I hope it is, it's not. Okay, sometimes it will just give you the money and sometimes it expects you to uh, open the chest for it. It's a little weird. Anyways, that seems like the kitchen is cleared out. I don't see anything else. So you guys just gotta calm down, all right? It's all right, it's all right. Come here, come here, come here. It's time to go. No, nope, you're still upset. All right, let's go. We're done in the kitchen. Nobody got any snacks. And now we're in the center room. So we've explored most things, but not everything. So that's why I'm a little like worrisome before we do too much. Oh, he's giving me a call. Uh, what do we do? Hey there, Sonny, have you reached the uh, inner courtyard yet? The pixelator screen is above it, so you'll have to find a way to get there. All right, oh, it's up there. Okay, you could have given me a heads up about that. This is not the way we're gonna be able to get up there then. Can I do anything around here? Uh, well, first off, we have all this. That didn't do anything. We can get those birds up there for some free money. Awesome. So would we really have to launch them up? <laughs> we can put them in here. Oh, that's evil. Oh wow, that actually, whoa, that's doing something. Maybe this will open up like a staircase. Ah, it's a boo. Okay, Boopa Troopa, reporting for duty. The boo armies are here, so you might as well surrender. Um, okay, wait. Wait, what? Um, it's gone. The entire thing is gone. I'm so confused, did I do that wrong? Can you give me my toads back, please? He's mine. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. I didn't even want this guy, I wanted the other one. I want both of them, to be honest with you. This is all happening while the boo is still around. So like, there's a lot of weird stuff happening right now. I didn't even know it could all happen this way. Okay, okay, I'm gonna get you. You're in trouble now. Yeah, I know, boo's still running around having a good time. Grab this money. Where did you go? Okay, there he is. Can you stop that? What did these guys ever do to you? There we go. So where's the boo at? Here he is. <laughs> Thank you very much. And he is going to bounce. Man, this one's actually gonna take a couple of attempts because he doesn't bounce around very much at all, as you can see. All right, where, where am I? Where is he? That's it. And if I could angle him up so that maybe he could get stuck on something, that'd be great, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Man, he's only at 18. Oh, this really will take a second. All right, well, I was able to immediately find him again. Let's definitely try to angle him up so that he hits this wall. That wasn't the red? Why not? Okay, one more time should do it. Okay. I'm glad that I can do that now, but I'm not looking to. I'm, ow! What? What? What was that? What hit me? I don't know, that was weird. That was really weird. I'm like super confused at the moment. Something's not right. <laughs> there we go. Three, two, one, there it is. That took so much work, so much work. You are mine. Thank you. Awesome. So let's restore this thing, finally. Uh, and I guess we could put the toads back up there, right? Because I wanna reveal there were two lights we could have gotten. Um, 
Come over here, come over. Uh, I mean, I don't know what that'll do, but I guess we'll find out. What are you doing? Hey, hey, no, stay in there. Uh, I mean, maybe, I think it like glitched out or something, because I think that we were supposed to hit those two lights and it was supposed to give us the boo. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Come on. But the way that it all happened at once seemed very suspect that there was like an issue. No, this is doing something. Whoa, 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 the game is like slowing down. I can't handle all of this. Oh my gosh. Well, we know how to get up there now. I'm gonna do that momentarily though. I feel like there's still more we can accomplish by uh, going this way and going into this room. We haven't done that yet, so let's do it real quick. And then we'll basically explore every room that we could so far. So I think the other door is just gonna hurt me, so I'm not even gonna bother with it right now. Uh, so this is, yeah, the restroom. So I already know that there is a ghost here, I thought. Well, maybe the, actually this is two separate restrooms, so maybe I should try the other door. Well, that'll flush up a gem. Oh, cool. Pretty simple way to get a gem. We did miss one at some point. That's unfortunate. I mean, I'll try to look for that at some point or another, but. Oh, hey, hey, what's going on? Can I leave or is there gonna be a ghost? I mean, there's probably a ghost around. I should try to shake him out of here. Wherever he might be. Oh, there he is! Hey, hey, that's not nice. What happened to the toads? I don't know. Oh, you get back here. Here he is. How did I not get him? Okay, game. What's your deal here? <laughs> it's being really weird tonight. There he is. Is that everybody? It didn't give me the go ahead. It didn't make the lights go on or anything, so there might still be more. What if I flush the toilet again? Maybe another one will show up. Weird. Uh, I mean, I think that's everything, but let's just try to leave. Come on, guys because these toads are getting a little problematic, but there's more coins popping up near the toilet, I think. Looked like it, and the mirror did. Okay, let's just leave. Come on. We can deal with this later. I do wanna go into the other one, though, if I can manage, right over here. I love those squeaky little footsteps. And here he is. That didn't work, though. So I need to take his newspaper, don't I? Well, I guess first I need to... Come on. Find a way to open his stall? Is that the issue? No, I need to, I gotta flush him off the toilet. This is very rude. Don't do this to somebody, but I, I can actually not blame him for being mad at me this time. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. That's it. Oh man, he has a lot of health going on. That's it. Awesome. I do it. You do it. Okay, so is there anything going on over here? Looks like there's some coins up this way. And along with it, there is a safe which has a bunch of money. Cool. So it looks like everything around here, the lights came back on. Maybe I need to complete it for like both bathrooms is sort of the thing. But anyways, that's everything now. Which means we can go up this staircase again. Or again, for the first time. Let's go. Can I do anything with that gear? I don't think so. Can you guys walk up staircases or is your feet too small? <laughs> Here we go, I'll carry one of you. The other one has to follow. This seems to be working now. So now we're on floor number two. And I guess at this point, let's just activate this and send you guys home. No, you're right here, what are you talking about? <laughs> come over here, come over here. All right, will this take two of you at once? I guess so, <laughs> and a mid-air high five to finish it off, nice job. Send both toads to the bunker. All right. Hello. Hello. Luigi, I guess I wasn't paying attention to what was going on up there. When two toads showed up here instead of just one, I panicked. I thought a ghost had managed to sneak in with the toad, so I walloped him with the no uh, in the nose, wow. Yikes, <laughs> silly me, you'll heal up eventually. Anywho, let me bring it back. All right, well that was definitely a long level. One of the more 
crazy ones, but yeah, this mansion is huge, so I'm not too surprised. But hey, maybe he'll surprise me. I knew I could count on you, kiddo. You're just so dependable. Clumsy and sluggish, but dependable. <laughs> but I wanted to talk. I totally forgot where two, where uh, there were two toads that in the treacherous mansion. I'm always so busy thinking about my research that I forget about minor details. That's sort of rude. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad that the toad curators are safe and sound. Oh. Oh no, did he remember a third toad? Although I suppose this means I'll have to give them their paychecks now, oh no. Anywho, when I asked uh, the, those two about the Dark Moon piece, they had no idea what I was talking about. But they did mention that there's been a lot of action on the second floor of the treacherous mansion. And they've brought a security image with them. I wonder what, what secrets it will reveal. We'll be able to find out about that in the next episode. But for right now, E2 Double Trouble has been completed and along with it, we get double stars and the boo. E3, a train to catch. Luigi, there was some something funky going on with the security image, but I think I fixed it. Yep, this thing is hot off the press. No other security image has been taken so recently. Let's take a gander. All right, whoa, there are some boos everywhere. No, Mario! Hmm, it's the same old bag those boos have been carrying around this whole time. Wait a minute. Yowzer, that's your brother Mario. How did he get captured? This is downright awful. Indeed. Or Mario's captured in a painting again, so let's take a look at that. Okay, Egad doesn't have anything to say. Wow. Uh, well, that room seems to be the train exhibit. You need to get there to rescue your brother. Okay. Got some boos over this way. That's no regular boo. Could that be? <laughs> oh, I don't like it. This guy's too scary. What in tarnation? Oh no, oh! King Boo, the master of illusions. He's been the one pulling the strings the whole time. And he somehow managed to capture your brother. Unbelievable. That fiend, if he thinks we're just going to sit by and Eureka, the periscope has found a huge signal in the train exhibit. All right, well, let's go take it on. Maybe we'll be able to save our brother right here and now. You've seen it in the security image. Wherever King Boo goes, he takes Mario's painting with him. You've got to get that to that train exhibit and rescue your brother. Perhaps Mario can help us defeat King Boo and restore the Dark Moon. Maybe, but you know what? I think we're plenty capable. We've been doing this whole adventure on our own. What is this? Here, take this makeshift rotor. It'll let you turn the huge staircase that rose from the ground. Whoa, okay. Look lively, Luigi. Your brother needs you. All right, well, we are off to save our brother back into the scary mansion. Oh no, this has just gotten a whole lot more real. So Mario gets captured two games in a row. Is that the Luigi to save him? I'm pretty sure that Mario does not get captured in the third game. I don't really know. I've seen like one or two trailers, but I mostly forget them and I want to keep it that way. <laughs> I want to be able to experience Luigi Mansion 3. Totally fresh. That's going to be cool. Uh, but we're back at the front entrance. Activate the stairwell in the inner courtyard. So we have a couple of ways to do that. I mean, right now I can make my trip a little bit shorter by going through one of these, I think. Not these ones, but actually maybe I should take a little peek at what's going on through here. Uh, not much actually. So we need to put our little thing in the rotor so we can spin this around a little bit. And like I said, the best way maybe would be to take a shortcut, but maybe not. Maybe I should just run through the hallways. Let's not overcomplicate it. Ooh, this wasn't here before. What does that have for me? Just some money. That's fine, I don't mind money. Maybe I should re-explore some stuff. Apparently it's been moved around a little. I swear that wasn't there before. I'd feel very silly if it was. Anyways, what's going on through this hallway over to the left? There's something missing here. Uh. Okay. What will this get me? Ow, okay, these hurt you. I didn't really realize these hurt you. What are you gonna give me now? Just money, more money. You know, money's not a problem. I'll gladly take it. So yeah, there's that door right there to the bathroom. We don't have to worry about that for now. We are, we've already explored all that. So we're in the inner courtyard. And let's see how this works. Hopefully well. You can do it, buddy. Good job. <laughs> As good as new. So what does uh, Egad have to say about that? Hello. Hot dog, that's one nifty stairway. Now head to the train exhibit. So which way is the train exhibit though? 
I mean, maybe we'll find out a little bit more once we're on the second floor. Get to the train exhibit and look for Mario. Okay, so if I get up here, as you can see, not really what I'm looking for. I guess I have to spin this around a little bit, at least so that the stairway is facing this way, right? Well, actually, let me look. It's to the right that we need to go. But maybe we should explore more than just that? I'm sure that we're not just gonna go to the training exhibit and go, wow, and then leave, and then like that's it for the level. So it's just, so if we have to explore more after, that'll be fine. Let's just go to the training exhibit for now. But as you can see, I am now on floor two, because there's uh, three floors and three levels of basement. <laughs> like that's how crazy this whole place is. Got a couple of coins up here. So this is the east corridor, ooh. Ah, can't go into there now. Hold on, that's not good. What happens if I try to open the door? Will go stop me? Oh, it's locked? Ow, oh, that's a fake door. I should have seen that coming. Yeah, it's all, a whole big joke to you, isn't it? No, not in the goop, not in the goop! Get me out of here, come on. What a jerk. Okay, you know what, gotta deal with these two guys now. But, but apparently not. That's it, and then deal with you. Now, what are you doing, Luigi? Just face towards him and take him. As easy as that. Can get that guy to give me a couple of coins. And then there may be, oh, I didn't even see him. I should have, but I was a dingus. This guy's like the least common ghost. And he's also one of the most painful to deal with. Okay, ready? Boom, got him. <laughs> Just instantly able to take them. So that wasn't too bad, but it could have also been a whole lot better. You don't have anything? Huh, weird. There's also a door this way. Hmm. Let's just try to get into here for now, because this is a hallway leading to the train room. We're missing a book to that bookcase over there, and we can look inside. So this is the train exhibit. Very cool little room. Not much going on inside, it's very quiet. What if this is a trap? I don't like the sound of that. Oh, there it is. Okay, well it's supposed to be right here. I got it. No problem. Oh, what about this stuff? Uh, is there something up here? There's not, but maybe there's a room somewhere that has an open ceiling? I mean, maybe the courtyard. <laughs> but I, I guess I would have to set up a teleporter for that to get anywhere. Uh, hey, that was mean. Oh no, is it another poltergeist? Uh. <laughs> That's a weird angle. Oh no, it is. It's a powered up one too. Not good. Hey, get back here. I need that book. Oh, that's not good at all. So I, I don't know what to do with these. Oh, we're gonna call. Maybe he can help us out. Okay. Blasted ghost, the passage in the bookshelf won't open without the book. The periscope doesn't work well in that in that mansion, but I'll try to find him. Mm -hmm. Give it a second. Come on, you piece of brilliantly designed junk. Bingo. He seems to be somewhere on this floor, mm. on the west side. I know, not very precise, but better than nothing. Start searching while I keep trying. Okay. Find the poltergeist and the book that he took. So there's definitely not an opening in the ceiling. Can I, ow, dudes, seriously, get out of here. Get this back. I cannot go through a door with this. So yeah, like that's just not gonna work. So uh, there's definitely a way to use that and bring it somewhere. It's not for this room, but I don't really know which room. I do know that down this way, there is a teleporter. Oh, hello. Can I get you? What is this? This is the nautical exhibit. Why did that not work? I don't know. Uh. Like seriously, why does that not work? Isn't that weird? Oh, I see, you see how I can actually make this? Okay. I'm a little confused here. Oh, what's up here? Oh, this is so cool. I love this. Whoa. Um. I just don't really know what I'm doing. I can turn it the other way. This seemingly has no effect on anything. If I could get rid of this guy, maybe it would, but that doesn't work. Maybe because I'm too far away? 
I don't understand what's happening here. Because clearly I can't interact with it. I mean, what if I stand here? That just hurts me, okay. I have no clue what I do in this room. This doesn't make any sense. I guess I'll come back because that is just an utter mystery to me. What a confusing situation. Like, just everything I interact with didn't do anything. Anyways, I know we're supposed to be going to the east right now. I'll do that, to, or to the west right now. We're already in the east. But uh, I'll do that soon. We're in the east balcony right now. What's going on in here? Got a couple of golden stuff. How do I get to this room? It says I've already been to, the, like, there's a room to our right? It says I've already been there. And it's also saying there's a couple of weird things going on here. If I go back into this room, it is saying that there is a door. I mean, I guess that's sort of the thing, is past this there's a door. The thing is, is that I can't actually get over there. As you can see, I would need to bring something in, but I can't do because of this guy. Which once again, I have no clue why I can't just smack him with some light. This is like the only ghost in the entire game where if you hit him with light, nothing happens. Because usually it doesn't have to be like, hey, you have to be behind. What if I stand on this? Uh, nothing. I don't know, this is so bizarre. It has to be something, or maybe like this over here. Maybe if I close this, ah, I got it. It's because it's misty in here. There we go, I'm a dingus. I, that was all me, that was all me. I should have known. Oh no, there's another ghost in here. <laughs> there's more than one. I'm in trouble. Don't hit me, please don't hit me. Thank you, oh, you hit me, come on. I wanted to be able to actually get some stuff for that, but no. There we go, okay, that was good. That was not red, oh uh, well. I mean, I've already gotten an okay amount of cash. We have 263, but not nearly as much as I wanted. We're still pretty low on health, too. Anyways, uh, as you can see, I can sort of flip this around now myself if we wanted to, which I might consider doing soon. But there's a number of things I can still solve here. So first off, what can I put there that would weigh that button down? I would hope that, oh hey, there's a frog. <laughs> I would hope that the log would do it just fine, but I might have to find like a rock somewhere. Oh, you're giving me more money. That's good. Was this guy here before? I think he was. Um, yeah, I would hope that a, a, a log would weigh it down, but I might specifically need like a rock or something heavier. We're gonna find out. So, run all the way back up that way. And see what I can do about this. But it is cool that we almost have the teleport for every spot. So for this one, that is indeed enough, okay, cool. So this is the nautical exhibit, but the outside portion. And I got some money from that. I was definitely not ready for it. Come on, there we go. And what's inside of this? It is a gem, exactly what I was hoping for. Very cool, this is the, uh, that, that square one, cool. I'm still a little confused on the entrances and the getting arounds of some things around here, though. Wait, what is this? Whoa, maybe this, oh, is he gonna throw me? Oh, no, oh, no, ah, oh, ah, yikes. What was that for? I don't know. What happens if I do it again? <laughs> He's just gonna hit me again. Why did I think that would work? That's not fair. <laughs> because I'm trying to find out because there is a room down this way. Maybe that's where I could use the thing. I'm definitely gonna switch this over now. He seems pretty happy about that. So there definitely is some kind of answer with this. So as you can see, it's right here. I don't know what exactly we're doing with this, but I guess we'll just sort of find out along the way. So let's get through the door right now. And maybe even just in, no, 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 I just sucked it up, darn it. <laughs> maybe, I, I, I guess I'll have to start flying in like every single room so that I can figure it out. 
So make myself go up in this room. Obviously, there's not too much. Okay. But the room that says I've already been in it in floor two would be this one. Which is weird because I haven't really. So maybe I can go up like way up. Ooh. Ooh, I can. Look at this. Okay, so what's going on around here? This is exciting. There's a couple of balloons I can maybe find. Yeah, this is exactly what I was hoping for. So now I can go through that door. Aha, and there's also a golden balloon, which we'll check out in a moment. For right now, though, let's just go through this way. And gotcha, haha, <laughs> nice. Got a couple of coins out of this bush as well. And ooh, that, that was just a ton of money. I was hoping for a gem. But you know what, that was still worth all the effort. For all that cash? I think so. Uh, so we're gonna head out of this one. And we might as well also, he was breathing as if there's more to do. Whenever he does that, doesn't that usually mean that there's more to do in this room? I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I don't see anything. Like maybe on the outer portions of the room that we were already in, there might be more. But we can get some extra money out of this as well. Looks like we have to go around this tree. Come on. Nice, grab some of these. Perfect, there's still more over on this tree as well. Hard to tell if I'm at the right angle, but I guess I am. Oh no, 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 don't miss those, thank you. Now get all these and is that everything? That is indeed everything and does that get us something? It gets us a chest, ooh. Let's figure this out. This has another gem. Awesome, that was way worth it. So that's like the uh, diamond shaped one right over there. So we have found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. So there's only six more left to find. So we have found more than half. Very exciting. So I can ignore most of this stuff. And who knows, I think I still might need this. I don't think we should give up just with that. I should check out all the rooms. Uh, like this one. Even though this one, I think, has a ceiling. Because we, we can just go up the staircase for this one. Or is there anything farther up? Aha, there is, there is. There's a couple of things. So basically, yeah, go into every room with this now. <laughs> That's just what we have to do. That's cool, though. So that gave us a lot of cash, which most of it fell on the floor. I don't think the cash matters to me that much right now, to be honest with you. I think we'll be okay. There's plenty more money to get. I don't even know if I'm gonna need it. Uh, oh, there we go. So what's going on over here? Just a lot of money or is there more? I might want to take a look around with this. That really looks like it's everything. But we know that there's more over there. Almost fell to our doom. Oh, there's a golden one. Maybe this could be another gem. I mean, I doubt it, but it's possible. Certainly possible. Oh, I'm getting a call. Is it like, hey, you're going the wrong way? Hello? Luigi, I'm picking up strange signals in the space exhibit. He might be hiding in there, but the periscope is acting all wonky, so it could be a false alarm. Check it out anywho. I would love to, but I'm busy finding secrets. He really did lose his patience with me there. Anyways, I sort of messed that up. Will it grow back? It will, okay, thank goodness. Wait, what happened? That one didn't even go into my, my vacuum. There we go. Okay, so let's try this again. So one thing to do is to sort of move you know, the opposite direction the coins are moving so that you can collect them even faster, which is gonna be really important for these bigger rings. So let's get to it because I'm running out of time quickly. Really quickly. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's it. And one of that did, that got me another chest, which may have another gem inside. Oh no, I'm doing the wrong thing. Go up, go up, go up, ah! So like, yeah, this is our normal entrance to this room, so I know that for a fact there's nothing interesting there. And it looks like there might be more to our left. Okay. And let's open this up. Oh, golden birds everywhere. Nice, okay, I got most of them. Um. Oh, okay. Can I get this one? Yes. <laughs> that was an interesting reward. What are you doing? Oh no, I'm gonna miss out on the rest of them. I already know it. I might as well just let it be. 
We're at $800 for this level. That's pretty good. Especially since I don't want to fall down there and then end up losing my thing. So actually, it doesn't seem like there's anything up here at all. But I might as well be 100% certain of that. I can't go behind there or anything. I cannot. Okay, so we're good. I guess we're gonna fall a little bit, but that's fine. Just go all the way down this way and back through the portal. We have a lot to do, <laughs> I'm just saying. We have a lot of rooms to check out. If they all have stuff in them like this, it's gonna take us a minute. Because this one at least has one chest that we can get to now, remember? We were looking high and low for a way to get over to this thing. Wait a minute. It's different in here. What are you doing? What is this guy up to? <laughs> the chest is gone. You're kidding me. No, wait, maybe it's not gone. I'm gonna have to do this to the balloon. It's right here. Oh my gosh. Very interesting. Like, I don't know if these uh, statues are haunted or if it's a really a real mammoth. I wouldn't think it's a real mammoth. Just chills out in this exhibit all day. This is not a big enough environment for a poor little, uh, a poor big old mammoth, not even little. Can I do anything with this tail? I can. I'm so sorry. Oh, he did not like that very much. But hey, he gave me a lot of money. These fish, they have a lot of cash. Wow, really, a lot of cash. So there we go, I'm glad we solved all that. Even though it didn't really get me any more gems, which is what I was looking for, it's good to get another thing solved. <laughs> okay, ah, hey, watch it. Stop doing that. Okay, these guys are getting my nerves. We are leaving, we gotta go and get another balloon though and find what else I can do with it. So let's check this room out a little bit. I mean, I've, I've never checked out that one chest, but you know, maybe I have, I don't remember. Anyways, what's going on up here? Oh, okay, there's a golden one right here, so that might be interesting to check out. And, whoa, whoa, almost lost that. So let's go quickly with this. Oh, is this in the shape of a boo? It is, oh gosh, I'm missing these right now. This is really hard to see. Come on, come on, come on, I don't wanna miss this. This could actually be the levels of boo. There we go, we got it. And that will lead to something right down there. I don't wanna go down there just yet because there's still things to explore on the left. Just like that. And, ooh, okay. But these are all, are these all coin paintings? Maybe one of these will be gems? No, they'll all look like coins to me. There we go. Thank you for all the money. Try this one out now. Awesome. We're getting a lot of cash in this level. It really is a bummer that I've gotten all the upgrades. Because if not, I'd be upgrading. There we go. So for right now, I don't really need it too much. I just seem to, oh, hold on, hold on. I see that. Doesn't that look like a weird shadow? No? Okay, never mind. Definitely looks like a weird shadow to me, but I guess it isn't much. So let's just go down this way. I, I wonder if I need to get rid of my balloon to open a chest. I guess I do. <laughs> weird. Um, oh, hey, here he is. Ahem, I am Bullrocrat. This mansion is now under the ownership of King Boo Esquire. I take it you have the proper credentials to be here, including ID and mansion roaming license? No, that's unfortunate. You'll have to be penalized. Oh no, we're in trouble. Uh, where'd he go? He is over this way. Which funny is that, you know, he says you're gonna have to be penalized, but all he does is sort of float around. He doesn't even try to hurt you. He talks a big game, but he's actually not too scary. You wanna immediately get him again? Thank you. This is another room where they can bounce around a lot without actually, well actually they don't bounce around too much at all is what I mean. Okay, he's down to 12, 11. There we go. This should be the last one if I get it all the way to red. Perfect. And almost, there it is. Isn't that great? <laughs> You're mine. So that is yet another boo captured. Every boo so far in this mansion has been grabbed. And a couple more coins in there. So I don't know if there's too much more to do in this area, but I can't say for certain because there definitely could have been a way to get up there. So I think there was a door. I might be wrong, but now's the time to find out. So let's get up this way, just like this. And there is indeed a door, staircase kind of thing. 
Oh, and there's also lots of money. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll happily grab that. So what's going on in here? This is the west balcony, and I can get a bunch of pumpkin looking things. There we go, I got all four of them. That was great. So what else can I do? Oh, there's another one. Oh, I can break them for money, okay. Didn't realize that. Might as well do that really quickly. They're money pumpkins. Very rare breed of pumpkin. So let's just take a quick look around this area. Oh, what's going on in here? What am I looking into? Oh, you have the blue book. Oh, okay, we'll have to do that because that goes to the one room. Okay, I, I know that now. That is very tricky. But you know what, we're already over here. We should try to figure this out as well. Oh, there's something. There's a, there's also something here. Let's get them, ready? Boom, that only got one of them. You could not get away. Yeah, once you get them, you really get them. Uh, whoop, wait, no, wrong button. Whoops, sorry. Okay, fill up the meter all the way, might as well. And is that all the ghosts? Nope, there's definitely one more guy over this way at the least. I see him in that puddle. You can't hide from me. Nice. And there we go. Now there's plenty to explore on the second floor. But for right now, okay, hold on. They are out of there quick, I'll tell you that much. Can you get over here? Thank you. And then back over to collecting this stuff, or is it gone? Try again. Okay, okay, spiders are being a little silly. So what will this guy give me? Just a bunch of health, I actually don't need any of it. And there's supposed to be a door here, of course. Hmm. Ooh, this is the space exhibit. This looks so cool. Got some money in the globe. Whoa, there's a golden ghost in there. Come on, and we have lift off, right? This is not actually doing anything. Maybe I can set that on fire somehow. That'd be a little extreme, wouldn't it? What's going on here? Whoa! Oh, and you have it, you're on a bunch of planets. So you've taken it out of this world, haven't you? Can I zoom in on you? Hey. Doesn't really do much. I can look into the moon or the sun or whatever this is supposed to be. Ah! Hmm. All right, well. Oh, hey, ah! What's happening? I'm here now. I was not expecting that. Um. Got him, come on. Get him, get him, get him. Oh. That's it. Okay, ow, I got hit by the, the star though. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's gonna make me dizzy. Okay, where is he now? He's flipping me all around. No, 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 no. Right here, right here, this is safe, right? Yes, it is, somehow. <laughs> oh no, there's more of them. Can I just like launch them away? Like, ow, that didn't quite work. Okay, uh, this is a problem. Where is he now? Okay, he's over there, but I missed him. Oh, where'd he go? Okay, I found him, but I can't like reach him. The perspective here is bizarre. It's really hard to tell what's going on. How did that not work? <laughs> Come on, what? Oh my gosh, dude, seriously? Get out of here, thank you. Now I gotta be careful because these stars are starting to fly towards me. Oh, not good. He's gonna launch a bunch of bombs at me again. That's what he does. Okay, I can get this way, I can get this way. And there's bugs flying around, which doesn't make anything easier. Well, actually, no, this is safe, this is safe right here. Yes. Oh, there's a very even spread of these ones. Launch them, there we go. We made a little bit of a, a safe area for ourselves. Right there. This never stops. They like seriously never stops. Uh, come on, oh, I couldn't get him. So we, we know where he will be, sort of, kind of, by how the, the stars light up. Ah, that doesn't always work. No, wait, no, go get him, get him, get him. There we go. Come on, this could really be it. Come on, there it is, we got him. Awesome. 
So you should be giving us a book, right? Or was that all just a dream? <laughs> nope, it was not. Awesome, look at that. So before we get that, because I don't know if the level will end. No, 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 hold on. Leave the book over there. I want to activate this E-gain. Can I, can you wait? <laughs> just give me a second. There we go. E-gate activated. A little bit of gold there, but I couldn't get it. Oh well. Let's pick this up. Oh no, I guess I do need to use this. So check for that. Get to the train exhibit and look for Mario. That's what we'll do now, but it's a little bit, gonna be a couple of steps. So first off, I'm gonna go into here. I'm gonna put this right there for now, and I'm going to go grab that, back this way, because if not, I'm gonna forget to do this later. It'll be a big pain in the butt. I need to go and get this gem. And would you look at that? Well, actually, that's not the gem, that's a book. That's right, okay. But I can't quite seem to get it from him. Oh, maybe, you know what? I have to do that. He didn't drop anything. So let's see what this is about. This would definitely, I would hope, get me a gem. But you never know. Okay, got it. So we need to go back to this room, because this is the room that's missing a blue book from the bookcase, right? Yep. And we just need to uh, launch it in there or something. There we go. And that does indeed get us a gem. It is the oval shape one. Nice, so there's only five remaining in the entire mansion. So now I can go back and figure out the other buck, which should just be up this staircase. The levels have definitely been longer in this area. Which makes sense with how huge this mansion is. So lastly, boom, do that. And Mario, are you in there? Let's save him. The train exhibit, no sign of Mario. Ah, but there's ghosts everywhere. Come on, get him. Don't let that guy scare me. And we got him. Actually, that was really good. Get him quick. Yeah, the blue guy didn't give me any money, even though I ca captured him at full meter. There we go. And you're hiding in that little train set? Not if I have anything to say about it. Almost got him. Unfortunately, it was not enough, so no money that time. That's fine. <laughs> okay, so what is going on around here? First off, I can light up the front of this train, which gives me tons of cash. Sweet. Can I go into this unknown cave? I guess not. I'll look into the little diorama in a second. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, there's a missing, missing railroad. Wonder what that'll solve. Oh, here it comes, here comes the train. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Uh, oh, it stopped. Am I supposed to board the train? I will in a second. Let's look at the little diorama. Oh, this is so cool. No, Mario's in there. Ah! Oh no. Can I look again? I can't, oh, we're getting a call. Maybe I should have boarded the train first. Uh, Hello. Luigi, what did you see? Any signs of Mario? Criminy, you must be wondering how to get inside there, eh? Don't worry, I've got an I idea percolating. I'm bringing you back, hold on tight. Will do. All right, so we got to the train exhibit to look for Mario and we were successful. We did find him, he just been miniaturized into a train exhibit. Chin up, young feller. We'll get your brother back. Although I imagine his painting would fetch a pretty penny at an art auction. Ho <laughs> ho, just kidding, my boy. Okay, so let's put in whatever stuff we had. Anything new? Put the vault really quickly to read up on him. Now, did you happen to see that tiny camera inside the miniature model of the train exhibit? I might be able to route the pixelator to it and send you in. Of course, it's incredibly dangerous. I've never tried pixelating anything with such a small camera. But it's as they say, fortune favors the bold. And I'm not as young as I used to be. Oh, uh, did I say fortune favored the old? <laughs> That's good to know, because he's quite a bit older than I am. Tackling the boss fight, the ambush maneuver. Oh, hey there, Luigi. Well, it wasn't easy, but I got it done. I managed to route the pixelator to the mini camera inside of, the, inside of that train exhibit and the periscope is still picking up that huge paranormal signal. It's gotta be King Boo. The signal isn't moving, so I suspect he's up to something major and probably evil in there, which makes it the perfect time for us to, to strike. If we can surprise him, he won't have time to react. 
And with the mini camera right there, they'll never see you coming. You ready, son? This is it. Get in there and rescue Mario, and while you're at it, capture King Boo. This is a golden opportunity. Good luck, Luigi. All right. Well, we'll see how it goes. This really might be the end of the game. Like, I, I really have no clue. I can only hope so, but I don't know. I feel like it sounds too easy, right? Something's gotta go wrong. I don't feel like we're prepared. I mean, we still need to find, of course, the final moon piece. Oh no. I don't like the looks of this. We're in the train exhibit. Ambush King Boo and rescue Mario. So taking a look around here, what do we got going on? I mean, okay, there's an invisible train. Not very invisible anymore, is it? So of course, we don't have to worry about finding the Boo in this level because of course it is a boss fight level. I can't do anything with those balloons. Oh wait, there was one more, I didn't see that. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I gotta get them all again. That's fine, that's fine. There we go. And what'll that do? I mean, obviously it's like a little toy train. Oh, it's moving. Is it gonna pop those? Of course it will, there's a giant drill in the front of it. Oh my. Oh, it's moving really quick, whoa! <laughs> Looking for someone? I mean, not you or any of you, but it looks like they're looking for us. What are they doing? Oh my gosh! It's a super boo! How many are there? I may not be the king, but I sure am big. Big enough to crush you. Oh no. Uh, what do we do about this guy? Escape the trap. Uh, can I just run outside of the, oh no, oh no. So I actually cannot run outside of like the tracks area. What do I have to do here? Oh, I see, maybe we can make him step in front of the drill. Because of course, like classic Boo, you sort of, huh. Yeah, let's see if I do this. There we go, oh, yikes. Nice, okay, so can I hit these guys? Or maybe, oh, I see, I see. That's it, let's get as many of these guys as we can. Maybe I should have just, uh, or did I find the right one? I don't know what's happening now. No, there's so many of them, there's so many of them, they're everywhere, they're everywhere, they're everywhere. Come on, get them quick, get them quick. Because I can just launch them away. Look at that. Oh, we're launching them into the train cars. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> this is weird. Okay, a couple of them are locked up in the train car now. But now I know what to do. This is wild. See, let's back him up like that, I guess. Okay, he's over there. And that got him. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, let's immediately try to get one. And once again, try to launch him. That one didn't really work very well. Well, they're trying to get me. I'm not gonna let them. Okay, I'm just trying to angle this up correctly. It's not easy. Ow, okay, okay, that's our first bit of damage taken. Ah, oh, I couldn't get him in the chain car though. One more time, ow, stop, stop. So that one didn't go very well because we weren't able to get any of them in the train car at all. That's tough actually. Yeah, yeah, let's get him to just go away. And try to find out how I can maybe push him back a little bit. It's sort of weird. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. That should get him. No, no, <laughs> come on. That was silly. Uh, Back it up. Uh, come on, come on. There we go. So what I gotta quickly do is this pull. And, oh, come on, oh man. The hard part is actually lining it up with the train. And then when I finally get it, it just didn't work for some reason, because the game is picky. Ouch. That's it, that's it, that's it. Come on, get them quick. Perfect, okay, we got one of them. It's better than nothing. Because this part's actually not too bad. When, when he's just uh, a giant boo, that's actually the easiest part. Can I? Back him up into the train, not like that, that's for sure. Oh, no. Yeah, it's a little bit to the side. It'd be hard to tell at times. That might be good. Once again, the angling's weird, I guess not. Oh well. That's it, that's it, no. <laughs> How am I supposed to know? 
Oh, it's so weird. That has to be good. No, it's just, it's so picky. I don't understand why it has to be that way, but it is. Come on, please. No, you're not even over there. You're like way over here. Why is he being such a pain in the butt this time? That almost worked. But there literally is nothing you can do except for that. Everything else doesn't do anything. Like maybe I could, oh, here we go. Let's just give him a second. Like that, maybe. And then when he's coming back, yeah, when he's coming back, I guess that's what I'm supposed to do, but he's too high up. Yeah, this is not gonna hit him. Right? Yeah, see? Isn't that baloney? That's total baloney. That doesn't make any sense. Why was it working so well the first few times, but now it, just, it won't? That's just weird. I'm gonna try one more time then, if it doesn't work. I guess we'll let him try to dive down again. Cause that's what he wants to do. I just don't understand how it can work perfectly the first couple of times, and then this time, it just doesn't. Because you see how he goes like way up in the air? You can't get him to do it here. It just doesn't work. And now he's not gonna be lined up with it. Why? I don't understand, why did you change it? It was working fine before. Oh, there we go. Uh, here we go, I haven't seen this before. Um, let's just try to angle this up. And then, oh, was that good enough? Did that do anything? I have no clue, that's, there's a lot of weird things going on with this game. <laughs> okay, uh, he's gonna do that again. He's gonna try to slam on me. Okay, okay, grab his tongue again. Should I try to get him in with the drill? I don't know. That didn't work! You're kidding me! What What is going on? This is like the most unclear boss fight I've ever gone against. It's just, it's super weird. Okay, so I think the idea is no matter what, I'm supposed to be getting these boos into the train cars, which can be very difficult to pull off. There we go, I got one in there there. Because the lining up of it can just be a challenge. That missed, see that's exactly what I mean. <laughs> Come on, oh my gosh. Yeah, light these guys up. And then go for it and it's gone. Like, oh, that is so tough to do because it's not even just a matter of timing and lining it up. You also have to be careful of the other booze and then sometimes I press the button and nothing happens. We'll get a couple more of them in there. It's tough, but I think I got what to do now. Um, because yeah, sometimes he will sort of spawn on the tracks, but that's never the intent, I suppose. Okay, so because sometimes he'll even just try to go for me with the slam move and that won't work out too well for him. Go for it. You're supposed to launch him right into the drill. Now I sort of understand. That's the only thing you're supposed to do when he's giant like that. Okay, so if I could just maybe wait a second. See, he fights you though. It's just like, oh, why'd you have to be in the worst angle possible? I don't know why I had to go for you too. That was my fault. Okay, there we go. He went into somewhere. That's good to see. Um, can I not get you? I guess not. Come on, let's just get one more. If I can, that'd be awesome. There, nice, okay, so there's only like two or three slots left to fill. We can do that, I sort of understand a whole lot more now. So he's gonna go and do his slam move again, so if things work out, he should be dizzy. And I'm gonna launch him. Ah, didn't quite line up, that's tough to do. Cause you just have to factor in a lot of the momentum of it. Okay, well that was enough to uh, get him knocked out. Oh, there we go, see that's what I'm talking about. Now, oh, so close yet so far. That really stinks. Let's try that out. Oh, that actually worked. That was a miracle. Also, the screen is like way different than it was before. Like it's not, it wasn't like this before. So I don't know why it's all top down, but I've just been trying to make it work. Can the camera come back now? It can, okay. I only got one extra boo in the slot that time. It's definitely a really, really tough boss fight. Okay, he's gonna be dizzy. Now, yes, I'm getting better at it, that's for sure. And there's less boos hopping out. So, and there's also only three more slots, what do you know, so that's perfect. Um, Gotta hope for the best here. See, now it's not top down and the angle's actually worse, so I liked it how it was before. <laughs> Ow, that's rude, I was blasting you. You shouldn't be able to move. Come on, come on. Seriously, that was baloney. That was so baloney. 
At least this part's pretty easy to deal with now. I mean, he's just gonna slam around. We're gonna grab him. We're gonna launch him right into the train. I did it too soon, so apparently it's not easy. <laughs> I thought it was, but I changed my mind. So he'll charge right into the train. I'm gonna grab his tongue. Ah, why am I doing it too soon all of a sudden? It's the anticipation, it's too stressful. Okay, no, 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 no. Seriously? Oh boy. Uh, there he is. So yeah, this move's much easier to just deal with because this one we don't have to force him to go right into the uh, train. And I don't know why I suddenly cannot do it on time. Ah, oh, if I kept him where he was, he actually would have been fine. Anyways, let him do what he wants to do. If it's that, then that. Maybe he'll go right into the drill. He will, that was very fortunate. Um, Come on, come on, ready for this? Right now. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, grab these two, or at least one of them right now. And then we need to line this up with the very last one. The caboose. Well, actually, it's the one before the caboose. There is also a little caboose. Where is this last guy at? One little boo can't turn into one big boo, right? Ready, set, go for it. Yeah, we did it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. That's a miracle. Now what? Oh, we're getting a call. Okay. Hey, you Gad. Hello. Luigi, that was definitely not King Boo. Mm -hmm. We tried to ambush him, but we ended up getting ambushed ourselves. But you seem to be fine. Nice work, son. No sign of Mario, eh? Don't worry, we'll find him. Hold on, I'll try to get you out of there. See, that was it. There wasn't too much more than that. Escape the trap, check. So we're not quite done. All right, well, Luigi seems pretty happy. <laughs> oh, look at his moonwalk. He's a pretty good dancer. <laughs> yeah, good job, good job. He seems to be happy to see us. I'm happy to see you too. Luigi, you okay, youngster? Okay. I can't believe King Boo pulled a fast one on us like that. I should have known. He probably staged a security image to lure you there. It's just like I told you, yeah, Luigi? Boos always spell trouble, especially when they gang up. But those boos won't be bothering us anytime soon. They were still trapped in that train when I brought you back. <laughs> oh no. But I made a quick tweak to the pixelator and sent them all down to the vault. Oh really? <laughs> Suckers. But King Boo is still out there and this won't end until we defeat him. I wonder how he escaped from this portrait in the first place. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have sold that uh, it at uh, that garbage or that garage sale. Why is it? It's not a garbage sale. <laughs> Anywho, Take a breather, young feller, but make it quick. Your brother is counting on you. So does that mean that we have, uh, well, first off, there is now E4 ambush maneuver. Well, no, that's what we just completed. And because of that, we got the boo. Very interesting. And next up is E5 paranormal chaos. Luigi, I can't tell if this is good news or bad news, but after you defeated Big Boo, the periscope detected a radical new signal. It indicates something I've never seen before, a distortion in the very fabric of our dimension. Wow, that seems like big news. To put it simply, a portal, Luigi, a paranormal portal on the terrace. Whoa. Right up on the tippity top of everything then. Okay. Well, actually that's on floor two. I'd wager that the final dark moon piece is hidden beyond that portal, and that's why we, we haven't found it. And I'd bet my glasses that you'll find Mario painting Mario's painting and King Boo in there too. Now, ex entering a paranormal portal is extremely danger dangerous, but Luigi, we don't have a choice. Be careful, young feller, the future of Evershade Valley is in your hands. I mean, sounds like it might be the entire world. He's just ripping up fabrics of reality. That could be a really big deal. But hey, we'll try this out. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So where are we starting? Oh, we're starting in the center room, aren't we? Yes, we are. And I'm sure there's plenty left to explore around everywhere. But uh, for right now, I could maybe just give this a little spin. Can I even do that? I guess not. So we're going up into the left and that's our only choice. But now we're on floor two. So it seems like the entrance to everything should be quite simple, but once again, I would like to explore a bit if I have the option. Um. 
Because we have not been in here. This is the archives. I want to go into rooms we haven't seen. So far, it's just a bunch of empty boxes. <laughs> okay. Not really archiving much in here, are you? Huh. Isn't that weird? There's like literally nothing in this room. Well, back out to the west corridor and into here. This is the aviation exhibit. Oh, this is cool. Lots of little exhibits in this mansion. It's a lot of fun. Pretty cool place. Can we open this up? I don't know what the deal is with that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what is this about? There's a giant air balloon. Ah, Naboo, okay, that was very fortunate. I'm Marabu, aren't my feathers classy? You don't have feathers. But I'm sure he wants to have feathers is the idea. Anyways, grab this. And pull his tongue all the way out, and he's gonna start bouncing around everywhere. <laughs> the poor guy. Must be quite the headache. Okay, let's get over there really quickly so that we can just start zapping him again. Okay, if he bounces around like that again, this will definitely be what we need to get rid of him. And there it is, nice. <laughs> so, let's get him. Just like that, and we're good. Okay, so that's this room clear in that way. But there might be more to do still, like there's this little propeller I can mess with. Where's that going? Oh, what is this about? I'm just making this airplane fly around, that's pretty cool. It might go somewhere special though. Uh, Is that all it does? Huh, okay, that's a little bit anticlimactic. Whoa, yeah, what is this gonna do? I really have no clue. Oh, hey, it's a it's a gem. Okay, that is the star gem. Awesome. So we only have four left to find. Uh, and this thing fell apart. Nothing in it though. Okay, well that seems to be about everything in this room. All right, well then we'll leave, we'll skedaddle. That was fun. So there's no way through here, but we can take a little peek. Hello. Ooh. What is that? I mean, that's the terrace, all right. Looks like an evil, golden, smiley face. A little weird. But maybe we could just, I'm just trying to find a way to spin the staircase. I guess I don't really have to anymore, do I? But it would be convenient if I could. Yeah, the game just doesn't give you the option anymore. Weird. Well, there is a way for us to get up to the right, and that is going to be by going through the teleporter that brings us back to the ship exhibit. So we'll get there now. Because the first and second floor, we, well okay, the first floor, we have definitely basically fully explored, and most of the second floor has been explored. It's just sort of that northern bit with the terrace. And I've already gotten that, but hey, maybe it'll give me more money. It will, nice. I haven't gotten any money, or at least not much so far in this level, so we could change that up a little bit, that'd be good. So I need to go all the way up. Oh yeah, and I guess we got this at some point. Where does this one lead? I don't remember. Oh yeah, the space exhibit. Yeah, I never really poked around here as much as I wanted to, because I never even got this golden ghost, did I? There's no golden ghost in there now, of course. I wonder what the chances are of there being a, uh, a gem in here. It doesn't look like there is. There is a bucket if I needed it. I don't though. And there's also a shoe. Ooh. There really isn't much more. Okay, let's go back. And go across to this one again, the ship exhibit. Because this should have a fair portion of things for us to find. I would hope. We can also, ooh, we can look through this one as well. Hello. So I see some pumpkins. I don't see too much more. I'm having a hard time finding an actual way to get in. Hmm. Right now, have I gone into this room? That room's, ow, oh, fake. Sorry, Luigi. But there was the one train room, and this is where I get a little interested because we activated that one train and then never did anything with it. How did I do that? I, I did this, right? No, that was not it. How did I activate that train? 
I'm trying to remember. I mean, hopefully it's still something I can do. It might not be. I don't know what that was, but I missed out on that at the end of, not last episode, but the episode before that. That's unfortunate. But that means I am super duper clueless on how to get over to here. If I had one of the balloons, I could just sort of float over, but I don't, as far as I can tell. Okay, I don't know when I started being so silly. I swear that the last time I went up to this, I just had to go up and interact with it. I didn't have to use the wind against it. I guess I just misremember everything. <laughs> oh well, it's fine, we got here now. That's all that matters. Um, Yeah, let's see what's going on through here then. Once again, it's this creepy, creepy smiley face. All right, shake that around a little bit too. That didn't really do too much. Okay, well. Uh. Ah, there he is! What is he doing? Oh, there's the portal! Oh no. And he's going in. Mario might be in there too. Are you going in, Luigi? Oh gosh, he's letting all the ghosts out! Oh, this is a big problem. We're gonna have to catch all those. Where do we even begin? Maybe Egad will give us a call. That'd be yeah, preferred. I need some guidance. Professor, help me. Criminy! The paranormal level's just shot through the roof. This is really serious, Luigi. The portal will have to wait. If we don't reduce the paranormality, our dimension could collapse upon itself. I'll update your map with the ghost locations. Look lively, youngster. So we cannot go into the portal just yet. Uh, capture all the ghosts first before our dimension is done for, I guess, or something like that. Anyways, let's also make these into some money. <laughs> We're calling for Mario. Oh, did I do that? I guess I did. I pressed up on the D-pad. I have, have we been able to do that the entire game? I think not. I know that like we could go hello, but I think only now that we know Mario is around can we call for Mario. Because that was the thing in Luigi's Mansion 1 is that he was always calling for Mario, but I don't think he was in this one. Mario. But maybe he was. It's super cute. <laughs> He's just looking for his brother. Uh, so what's going on now? Oh gosh. So we have it marked on our map where we're supposed to be going. So for right now, Things are a little crazy. Uh, it's all on the second floor. So let's start with uh, moving this like that. Okay, and then go back up there. The purple thunder and lightning is a little crazy. So I think, yeah, the ship room is the first room we gotta go into. Will it let us in? It will, okay. We can't use this just yet, not until we get the ghosts. I only got one of them there. That's arguable. Okay, let's do that really quickly and then boom, get both of them. That's what I wanted. Perfect. But I'm not done. Excellent, okay. Grabbing all that money. And then I know this guy, yeah, okay, here he is, here he is. Ready for this? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Doesn't happen too often. Come on, come on, you're not fighting me on this one. No chance. There's a little bit more. Ah, uh, I only got one gold bar out of that. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, grab those quickly before they disappear. And that's everything in this room. That's great because that means I can go back through this way and then take the other one on the other side. Because that's where the next set are. Yep, right over here. That's actually perfect. I love how that works out. Well, there's a couple behind me too. Okay, 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 hold on. I only got one there, but I need to get rid of his shield anyways. Okay, this guy has a shoe, and that's making, oh, that's the shoe I pointed out earlier. Now he's hitting me over the head with it. Okay, well, give me that shoe. It's mine now. Uh, ow, jeez, come on. I'm only getting one at a time, no matter how hard I try. Oh, there's three more. Ah, come on, you are the worst, I hope you know. Okay, there's two more. 
I wanna take him, and then I'm going to try to take all three of them, it didn't work. Dude, stop. <laughs> it's not fair that they get to do that. <laughs> like, I'm trying so hard just to get them out of here. Jump, 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 jump. I'm trying so hard not to take damage. Okay, I got these two. I'm just gonna hope that the other guy doesn't show up so that I can take these guys, stun you. Oh, I really need some extra health. Either that or a bone. Because if I if I die here, I gotta do the whole mission over. Uh, more ghosts about youngster, check your map. I will, I will. So it doesn't look like there's anything else around that I can like jostle. Uh, but in floor one, there's supposed to be more ghosts. Okay, so let's go through the portal again and really hope that I can find some more health soon. What do I do about that bat? Apparently, nothing, okay. Oh, and there's something else to fly up to over here. I never went over there, I don't know why I didn't check that. But I never did. Anyways, the first one is going to be over this way in the jungle room. Oh gosh, oh, it's a yellow one. I always lose so much health to those guys. Oh, this is bad. There we go, there's some extra health, perfect. Maybe some of these guys will give me some health too. That's what I really need. Uh, not right now, at the least. Uh, popping up there. And I'll try to keep this one nice and simple. What did he just eat? I have no clue. Ah, oh, I can't see. There we go. Oh, I tried to jump away from whatever that was. I just, I just can't. There we go, and that got me some extra health, thank goodness. More ghosts located, give them what for, Luigi. So where are they, though? They are, uh, oh, they're all over the place. So let's go back to the, the main area. Right over this way. Come on now, thank you. Make sure if any of these have extra health, I take it. Uh, they're still coming, Sonny, look lively. I know, I'm working on it. So we need to go up to this one now. Oh, it's some mummies too. No, 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 I'm trying to get around you. They sort of put me in a corner to begin things here. That's not cool. There we go, go into the fire. Thank you, thank you. That's actually perfect that they both went in the fire like that. And I can get both of them. That is excellent, that's a lot of health back. There's a tornado coming in. Uh, what's the dealio with that? Okay, it's two of these guys. I got one of them. Okay, well one's better than none. Don't you dare. Luigi, we're reaching the paranormal limit. I'm trying, I'm really trying here. What's gonna happen if I run out of time at this rate or dimension will collapse upon itself, hurry. Okay, I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. Go back over this way. And we need to go over to this one. Okay, uh. No, 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 no. Don't you swing at me. I gotta be careful. So I know this guy's gonna take a swing at me in a moment. Uh, and he had a friend, of course. Not really the best timing. How did that not, okay, okay, whatever. So make him drop that. That's the most important thing at the moment. Okay, I got him. This guy is hiding in the floor. And you too. Because this is all timed, I think. You really gotta be quick with that. There we go. Okay, so back through, as you can see, some of the rooms are actually blinking red now. Okay, that's a problem. Uh, well, I, I don't know if you can see. I don't know if I'm going to the bottom screen in this series. Uh, so where are they? Where are they? Okay, we got this guy over here, and they're all sneakers, which will make them even tougher to get right away. There we go, come on. Don't you dare, come on, stop that. Okay, good enough to start with. How did that not get both of them? Okay, where's the other guy? He's right here, there's actually two of them still. Maybe, sort of looked like it. Oh, dude, stop trying to break our dimension. There he is, come on, get him. Ooh. How many are there, come on! Oh my gosh, I gotta get them. Okay, dude, you're going down. And your friend has like one health. There we go, see that's what I was trying to do the whole time. There we go. So there's that room clear. 
What we need to do now is actually run down this way and just run as fast as we can down the hallway, back over here. Uh, not that door, that door will beat me up. It's this door, right? Yeah, okay. Where are they? We got this blue guy. He's hiding in the fridge. The other one's throwing oranges at me, deja vu, I remember that. How did that not work? Come on. What do I do now? Come on. Oh, let's hope his friend doesn't throw fruit at me. Oh, he's throwing fruit at me, he threw a banana peel out. What is this, Mario Kart? It's working too is the worst part. Oh, now there's a dog bone in there. That's actually helpful. Uh, the problem is I gotta clear this room and then immediately go into that other room way over there. Because that one's in the red now. Like, what's gonna happen if I don't do that? Is the whole level gonna end? Is this like truly even possible right now? Oh my gosh. And they're just all over the place. I'm so tired of being pelted with oranges and other citrusy goods. They all hide in the same drawer too. There. Oh my gosh, one more room left, but getting over there is logistically difficult. I'm, I'm thinking that the quickest possible way is to run back into the cold room. Come on, just like that. Go through this, and then we have to go through the other one on the other side. Oh man, oh man indeed, it's in the red. So this one, we gotta go back to the desert one. Oh no, but this might, uh, yeah, it's still the closest thing I can get. I, I gotta run up the stairs. We might seriously run out of time. Like, I don't know what ends up happening. It's super weird, that's for sure. Come on, go through this door. Thank you very much. And I don't know which bathroom it'll be. Maybe both of them. Come on, Luigi, now's not a time to be winded. We have places we gotta get to pronto. Okay, which ghosts are in here? All of them. Hold on, I forgot, I always forget to hit these guys with the flashlight after. There, that's this area clear, is that all of them? Luigi, we're reaching the paranormal limit. No, that's not a good thing. <laughs> At this rate, our dimension will collapse upon itself. Hurry, I've been trying. So now we're reaching forward to Luigi, get back to the terrace, I'm getting some mighty strange readings from there. Okay. Actually, I'm going the wrong way, I should go this way. Oh man, I'm freaking out, this is just too much. Too much. Okay, uh. So up this way, will this lead where it needs to be? No, it doesn't, gosh darn it. Okay, bring it backwards. Perfect, well, a little too much, but it'll center out. Okay, go through the door. Oh, there's more, there's always more. Okay, I got one of them right there. All I gotta do is make him hit blue. And there's three more. I'm not done with you guys. There we go. <laughs> got two more over this way too. Now this is going well. Which is gonna happen more often. Okay, this guy needs to be brought to green. There we go, it's brought to green. This guy's, a oh no, the gold fell right off the side. Guy's a bucket on his head. This is ridiculous. Ouch, oh, that hurt. Come on, pick up your bucket. He won't do it. <laughs> How am I supposed to do anything about that? And why didn't he run into the wall? I don't know, this game's a mystery. <laughs> come on, come on. I just gotta get this guy for right now. He's just a normal red dude. We should go to handle him just like that. And then, same thing with this guy. Now the more intense stuff is coming in. Now if you two could run into the wall and you just stop with your shenanigans. Neither of them ran into the wall. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, 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 hold on. I'm gonna try to get this guy. All of his friends are coming in trying to save the day. We gotta get the sneaker first. Cause if not, I'm just in a world of pain. Okay, uh, I don't know what happened to the sneaker. I guess he got away. He just ran the other direction. <laughs> Pretty good strategy. Okay, so yeah. Try to get this guy, he'll run into the wall. And I would love to have actually dealt with the mummy. But some things popped up. Got him, okay, okay. Boom, get this guy now. He's trying to run away. Not if I have anything to say about it. Ouch, you're the worst. 
Okay, I got both of them. Good, 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 good. And the, the mummy had to ruin it. Dude. And there's more. There is more. Where'd he go? He was right there. Uh -uh. How is that still not it? Okay. Turn around. Get him. That's good. That's good right there. And the mummy was on the floor, but I had no chance to actually get him. It just, just, just more and more ghosts. How is this even possible? Okay, so, you didn't hit the wall. I have to fold this meter up all the way just to break your shield. So you're gonna run over this way, hit the wall, please. And I can't get you. <laughs> There's too many ghosts. So you need the blue shield, that's actually not so bad. That's the lowest shield. There we go. If I could get you to just run right into the fire, that'd be perfect. But you just you just can't do it. Come on. There we go. How many ghosts are gonna pop out of this thing? All of them. Every ghost that's ever existed. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, ready? Boom. That could have been worse. Luigi, we're reaching the paranormal limit. I can't read what you say and actually fight ghosts, so. Uh, at this rate, our dimension will collapse upon itself, hurry. I have been hurrying this entire time. We only have two minutes and 56 seconds left. Oh no, we're in trouble. These better be the last two. Like, what happens if I don't? <laughs> Game over? I guess so. Are these guys gonna swing at me or what? Come on, take a swing, take a swing. You cowards. Luigi's supposed to be the coward. Okay, here we go. We gotta get him. What? Okay, game. I was gonna say, you're being a little broken. Let's get this guy, and then we'll just work on the big yellow dude. Thank you. Grab all that gold. And this is a nice big area to fight him, so you would think things would go well. Because usually our struggle is fighting him when it's cramped. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that, yeah. That was a mistake. There we go. Yeah, there it is, okay, we got him. Is that everybody? That is everybody, my gosh. You better give us a big congratulations for that one. That was a lot of ghosts. Luigi, you've done it again. You're a ghost catching artist, son. And the Poltergeist 5000 is your paintbrush. Which, by the way, must be jam packed with ghosts. Let's unload it before you go through that creepy portal. Oh man, another level done. That was so tough. Phew, I wasn't sure you were going to make it, youngster. That may have been your toughest challenge so far. Great job capturing those ghosts. Well, thank you very much. He's so supportive. King Boo must have flipped out when we did we defeated Big Boo, so he sent a horde of ghosts to stop us. But by doing so, he showed us exactly how to get to him. Oh, -ho! that's right, Sonny, the paranormal portal. It's still open, but we've got to hurry. Who knows when he'll close it? King Boo, wherever you are, your days are numbered. Ho <laughs> ho! Right, Luigi? Oh no. It's all up to us. So, as you can see, E5 Paranormal Chaos has been completed. And along with it, doing the boss fight for real this time, maybe, who knows, stop the nightmare. This is it, Luigi. It all comes down to this. All paths seem to be pointing towards that mysterious portal on the terrace. The periscope can't find the dark moon piece anywhere. There's no place left for it to be. And the same goes for King Boo. He must be beyond the portal, still furious that you capture all the ghosts he sent through it. And last but not least, your brother Mario. King Boo must have taken him through the portal too. So as I said, this is it, the moment of truth. Look, Luigi, if you uh don't ever come back, just know. Just know that I'm very proud of you, my boy. Very proud. Good luck, youngster. Aw. I love how uh, Professor Egad has sort of become a father figure for Luigi or a grandfather figure, something like that. That's so sweet. Aw, we gotta come back just for him. We gotta make sure we make it on to the other side. Also for Mario and the sake of the, the dimension. You know, everything else is important too. But <laughs> let's get started. Oh man, this is exciting. Whoa. Oh man, we're getting sucked in. This is not good. Ready or not, here we come. 
Wow. Oh, there it is. The last piece, right over that way. Okay. How do we, do we just want to run over and get it? Can I mess with the rug a little bit? <laughs> Let me mess up with this stuff first. Oh, okay. It's one of these uh, endless rug things. I'm sure I'll be using that for some kind of fight. Oh no, I don't trust this. This is not gonna work out. Uh, ah! Oh, it's a possessor! We should have known! Oh man! You okay, Luigi? So what is he gonna possess? Oh my gosh! He broke into two! That's not good. Oh, and they're running right for me. They're running right for me! <laughs> okay, I timed that badly. But I actually came out unscathed. There we go! Ooh, that must have hurt. So just like this, some of the, uh... Okay, so... Well, that sort of worked. But, oh, I need to do a two for one. Because he raised up his buddy. Okay, okay. Ready for this? Haha, <laughs> there we go! So we gotta get both of them, but they're both gonna come back together, and then they do the super force field move that all of them always do. Okay, run quickly, run quickly. Got him. And that is the first layer done. I've gotten it, I already understand. I'm gonna leave those hearts there if I can. Now he's broken up into three. This is gonna get tough to juggle. So maybe I don't have to do it all at once, but here's the struggle. I need to at least make sure that when one is raising the other, that he is onto a rug so that, you know, they all can be slipped over. I mean, I think. Okay, run over this way. No, 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 run over this way. That's it, that's it, that's it, perfect. Maybe. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, we got him. Okay, so he's gonna charge again. Ah, uh, move it. How did that not get him? That got him. Oh, thank you very much. So I can keep that heart there, but unfortunately it eventually disappears. So we might as well pick it up. So, so how many, he's gonna break into four this time. Where are they? What, what's happening? Uh, oh no. I don't have a good feeling about this, Luigi. Uh -oh. oh, he looks defeated already. What in the world? You know it's a big deal when the game's frame rate chops in half. This guy's huge! Oh no! What are we gonna do about this? Why didn't he just hop into this right away? <laughs> He's like the size of a skyscraper. Oh no, watch out! Run! I don't, th I think we're gonna need a much bigger rug for this one, Luigi. But hey, let's try it. So he's just gonna try to stomp on us? Like, what, what's he gonna do? I have no clue. Okay, whoa, okay. That's a big sword to get sliced by. Yeah, yeah, stomp right there. Perfect. No, the timing was wrong. Ow! Quickly, quickly, quickly. Ah, no, 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 no. There we go, whoa, watch your step. We just, we just did the floors, they're very slippery. Oh, do I, I guess I have to wait for him to put both of his feet on the rugs. Oh, that's not gonna be easy to do. Okay, there's one of them there, right? The thing is, like, I can do that, but he'll still have the other foot. And I was just like, whoa. There's nothing I can do with this foot. I need him to have both feet on the rug. You know, they tell you to take your shoes off before you step on the carpet. But seeing how your foot is the size of the carpet, ow. There might be some different situations happening. So will that foot stay there? Okay, maybe it will, maybe it will. Okay, that's not the right step I need you to take though. No. So just go over here, right? That's it. He's gonna go, whoa, not gonna get me this time. And I say, of course I will. Wait, no, no fair, no fair, come on. He's doing a little bit of a dance. Do I really have to get him to stand on both both legs on one piece of rug? Because that'll be a lot more challenging, but not impossible. Definitely not impossible. Can we make him get all cross-legged? That'd actually be really funny. Okay, what? You're kidding me. 
That wasn't even fair. So I got one foot over there. It's actually quite easy getting back to this point, surprisingly enough. It's hard though, because you can't control which feet go where. Like I want him to keep that foot there. Yeah, pick up this one. You know what to do. One more time, one more time. No, 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 a little to the to, to your left, yes. Your left, my right. Don't get hit by that. Oh, some stuff has fallen. No, 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 no. This one, this one. You know what to do. That's it, that's it. No, no, no. Over here, you, you're being a stinker. I hope you know you're being a stinker because you know what I'm trying to get you to do. Like, is this, I'm pretty sure this is what I'm supposed to do, but it's just like now he won't lift his foot. Okay, there we go. But he doesn't move it this way. He just, he can't. Come on, come on, over here. No, he, I honestly don't think he can. He's not lifting it any closer, which is bizarre. Okay, how did he do the sword behind him? <laughs> he's pretty talented. I thought he was really flexible. Cause I, I can do this leg, but it's not gonna work. Not the way we want. Go this way, go this way, go this way. He won't, he won't move it any closer. He's being so picky about this. He's like, no, he's just stomping around like, no, I don't wanna. Maybe I just didn't do it fast enough before, but I don't think that was the case. Oh my gosh, why is it over there? Come on, over here again. Okay, ready? Boom, I'm gonna do that and try to move as fast as I can over to this other one. Quickly, quickly, quickly. There we go, I did that before and he just did a little switcheroo. Okay, that works, see ya. <laughs> Where is he even landing? Who knows? Well, there goes all four of them. Oh. What is going on? He's back to being one of them. Come on. We just gotta get one more layer. Dodge this. I don't have much health to work with. Ready? Boom. And thank you very much. We got it. Oh no. Whoa. There it is, the final piece of the dark moon. I can't believe it, we finally did it. Well, thank you very much. That was certainly a challenge. Wow. Don't drop it, don't make it break into a bunch of smaller pieces. You did it, Luigi, you did it. I'm so proud. Retrieve the dark moon piece, check. And we're getting a call. Hello. You've done it, my boy. You've actually done it, the final Dark Moon piece. It's not gonna be easy, but I'll try to bring you out of that horrible illusion. Come on, Pixelator, this is one crucial, this one is crucial, baby. Don't fail me now. Let's find out if it works. Mission complete. Yeah, super cool, for sure. Are we gonna be able to make it out of this dimension? It looks like, oh no. What just happened? That's not right. Oh no! Oh no! Where's Luigi? Oh no! What happened? Where am I? Oh. Oh no. Uh. Uh. So many windows. Oh no, he's here. Uh, I'm scared too. What are we gonna do, Luigi? Oh no! Uh -huh. Mario! Quickly use the dark light on him. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh no! You give us our brother back! <laughs> now what do we have here? Why, if it isn't my old pal Luigi, or is it baby Luigi? I can't tell the difference. Hey, remember that time you trapped me in the painting for all eternity? Good times. But guess what? I got out, and now I'm painting the town red. Why would you do that? Yes, it is I who broke the dark moon, the power enchant enhancing 
jeweled crown of mine made it easy. And now that all the ghosts of Evershade Valley are under my control, it's time to take my rightful place as the supreme ruler of your world. You, that annoying scientist, and all your friends will look great hanging out on the wall of my throne room. <laughs> I don't know if that was a good voice or not. Oh, what is he doing now? Oh boy. Whoa. Whoa, it's, it's like a little boxing ring. Well then let's tussle, let's defeat King Boo. Whoa, ah. <laughs> what do I do with this stuff? Ow, I can't do that. Note taken. Or can I? No, that hurts, okay. Uh, <laughs> good to know. Can I hit him with something? Oh, if I look at him, he still gets embarrassed though. So you know what, he might not be all on like, oh, so I can maybe, ooh, that must have hurt. Yeah, you get over here, you get over here. Ready? Whoop. Oh man, I got it now. I was very lucky that it worked out that way. Here we go, here we go. Gotta be careful though. Ready? Oh, ho, ho, ho. I understand. All right, he's already, wait. No way was it that easy. Yeah, I didn't think so. He's not happy with me now. <laughs> that was just round one. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. Oof, that must have hurt. Oh, we gotta run, don't we? Run! Can I check inside these things? I cannot, but I can also get some health. There we go. I'm back up the floor already, so I don't have to worry about it. Gold! <laughs> My greed knows no bounds. Oh gosh, watch it, watch it. Get the money. <laughs> He's just rolling after us. It's funny, because he can fly. He's just trying to roll so that it can be slightly creepier. It's working, ow! Ah, not good. Oh, what about this? Boing. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta use all the skills we've learned in our, on our adventure. Actually, I sort of missed out on some gold there. That's fine. We'll live. Oh, get this gold though. Maybe the gold can lead me to where I'm supposed to go. This is like snow. Ah, ooh, ah, no, not fair. I can't tell where they are until it's like way too late. He does a lot of damage too. Come on. Oh gosh. It really is hard to tell where they're gonna be. I don't understand how I'm supposed to know. Whoa, whoa, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. <laughs> Ah, oh, I should've seen that coming. You gotta go where the fire is, not the blue fire. There we go. Oh, run through the snow, run through the snow. That's it, are these guys gonna take a swing at me? Oh, here we go. I'm almost back at the full. Oh man, he's back. Oh, here we go again. This is not good. Whoa, he's zapping everywhere. So now there's more of that like sand, snow, whatever it is. So whenever more of the balls start falling, which maybe he'll make happen soon. Yeah, there's not really much I can do with the moment. Aha! Here we go, here we go. That should hit him. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. That's just so satisfying to see for some reason, just seeing him get squished like that. Gotta be careful, because these things are rolling all over the place. I'm still getting him, though. Oh, man, this could be a quick round. Oh, come on! Yeah, look at that! But that's not it. It's the same thing all over again. Was that wrong then? Should I be doing something else? Because we're going right back to what we did before. I don't know, this is weird. This is really weird. So that's the question now. Did I do it right or not? This is at least, oh gosh, a little bit different. But you would think that the fact that it was exactly the same meant that that wasn't actually what I'm supposed to do. But I don't know. It being really dark doesn't help. No, 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 no. The depth of perception here is not that great either. Yeah, bounce off of that. That gives us a little speed boost too. I mean, he sort of starts catching up real quick after. Uh, oh, I didn't even need that. Why did I get that? <laughs> Come on. Whoa, I can't even see what's happening. Oh man, the game is starting to lag out again. Let's hope I went the right way. Sort of. Oh, that was a bit of a speed boost, cool. Come on, come on, Luigi. Keep using those legs. What is that? That's a sh that's like a chandelier or a lamp or something. I don't know. Okay, launch ourselves. Whoa! Oh, that was cool. Got ourselves some extra health from it. Oh no, run, 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 run! 
There we go. That just keeps going and going. Here he comes again. So I don't know if I should try something different this time. Oh gosh, only one of the tiles isn't gonna get zapped. I found it though, so we're good. Uh, whoa, whoa. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Maybe, maybe, no we're not. Ah! Oh, oh, I made it. Whoa, it's spiky. Am I supposed to do something about that? Am I supposed to make him charge it? I don't really know. That didn't work. That didn't work at all. Okay, here we go, come on, come over here, come over here. And freeze. Yeah! Okay, well that's a big one over there. So I just have to be careful of the ice. Okay, he's gonna try to make this a big problem. Oh, I can't get him anymore? That's sort of a shame. Over here, over here. Wait, where'd he go? Okay, now he's over that way. Ah, oh, that didn't get him, because of the ice messing me up. I'm pretty sure that was the intent. What if these hit him? <laughs> I don't know if they can. Oh, here he comes again. Oh, now when he zaps, I, I got really lucky there. So yeah, what happens if I get him to maybe like run into the spikes? That'd be tough to do. Okay, so yeah, follow me around until that shows up. Oh, oh, ah! <laughs> we got him, we got him, come on, pull him, pull him back. That's it! Come on, third time's the charm, right? Oh my gosh, we got him! We defeated King Boo! That, that can't be that easy, right? That was crazy. But look at this. We got his magical Boo gem. Wow. Good job, Luigi! <laughs> I love his victory dances. We did it indeed. And we're back. Mario! Oh, hey! It's the professor, out of the bunker. He used the light, silly. Come on, you've done this all game. You can figure it out. You save your brother. Oh, can I talk to you? <laughs> oh, you want me to hit you with it? How how funny would it be if it did that and revealed he was a ghost the whole time? Oh, it's Mario. He's back. You save Mario. I see it. Way to go. Number one. Oh, and here's Toad with all the dark moon pieces. Wow. So let's put all these back together, I guess. What an adventure it's been. So after a crazy adventure across all of Evershade Valley, the dark moon is recompleted. Perfect. Wow. Is that a good thing? Let's hope. So all these guys who were angry and mean before, they're back to being happy and nice. Yeah. Aw, look at that, they're like a big happy family. Oh, now he's cold. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> That's so cute. What is that? Oh, there's a button with booze and a button with ghosts. So you're gonna let all the ghosts out, gotcha. Don't let all the booze out, they're still evil. Aw. Look at them go. Oh my. <laughs> oh, 
Well, it seems like everybody's having a good time now. Oh, it's a little boulder pup. What's wrong? It seems different. Ah, there we go. Much better. What a cutie. Aww. Everybody loves Luigi. Say cheese! What a wonderful memory. So where are we now? I guess we're, we're back in the living room we started in. So is this Luigi's original mansion? Is that where we started? I guess so. And now it's time for a nap. Aw, I love how he stays with the polter pup. The polter pup looks different though. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's his pupils. Did he have pupils before? Aw, that's so cute. Happily ever after. Until we find out what happens in Luigi's Mansion 3, that is.